So Chanda, we've got a big epic day lined up for you. Starting things off, Craft Price Talk, then ink it up with Lou with us, John next door, one of the special at nine. I'll see you at nine with John and after the break. Coming up next on Hachanda is Craft Price Drop. Let me show you the best and easiest way to get involved. Firstly, Craft Price Drop isn't like a normal show here on Hachanda. It involves a falling price auction, which means the price continues to plummet until the quantity reaches zero and the price locks. Regardless of when you call to register your bid or added that item to your basket, everyone pays the final low price, plus your postage, unless you're a Freedom member. It's an amazing opportunity for Freedom members. Fantastic low prices, plus no postage. Now, if you're not a Freedom member, you'll pay $4.95 postage on every item you bid for. But as a Freedom member, you get unlimited standard delivery on every item you purchase from any Hachanda show, including Craft Price Drop. Plus, Freedom members also get selected discounts and offers. So why not join Freedom now? Get all the Craft Price Drop deals here and pay no postage. Freedom costs just $6.97 per month. Just add that number, 888888, to your basket and continue bidding. Craft Price Drop, the new, exciting way to shop here on Hachanda. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hello, very good morning. How are you? Always good to have your company. We start the things off well. We'll start the day off well here on Craft Price Talk. By the way, um, we've got a new kind of show coming up next week. I'm doing the very first one. It's going to be called, it's going to be called Good Morning Ho Chanda. So, Good Morning Ho Chanda. So, join me 7 a.m. on Monday. I'm doing the very first one. It's going to be a great, great show. So, again, 7 a.m. this Monday coming up. So, don't forget to put that in your diary. But um, Craft Price Talk is very easy how this works. We've got big, big brands, very low prices, but it's very straightforward how this works, how you get involved. On the side of your screen, you'll have the details as per usual. You'll have the item number, product description, and then you'll have a start price. Now, that relates to the combined total of items, which is currently advertised on our website, whochanza.com. So keep an eye on that. And now we've got the now at price. Now, that's going to start dropping. It's going to start plummeting. So whenever you think that that reaches a value that you are happy with, add this to your basket check out your basket then that's it folks you've bought it this will be delivered straight to your door two ways you can buy by the way dial the number 01733 797 100 but the quickest way shop on our website whochance.com the one just down there add it to your basket check out and again you all pay you all pay the final low price now then again we have got such big deals for you today we've got such big brands but we've got something that personally i haven't seen before to begin with Shall have a look at this one we got a cd rom uh, um, did I say a CD rom? <laughs> I meant three, three CD roms. Now, multi fairy, floral sloped, and fantasy fairy. Lovely. So there you go. Uh, we have got 20 designs uh, per pack, okay, or per disc. So basically, you're going to have kind of like 60 projects to get you started with this. But it's very easy. You pop it in, and uh, you can just click and print. Now. I'm thinking. Do you know what? We need to see this in action. Which one shall we see? 
What should we see? Oh, we've got the full car kit. We're going to put one into our computer. I'm thinking for the fairies one. Which one's this one? This is going to be uh, the multi-design fairy. Right. I'm going to give this to our uh, trusty, uh, trusty colleague, Callum. Callum, my friend. May, may I hand you that? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. I'll see you shortly. Thank you very much. Off, off we go. Um, so there we go. Now, we're going to about to show you this in action. All I'm going to show you is that this, great value for money, £75. You can have 60 projects to work with here. Okay, so 60 designs to play around with. So, it's a... Uh, 723301. Now then, with this, you've got a Mac PC to manage. You put it into your CD drive. You know the one there? Uh, the one that actually slotted, or it's actually one that you got, you know the little tray that pops out for your little coffee container? Some people think it's a coffee container, but it's not. It's actually a CD drive. Uh, so there, I think it's Charmaine who said that from her Dolly Dimples. Um, Lou's just walked in the studio. Give me a whoop. <laughs> there you go. Lou's coming up at 8 o'clock. I haven't seen this before. I'm looking over here. I'm thinking some beautiful, beautiful items. It's just a little Facebook Live thing. So if you follow on Facebook, uh, you'll go a taste of what's to come up. Right. It's in the machine. It's just loading up. Well, we can just, like, uh, tell a joke for this to happen, can't we? It's just loading up. Give it a tap. Give it a tap on the side. No, there we go. No, it's a good computer, actually. It's a good computer. Uh, right. £75. Now, it's £37.50. It's 73381. Has it loaded up yet? <laughs> Gives the sex, he says. Okay, right, we're on it. We're on to it. Right then, okay. 73, 301. Again, that's 20 design ideas per disc. So while I'm getting the other one loaded up, <laughs> let's read what we've got. So you have got 20 cards here. Um, you've got the main card, the insert, layers, and you've got envelopes here. So you've got fancy fairies, we've got other fairy designs, and we've also got floral cards. Now this is probably the one you're going to use the most, I would say, because it's, it's just so useful, so easy to follow. Hey, now look, our technical team, they've been on it. We've got it sorted, but basically it's very easy. You put it into your computer, and then you'll see something like this. No, not yet, we're getting ready. Well, I'll talk to you about the case for a bit longer. Right, so there you go. Uh, £36.66. <laughs> You've got a okay, floral dry slip card. I'm only joking. They're working on They're good lads. Good bunch. Again, uh, so now look, if you'd like to come in early on this, we're about to show you this. When we show you this in action, very impressive. I think you're going to want to buy it. So again, if you're at your basket, check out. Then that's it. You have bought it. 723301. Still going down the price. Everyone pays a final low price. Again, at your PMP, £4.95. So, again, uh, we've got three CD-ROMs here. You've got your background cards. You've got your inserts. You've got a uh, bit you can reshape, bit you can resize if you want to. But, look, you haven't got to be computer literate with these. Are we ready to go? Oh, thank the Lord. Here we go. We've got it right now. There we are. Now, I'm only joking. Thank you, team. Uh, they're, they're an epic team here at Hochanda. Uh, we get things sorted. Right, so there you go. Now... You have got backgrounds here. We've got, oh, an easel. Oh, a double fold back. Sounds like one of my dance moves. Um, right, now, do you know what? Speaking of which, um, when I get to 3,000 likes on my Facebook page, I'm going to do a cartwheel, so make sure I like my page. Charlie Hopkins on her channel TV. Uh, right, now we've got blank uh, envelopes. Let's go back. Let's do the cheeky easel card. There you go. Let's do the easel. Oh. Beautiful designs here. We've got matching envelopes here. We've got inserts. Go on, let's have another look. Let's have a little look at another one. So, again, again, this is where you begin, okay? You're thinking, who are we going to make a card for? What size are you going to do? License? No, we'll ignore that one for now. Uh, we've got a teardrops. Oh, what? oh, now that's smart. Haven't seen a teardrop envelope. <laughs> so, if we go back there, so we've got a teardrop. Uh, we've got lots more. It's quite... It's quite it's quite, it's quite a sad sorry. Um, right. Okay. £75. Now it's £19.99. Uh, we've got eight left. Eight left, 723301. I've only got seven to go now. Uh, the so, you've got a number of designs here. We've got the easel, the fold-back, the teardrop. Uh, hang on a minute. We've seen a fold-back. I've seen a fold-back. What's a double fold, man? Is that the one we saw at the start? 
Oh, no, we did, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, so there you've got a number of designs, about 20 designs that you choose. Would you like a bit naughty, isn't it? Good Lord. Uh, right, we've got inserts there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right, uh, now we've got... Oh, dear. I, I say... I say it's a bit weird. A bit wonky, isn't it? But no, they are very smart. So five, and we've got four left. Um, you've got, we're going to leave the other two as a bit of a surprise. You've got inserts. Um, you've got an awful lot of... Have I got a bit red? <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got a little to me today. So, uh, everyone pays the final left prize. Right, <laughs> 19 pounds, 99. Uh, right, no, no, I mean, Jake, sorry. Sorry, I've got the giggles. I've got the giggles. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, uh, seriously, you've got um, a lot of designs there, folks. Uh, well you've got good deals. Thanks very much indeed. Um, right, now then, um, when it comes to sewing, when it comes to sewing machines, there is normally a bit of an investment to sewing machine, isn't it? So it's important to have something to keep it nice and safe and nice and contained. <laughs> um, right, now. We've got here Fuchsia Unplaxed Sewing Machine Carry Slash Storage Bag. Um, again, see the dimensions on your screen there. Now, normally £24.99. But what I like about this, have we got a sewing machine, I suppose? He's a good lad. Thanks so much, Cam. Love the team here. Love the team here. Big up backstage. Big up, Cam. Big up, everyone. Um, now then, seriously. Oh, Tech, yeah. Tech, big up Tech as well. Nice, that, nice one, Tech. Tony in reception. Big up Tony. Everyone. Everyone. Uh, right, now then, we have got a hard case here. So, again, uh, you want something solid, don't you? You've got these little studs here. So if you've got a bit of a wet ground, it's going to help to keep it off the actual floor. But what I really like about this, so when you get your sewing machine, you don't just hoik it out of a bag, you place it in the bag, and then you wrap it up. It's like wrapping it up. Now, I think Cam's put the only machine in the world that won't fit it. I know it will. There we go. Uh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Do you know what? Um, oh, hello. Right. Yes. It's even going to do... The hard case. I like it. So there you go. Zip on the side there. Zip on the other side. So they meet in the middle. And there you go. That is your carry case. Now, obviously, if you ever transport it around, hang a minute. Hang a minute. £40.99. Okay, so look after your machine. How much was your machine? How much, therefore, are you willing to give a little bit of protection for it? £14.99. Now, look, uh, 011944, that's £14.99. You know when you buy something and some people try and, you know, they sell you an insurance thing or anything? I'm not saying don't do it or do not do it, but sometimes I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit sceptical on that sometimes, but in terms of protection with this, something physical that I've got to own to actually protect a machine that costs me quite a lot of money, I think that's really worthwhile. £14.30. £14.30. Uh, now, do you know what? This. Is there? Apparently there's a spider on the pot. Where's the spider? There's a spider, are you sure? <laughs> oh, Callum, get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Where is it? Where is it, Callum? It's a massive spider. Is that from this country? I don't think that's from this country. It's got a face! It's got a face, this spider! It's got a face! Oh, is it alright? Oh, Lou! Oh. oh, it's a beast! Look! Can we place it outside? Oh, he's, he's fast. Oh, dear, it's a big spider. Oh, it jumps. <laughs> Where are you going to go? Don't, no, don't do that. <laughs> right. Sorry, folks. Right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Oh, dear. Thanks, Lou. Thanks, Lou. Ah, I actually quite like spiders. Right, anyway, look, so machines. So, normally... £24.99, but now it's £14.07. I'm only joking, we're only acting. Uh, right, now there you go. So, I am acting, that was acting. I'm not really scared, I'm not really scared. I'm not really scared. Sorry? Right, now, uh, 12 left now, 12 left, so £12.50. <laughs> Did that actually just happen? Uh, right, now there you go. Now, with a sewing machine, with bags, sometimes you've got to hoik them up, but with this one, you've actually got to unwrap it, which is easy access, easy to get it in, easy to get it out. So very, very straightforward. You have got a solid case. You've got studs underneath there as well, so it's very, very straightforward. Uh, right, now, um, that, seriously, I had a face. It was a large spider. Right, nine left. Nine left. There we go. Are you ready? 
plummeting to now. Right, £11.99. Guys, this is a good deal. 011944. I've got nine left now. Nine to go. Eight left. Have you got a sewing machine? How much did your sewing machine actually cost you in the first place? How much was it? How much are you willing to spend for a little bit of protection for it? 11.99. That's a good deal. Now, it could help keep the rain off if you're taking it into your house, into the boot of your car. It might simply be to store in that cupboard under the stairs. It could be for that. It could be for that. You're right. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> two zips on the side, two carry handles, and if you'll notice there, the handles go all the way down the side and all the way underneath. Right. Uh, three to go. Three left. Two left. Zero one one nine four four. Are you ready? One left now. It's the next person to get this. Uh, Lynn, you got us one. Lynn, thanks very much. What did you got the last one? Right then, everyone pays for the price eleven pounds ninety nine. Uh, right now then, um, we have got a lot more coming up. So we've had uh, we've had CD ROMs, we've had uh, we've had a spider, uh, we've had um, a sewing machine, and we've got some beautiful fabrics for you. Uh, right then, uh, I was acting about that. I was acting. I'm in a silly mood today. Uh, I was. No, I, I listen. Going get a spider, I hold it in my hands. I held a tarantula once at a long week safari park. I did hold a tarantula at Long Leap Safari Park. And, uh, other safari parks are available. This is a very good one. This is thanks, John. Uh, how are you, John? John's coming up. Did you mean John coming up at nine o'clock? Looking forward to that. Um, right now, then, uh, John next door, nine o'clock. You don't want to be anywhere else. Okay, now then. Perfect occasion, set of two, 100% cotton fabric, spotty dotty collection. Uh, again, so each one's one metre each. Now, I've got to say, this is very, very smart. Okay, are you ready? That's very, very smart. Now, you've got dotted designs right here. You have got black, you have got red, and they do match, of course, indeed. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, now, again, if you do want to use these for brush and soft furnishings, ideal. But uh, 588003, £20 for both meters. Now, I've got £10 a meter, 100% cotton. You know what? That's all right. That's a fair price, I'd say. You know, at the start of price, it's always a fair price. You know, you'll see this on our website, whochanter.com. But what ideas have you got for this? Are you going to make um, dresses for this? Somebody just said a dog bed. Why you could do? Why not? Why not? Right, clothing. I think clothing is really cool. Right. £14.95. Now, it should be £20. We're saving just over a five for now. Uh, a tie. A tie. You can use a tie. Yeah, you can use a tie. Uh, right, now then. You can wear it. You can make a tie out of this. Yeah, why not? Why not? I think lining for a bag, you know, sis, you know, sometimes fabric is a little bit too nice for a lining, but for this one, I think it'd be perfect. It'd be absolutely gorgeous. Again, uh, 588003. £14.82. £40.82, £14.69. It should be £20, but now £40.56. OK, so they're going to match up absolutely perfectly. You've got the dots there. You're going to tell the same story. So if you want a bit of contrast, you've got that. It could be a reversible bag, reversible cushions. It could be smart, isn't it? Joel, let's actually show you just how large this is. Yeah, I think the lining of a jacket's going to be really nice, isn't it? Lining of a jacket. Right, get ready for this bit. Hang on a sec. That is a large piece. So one metre by 105 centimetres. So by perfect occasions, again, it's 100% cotton. 588003. Right. £14.43. It should be £20. Uh, we've had a sewing machine, we've had fabric, we've got lots more on today's show. You're going to like the next one, by the way. Uh, 14 left. We've got 14. So just have a look. Facebook is that why? Um, let me know on Facebook. What would you use these for? What ideas have you got in mind for this particular set? What ideas have you got in mind? So, uh, 12. We've got 12 left. £20. £14.43. No, we're going to plummet that price for you. We're going to plummet the price. Are you ready? Right, Jan really likes these. Jan, thanks so much. They're quite, they're quite cool, aren't they? Really cool fabrics. So again, so half price, five pounds for a meter. I cannot stress that enough. That's good value for much. How much would you normally pay for a meter? One hundred percent cotton. Five pounds a meter. This is good value. I can imagine a dress. You might be making a dress for your daughter here. 
Why not? Could we, I, th I do think lining for a bag is going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, ten left. I've got nine left. Now, you're liking this. Only got nine left now. We're down to single figures. Uh, Heather said you make a cravat. I like it. This is, it, honestly, it's lovely to wear. It's quite nice and floaty. Not too heavy, not too light. That's absolutely ideal for clothing. Right. I think reversible bags. Perfect. Beautiful designs. Ten left. Sorry, ten pounds, six left. What am I talking about? Six left now. Okay. If you're in America, you'll, well, you'll be up late. Uh, but, uh, in fact, would you be up late? Yeah, it's probably about uh, 20 past 12. 20 past 12 West, Co uh, West Coast. Oh, no, the clock. Oh, anyway, I read, I'd imagine it's 20, nearly 20 past midnight if you're in West Coast. That's what I'm assuming, yeah. Uh, and then uh, just after 3 a.m. 3 in uh, East Coast, I think so. Uh, right, two left. Oh, it's America last season. Um, right, uh, two left, one left. Ten pounds, one left. Five, eight, eight, zero, zero, three. And guys, it's got, you got the last one. Well done, thanks very much indeed. Nice Stephanie got the last one. Right then. £10, you all pay the final low price. Guys, thank you very much. Right, now then, we have got a big, big deal now. Okay, we've got some beautiful, beautiful card for you. Now, okay, this. We've got some lovely mirror card. Now, this is a set of A4 silver foil lined mirror card. Now, 350 JSM. This is 50 sheets in total, okay? Right, now you ready? It's a, it's a thick piece of card, though, isn't it? Look at that. That is... Right, can I find John? No, I can't. It's not that reflective. No, I can't. No, mind John, we can't see you. But we'll see John later on today. Uh, right, £25, okay? That is the start price. 50 sheets. So it's single-sided. 50 sheets in total, £25. Guys, this is a very, very, very good deal, I was going to say. Uh, June is already in for this. So, £25 for 50 sheets. You've got the quantity, you've got the quality, it feels lovely, and you've got the weight too. 350 GSM, okay? If you're making boxes, if you're making you want rigid cars stand up right, properly upright, this is the one to get. This is the one to get. Okay, right, 25 Right, I'm promising that price for you. You're not paying £25, what can we do for you? Ten pounds, right? We're over half price. Ten pound, ten pound. Uh, there we go. Three five three, uh, five three five, even five three five uh, zero seven six. <laughs> oh dear! Right, fifteen pounds off. Fifteen pounds off, folks. So if you'd buy this early on today, you would have paid twenty five pounds. But now, go for doing this auction. Go for that item number. You're going to get it for ten pounds. That is fifty sheets. That is fifty sheets, folks. Right, so I'm going to look at this. That is very smart. Do you got 20 pence a sheet? 20p a sheet. Uh, that is thick card, I've got to say, folks. Now, you might have your alcohol pens. You might have your alcohol inks on there, perhaps, instead. That's going to be beautiful. Uh, 10 pounds. 535-0876. Now, uh, oh, Sharon's just got one as well. Sharon's got yours. Thank you very much, Sharon. And if you'd like to get yours, though, do come in now. We're about to move on. When you show the quantity left on your screen, it's a gentle warning to suggest we're going to be moving on shortly. Very, very reflective. But you know these alcohol inks, one of the pipettes, it's going to be beautiful. Uh, Single-sided. <coughs> beautiful quality mirror card. Right, we've actually gone low. OK, so that's 50 sheets for £8.50. 50 sheets. That's 17 pence per sheet. 17 pence per sheet. Uh, there we go. Uh, £8.50. Right, now, uh, let's see what we've got left. Quantity left. Uh, 20. 20 left now. 535-076. Uh, the spider's fine, by the way. If we've had some concern about that, uh, Lou's kindly put it outside. Uh, 19 left. £8.50. Great deal. Right. 18 to go. 17. 16 left. Right, uh, there's some people here, some people have bought this who are not Freedom members, by the way. And um, if you're not a Freedom member, you can't become one. You pay £6.97. That means all your PMP is capped at that price per month. So basically, if you're buying more than one item for more than one auction, uh, it's still better value to become a Freedom member, even if you don't buy anything else in the month. If you've got it, then you've got it. So, 14 left. £8.50. 14 left. 
535076. Uh, I've just heard Leone. I've just heard Leone through three walls, through a microphone system, and then into my ear. Uh, give us a wave, Leone. There she is. Thought you'd pop in. Uh, there we go. Uh, lovely set there. £8.50 for 50 sheets. <laughs> Do you love it? You know, you know what? You know when you look forward to coming to work, it's a lovely thing to have, isn't it? We look forward to coming here. It's lovely. We're, we're a family, aren't we, Cal? We're a big family here, each other. Yeah, go on. Go on. Give me, give me a fist pump. There we are. There we are. Right, now then. 11 left. 10 to go. £8.50. Dan single figures now. Uh, there's a lot of cars up here, folks. That's 50 sheets for £8.50. That's 50 sheets, £8.50, 535076. If you like it, we're doomed to move on soon. This is going to be a busy one. Uh, it, it, waits, it waits a fair amount. 350 GSM. 350 GSM. Very, very reflective. Two left. One to go. I'll go for this. Right then. Jacqueline got the last one. Jacqueline, thanks very much indeed. Price lock. Everyone pays final low price. Uh, well, look at that. £8.50. That's a good deal. You pay £8.50. Um, right then. Me and our Poodle had some Zutter on yesterday's show. Very, very popular indeed. We know how much you absolutely love Zutter. Now, uh, you've got a big piece here. Now, all I'm going to say, when it's Zutter, folks, add it to your basket and, and get them checked out, honestly, uh, because with Zutter, they fly up. So this is the Zutter album making kit. Faux wood covers, cream pages, page protectors and more. So basically, 115 pieces in total now. Right, now I want to show you the wood bits. This is the faux wood. These are really cool, aren't they? Now, you know someone who's travelling. It's going to be absolutely ideal. Uh, otherwise, when I went to America, actually, as well. Like the week, uh, week uh, 66. Right, now then, you can see beautiful maps there. Now, uh, I went to New York last year. I uh, didn't do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I mentioned this before. Uh, they, they, they wind me up sometimes because I talk about America an awful lot. But in my defence, it was my first holiday in about eight years. Thanks very much. <clears throat> I'm allowed to. Uh, right, now, that is a beautiful cover. If you're doing your art journal, scrapbook pages, that's going to be absolutely perfect. Right, now then, you've got pages here as well. Lots of pages, lots of cream pages. Cream pages. You've also got clear acrylic covers here. Now, oh, do you know what's satisfying about this? You know when you peel off the protective, like, shall I do it? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. I won't do the whole thing. I've got another, I know, it's nice. It's satisfying, that, isn't it? It's really, I love doing that. Like when you buy a phone or something. Oh, that's nice. I've ruined it, I think, haven't I? No, it's all right. It's okay. Right, so then you've got one pair of acrylic, uh, and then you've got... <laughs> more black pages there. And you have got pre-punched page protectors. So, this is uh, a little way to get organised. Well, if you've got some stamped images there, if you've got some patterns, um, if you're sewing projects, put them inside there. But if you're mixed media pieces, absolutely perfect. Right, look at that. Lovely bit of inspiration for you right there on the cover. OK. £14.99. We are way over half price, guys. It should be. £37.91, but now it's £14.99. Right, that's 746283. 746-283, £40.99. Right, that's 13 pence per piece. That obviously includes the pages and uh, all the other, other bits you're getting as well. Uh, but I've got to say, this faux wood covers are beautiful. Now, with the acrylic, we're going to use... What are you going to do on these? You know, uh, there's going to be a beautiful foundation to put some alcohol inks on, some alcohol pens. You want to stencil onto these? Who knows? Right, quantity left, 22. 22 left, £14.99. That's 746283. Are you ready for this? We've got lots more to do. Lots more to get through, folks. 21 now. So for your mixed media pieces, for your... I am assuming. Let's have a look at these actual sheets here. This is very nice. Cream pieces of paper. Well, it's lovely paper. It's got between paper and card. I would still call it paper. It's got lovely pages there. There's going to be an interactive photo album we've got. 50 sheets of cream and 50 of the black as well. Now, the black, obviously, you might want to use them for projects, you might want to use them separately, but for your mats and layers, it's going to be perfect. If you've got, like, mica powders and so on, you've got mica, it's going to really make it pop. 
So, you've got that hard cover, you've got the acrylic covers there. If you choose, you might even use them just for uh, mixed media base. I haven't got to use them, use them for covers at all. Uh, they are 8x8 inside, they're by 8 8x8 eight, eight eight inches, and you've got your 8x8 eight eight pre punched page protectors there too. So, there you go. 40 miles 99, 12 left. 746283. It's quite exciting. It's quite an exciting time because with Zutter, um, if you've got an idea now, you may do, you might not. But who knows what this is going to become? You don't know what this is actually going to become. It's a very, very exciting moment. Right. Okay. £37.91. Right. We now plummeted that to £14.40. £40.40. Again, uh, that's way over half price. We've got 11 left. We've got 10 left. Nine left. Eight left. Seven left now, seven, four, six, two, eight, three. We've got, we got six left. Uh, again, uh, we've done well into single figures now. Uh, you've got your faux uh, wood covers with window. In fact, the window here, let's have a little look at this. In fact, these little bits pop out there as well. Oh, hello. Oh, it does, doesn't it? It well and truly pops out. Oh, I've ruined that now, haven't I? Uh, so there you go. Now, these are beautiful. You've got little foiled edges there. Or no glossy accents, I mean, sorry. And uh, again, a little travel log. So it's going to be a little journal, travelling journal. Maybe your other half's come back from travelling, your son daughter's come back from a bit of travelling, gap years and so on. A lovely way to make a cover just to record those memories, record those photographs. OK, one left. £40.40. £40. One left. Uh, Iris, you got last one. Iris, got last one. Iris, well done. You got it. Thanks very much. Everyone pays final low price at fourteen pounds forty. Uh, guys, this is a good deal. This is a good, 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 good deal. Now, we have got more coming up today. If you love sewing, if you love mixed media, if you love paper crafting, we've got an awful lot more coming up during this hour. How many time? Nearly half an hour in already. Right, you know what? we've got lots more to go through. We've got lots more. Uh, right then, we have got all of these colours right here. Now then, you have got some beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful foil pages. They are beautiful. Right. Fifty pounds for fifty sheets. I gotta say a pound a sheet when I get that. I'd be I'd look at it, I'd look at it. It'd have to be really good for me to get it. But what I'm gonna say is for your inserts, absolutely ideal. Now, it's not just the colours, it's the actual finish there. This is a linen finish. This is a pastel pearl papers. So then, assorted colours, again, you're getting 50 in total. Like a little, almost like a little gunmetal colour there. This is smart. Oh, right, okay, look at that. It's like an ivory, but are you ready for this? It's like an ice golden glow. Very, very smart. That is very pretty. Now, you know, sometimes you see papers, you think, oh, it's too nice to use them for the insert, but I think inserts are so important. This is absolutely ideal to stock up on those papers for your insert. Uh, it's like lining to a box for me, an insert. It adds a sense of value. It really, really does for me. So there you go. You've got a variety of colour. You've got spring colours. You've got so many colours. You've got something fresh. You've got something really nice and warming and traditional for wedding cards, perhaps. Something a little bit cooler and more modern, a little bit more contemporary. For younger age group, who knows? Right, £35, that's £15 off the start price. It should be £50. £15 off. It's 565-681. Now, that's 17 pence per... Is that what it is? 70. 70 pence per sheet. 70 pence. Now, do you know what? I think we could do better than that. 70 pence a sheet. £35. I think we can do. OK. £50. Right. Are you ready for this? Now, price plummet, 70p. Good, we're getting there. Right, there we go. Here we go. £17. £17. Pound. £17. Pound. Uh, again, a pen. £20. Uh, right, 50 sheets, £17. These need to go. Again, 565681. These, oh, you're liking these now. You're liking these. Do dial the number. The call centre is literally just upstairs. But if you can, go on that website, hochance.com. Fastest way to order. It's the fastest way. Cues on the phones. By the way, join me at a Monday at 7 a.m. We've got something a little bit different for you. We've got a new style show, first time ever on Hochanda. That's Monday coming up, so next week at 7 a.m. Looking forward to that. Right, uh, 18. Got 18 left. Good morning, Hochanda. I like it. That's what it's called. It? Good morning, Hochanda. Lovely. Join me for a cup of coffee. Join me for a cup of tea. Right, now then, £16.83. Now at price. We dropped it down. 
17 left now. Don't, bear in mind, we broadcast well, anywhere, really, anywhere internet connection. We ship to Europe, UK, America. I've only got 17 left to go around. £9.99, you're saving over £40. £40 and a penny. £40? It's a lot. You're saving £40. It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. 16 left. Now, again, it's not just the colours here. These. I'm going to show you a dark one because I think it might be easier for you to see the actual linen effect here. Right, are you ready for that? That is beautiful. It looks really, really, really smart. So linen effect. 15 left. £9.99. 50 sheets in total. Do you know when you get lost into a colour? You've got a lovely, almost like a pearlescent finish to these. Right, I'd, I'd call it a pewter. Is it pewter? I'd call it a nice, I'd call it a nice warming kind of pewter. Uh, right, or is it gunmetal? So it's similar to that. I'd, I'd, I'd go for a nice pewter. Uh, 13 left. £8.99. We got cream there, so you got something for uh, a younger age group, perhaps. You got something for weddings, absolutely ideal. Uh, the ones you get won't be creased, by the way, so uh, it'll be nice and smart. Uh, but again, we've got orange pieces here, so again, this is going to be for summery colours here. Summery weddings, summery birthdays. You got sky blue, summery sky blues. Gorgeous, aren't they? Gorgeous. Uh, but again, the pearlescent finish here, the shine, is really, really quite divine. So then, six left. Five left. £8.99. It should be £50. So normally, £1 a sheet is what you always expect to pay. Uh, but now, £8.99. Two left now. If you like it, I'd grab it. We're going to miss out. People are going to miss out on these. It's the lowest price this has ever been. I've got one left. Jacqueline, th Jacqueline's back in as well. Jacqueline got the last one. Well done. Price lock. Right, now then, we have got a lot more to go through. We have got lots of good deals. Uh, right, now then, we have got uh, some beautiful dyes now. Kaisercraft. We have got a modern doily. <laughs> so then, £21.99 is the start price. <laughs> now then. So I look at the dyes here. Oh, so I said dyes, I meant dye. Right, it's one big dye we've got here. Now, what I like about Cars Crafts, we got a magnetic sheet there, so you can keep it nice and safe in the storage. Right, now then, I've seen, I've seen a lot of doily dyes, but that is beautiful. Now again, this could be the most dramatic background, the most dramatic top of your cards. Use this as a mixed media tool. Imagine getting this on a card, spritzing through it. Imagine inking through it, getting your texture pace. Again, if you watch any Pete Hughes, Hughes shows, um, how that guy makes a die cut into a mixed media tool is a wonderful thing to witness. It's a lovely thing to see. Right, £21.99. 965232. Sorry, 323. I can't, I can't talk today. I can't talk today, can I? Right then. Now then. If you were to buy this earlier on, honestly, honestly, you would have paid. £21.99. But now we're dropping that price. £15. £15. Okay, that's the price you're paying now. Uh, you're saving a lot of money here, folks. You're saving uh, £6.99. So you're six ninety nine here. It's a good deal. Uh, right, that could be two lattes. That could be two coffees in a service station, couldn't it? It could. It would be. Yeah, oh yeah, you pay... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe you might have some change left for a blueberry muffin. Depending where you go. Uh, but put it this way, it's a good saving, £15. Uh, right then, seriously, if you want to get a dolly die, ideal. Perhaps you're into your vintage kind of cards there. Perhaps you have some vintage papers. You want to, uh, you, know, you might have a powerful machine to cut some material out of this. Paper crafting die, but some machines uh, are very, very powerful indeed. You can use them to cut other materials also. £14.08, that's all I've got left. That's all I've got, that's, all, that's the price we've got. We haven't got many of these to go around. Right. We're just under that £14 now. You're paying less than 14 If you like it, I'd grab it. It's Kaiser Craft. So, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what we've got here. So, we've got Kaiser Craft. We've got the brand. Okay. You've got the quality. And you've now got the price now. 
Ten pounds. Uh, you're saving eleven pounds ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine saving. That's a good deal, folks. Ten pounds for a die you can use to make and sell if it's something you've actually handmade. But again, with doilies, this is this isn't a uh, doily's not necessarily old fashioned. Doilies sometimes I think retro, which makes me think cool for a lot of guys, a lot of people. Now, sixteen sixteen left. Ten pounds, fifteen to go now. 965-323. Right, uh, you're liking this. Sandra's coming in now as well. We've got people buying this, people watching this from all over the place. Uh, lots of people have got theirs. If you want to get yours, you need to be fast now. I've only got 11. I've only got 11 to go around. Uh, this might not ever be back on Ho Chanda. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. Right. 10 to go. £21.99. But now, no one's gone. We are now... Eight, eight left. Seven left now. Uh, people are concerned about the picture. The picture's nice and safe, thanks very much. There we go. Nice and safe. We're worried about the picture. It's Matthew Palmer original. It's a beautiful picture. Right, uh, I'm a huge fan of what's going on. About a big thing this year. Right, five left now. Uh, Ten pounds. By the way, don't go anywhere. John Lockwood and I will be joining you in about an hour and 20 minutes, just over. So basically, nine o'clock. John Lockman and I, honestly, we're going to have some good bands. Love that guy. Uh, by the way, also coming up in about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, Lou and Leone, they've got something beautiful. Uh, Lou's got some amazing inks for you. I haven't seen this before. I'm looking across the studio now. It's looking beautiful. You do not want to miss the next show. Uh, Lou advertised it on a Facebook Live early on, so if you follow Lou, you'll be able to see it. But John Lockman and I coming up at nine. But guys, back to this guy's graph. Well done. Nice lock. So you'll pay final low price. Right, £10. You all pay final price £10. Right, now, I'm making this my star buy, OK? This is my star buy. You know what? I just love books full of ideas, you know? I really do, because this is such good value. OK, now, uh, there's knitting books. Uh, Meerkats, why not? we got Babes in the Wool. And we got Knit Me, Dress Me, and uh, Love Me. That's what I want. That's what I want. Knit Me, Dress Me, and Love Me. That's all I ask for in life, but it doesn't seem to happen. Uh, anyway, look, we've got... It's getting a bit weird. I'll start by. Right, now then. I'll go for this one. Let's, well, I'm going to say babes in the wall to the end. Let's go for this one. We've got Knit Me, Dress Me, Love Me right now. I'm going to get this my star by because you've got so many, uh, so, so many projects here. You really have. Right, now then. Let's have a look what we got. Okay, so it's going to be that next Sunday afternoon when it's raining. You've got some yarn. What else do we do with this? What's your first project going to be? Now, for thirty-one pounds ninety-seven to get all of this inspiration, all these ideas. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good inspiration. If you ever manage to get through all of these projects, you're going to be a very, very knowledgeable crafter in this field. I like that. A little tank top, like it. There we go, got Mary Chains. I like it. These are cool. Trousers and shorts. <laughs> Very nice, isn't it? Uh, on the beach, there we go. Very nice. Is that a panda on a beach? Never thought I'd say that. A panda, I'm just sunbathed. These are cool, though. These are charming. These are so cute. This could be a little charm for somebody. This could, be, this could become your child's favourite toy. Who knows? Handbags, flip-flops. Oh, this is lovely. Picnic time. Now you're talking. Look, I've still got all these pages to go. Look at all these. There's loads. Right. That is really cool. That's a charming set there. Now, again, £31.97 for all three books. You have got so many projects with these. Another one by Sue Stratford. By the way, should you get £10 off? Should we do that? Should you get £5? Should you get £10? So we, oh, it is. It's £10 off. <laughs> uh, £21.97. So already £10 off. Honestly, I haven't shown anything yet. Wait till you see the meerkat one. This is impressive. Uh, now, £21.97. So there you go. Uh, 266 uh, 349. Now, the meerkat is beautiful. Let's have a look at this one. May, may, I, may I lift this up? Right, here we go. Now then. Right. Got a nice little bit of information about Sue there as well. She's the designer. Seriously, Sue has worked very hard indeed. Uh, right, now there you go. You've got, uh, you've got uh, Santa Paul's Meerkat Clan, Bollywood, 
Mere punk, musical meerkat. Uh, do you know what? You know that advert? We know the advert, don't we? Uh, honestly, meerkats are cute. I absolutely lo love them. My, one of my oldest friends, Chris, does a great meerkat impression. I'll try and replicate it for you. Uh, the mere punk. We have got musical meerkat. I like this. I like that bit of a. That's like an acoustic meerkat. Uh, these are brilliant. Oh, these are just good fun, aren't they? These are really good. A wedding, a, a wedding meerkat. I like it. Uh, right, seriously, you're buying them. You're liking them. You're liking this price too. I've got to say, it might go a bit lower. Who knows? But if you're happy with that value, if it does drop any lower after you've checked, that's going to be a bonus for you. Right now, then, are you ready for this? Right, are you ready for this one? Oof, oh dear, is this safe for telly? Is this safe for telly? Right here. Uh, babes in the wool. Are you ready for this? Right then. Now, should I have a little look here? Oh my word. Oh my. These are really cool. Joe, this could be something for uh, son, daughter perhaps. Very, very smart. There we go, beautiful. Uh, I'm pretty sure I see Yannis do a pose like that. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, they've got little bikinis on there. These are absolutely ideal. These are beautiful. I reckon Leone would like this one as well. These are cool. Babes in the wool. These are gorgeous. These are pretty. Again, uh, you can personalise and make them your own. What do you think of these, Leone? Do you like them? They're nice, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they're cool. You've got babes in the wool. You can even do a knickers. Can you do a knickers? You can. You can do a socks, oh. do a hat, you can do a trouser. Oh, cool. Or baggy pants on trend. Oh, baggy tr They're cool, aren't they? Flares are on trend. You could do flares, mm. but you can make it your own, can't you? Oh, yeah, what yeah. do you think of all these three books for £18.49? That's a bargain. It's a bargain, it's a bargain isn't it? It's an absolute I love bargain. A good book. We, lo we love a good book. Oh, now this is cool. Oh, oh, me. Look at this lady's hair. That's cool, isn't it? That's good hair. Good hair, Charlie. Good hair. Suit you, that. Would it? Yeah. I forgot about that. that yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm gonna dye. I'm gonna dye my hair for charity. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. Now the meerkat, you like? Here we go. This, right? We got prima ballerina. Very nice. We got fluffy flippers. These are really cute, aren't they? Right? Do you know what? Callum, sh shout stop. I'm gonna flick through. You shout stop, okay? Stop. Right. Oh, soccer star. I like it. All right, should we do that again? Should we do that again? Right. You must do it before I run out of page, otherwise it's going to be awkward. Stop. Oh, mere punk again. There we go. One more time. Let's start from here. Let's start from here. All right, you ready? Stop. We have got the beach babe. What's with the... What's with... Now, that is a very raunchy meerkat. Oh, my word. Stop it. No, don't look at that. You can't... No, now, come on. Chris, stop it. No, it's not, it's not safe. Right, oh... Oh dear. Right. <laughs> okay, I've got 19 left. Okay. So, for these three books, you would be paying £31.97. But now we've plummeted that price, £18.49. I haven't seen these before. I cannot promise they'll ever be back on. So, if you like your knitting, if you fancy a little bit more of a hobby, where you maybe maybe tucked up a bit at the moment, maybe you know someone Sally who's a little bit poorly at the moment, this is one of those ideal hobbies you could do with your feet rested up. You could be sociable, your kids could be watching the TV, grandkids could be around, you could be sat in the back just doing some knitting, making projects for them. Right then, hey, you're liking the punk meerkat. There we go. Uh, right, 13. 12 left, £15.99, down to the last 11, down to the last 10. Two six six. Three th oh, what are we doing? I'm doing my meerkat impression. There we go. That's my, my friend Chris did a really good meerkat. Right. They don't think they make a noise, meerkats, do they, really? Does, it, does they go like that? They go like this. No, they don't. They don't go like that. Do they? Do they really? I've never heard of it. I'll, I'll ask John Lockwood later. Uh, right, there we go. Four left. For down to the last three. How do, they, how do they go again, Chris? Two left. <laughs> oh. Is this a, cha a shopping channel or are we a natural history show now? Is this natural history or a shop? I, I, I don't know anymore. I don't know. Uh, right then, <laughs> okay. Got the last one, guys. Well done. <laughs> right then. 
that was my star buy. Guys, thank you very much indeed. Folks, if it's in your basket, don't forget to check out. Don't forget to check out. That, honestly, is very impressive, honestly. Uh, you're, getting, uh, you're getting dozens upon dozens upon dozens of projects there. Check out your baskets, folks. Um, right, now then, we've got lots more. We've got lots more. Uh, I've got just over 10 minutes on this hour. Then I'm going to take a short break. Hand you over to Leonie and Lou with us. And after that, 9 o'clock today, uh, we've got John. Uh, Tina's in the house. Morning, Tina. Morning. Morning, she says good morning. Tina's getting ready for clarity uh, from later on. Right, now then, we have got beautiful MDF. Right, now then, all I'm going to say, I'd come in early. I haven't seen these before. These are brand new today. Now, sometimes, regular viewers will know, we have some items repeated on Craft Price Store, but not always, okay? It might be my con, I just can't promise anything, okay? So, these are ideal for your walls, for your kitchen. Uh, they slot inside there if you want to. We don't really need this one. Uh, they are very impressive. Now then, are you going to get something like, I know, you remember that unicorn spit that Leonie had on? That's going to be beautiful. Is it going to be uh, alcoholic? So you're going to use Jesse, you're going to use paints. Right, that's cool. Now, some of them have shapes. Um, some are traditional. Some are for, uh, personally, I would say for certain tastes. This is just really cool. Choose happiness. Live, laugh, love. Choose happiness. No, choose. That, that might... £24 at 47 Right, now then. <laughs> 616786. Are you ready for this? We're going to plumb that price point. That is two massive MDF words, folk. Uh, not £12.24. It should be £24.47. Um, did I say it's going to fit a card? Oh, people say it's not going to fit a card. No, it's definitely not going to fit a card, folks. Um, uh, this is going to be a it's going to be a lovely gift, though. Uh, seriously, I just want these. Uh, this is really quite modern. Uh, I would make them. You can have like really bright pa paints, like sort of like neon light kind of effects there. But are you going to use texture paste on here? Are you going to use decoupage? Are you going to spray paint these? I think a spray paint is going to be an easy one, isn't it? So they arrive in. Uh, but you're getting two sets here, two pairs. They arrive separate like this. So you can decorate the base. You can slot it in first. Either Either or. So the quality laid the um, MDF, I would say that's about a centimetre. Yeah, I'd say that, to me, that looks a centimetre in width. So folks, this is substantial MDF here. Medium density fibre board, in case you're wondering. Uh, right, now then. <laughs> uh, 12 past 24, Choose Happiness. It reminds me of a film, you know, Choose Life, Choose the Animals. I, mean, I think that's going to be really, really cool. <laughs> right, it's a price plummet. Are you ready? <laughs> Nine pounds ninety nine, uh, guys. This is a good deal. I can't believe we are busy on the phone. Thanks so much. This has been a busy price drop. It's been a, it's been a roller coaster. This price this price drop, but it's been a busy one. It's been quite odd at times, I must say. But uh, it's been a very busy one. Uh, we're less than twenty. Less than twenty. Seventeen pounds. Sixteen left. Fifteen left. This is going to be my last morning price stop for the time being, as far as I'm aware. But you know what? Don't be sad because um, we've got something very exciting coming up on Monday. Okay, we're very excited about this. We're going to be doing craft price stops every now and again because I know lots of people love it. But we think you're going to love what we've got for you on Monday morning. Join me. I'm doing the very first one. Join me at Monday morning, 7 a.m. Join me for a cup of coffee. Join me for a cup of tea in the morning. Good morning, Ho Chanda. We've got a deal of the day. We've got some very special deals. But basically, we're going to have a nice, gentle morning chat. That's what we're going to do. Nice morning chat. Talk about everything in craft. Okay, three left. £9.99. Now, it should be £24.47, but now £9.99. Uh, we're down to the last three. The last three. It's 616-786. Okay, are you ready for this? We're going to drop it now. We need to drop that price. Two, two left. No, do you know what? We can't, actually. We can't drop the price. It's good. We're going to fix it there. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we're going to have to fix it there. <laughs> £9.99. Uh, there we go. One left. We're going to lock it there, folks. Uh, you got the last one, guys. Thank you very much. Well done, indeed. Price lock. Uh, right, now then. It all pays finally the price £9.98. Now, we've got just over seven minutes left on this hour. We have got an awful lot. 
Uh, right, now then. Uh, okay, we've got lots of options here. Now, Heather's watching... Uh, sorry, Heather's watching. Thank you very much, he uh, uh, Heather. Heather's asking, what's the difference between the deal of the day and the one-day special? Uh, basically, a, a one-day special goes on for 24 hours, okay, or while stocks last. Uh, but they get plenty of shows to show it on, okay? But the deal of the day, we show it once, all right? Now, as far as I'm aware, it's still going to last for 24 hours of promotion, but we're not going to have enough time to show it once. So basically, make sure you tune in 7 a.m. to see and find out all about the deal of the day. And uh, for the rest of the day, you can decide if you buy it or not. But really, it is while stocks last, okay? Basically, anything when it's a limited time off on Hochanda, if you like it, I'd grab it. Because um, sometimes we can bring things back in different bundles, different prices, but if you want a Good deal. Get the limited time offers, okay? Right, now then, we've got lots more coming up here. This is actually our last auction. Right, okay. Now, basically, if you're a paper crafter, this is going to be good value. And already, this is good value because you're getting 115 pieces for £21.49. Now, honestly, if it was me, sometimes, I mean, I'll go completely honest. When I see a start price, I think, no, do you know what? I'm going to wait. I think it'd be better than that. But honestly, with this one, for what you're getting, £21.49 is a good deal now already, okay? A sort of sizes and uh, weights. Uh, okay, let's have a, let's start over here. Firstly, you've got a selection, uh, you are five pieces of craft card. That's like a proper earthy, natural looking craft card. They're all scored for you as well. So there you go, you've got your craft card. You've got some beautiful, smooth white cards. So there you go, there's your stamping sorted. Already scored for you. You have got some cream card right at the back here. You've got some cream card, uh, different size, slightly different tone. Slightly different tone, I'd say, but uh, more of a square. That looks like a six by six to me. Very smart. Right, now, you've also got... Uh, honestly, this is going to go. You're going to like this price already. Honestly, if you think that's good, just you wait. You're not gonna... Right, here we go. Right, before I talk about any more, you've even got pearlescent card here. It emits the most beautiful icy blue glow. Right, it's £15.49. I'm not just saying this. If you're a paper crafter, this is the foundation of your projects. The foundation of your projects. Again, this is what other, makes other elements look high quality. £15.49. Okay, so uh, you've got pearlescent pieces here. You have got smaller size cards. Now, that looks like a 5x5 five five to me, or is it a 4x4? Four four? I would say a 5x5. Five five. Beautiful. Uh, oh, you've also got a 4x4 four four here as well. So there you go. All you scored for you. There's your 4x4. Four four, and you've got an even smaller size. There's your gift tag size too. You have got a lot, folks. You've got a lot. That's 115 pieces. Uh, a mixture of colours. A mixture of sizes. Now, sometimes you think a colour oh, is a bit niche. How are you going to use that? None of these are niche. You're going to use these in so many different projects. The craft card, I adore. You've got so many different sizes. If it's for a big wedding card, you want something with impact. If it's a little token thank you card, you might choose one of those. If it's just to remind someone that you love them, you might go for one of the beautiful, bright, pearlescent ones. Well, look, 11 left. Um, £10.10. £10.10. £10. How much? £10. Uh, how much is it? Ten pan. It's ten pan. Ten pound ten. Ten left. Right. Twenty-one pounds forty-nine. I honestly, because it's one hundred and fifteen pieces. What's that per? Oh, I can't work it out. What's what's that per piece then? I've got nine left. Right. <laughs> Let's just work it out. Let me show you this one here. Have a look at this. You know what this works out to be if you divide it all equally. That's uh, just under nine pence. Um, I'm sorry, but 9p? I know. 9, nine pence, Lou. It, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, Lou said this is gorgeous. Lou's coming up in a few moments' time with Leone. Seriously, that is impressive. Um, 9 pence. Look at this craft card. Look, look, proper, look, look, look that proper earthy craft card as well. Just under 9 pence? Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. That's a good way. I would say that's a good 280. Personally, I can't say for sure, but I would say around 280. Uh, they're, they're all decent. Am I right? 280? Thanks very much. That's a good guess, Sam. Uh, I would say that's 280. I would say that's about 260, the pearlescent one. The pearlescent, I'd say about 260 or 240. 250. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, but, Joe, put it this way. You've got... Uh, plenty of weight here. 
every one of these pieces of card uh, is so sturdy enough to die cut and actually stand up on its own. Well, I've got one left. Ten pounds ten, guys. I would grab it. Honestly, I, I have all the ones today. I'd say I'd grab that. That's a good deal. Well done. Price lock. Everyone pays final low price, £10.10. .10. Good deal, folks. Now, don't forget to add your post and packaging of £4.95. But like I mentioned earlier, folks, if you're going to be buying more than one item for more than one auction, so two lots of PMP, rather than paying £4.95 uh, twice, pay £6.97 once. That's your Freedom Membership, OK? Now, Freedom Membership is something we've offered pretty much from day one here at Ho-Chanda. We've got thousands of viewers, uh, thousands of members, sorry, and uh, this is unlimited standard delivery. That's the big one for me. That's why it's right at the top. Unlimited standard delivery, okay? Exclusive member discounts, members back, very nice, and a letter, £6.97. But are you watching from Malta? Are you watching from the Netherlands? Are you watching from Finland? Where are you watching from? Uh, €14.97. Or are you watching from America? I went there last year. Uh, $19.99. Unlimited standard delivery, wherever you're watching us from. It's been an interesting show. It's been a busy one, though. Thanks very much for coming, guys. Always a pleasure. I'll see you back now. It's time with John Lockwood. Take care. Bye-bye. So yes, John and I in about an hour's time, but do not go anywhere. Ink it up with Lou. We know you're looking forward to this. Lou is joining Leone in about three minutes' time. We'll see you live after the break. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Made from 100% recycled material, these 30 sheets of A4 grey board are a must-have for every crafter. At 2mm thick, this high quality grey board is strong and incredibly versatile, working well with a variety of different paints, inks and other mediums. Add this to your crafty stash at hochanda.com. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hello. And welcome. I am so looking forward to this show. Me and our fantastic Lou have got some beautiful inks. These are sensational. Artist quality, beautiful, vibrant colours. I mean, look at that. That is a tiny drop of ink on watercolour card. Got your stamp, so it's been embossed, it's acting as a resist. But look at the colour. The vibrancy is incredible. Um, we have got a beautiful collection. I want them all. 
I want these so badly. Um, the amount of things that we're going to see our Lou demonstrate within um, the few hours that we have for today, um, definitely tune into all the shows. Make sure you don't miss anything um, with our fantastic Lou and the wonderful Dr. Phil. <laughs> I nearly did it. Yeah. That's Phil Martin. Yeah. Nearly did it, Lou. <laughs> nearly did it. Nearly did it. Ah, Lou. Ah, Lou, come on over. Stop playing, kid. Stop playing. Stop playing. Because oh. that was the thing, isn't it? We're not on with Phil Martin. No, we're not. No, it's, it's not. It, unless he's become it's a doctor. It's Dr. P.H. Martin. P.H. Now, now, tell us about these. For starters, when you look at these, oh. you've got a choice, OK? Yes. So it's not, it's not um, 7495 for the lot. No. It's a choice, OK? Otherwise, I won't be here. I'd be getting all of these, right? Because yes. that would be ridiculous. It is a choice now tell me about these because that the color that you've just done the vibrancy looked sensational well i was a bit slow because i wanted it to be a bit more of a wow but it's absolutely packed full of color and it's a concentrated watercolor it's not yeah. like a, um a really sort of you need tons of it that's why you've only got a little bottle these yeah. are not really in the craft world these are more mm. in in the art world so yeah. your ranger artists or your marvel animators they use these colors because yeah. they, they're actually well the, the ph neutral so they're good for all your work and they'd sit on top of colours and layer and right. they're just absolutely stunning colours. I, I really want to get my hands on these. They're really these. absolutely beautiful and I mentioned sometimes that I know I've brought other things and people said but oh you keep bringing us stuff but everything I've brought you is really different. Yeah yeah yeah. I know I've brought you watercolours but these are not like the others yeah so yeah. that's you know people say well are they different yeah. yeah yeah so the way you use them so you can still do your same techniques oh God, yeah. but but because of the the concentration mm -hmm. of colour does it mean you can you use them for a lot of different techniques so we get different results absolutely i've you i've not found anything that i can't use them on the brilliant on leather right because really. they go straight through but you do you can use them with your gels they're amazing with gel medium you can mm. use them with your extenders yeah. so you can make them become um, um transparent acrylic beautiful which yeah, a lot extenders. of yeah because a lot of them lose a little bit of color but these haven't yeah yeah because they're so strong and and you saw one drop and i mean this honestly did every color swatch wow. one drop and that's a drop sorry shouldn't do this i know but that's a drop I want to show you that's a drop there that that there before it runs yeah so you can see and that before it runs that looks dark but yeah. as soon as you that'll go water, all the way around that wow, easily. Wow, wow, wow i so want to play with these right okay you've got your choices i'll move you over to color swatch yeah. to see your choices because then it makes sense so obviously um look at these the vibrancy is amazing yeah. that's set a that's your set b um, set C, so obviously you can see more green tones in that one, you've got more brown tones. And then set D, deeper brown tones, yeah. deeper yellows, more um, purples. So when you have a look, I think if I were going for them, that one is really, really seriously vibrant, isn't Beautiful, it? Lovely. Whereas like your blues are different. Yeah. The blue, So the blues, yeah, your blues are different, your greens, that one's got more of your greens. There's no copies in there. Ooh. There we go. There's no <laughs> copies in there. Everyone is numbered and different. So right. it's not like you've got the same in any of them. They're not yeah. all so different. So if you are collecting them, if you're lucky enough to be able to collect them, you would eventually build up the full range. This is the full range. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You can't get, well, I don't know that you can get any more. But um, when you think how much they are, I understand it's considered purchase, but a small bottle like that is around six pounds seven pounds yeah. i've paid and i have paid 11 quid for one wow because you can't get it here yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's postage really really so they're not easy to get, uh, to get hold of all. in the uk i saw the price before i want you to look I did a mm. facebook live and it said 113 dollars plus 25 dollars post wow wow wow, that wow that's amazing so actually if you're buying oh, from america if you're buying from America, you're part of a channel of freedom, you won't pay postage. So we still got a good deal. Brilliant if you're buying from um, yeah, Europe as well. Yeah, It's cheaper exactly. here than it is there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ah, amazing. Get um, it. Okay, get okay. It. You're saving. Today, you are saving £10 per pack. Um, let me just, can I just pinch these over? Let me yeah, show you please. some lovely things. Do you know what? I'm, I am so lucky. Look I'm, at the vibrancy of them colours. 
That is amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? A tiny drops. Tiny drops. And that background, wait till you see that little shadow in the background. Wait till oh. you see that. Oh, I cannot wait to play with these. I need these. Oh, you do? I need these again. You do? Again, it's another need. Um, so you can obviously, with these, you can do so many techniques. Oh, right, gosh. we will stop talking because we're going to get through techniques. So you've got your choice, A, B, C or D. Mm. Um, obviously, have the best ways to look at your colour swatches. That one is super vibrant. That one you can see more your greens in there. Yep. But again, that's got a vibrancy. These ones look more earthy, yeah, if one's you will, softer. don't they? And they, those pinks, I thought, oh, mm. I'll get them by just putting water. You can't. Really? You can't get that colour. I try, I don't believe that, you know, yeah, you know yeah. how tight I am. I try getting them with that diluting So it. with these, you try diluting them down to get those nope, softer pinks? Nope, don't pink. work, don't work. Right, OK. They're a different formula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colour, sorry, colour. Yeah. Um, OK, if you do want to get hold of these, you're saving £10 today. You've also got your two flexes. Um, so it works out at £37 and something pence, 48 pence. Wow. That is 571445. That's your item number. Cannot wait to see these in action. OK, we've also got for you, um, now, pick and mixers. <sighs> so with your pick and mix, this is brilliant. So if you've got favourite colours, if you see a colour and you're not sure what it looks like in real life, obviously email in. We can show you the colours. Yes. We've got them all here. Our Lou's got them all here live. So if you need to see something real, then please email in. We can do that yep. for you. We you pick and mix, you're buying five of these. So what does that work out per bottle? when you're buying five um, and you're saving four pounds right. it's working out at five pounds eighty a bottle these must be cheaper then than that they're cheaper than that then they're not five they're not six pounds no. wow that's so really the good. big bundle of 535 per bottle yeah, yeah i yeah. paid double paid i mean it's the color i wanted yeah, yeah, yeah. but i paid double yeah, no triple really we're posted good. Right, yeah, I'm annoyed with that. Which under freedom, you know, postage either. I'm um, okay, if you want to get hold of these, you're getting five of those. It's a pick and mix, so you can choose your favourites mm. there. As we say, I ca we can show you those live. So if you need to see them, you can see those live. And again, look at that. I mean, pow, that's amazing, isn't it? They've picked out the, the and I agree with the colours they've picked out. This one's by Carolyn using. Um, oh, yeah. That's using beautiful. Some, I, and she just. She, you know, you could be as gentle as you want with it and, and as bright as you want, just yeah. by watering it down. But those colours are all in this pack. Excellent. So, you so if you're them. going for the pack, then I obviously this. I love that. Because I always use a lot more yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd buy yellow. Yeah, I, me too. Me too. Yellow's my favourite. It, it just brings my favorite. all the other colours alive. Yeah, and it's just so, yeah, it's just so warm it's and bright and yeah. sunshiny. Okay, this is cool. Oh, Will you get yours? Will yeah, you get yeah. yours, Arlo? You need this. This is really, really nice. So, obviously, it comes all bound. This would be such a nice present. Oh, this is God. This is so nice. Wouldn't it be a good present for it, someone? Oh, it, Eleven ninety nine. Really? So, look, 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 look. It's a concertina book. Oh, uh, do you know the paper? Look at is it. it good, is it good quality? It feels so thick. It's like a car. Yeah. Oh, it really is. But Wait, that is so thick. And it's stamped at the front. Yeah, yeah, it's got that gorgeous that watermark at the front. It's 300 GSM, it feels heavier, I'm not going to lie. Obviously, you're going to work on both sides, yeah. aren't oh, you? Yeah, yeah, and it's such a beautiful journal way. Yes. Well, this this is ready for you to do stuff on, but you, you feel good doing it. I've put mm. some um, absorbent mount on there, ready to show you later on, and I also put some Look inks on. Colour. Oh, that way, yeah. Look at the colours. And I thought maybe we could see them, and I've got about eight pulls off that, I mean... So by pulls, you literally mean you put that on and then you put another piece of paper on yeah, and pull it off. Because it was too strong. Really? Yeah, and I put, I've got them all there to show you. Amazing. It's You'll have to really, show us that live It's so as well. easy because that's that is too strong as it was. So you do a pull. Yeah. That's fantastic. Great with your jelly plate. I was going to say, will it work on jelly plate? Literally just about to Rice say that. Rice paper. Yeah, 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 on. yeah. Oh, 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 nice paper. Be stunning. Fabulous. Oh, it OK, is. if you do want this journal, that gorgeous. is gorgeous. And you've got a freedom price. £10.79. It could be a really, really nice gift to yourself. It could be right. a lovely gift to another, you know, to one of your mates. 178702, wow. that's your item number. 
next. Now, this is another cracker. Um, so, you, you pour paper. Yeah. So, tell me about... Hold on, let me put this down so I don't knock anything over. So, with the Upo paper, I mean, this is really cool stuff. See, I know Upo paper works with things like your alcohol inks amazingly. Absolutely. Um, this is gorgeous. So, it's got a real transparency to it this as well. It's hard to get. You'll ask anybody who knows about Upo or wants it. The thicker it is, the harder it is to get. We've right. managed to get these. What's the price? No way. Is that right? $14.99 for two of them. Right. Oh. I've, this is lovely stuff. You've I've got 15 eight, sheets nine. in each one. That's absolutely beautiful. The Everything, it works and everything. And I used the the pole as a pull as well. Right, OK. So I've got to pull off that. And, go on, go on. Sure, sure, sure. But this is the last pull I've got. Okay. So this is the very last pull. So, you see, I didn't think with you pull paper. That's so, the very last see, pull. See, that looks amazing. So that was the very, very last pull. Cover? I'm so, going to put white behind it. Yeah. See, so that was the very last one. Look at that. And it's not it's not dried muddy or anything, has it? No, that's dried superb. That is beautiful. And you can do your that stock's too. already gone. See, you pull paper. Beautiful. It confuses me. Right. So I know your alcohol inks dry on it, but how come watercolours dry on it? Well, it's it's man-made, and it's made in a way that it sort of resembles uh, watercolour paper, so it actually allows you to do all the same techniques. Even though it feels almost yeah. uh, plasticky. Yeah. It's, so it feels like it's non-absorbent, doesn't it? It's been given a tooth, if you make, so that... Yeah. Your paint fills the little gaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that it sits, doesn't sit just on the top because normally it'd just swish around yeah. and it'd repel. But yeah. it's got the tooth on it so it grips anything. And then you can draw on top of that. Amazing. With your coloured pencils, even your cheap coloured pencils. Really? Yeah. So coloured pencils stay on it as yeah, well. Yeah, and pens and everything. Wow. Um, so it behaves like watercolour, but you've got the ad added advantage of uh, it not absorbing like. Um, yeah. yeah. The you, actual uh, yeah. watercolour but paper. But you can put absorbent ground on this and then it becomes a watercolour paper yeah. then. So you can get all sorts oh, of yeah. effects. Stunning. D really cool. This is so busy. If you do want this, two packs there, um, 15 sheets in each for just £14.99. 406109. Now, this is some... I'm dying to see what you do with this. Um, so, obviously charcoal powder mm -hmm. been used by artists. We were chatting about this earlier for years and years and years. Why Thank would you. why would we use this? What what makes this special for us? Right. And I mean, you're getting a mega pot. So proper charcoal, like you're yeah. getting a pencil. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, charcoal, it's willow, ground and ground down. And what it's done is, um, it's done to a very, very fine particle paint, uh, and it looks like pigment, so it's ground yeah. down to a pigment. So it behaves like a pigment. In that way, you can make it into a charcoal paint, which yeah. you can make it into um, just shade with it, dip the end of your brush yeah. in, and you can so shade with it. So you drop shadows and all that Everything. malarkey, easy as anything. You smudge it like a pencil, but then you set it with all your mediums, or you set yeah. it with water. Fantastic. It's so, so good. And then you get sanguine as well, which you don't get. The sanguine, I really want to go with this. So, yeah, I won't say sanguine, but that makes me a little bit hungry. Um, the sanguine. <laughs> now, so again, the colour. Yeah. The colour is just lovely. That. You're getting a mega pot. See, it's a mega That's going to last you a lifetime. Um, only fifth, uh, sorry, £19.45. You're saving 10 quid you on these. Yeah, you get both for that. You do get both, don't you? It's not a choice. You're getting both. Mega. And, I mean, we are talking about artist materials. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. so many artist materials are crossing into the craft world. That's why. I mean, I'm so pleased to say that because we, we used to we used to be quite snobby about art materials, but now you can use them because your work is artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And I think this is a lovely thing, isn't it? You know, using these products to add extra dimension, to add uh, extra depth to your yeah, products. Absolutely. And obviously we're learning new skills as well. Now, if you do want those two mega pots, mm -hmm. I want everything I've seen so far. Um, it is 180020. That's right, from number 1945. And then your drawing ink. Look oh, at that. Wow. So again, yeah, it's a drawing ink, but it's a walnut ink, so you're going to be able to do loads of techniques with that as well. That is going to be beautiful, isn't it? This is what they get the sepia colours with. Yeah. Um, you'll see, like, going back to um, Leonardo da Vinci, he used both these products. Yeah. He used to draw with walnut, and you get that red sepia, he'd use sanguine, and he'd use charcoal. So these have been going... Th these are real artist materials. Yeah, yeah. And I think the word artist material scares Makes people. Makes them scary. But yeah. they're not... 
You know, yeah. once you've been shown what you can do, the for yeah. everybody. And that's it. I mean, walnut, walnut. Oh. I mean, you could put that in a spritz yeah. bottle. <gasps> you know, stunning. make some incredible backgrounds. Stunning. So much you're going to be able to do with that. Only nine ninety nine air five. Definitely worth getting hold of that. One three two two seven four. Last but by no means least, oh. this is what you were talking about. Yep. To to make anything into a watercolor paper. Yeah. It, this well, acts. give it that that kind of. Of reaction. Yeah, it does. It, you can put this on anything to get the same feel and look as a watercolor paper. Right. Um, you can put it on watercolor paper, and you get a different color, a different look. Yeah, yeah. So this is real, really, really, real. And it's one of them really clever, but you can't always get it. I know I was told about I've never it seen once. It before. Um, Sorry, I'm going to open it because I want to see the, how thick it is. By Tracy Scott once introduced me ah. to it, and she showed me the, the the merits of it. And since then, I've been hooked. I, d I really need this as well. Well, it's, you can use it as a primer if you want, and yeah, you can use yeah. it as a gesso. Right, okay. But you can but use it as everything. Once but you it's see different. the paint, it's yeah. different from a gesso, is it? Yeah, once you see the paint, how it reacts on that and that next to it, uh, you'll see, oh, I get uh, it now. Uh, I get okay, it. like that. Uh, big tub as well, only £13.99. pence. If you do want to get hold of that, 496506. Right, have a look at the website, achanda.com. That's where you're going to find everything that we've got on stage show. Remember, if you've got any questions, email in. If there's any colours you want to see from that pick and mix, um, but you want to see them live, email in. You know, please don't be shy. It is studio at achanda.com. If you've got any of the um, Dr. F Dr. Ma I don't want to keep saying it uh dr martin's uh stuff then please please um let us know do i'm sticking with dr martin as soon as i even go with a p it just comes out as a fill yeah it? yeah <laughs> so i'm just gonna stick with her God, it's totally different really totally different <laughs> yeah. Although they would work with these products wonderfully. Yeah. Um, okay, where you were starting? Right, well, I just wanted to show you that sometimes when I don't don't always know what to do, um, or I, I just need to relax my mind, I just throw a load of colours on and then I draw around things and doodle. Yeah. And uh, the colours are so rich. I don't need to be mm. sort of trying to add with it. I don't need to yeah. try at all. So I've got these quite dark ones. And then this is how, I, this is how it oh. looks. That's so nice. And if you saw that, you go, what? What's that? Uh, uh, uh. But then you start to add, um, like... Yeah, yeah well, you do do something at the top. And then if you use your, you know, your charcoal um, and powder behind it, that'll pop that right yeah, up. Yeah, so yeah. just to show you that you can use this just willy-nilly. I mean, that's how... It looks crazy when you do it, but when you actually colour it in, it Yeah, look it really looks... Nice. And the colours are so oh, vibrant. Oh, they're really stunning. They're really, really strong. Right. OK. Right, well... Let's play. There's a little technique, um, and, it, and it's all to do about layering. Okay. So I've got some watercolour paper. I've, you'll see now that it's small because I don't want to be overfaced. I want it to keep it small. Right. And then you get all you need is you'll get a cup the main colour you want, which I want is yellow. Okay. And then I'm looking at purples and blues. Because what I want to do is try and create a really soft sort of um hazy landscape. Right. Okay. And I know I'm not going to have sort of expensive tools or anything. I've just got two paint brushes. Yeah. Have what you want my inks a bit of that but you do need these inks to do this as far as i know anyway and a spray bottle marvelous now anne's emailed in good yeah, morning, anne. morning anne. so anne wants to know if we can mix it with which glue yeah of course you will uh, can we mix it with a water-based glue yeah 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 absolutely so yeah definitely you can mix it so would we be able to dilute it and put it on fabric yes yeah yeah Absolutely. Go out, can you imagine it on fabric? Yeah, you could do that. I mean, I don't know about the washing stuff. If you mixed it with an additive to put it into fabric, mm -hmm. fine. But yeah, it does work on fabric. Yeah, yeah, I set it with a glue that's yeah. going to be... Yeah, yeah. I've got some fabric Perfect. I can show you. Perfect. Right. Thank you, Anne. Yeah, it's great. And you, Right, this is good to see. You'll see here that it's got a sediment there. Don't yeah. worry. That's all that is, is that's the pure, that's the colour settling back down. Right. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't think, I had one lady who says, oh, my ink's gone wrong. It doesn't. Because what you'll get is, just to show you, oh. and that is the actual colour and the material. Yeah, there's, yeah. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. It's yeah. still transparent. It's just that that's how it looks. So don't yeah. worry about that. So you do need to shake them with the look like that. And on the side, just there, you'll see it's got all the pens, brushes, airbrushes, and then it, it's got all the 
the other stuff on the side of the packaging now yeah. it's got other stuff on the packaging as well about neutrals and stuff like that so don't worry if you want to know details about archival about your neutrals yeah you know if it's neutral ph and neutral if it's acid and alkaline it is but if you want to know a bit more it's on the packaging yeah. so just we just to want to see pretty things not gonna lie yeah I don't, yeah it's like I don't yeah, whatever that. that means it's okay what's a pretty thing yes right so you're using so that one's daffodil isn't it Daff this one is da daffodil yellow yeah okay and i'm just going to put i mean a blob that that wow. much okay tiny 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 blob because yep. what i want to do is create like a sunset so i'm going to oh wow so daffodil is in set b yeah so what i'm going to Beautiful. do is that but i don't want it that heavy so what you do is <laughs> sorry i borrowed that before I don't want it because I want to sort of get a haze around it. Right. But what, if, I'm, if I don't dry this off now, anything that goes on top of that will turn green because right. I'm going to use blue. Right, of so course. give it a quick blast. So blast them dry yeah. in between your layers if you don't want them to merge. Yeah. I mean, okay. I've still got tons of colour. I could do two or three with that. There you go. That is a tiny, tiny amount. I'm, I'm serious when they're so strong you wouldn't believe it. Mm. I mean, now it's pretty dry now, but that... I would not waste it. That would yeah. be. I, I would just sort of spritz it a bit and then just yeah. pick it up with my card and then leave it on there to pick up and then just yeah. leave it there. Because you've and got yeah, dry. and that's it. Picking up on. Don't waste any. No. So now okay. what I've got is I want to create like um, a landscape. So it's going to be like a lazy photograph, a lazy afternoon. A lazy afternoon. So. Okay, next. You know, like a summer afternoon and you yeah. sort of, as if you've got your, your head down in a field and you're looking at lavender. And it's all hazy and lovely. Yeah, and it's just, I don't want to get up. And, yeah, and yeah, 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 you can smell it. Yeah. I've got here now a blue slate. It's a beautiful blue and it's not at all what you think. I'll put a little bit there. So blue slate, this one, I slate, slate blue. Yep. And I like that, that's a lovely blue. You just put a little bit of water with it because I don't want it... And remember, two pots of water, one to wash, one to clean. Ah, uh, okay, yep, yep. Put this on, and what we're going to do now is just introduce that's the blue. That's a lovely blue. There's another blue as well, Norway blue, and that's beautiful as well. And they're not, they're not like, oh, well, two are nearly the same. They're not at all. They're yeah. very different. You've got, like, warm blues and cold blues. Yeah, that so, is so nice. That is in set B, as is the daffodil yeah. yellow. All you're going to do now is just a really serious, like, scribble. Because right. all I'm trying to do is I'm going to build up the colour, and the colour comes from the middle yellow yeah. out and then from the sides in dark. right okay so you just do that see i love this because this is so doable it is and and that's why you know all these years we're going oh it's art materials so what get it yeah. on it's like there's Have no mystery about it it's just been the mentioned words art and people yeah. go oh right, it sounds scary yeah it's for an artist no it's not it's for all of us no, while I'm sorry, this is wet. I'm just turning that round and I can read it. This oh, sorry. is violet. This is violet. And this is builds up. Nice. Now you can see how strong. That's one dip in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is such a good colour. And we're building up this colour. Now, you do need to dry it properly because what you want to do is layer paint and not mix it. So right. by layering, that keeps the colour true underneath. But um, by mixing it while it's wet. Yeah. So there'll get be a It'll merge. Yeah, there'll come a time when I want this too dry, but I have got one done. So you just blend that in to get a bit more again. And you can still see the blue. So where the blue has dried, it isn't it isn't it's mixing in, it's still there. You see I've got all that. Right. I'll leave that for a minute because I'm gonna build up with the next colour now. And the next colour is hyacinth. And then I'll go back to blue. Beautiful. And I'll just show you, it's slightly different. Look oh, how strong yeah, they are. That I'm just, is so strong. Can you see? Yeah, that is a real, that is so different. And you start to see that they split the colours. Yeah. So we just keep building up. Now, you can have it as purple as you want or as bl uh, blue as you want. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. But you just keep doing that. And then you'll get to a point, you can mix them, don't be afraid to mix them, where you don't want it really to go past the yellow because you want that to stay sort of bright and vibrant and like sunny right but you don't want it to look like a fried egg either <laughs> yeah because it will do it will if you're not careful so you keep doing that and keep doing it and you keep going as dark as you want on the edges i mean i'll show you a little bit more 
just to show you, I'm just going to wet that so that there's no... Because what, with watercolour, you'll get what they call a line, a registration yeah, yeah, yeah. line. Yeah, you'll get an EA, yeah, it will be quite distinctive, yeah. won't it? And then some, some of them granulate, so that means that they go all feathery. Right. So you see, look, I'm, that's what I mean about these... Yeah, you can get so many prints Look at from this, the waist. it's crazy. And that is just one little drip. Drop, one drop, and it's still... Oh, go away, you know. <laughs> right, but I think I need more. So you'd keep yeah. going and keep going until you, you're ready. Yeah. And what you do is you tend to sort of think, oh, no, no, that's too dark. When that dries, it'll dry really light. Right, So okay. it dries t very different. And then you do one, you can go, there's a grey as well. And not the black, because that was a bit heavy, but the wall To go around the edges. I just bring it in again. I'll just show you with the slate blue again. And mm -hmm. we've got another one, which is the Norway blue, and I'll show you that one as well. Um, and this is why... You these bottles must last, because they're not little, little bottles. These are going to last yonks, when, aren't they? Well, the, if you think of it, that this is concentrate, so yeah. this would be equivalent to a big bottle. Yeah, I can't yeah. say how much, because I don't know. But if you watered this down, this would definitely sort of last and last and last. Yeah. I'd say half a litre. Yeah, really? So if you're thinking that about colour and paint... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm doing now is I'm being really careful. Yeah. I can see. And I'm slapping it on, <laughs> and all I'm going to do is just introduce like the flat, like as if the flowers are coming up. Fabulous. But I'll keep doing it, keep doing it, keep so doing keep, it. So really, in every, would you be drying it normally? Yeah, I would. Well, in real life. when I want it to merge like this, I'll leave it wet. Yeah. When I want colour to stay colour, I dry it and then layer it. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So I'd keep doing that and keep doing that. So because I need to dry it, I'm going to show you what I did earlier. Okay. And this is the sort of thing you're going to get when it dries. You can see it's a lot more muted, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's the same thing. That's gorgeous. And all this is when you blob it on. Yeah. You'll do it with it. I'll show you. You just blob it on, and that's all that is. It you. So it feathers because it's it's, it's still wet. a little bit wet. It'll yeah. start to feather. And you'll so get when these. it dries, it gives you that lovely sort Absolute of feathery wet. vein. And you can see on the overhead, it looks like that looks quite messy, but. You, you need to see what it looks like dry, because yeah, that would put, yeah, yeah. put me off and think, what's that? It yeah. looks like a, someone's <laughs> slide, someone on a, a slide. <laughs> on so, a slide. Well, I'm like, but this... See, <laughs> now, now, what do you see in that? <laughs> someone in a slide, mate. Yeah, there. There's a guy coming down the slide. Wow. I mean, I'll put it back, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is the one thing I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you're well on your own with slime, mate. Do you know what? Ooh, sad now. <laughs> it is an ultra blue. But anyway, we get your gist. <laughs> I'm going to mix a dark colour now. I said don't use black. Don't use black on its own. Right. Use, because we've got, uh, goodness knows how many blues, but I'm just going to show you. I've got there the very... What was it there? The ultra blue. So that's ultra blue this ultra time. Blue. That looks so dark. It is dark. And then this, you wouldn't wow, even... the black. That, I don't even need that much. So the teeniest, well, that's just a pinprick. It is. I mean, okay. probably get more on the end of my brush. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, that end. And then that. So the purple, blue, and then a tiny bit of black. And you mix the colour first. Mm -hmm. So we want it to be a really deep blue indigo sort of colour. Beautiful. There will be one there, but I don't want to do that. I want to do my own mix because flowers and lavender are all different colours. Yeah. So I'm getting a very dark one now. I'm quite happy with that. And all we're going to do is use our paintbrush and we're going to go a blob, a blob, 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 blob. Hang God, let me blob with the right brush. I'm not blobbing with the right one. And the shape of lavender, there's no... It's sort of like that. Yeah, yeah. And then you just... Which is easy when you've got the right brush, isn't it? It is. And then you just... You sort of... Pull it up like that. And you do one, and then you build it up. Because this is all in the front, so it's that, it, it will look weird. But then you have another one that maybe goes like that. Yeah. And what, because you've got the light at the back showing yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you just build it up. Now, I haven't got the best brushes in the world today, I'll be honest with you, because, you know, you try and remember everything. But really, you should be able to just use the brush as is. Yeah. I know that works you know, as is, and then a little bit in the middle. And then what you do is you'll get the other colour and then work. That's the colour. That, that's a lavender. 
Yeah, that's. I'm not trying to draw a love in that. I'm trying to give it the impression mm -hmm. of one. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not exactly. And that's the thing, isn't it? It doesn't. Sometimes you aim for for it to be perfect when actually you just don't need to do that, do you? No, you don't. And then you, you know the straight ink itself is beautiful as a highlight, yeah. building it up. So, you know, there's another one. Yeah, really that simple. looks so good. And then, you know, one coming here and it's, you might have a little bud, but then when it's dry, you get this wonderful sort of... And then you can sort of water it down and then make some of these a little bit more into... Yeah, lavenders. into actual lavenders. And pull that down. And you keep doing that until you're happy. Yeah, that does look really cool. You, you know, keep doing it in the background, and then when it's done, it looks a bit iffy yeah, now. Yeah, when yeah. it's done, you see that's starting to dry better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put white on it. That is so, so cool. And it is one of them, as you build it up, it's like, ah, uh, yeah, because your brain knows what you, you're seeing. It doesn't need to be precise, does it? No, and that's the thing. You, you, we, we say, oh, right, it's going to have a look like a photograph. No, it doesn't. Mm. Because you're giving, like you said, that looks like a hazy afternoon or whatever. I, it doesn't, but that's what you want. Yeah, yeah. That's the that's impression. That's what you decide you're seeing. And that's where, you know, the impression this paint yeah, has come yeah. from. It yeah, absolutely. the impression of it. Now, I've got all this barren land, so you can actually just do... I remember, I'm not going to do it green. I don't want it green because it wouldn't work. Yeah. So I'm going to do like grasses and all I'm I'm really not not doing a lot. I'm just flicking. Yeah. Bit more. Beautiful. And keeping with the same colours. Yeah. So keeping with the dark the beautiful dark purple, the dark blues. And you can use the black as well if you want, but that was just to give mm. you some depth. I mean the, the, it'd be really dark down here, so perhaps I'd do little ones down yeah. there that are really dark, but yeah. they work either way. So the grasses, you know, just... Beautiful. Right, OK, so if Ooh. what, if you're going for a pick and mix, if you're going for it biggies, <sighs> that's a tricky one. Right, Arlo, yeah. so if you were going for a big bundle, yeah. which one would you go for? A. Oh, that's hard. For a starter kit, what do you reckon's a. best for a starter kit, eh? Because that's well bright, isn't it? Well, it's beautiful. You've got the you've got the the notion of it being bright, but you've also you know you can tame that down a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm just putting zigzags on here because I'm making these ones up, but you've you've got the idea. And then at the very bottom here, a little trick I found was to bring everything forward. I'll get some little pearl drops to do that. Oh, yeah. white white paint. Uh, yeah. Your white gel pen. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with this and a little bit of black. Oh, no, that's a nice colour. This is so Norway. That's that Norway oh, blue again. I stunning. like that. That Norway blue is lush. It is stunning because it's got it's got such a beautiful... Let me just show you this it's on its It's like... Um, oh, I don't even know what colour that so is. Even the dye. You can dye stuff yeah, with it. Yeah. It's absolutely... Yeah, that's such a nice blue, isn't it's, it? Look oh, at that. That's that. your Norway blue. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I really want these. You, they are worth it. They are worth it. I know. I know. I keep saying to people, "Oh, it's considered," but just remember that these are, they're going to last you. Mm, mm. Right. Eh, what? I've got a brush here somewhere. I'll get it out in a bit. And it's got all these um, hairs that are missing. You can buy them, but. They're really clever because you don't need to sort of do... I uh, like a, a brush to literally do Yeah, the, draw lines yeah, 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 yeah. But we can get... Sorry, my love. Oh, yeah, charcoal. Right, but you can get a bit of this with it as right, well. Right, OK. Now, the charcoal, remember, you're getting both of these. So you get your charcoal okay. and your sanguine, however you say it. Sanguine, yes. So sanguine. sanguine. All I'm going to do is just darken the edge, put a little bit of ink with it, and I'll just get this wonderful sort of... It's hard to explain. It's muted, but it's not too dark. Yeah, it sees proper shadows. So, but even when it's wet, it doesn't... You can still see. Can I just pinch some paper and stick my finger in it? Of course you can. I'm only using it light, so you can see, if I move them for you, you can see what it works. If you wet your finger, you get it? Yeah. That's a really good way of showing it, that, because you get a really smooth one. Now, if you wet your finger, you'll see you get something totally different. So, who's bought two? Terry. Ah, oh, come round to your house. Terry's bought two of the big sets. Well, I've not seen it before, certainly not it's in well two. well nice. Do you need to wipe your hand now? Uh, no, I was looking for water, but I'm going to stick it in my mouth, but I thought, no, I'm on telly. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't. 
<laughs> What's she like? Uh, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting into this. I'm getting into this. Yeah. If you can hear that rooting around, it's, it's rooting it's, around. It's our Barbara. Our Barb's rooting oh, around in corn. <laughs> I'm just laughing because of there. Right, <laughs> here's my picture. That's ace. And you can carry yeah, on and yeah, carry yeah. on. Look at that. The shadow's amazing. That's all Isn't you it? do. Flick it. <laughs> Oh, no, done. carry on, carry on rooting, sugar. That is absolutely amazing. That's but, amazing. I love the charcoal. I love the charcoal. Right. That's well cool. Can I leave you for a bit? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to remind everyone. Go. Look at that. That is so good and that's so quick. And I promise you, that is that. It's, I'm no, that's not me trying to be Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> but that, that, pe that charcoal wet at the bottom. Uh, uh, uh. If you I mean, you, that you is know. well cut. I want nice the charcoal as well. Well, we can get some. Oh, we'll right. Get some. Okay, I'm going to leave you for just a moment. Um, check that website out, achanda.com. That's where you can place all your orders. What am I showing them? Who? Oh, Flexa. Here. <laughs> Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for a Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. We weren't seeing that kid, though, because we're here. I can wipe it off with my top, she says. Bad as me. Uh, right, OK, let me show you some of these, because this is what you can do with these beautiful links. Um, the rings, it's the intensity of the colour. Because the rings, you can create so many incredible backgrounds quickly. You can create beautiful watercolour backgrounds. You can obviously blend your colours. I mean, look at the colours. Look how beautiful that... Look at that. Look how radiant those colours are. I mean, they are absolutely exquisite. Um, of course, fantastic for techniques. Fantastic for using, bear with, with um, things that you've already got at home. So you might already have all your stamps, your embossing powders, all your beautiful... Um, all your fibres. I mean, that looks amazing with fibres. There's so much that you will cross over with these. And I think that's the wonderful thing about them. It is the diversity. Uh, see, I want, I want to get hold of this. Oh, I, I, I just want these. Um, now, yeah, that one, I must admit, for me, for me, it's a choice between that one and that one. I think, no, the one with more blues is that one. That is the one I go for, because I like this. I, oh, bees are most popular. I want that one because of the brown, because of that that sort of, um, well, it's a black, isn't it? But it's like black, grey. So that, for me, is a good starting one. And I love those blues, the three blues in there, and it's got a yellow. You need yellow in your life. That's your A, your B. Um, why, I love bit. I like that in there. I like that one. I like that one. And that's got a beautiful mix of greys. You've got that slate blue in B as well. The obvious. Oh, and the daffodil yellow. So they're the ones. Mm, I do like the daffodil yellow better than the lemon yellow. So it means I need A and B. And then we get on to C. You know what I'm doing here, don't you? Yeah, I'm selling it myself. I'm essentially telling myself why I need all of them. Um, I love these, the browns and that. That is a really interesting colour. What's that one? Tobacco brown. I like that one. That is nice. And I like this tropic gold. That is beautiful. And that green. That green is sensational, isn't it? Yeah, really good lime green. Um, that is your C and then D. D, look at that dark brown in there, coffee brown. That is beautiful in here. Um, again, I love that, that gorgeous golden. I go for the same colours, don't I, really? I like the green in this one again. That's a, a lovely green. That's a softer green. Um, they're all beautiful. 
really beautiful colours. There's so much you can do with these. You've got your two payments, £37, 48 pence. If there's any colours you want to see, please let us know. 571445. You've then got your pick and mix. Let me take you through the colours that you can go for with your pick and mix. So at least you can have a look. Um, so we've got the daffodil yellow. You've seen this being used. Uh, you've got pumpkin. You've also got the persimmon. You've then got your cherry red. I see that one. And then you've got your, um, oh, hold on a minute. So we've done that one. And then we've got, sorry. <laughs> and then we've got, I know, right? We've moved already. And then we've got the Norway blue, which of course we've been using. Uh, your chatrus, chatrus. Chatrice, I don't know how to say that, that one. Uh, then you've got your juniper green, you've got your Indian yellow, want to see that, and then you've got your tropic pink. Now, that's your pick and mix. So you're getting five of them. It works out at, what does it work out at? Five pounds sum up per bottle. Five pound eight per bottle. If you're going for the big collections, it's 5.35 for, per bottle. So not a lot different, but obviously when you're buying a lot, it works out, it, it, it you know, that is becomes a substantial saving. Uh, you're still saving four pounds here. Twenty-eight pounds ninety-nine pence. It is one seven four 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 six. Next we've got for you um that incredible book. This is lovely. It just feels amazing. It looks amazing. It's one of those. This will be one of those. You get hold of this and then you go, can't use it. Can't use it. It's too nice. Please use it. Please go. I know me. I do that. I go, oh, I can't use this. This is special. Um, just go for it. Go for it. Do something amazing. Play with your colours. Um, I tell you what this reminds me of. So yesterday I, was, I opened up all my magic paws because I've got uh, my launch of my new range bah, 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 tomorrow. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. And um, lovely Andy Dugan, he sent over a techniques book that he done with um, some of my stencils. It reminds me of that. It reminds me of his technique book. And actually I sent him a message going, that's so cool. That's what this reminds me of. So it could be all your techniques. It could be all your colours. You might be doing, you might do one full it might be one full design that just links on. There's so many cool things to do with that. That, I mean, it could be a gift as it is. That would be a beautiful gift as the actual book before you go for it. Only 1079 for Freedom members. 178702. Now, the wallpaper has been really busy. Um, Oh, Lou's going to demonstrate with this next. You're getting your two packs there, 15 sheets per pack. It is really nice, strong stuff. It's got that transparency as well. I mean, it's A stuff. It just, it feels, it messes with your head, does this. It feels so different. Um, obviously, you can do all sorts with it. You know, you can die cut it. Um, you, do, you can't tear you, Paul, can you? No. You can't tell you, Paul, but you can cut it, you can die cut it. Only 14 99 It's really, really cool stuff. Third of the stock has gone. Good price is that. Uh, 406109 next. These two, I want these. So you've got your charcoal powder and then your sanguine. How do you say it properly? San sangui san sanguine. Sanguine, sanguine. Uh, so you're sanguine. Say what you see, Leone. Um, these are massive pots. Whether you're adding a bit of colour, whether you're adding the shading, we like you've just seen our Ludo. Really, really cool. And for £19.45 and pence for both massive pots, that is such a good price. And um, please, please, please make sure you check your baskets out with those. Um, oh, that by itself is 17, what, 17? Wow, seventeen ninety-five by itself. That so this is that is ridiculous. So that means you're only getting you're only paying a couple of quid for that. That is just amazing. That is such a deal. Um, one eight zero zero two zero. That's your item number. I really want this as well. Your walnut ink. Um, that's your drawing ink. Beautiful. And again, you're go, going to be able to do so many techniques with that. Really want to go with that. And then and then now. Oh, sorry. One three two two seven four. Forgot my job. <laughs> uh, I'm a, 
<laughs> numbers only, numbers only. Uh, and then you're absorbent ground. It's amazing how I can still do that after all these years. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pounds, saving four pounds there. That's the stuff you put on, and it's going to work as a beautiful primer. It's going to allow you, um, your paints. Basically, it's going to give them that key. So it's going to act like your watercolor paper, look like watercolor paper. Four nine six five zero six. Check out the website at chanda com. That's where you'll find absolutely everything uh, that we've got on the show for you. If there's anything you want to see, please email us in studio at tachanda.com. Um, if you have any questions, get those questions in. Again, please check those baskets out. Remember, if you don't check your baskets out, your basket refreshes after seven minutes and then you'll have to go shopping again. Right, we're back. Well, I'm just trying it on that paper John's got on. The crystal paper, it works amazingly beautiful. It does, uh... yeah, and it does it keeps it shimmer so wait i'll wait to see what it dries mm, nice. this is another pull from it but i just wanted to show you something now that has been put on a piece of paper yeah 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 that's in it you wouldn't believe that that was me throwing paint at something yeah yeah, yeah. It's so e it really it is, is easy isn't it? absolutely achievable and achievable yeah, yeah, i want yeah. you all to try that at home and then show us yeah uh, super achievable right you paul right okay you paul I've coloured one piece so you can see, and it's absolutely, it's so weird how it does this, it's great. It's man-made, it doesn't tear, only rips, it behaves like watercolour paper, but it actually is, um, you can use all sub substances on it. So I'm just going to show you at first what you, what you can do. I'm just, okay. I found my brush. That oh, looks yeah. So cool, look at that. You see it? Yeah, it looks like it's been it that's chewed. The best brush ever, that, isn't it? Look at <laughs> yeah, that. that's well good. Yeah, it looks like it's had an. It looks like how my mum used to cut my fringe. Yeah. <laughs> my mum used to cut my fringe like that. It was terrible. <laughs> terrible. At least it was straight. I thought she was. I remember, me. I remember me going to my <laughs> oh. great auntie's and she hacked it up and she used to. My mum used to say, don't cut Leonie's fringe. Yes. And my auntie would send me back with a fringe up here nearly in my head. Right. And my mum would be like, what have you done? What, what have you done? done? And then no, no, even rescuing it because they were that short. <laughs> it's a bit tough on your head. Well, I'm, I used my mum used to do it to cut my hair, and then my dad would go, Oh, what have you done? It'd end up like that. <laughs> oh, your fringe would go all the way round, would it? <laughs> like a ball on it. <laughs> I sprayed the U pole. Right, come on. Come on. Right, come sprayed on, the kid. U pole, and it just. Oh, it's done it. So that would yeah. normally only happen, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? That would only happen. On watercolour paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't get that on an acetate based paper or anything like that, but it just gets better and better and better because then you're getting these fractals. Oh, I love it. Yeah. So you Is leave that the it. the proper word for it? Yeah, well, it's I've like never chaos. Known proper word. Fractals, oh, yeah. Of course, because um, fractals are organised chaos, aren't they? Yeah, you? fractals Look are organised chaos. I love that. It's like the Fibonacci I had on the other day. That's all yeah. from that, but it, it looks like chaos, but it's actually yeah. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is swimming. Now, you that can. so cool. You can. See, there's not enough water there, but all you do is just spray it. But you'll get a green now, which is nice. Yeah, now, yeah. what you can do is you can sort of mess this up if you want and take it places. Whee. See, now, this is when it reacts very different, isn't it, to yeah. anything else? Because it, it sits differently on the paper. It sits... It, it sits better than on watercolour paper. It doesn't sit like that, does it? No, we'll try. So it, it allows you to play with it a lot differently. But what I can That's do, so you need cool. it to sink. Right. So you need it to sink. So you let it go sink in because otherwise you'll only get a, a soft print. Yeah, yeah, the longer yeah. it's on there, the more the the dye goes yeah, in. Yeah. But I really, really like that. Plainly, it's just right. super. We'll do the same on this watercolour paper. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll, you know, I'll do the same, and you'll see it reacts the same way. Beautiful. And I'll be able. I'll put the it same does, colours but it on. It doesn't already. It doesn't. Because yeah. it's not travelling as far. No, it's not. And, and it's darker. Exactly. Now, we'll put, what else did I put on? Uh, pink. Pink, yeah. So, now, this is beautiful. So mm. people who say, well, no, you pose not, not for me, that's fine. You can use it in lots of different ways. Don't just think it's for, yeah. for doing this with. You can yeah. print on it, you can sew on it, because yeah. it doesn't tear. Use your alcohol marker. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, it's perfect. Yeah. Now, if I start to look. Yeah. Now, that no, moved. I this so different. can you see how it's, and it muddies exactly that muddies that hasn't i can still time. keep this i mm. still keep this moving if i want to bring in some color i can almost color a piece now i'll try it same here 
Yeah. You are I mean, getting similar, but it's still, not... It's still beautiful, but it is so very different. It is, and the... this is harder to control on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I could tell still, right, if I wanted to, I could take... This is another piece of UPO. Okay. I could take a print from that. Because I don't want Amazing. all that water, water sitting on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it will pull. See, Normally that. that wouldn't and pull. And I love, because it's a UPO, all the little dots, because yeah. it starts to break up, it doesn't does. it? And that's super cool. And the only reason it does that is because there's lots of water. Yeah, if, yeah, it, yeah. if it introduced less water, it would. So yeah. if I've done that... I quite that, like that. I quite I, like I that. I do that. It's quite So if you went in, sir, with the end of do your it, paintbrush... Yeah, whatever you want. Because you've got... So you can literally drag those colours through. Do you, you know through. when you're doing marbling? Yeah. You know how it wraps. If you used a marble comb on that, it'd have marble. Right, but the thing is, normally that would go muddy, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So we'll try this. That's super cool. Yeah, that's superb, isn't it? I love that. So it behaves totally differently, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that reacts so different. Take a pull. And this is just, you can... So now, if you take a pull off that, because you've lightened that, the, the result on new pull paper is going to be a, a lot lighter. Yeah, it goes back to that. Gorgeous. But you can still work with it. Yeah, and that's a, a lovely pull. pull. It is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I can now pull gorgeous. up, I'll show you a pull again, and it more or less goes back to white. That's why I was saying, the, more, the deeper you leave it, the longer you leave yeah. it, the deeper it will But go. that means, if you don't like something, you can literally like just that. take a print, Yeah. And then you start again anyway, so it's yeah. not a big deal. You're not wasting anything. No, I mean, I've tried it lots of times. It's gone back to green now because that was the, you yeah. know, the pro quite prolific that colour. But now I'll just wipe it off and show you. I've got a really nice green. If I wipe this off now, yeah, quite like that. So it's giving it such a soft. How so that's is obviously that? the colour that is start, start the strongest one. Yep. Yeah. So it's start blue. seeping in first. Yeah, the darkest that and is strongest cool. colour will go first. And I'll just take it off so you don't think it's gone through. Wow, you know? that's so, so cool. So don't forget with this, with it being translucent, yeah. not transparent, I can draw on the back yeah. and it will give you the illusion of softness. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I could draw with a pen. I'll put a bit of colour on this just to show you. So I've got on the back of this, I'll put um, a little bit of this. No, is it Norway blue again? I keep, yeah, I keep going to this. So... I'll put a bit of this on. Yeah, yeah. And it's got a softness there. Yeah. Can you see it? So you Just can about... see it through. It almost looks like you can create depth with that, Absolutely. can't you? You can create, um, yeah, you can create really nice, really nice And you can things. do full, <laughs> yeah. You can Stop do, talking, Leonie. You can do full colour. Yeah, yeah. So you can beautiful. wipe it with your sponge and you get a full colour. But this is the best bit. I can draw on it. That's it. I'll try it. So no, it's totally, to totally different, honestly. Just wait, just wait. Your normal pencil. Just try it. Normal pencil. That's wet now. Don't forget, that's wet. But just try it. Oh yeah. How easy is that to draw on? And it's beautiful to draw on. You yeah. can't do that with normal paper. No. Try, uh, try it on here. Oh, that's so nice. Try it on there now. So, you know, it feels wrong. It feels like you're going to go through your paper. Well, you are. Yeah. You yeah, you're actually indenting your paper, aren't you? You're, you're more like you're embossing this, actually isn't it? Actually quite nice as well. Yeah, but, but different look how, effect. But look how strong that is on there. Yeah, that's well nice. And it's the detail, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, you turn that over now and get the light behind it, and you can still see it. Yeah, yeah. But it's come through a different colour. Can you see that? Yeah, it's come through really soft, you hasn't do, it? You do it. But if you use a black pen... Barbara's got some great black pens on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see it? So all your drawing pens would work beautifully oh, perfect as well. For, absolutely and they dry, perfect. they dry. Oh, yeah, that's, that's like... another thing. They don't... Because it's this, the slippy surface, you think it's going to yeah, yeah, slide yeah. off. It doesn't... It, it just all your messes, with your well. messes with your head. All your ink's on it as well. Messes with your head. All your ink's on it. No, look, 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 watercolour paper. It's nice. No, it's gone green. But it's a different thing, isn't it? Oh, that's kind of cool too. I quite like that. It's picked up the, the ink. But you can oh. use... <laughs> go back to this. Here's your distress on it. Beautiful. But it really does blend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So if you want those pads, yeah. if you want the u pads, pads, <gasps> you're getting both u pads. That's wow well nice. You're getting both of your pads. You've got 15 oh, sheets sorry. with these. Um, you've got your 15 <laughs> sheets. If you do want them, you need to check your baskets out. They have been so, so busy. 406109, that's your item <gasps> number. Now, we've only got a few minutes left. No can I try? Can I try? Oh, please do. Can I see what this works like? Absolutely. Do you what want to do it got? on this? Yeah. Whatever you want. Do whatever, whatever you want. 
try it with that. I, I wanted to get a dip pen, but I haven't. I've got a smaller brush. Is this any good? I don't know. Well, how do you use this? It's All right, yeah, yeah, go for it. You're going to use it well. That is such a beautiful... I just wanted to see what it was like. Do it on whatever you want, my love. Do you want... You, you um, keep going and all. You keep going. There's do you thingy do there something? as well, you know. What? You can use um, the, the embossing. Oh, it is the nice. Yeah. In fact, I'll use it on mine. I'll use it on here, and then we'll see. <gasps> that is nice, isn't it? Well, I tell you what, look at that. How's that for a match? Brush corduroy. Let's have a look. Mm. Oh! That's where that came from then. It is, isn't it? <laughs> ah, That's well, ah, ah. Right, oh, I sound stupid. Ah, ah. Walnut stain. Oh, yeah. So, what work were you distressing? Yeah, yeah, for a Walnut perfect. Walnut stain. <gasps> oh, I, I feel like this. I've discovered something really. Oh! And now. it's nice that it works, isn't it? It's nice that oh, everything that. works together. Anyway, so we're all dropping? playing. Oh, have you got the ink on it? <gasps> oh, oh look at that. Little splatters of oh, no. it, oh, Can you see that? It's like tiny. Sp I like that. That is really tiny, that. Look how teeny it? tiny, look how faint that has gone. Yeah, I'd like little speckles. We've got two minutes. You go for it. Show us whatever you want. Right, well, I'm, I'm quite happy to show the next next lesson. I'll have to keep shut up. Next lesson I was going to say. Right, what you can do. Minute and a half is when you've got this dry, you can start to then pick out areas that you might want, say, to concentrate on. So, not using black, not using black, I'll go for yellow. Right, so I've got this yellow bit, I want it right. stronger, but don't forget, it reacts differently when you put it on. Right. So when you do that, because you do that, that's a wash. Right, okay. So you can then bring in the colours and just concentrate where you want. So I want that darker there. Yeah. And it doesn't, be, it doesn't misbehave with the others. This, you can make it into a wash with a little bit of water and, and sort of... But, Beautiful. But look, I can scribble forever with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can add colour on top and it's not moving the colours underneath. And it, because it's dry underneath, that's why it isn't moving your colour. And you need to make sure it's dry because when it's dry, it won't be buckled like that. When yeah, it's dry, yeah. it'll be flatter. And the way Fabulous. to tell is you can see it's dented. Right. That means it's wet. Right, OK. So, and I'm just going to put a bit of pink in here. And so this the is paper a, is still wet. A yeah. Bit. Beautiful. So you can We've pick got out. Thirty the, seconds. So what I would do then with this is I would just pick out the areas I want, and then I draw around them, and Perfect. then doodle in it, and then you'd have a beautiful, absolute. But I'm at, I'm so tough oh, with that. Yeah, that's well good. I'm so tough with that that walnut ink. It's so nice. Right, we've only got 15 seconds <gasps> left. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, what time are you back up, Barlow? 12 12, you? 12, 12 with me. Boom. Boom. Uh, make sure you tune in. We've had a lovely time. Um, check your baskets out. Um, I'm going looting. Bye. <laughs> shouldn't say that, should I? Shouldn't say I went looting. That's not good at all. Borrowing. I'm obviously not doing that. I'm borrowing. Uh, John is up next with his amazing one day special. We've then got I'm made by our Haley and then crafting with clarity. Hello, I'm Pat. And I'm Wendy. And together we're Pastimes Quilling. I've been quilling for about 40 years actually. Wendy, not quite that long. The products we actually sell are a range of kits, books, tools, and accessories for the craft of quilling. Um, probably the most popular thing are the actual quilling papers, but we're constantly adding to it. We bring out new papers in different widths. We do new kits, new designs right through the year. Quilling is a lovely craft because you can either do it as an individual or you can get together with your friends and do it as a group project. And we have lots and lots of ideas and we can't wait to share them with you. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. So make sure you don't miss the Pastimes Quilling Shows on Ho Chanda. Hi, I'm Bev. I'm from Bee Crafty. We have been going for about 14 years and four years ago we started designing and making our very own stamps just for you. All of our stamps are designed and made here at Bee Crafty by my own fair hands and we love using them for lots of different crafty projects. Hi, 
I love playing with our stamps and templates and getting as inky as I can, whether it's spraying or blending ink or stamping ink, paints, everything. We absolutely love it and that's what we want to show you when we come to Hashanda because we get to demo as much as we like, which is fantastic, so I can show you all the techniques that I'm learning too. So make sure you don't miss the Bee Crafty Shows on Hashanda. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Ho Chanda, your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for 24 hours or while stocks last. Part of your morning routine should also be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Ho Chanda and start your day with a deal. Hello, welcome back to Ho Chanda. How are you? We're joined with this chap right here, John Lockwood. John, welcome back, sir. Thank um, you. Um, um, how's life? All good? Really good, yes. How's the NEC? It was really busy, really, uh, really excited. I love doing shows from there. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's terrifying, because you've got an audience and the cameras and the presenter, and you don't know what to do, so I just play. It's a different experience. It's completely it? it's different, experience. different. It's actually more terrifying than anything you do. It is, actually, you know, but it's good fun. It's good fun. Joel, when, I put, when we're doing the shows, if I look right down that aisle, I saw you right at the, the far <laughs> yes. end there. Uh, there's a huge buzz around your stand. You must be very pleased with that. I was consistently yeah. busy buzzing yeah it was great thing. it's lovely because you get to meet fellow crafters yeah you get to meet people who are into what you're into it's like going into a you know a club where you're all into the same music you exactly. know and you're all talking the same language yes. and anyone who's not into it I've doesn't understand what that. you're saying it's great if you all share the same passion you've eventually got something in common yes is that there's no there's no icebreaker needed is there no there's, there's nothing friendlier than than crafters they'll come up and chat and say hello and tell you all you know everything yeah and it's not just about the craft that's what i love about this as, as an industry mm. people help each other talk to each other help them through all sorts of things yeah and you know the crafting brings people together and things like the nec it's important Ali Pali are brilliant for yeah that. it is isn't it they're wonderful they're yeah. it's an important event uh, and it's important what we do here we're all about the demonstrations all about inspiring and all about sharing ideas why well, i love the facebook community surrounding ho chanda share your ideas and we're all supporting each other yeah right john one day special yes I just looked at how much stock we got through <laughs> yeah. last night. Mm. You must be very pleased. Yeah. Why is this such a storming success, do you think? I think it's because, I mean, I, I, I approach uh, designing dyes and designing products yeah. to be as a crafter. Okay. I don't look at them to say, is this commercial? Is this on the, the zeitgeist? Is this what people are looking for? I go, what would I like? What would what you What would want? be fun? What would be different to do? And with these two, what I've come up with is something that I think meets what everybody wants okay. is you've got dies in here that work if you've never die cut before and you've never made a card. Okay. So if you're a very beginner, this will work for you. Right. If you want to count as an intermediate, there's things that will work in here for you and you'll be interesting. If you class yourself as an expert, yeah. I mean, these are, I've got such beautiful been samples from the years, angels. For example. There are things in here that you can do and that will that will be satisfying to you as an expert. Right. So it takes us all along the crafting journey. Because it's from something basic new, I angry. guess, isn't it? Yeah, and the, the whole idea is it starts with the flip card. Right. But then, of course, you wouldn't think that that, the card, the die that makes that. Yeah. Can make that. Is it that as well? So it's exactly the same. This it's is all the one this, but this is the all, same die. All on the set. This is actually exactly the same die as made this, as made this. Sometimes you get instantly see, oh, you use that, you did this, you flipped that. That is. Yeah. Th that's what you're going to grow the with. The same die made this. Oh, I like the it. The same die made this. The same die made this. Oh, come on. The same die made this. The same die made this. The same die made this. <laughs> same die. John, this made is tough. This. Same die made this. I think we see the same value die, here, don't we? But you see the idea. And that's just one style. That's just one pack that's of just, dies. And that was one pack of them, and we didn't use everything you from got it. it. You, did, you nearly didn't show I know, this. this one you is... nearly didn't show this. How could you not? That is beautiful. Now, I believe this is one of Bev's, and I'm really sorry, ladies, if I got this wrong, but oh, I believe lovely. this is one of Bev's. Um, 
Absolutely beautiful. But again, the same die made this that does that. That does that. So you can see you've got an intermediate and you've got an expert. You have, haven't you? That is a big selection of dice. So that's just one half of the one-day special. That's one half of the one-day special. Incre you get this and you're basically getting an oval size, yeah. don't you? So what you're getting is Shape. this die, which right. actually uses so little of the metal. Yeah. Move that over. That makes you your flip card. Yeah. So that cuts you out your basic piece like that, which then does the flip. Job done with that. Yep. Okay. But then, there's your course, manual. Oh, there's okay, just did that, John. I'd say that's for ten pounds per set. Uh, that's what you're getting here uh, on your first flexi buy. Twenty pounds today. It's great value. Yeah. So you've got that, but you can then drop in that panel. Yeah. Or you can drop in that panel. Or you can use those panels together. What's that bit for? I'll get to that one. Okay, yeah. Sorry. Or you can use that <laughs> panel there. Sorry. My you've bad. Got to remember how I do them. But what you've got is as well, with the flip card, obviously, people think if you're making a fold card, you've got to use a 250 to 300 GSM yes. card. But if you're anything like me, you've got an enormous stash of paper that you've bought over the yeah. years. You've got bits left over here yeah. and there. And you've got like two of every paper pad you've bought just in case you use one. Right. I wanted you to be able to use this out of like 120, 140 paper. So this is a strengthening bar. Okay. So you could cut this card out of base paper cut this from card and it fits there to strengthen no. the seam. Adds so more can, support. So it adds more support if you want to use a really nice paper and you're going, oh, it's too thin, but if I glue it down to card... Never seen that before. All that faff, it's there to help you. In the dial like that, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Can we show this shape yes. as well? So, so it's basically £20 a set, think of it that way. So £39.98 for the lot. Now, often we talk about, oh, it's nice new content, nice new designs, but these really are so different. I mean... The cards we've got here, they're some of the most varied selection of cards I've ever seen from one die set. And I'm not, I think how many dies I've seen, I'm not just saying that. For example, this one here too. So this is actually Such using, variation, John. Because it fits, this is just using the corners from one of the dies from That's the seam box. But then she's used the other dies to make everything on the seam box. If you've got my seam box die yes. square, these will fit. The idea is that everything I do works forward and backwards. Yeah, yeah. I don't like this idea if you buy a die or you buy a product, you use it for three weeks, you put it away and then you buy the next one. No, have them out on your desk. Have them out on your desk. And think, right, well, if I well, get something from John, it'll fit. It is. It really is. It's like it's in your little crafting system now. It's going to work. It's a transferable uh, uh, tools here that it's definitely got. But these are your everyday dies, because as soon as you make a card, you're going to think, right, what shape am I going to go for? Yes. What base am I going to go for? This is this is the foundation for pretty much any card you exactly, can make. Exactly, yeah. Any card. And it, it's great. I mean, there's one here, I think we've shown this one, but I love this one. This is, I think, again, one of Leslie's. I'm not sure. Um, but if you can see here, what she's actually done, she's put ribbon through behind, but she's used one of her stamped images. Oh, There's another one where she's, someone's used til one of the Tilda girls. Right. So you can fit, if you're a stamper and you, you know, you're fed up with the basic cards to put things on. Yeah. Stamp it, cut it out with the die and stick it on here. Oh, you could, you can use that as a separate topper, can you? Yes. And I you've like got all this. the dies to cut it out as a separate topper. I like it. Do you know what, I mean, this one, for example, I, I did say for any card, and I mean, you can make it for any card, anything for girls or guys, change up the colours, it, it's usable. Any yeah. occasion, well, this, this could be the foundation. Obviously, how you dress it up, the colours, right, it's yeah. all going to change. But I do believe that. I do believe that. Well, that's baby. Perfect. There you go. So, again... And think what embellishments you've got now. Yeah, how think much... Think what sentiments are you going to stamp in Stuff have you got at home that you need to... You know, you need to find something to pull them on. Yeah. This is the idea. I wanted something basic, but you could take it anywhere. So, this isn't just for... E this isn't an easel card no, dice set. I will show be. in this show it how we be, make clearly. this with it. Um, or it could be a simple tentfold card. I'll say simple. Yes. Beautiful. Um, do you know what? My favourite one here... I just love these colours, John. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's stunning, isn't it? And again, there's no sticker on it. I have to say thank you. I've been really helped out on this show by what we euphemistically call the Lockers Angels. Lockers Angels. All right. Can, um, I, can I be a Lockers Angel? Yeah, I'm sure you can join the Lockers Angel. We'll get you on the WhatsApp group. Yeah, all right. That's um, a WhatsApp group. Uh, there is, okay. yes. But we've, we've Why got. Not? I've got Leslie, I've got Bev, I've got. And, and, right. and I've got Martine in there. And they have done some amazing 
well, samples really quickly on these. They've done, they, well, I am, so I'm not going to say you're talented. You can see how talented you are. Do you know what? Now, with a one-day special, you're going to save that £6. Now, one-day special, they're always limited time offers. Now, John and I, all being well, we'll be back on your screens at 1 o'clock and uh, with somebody else at 5. But it is while the stocks last. If you like to get it, if you're going to get it at some point, you're going to save that £6 now. And all you pay today on Flexibuy, £19.99, eight eight one eight nine seven. There are a lot of people currently buying this right now. If you like it, uh, again, save your six pounds, get it right this instant. Uh, this is the foundation of all your crafting projects, of, of all your cards. It really, really could be, really could be. That's the one that's special. We need to move away from that. That's going, that is going. Uh, John, what have we got here? Right, so this is the first parts. So these are brand new again, launched last night. This is the Honesty Flowers and the Honesty Leaves. Right. And the best way to look at these is actually look at the sample of them made like this. So what you've got is you've got four card you've right. got four flower sizes okay and each petal is made with a heart with the sort of the heart strings in it right but you actually mix them together you've actually got two of each size so the set has eight dies in yeah so if you cut just all eight of them you'll get four full flowers out as we're I showing see. there oh i like I do it. have to apologize the packaging on the front image has not come out how it's supposed to <laughs> But this is the dive, first time I'm... I saw it. These actually arrived in the country yesterday. Oh, really? Is it that? Yeah, new? these were couriered up on a sort of same day service to get them here. <laughs> right. Um, so I hadn't actually seen it, although I'd drawn it. It's something's not quite right. So it's on definitely that. new then. <laughs> yeah, but you can build beautiful flowers. So here, what Bev's done is she's used them just onto double sided adhesive and put glitter through to make a background with them. They're beautiful, That's like gorgeous. that. I but of course, then. Well. She's put some glitter behind to give the flowers. How small? Or we've got here. Oh, now this is my colour card. Now, card. if you got my camellia dye from last month. Yes. If you notice, that's what the black is. Ah. Oh. So they're fit and size with the dyes we've already got. So what if you want to take your camellias yeah. somewhere else, you've got a more fantasy flower in that. That is beautiful, Again, John. But just to show you the very delicate sort of delicacy, I'll use a white card. Yes. But that's what, that's cutting gold foil card. Okay. It's like a rose gold, but you can gold, see it? all of the detail that you've got in there, and of course you're getting that in four sizes. You are, by the way, if you like some paper, um, I would say just as beautiful as that to make you cut your flowers out of. Watch this space. Watch this mm. space. Uh, it's something just there. You're not going to want to miss that. That's beautiful. And uh, then, oh, John, I've got what we've here. got then is you've got then the um, honesty leaves. Right. So these are done with the same heart idea. Yeah. But you've got a swirl that goes left and goes right. Okay. So it goes perfectly round. But again, it's just something different in foliage that adds something a little bit, a nicer touch. Yeah. And what I'd say is, if you see on the packaging, these say on them, the heart collection. Mm -hmm. So, we've, I've not done anything in heart yet. Okay. So this is the start of the heart and the honesty heart collection. Amazing. So, keep an eye out because you'll be seeing very soon right. the next bits that these match in with. So these will you tease move John. forward because again, Got to work forward and back. Stop it. Yes. Stop it, John. Sorry. John, uh, <laughs> so it's going to be a big year. 2019 yes. for you, isn't <laughs> yes. it? Uh, there we go. For John next door. £22.98. Save £3. I love these savings. They all mount up, don't they? Saving £3 now. It's 188570. We've got lost demonstrations, so do stay tuned. That one day special, flying. Absolutely flying. I'm so pleased. Because when you see something of such good value, you get excited. Yeah. I just really want you to have a go at it. Right, now, envelopes, John. Very important. Yeah, really important. So what I've done is, this is um, a pack we've put together specially yes. to match with the one-day special. Okay. So what you're going to get is, if you remember last month I brought you the flower-making paper. Yes. And the flower-making paper had a gold okay. um, mica sort of set into it. Yes. It was 160 GSM. Everyone asked, can we have it in card? This is the card version, but in silver white. Oh, I like it. So it's all set, and what I've done is you've got... Very fresh, isn't it? 25 of these. Right. And this is a 165 square piece. Okay. This is exactly the size you need for the one-day special. Mm -hmm. And then you get 25 oversize 7x7 seven seven envelopes. Right. So these will take a 7x7 seven seven card with all flowers and embellishments on. Because it's not oversized. Because yeah, it's okay. oversized. If I bring one in, you can see here, oh, it perfect. fits exactly... Oh. For your flip it looks card. more expensive than it does outside, and doesn't again it? it's the same and of course this because this is crystal paper yeah the shine is on everywhere it's oh not i like just it a printed finish yes but the idea was that we worked i think we worked it out it will cost for the cut for the piece of card to cut the card right. and the envelope to go in is 52p 
Is that so you could actually, yes, it's going to take you a little bit more card to add on that, but we use our scraps. Yes. So let's say you even add 10p more on. Mm. It's going to cost you 62p. You should be able to sell that for 120. Um, f I'd, and you're making a 100% markup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if you put it as two pounds, you're actually you're going to be able to make some decent money because I don't believe when people do it and they hold it and they go, you could get 10 pounds for this. No, you can't. No, you can't. No, I'm sorry. No, you can't. Anyone who sells their crafts knows that people won't pay no, more no, than, no, no, no. than uh, two or three pounds. I mean, that's daft. Yeah. Isn't it? That's daft. But something that's a bit different, but again, you're for getting the envelopes. For mixed media, you know, large yeah. pieces, you can kind of get it. And your boxes, but, but not for boxes. a card. No, 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 no. So that was the idea of this. So you get 25 of each in the beautiful and of course the squares are 300 gsm so it's absolutely got the string and of course it's all set with that lovely that silver beautiful. white mica set into it you know uh, i for, love this for 12.99 so that's 25 sheets and 25 envelopes there. yes that's a big piece obviously 50 pieces in total 12 pounds 99 that's 028021 now then just a heads up folks we have got about six minute queues on the phone lines i'm not surprised uh we've we've packed out the call center we knew it's going to happen seriously we're trying our best to keep up with it uh do call us we will get you you'll be able to buy yours if you can't go on the website it's a fast way to order now right now i'm particularly excited about these two items john yes these like are beautiful these. go on then let's talk about the card first so shall what we? we've got here is this is the same again so this everyone asked me if we could get card in this right this is crystal silver 300 gsm a4 card You're getting 20 sheets in there and again what it's done is it is not set with it's not a print right. it's not a plastic coating okay it's kind of got and I, I can't find out exactly how it's made but to my mind it's got silver white mica embedded in it silver white so oh, if you on. spray on this if you ink on this yeah. wow. the shine shows through oh what's you making into a blue piece or a gold yes. piece or so if i'll go and get my ink which is why that's off. impressive so sorry nine guys i'm nine. terrible for doing this no you're not no john i want to see it so what we've got is, is this your is ink this is the is ink right in I'll, it. I'll stand back <laughs> no. there we are right okay so okay. spray that with the blue this is nearly dry if you look there beautiful you oh, don't to lose pleasant. that shine so i've suddenly made myself a blue and platinum card you've got yourself a bespoke yep. piece of pearlescent card now haven't yep. you if i go and get another color do it yeah keep going i like it oh, well there's a limited stock limited stock on this ordinary delivery 9.99 for 20. if i go so of course it's not like some of the pearlized cards or pearl card okay. this is crystal card so it's the same on the back All right so when i put it down with an orange yeah. if you can see that Oh, it looks it. as if it's gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Silver it? underneath it. That looks goldy colour. But it's not. So you, we've got silver. You can make your bronze, your coppers. Gold. So you can now have a piece of pearlescent tied in, harmonised with the other elements in your card yes, now. Yes, exactly. You can really, really hone in. Yeah. Now. And if you stamp on this with black, what happens then? It doesn't look black. It looks as if you've got a sort of smoky grey. Really? Because what happens is, it seems to be when you put ink onto this, it pulls some of the mica to it. Okay. And it sort of reflects back. So instead of having flat, dead black ink, yeah. you've got a sort of sheen and a shine to that it. That looks expensive. It's actually. amazing. But so what ink, if you're just stamping on a happy birthday sentiment, for example, what ink would you use? Just I'd just use Versafine. Just Versafine black ink? Just black Got Versafine. Them. Done. Right, um, there you go. Limited stock, £9.99, 10% or less remaining. You need to get this quickly. Uh, 300 GSM. So it's a good weight, isn't it? Um, 20 sheets, 9.99. I mean, come on. It's uh, 937922. Hopefully, we're going to get some more stock on extended delivery, but ordinary delivery time at the moment. Limited stock for this. Now, I believe this one sold out actually Indeed. before, didn't it? Yeah, this is now. So this is the same kind of finish. This is exactly it? the same. What I managed to get was I managed to get, speak to our mill last night. Right. And they very Your mill. Kindly. Just phone up the mill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, the poor Andy is, you know, <laughs> fed up too. with me. I, I've, I've missed Ow. calls off him this morning. Um, <laughs> this is exactly the same. So we did the flower making paper last month. Right. And that was 160 GSM. Okay. This one, it, and that was set with gold. This is set with the silver white. So it's exactly the same on both sides. This will shape, but this is 120 GSM. Okay. Normally, 120 GSM paper is for inserts. Yes. For envelopes. But you can mould with this, you can die cut with this. I've cut over there, I've sprayed and cut some of the flowers. Okay. Yeah? And they still cut and work perfectly. And you would think 120 won't work, but the card is made so nicely. So what we've you done with this one is you get a 50-pack. Right. 
because we've had to sort of, re you know, because it's a difference in weight, we've had to source it separately. Yes. But yeah, use this for stamping, inking, cutting your flowers, moulding and making your flowers. So it's, I do what, Everything. so, and that's all for your embellishments and for your inserts as well? And for your inserts and I've for your main body. Though. I mean, I could actually cut, what we'll do is in the first demo, I will cut the base card with this and put the strengthening bar in to show you how we, we do can that? make the card that will stand up in 120 GSM in That's this. really good. That's yeah. a really good thing to show. You know, uh, it just looks luxurious. It really does. It's why it's sold out before. We weren't sure we could get some stock back, but we have done. So a little bit mine, not an awful lot. So it's £12.99. 50 sheets dispatched on the 4th of April, okay? So it's uh, 164224. I know it's a bit longer to wait, but folks, same price, same deal as earlier on, but I, I would grab it. Whilst it's available anyhow, I'd grab it. Uh, the card, by the way, is just sold out, but I think we have got some on the back on extended delivery on the 4th of April, I assume, as well on that one. So again, if you like the card doc, different item numbered there. Um, and again, it's coming up now, 937922. Joe, you know we've been chatting 20 minutes in. 20 minutes? No, 20 sorry. Minutes on. We've been catching up. We'll get told off. We're supposed to be at demo. Right, minutes. come on, demonstrations, come on, we've been chatting, forgive us. Uh, let's go and have a look. This is the one-day special, by the way, um, absolutely fly. If you like it, you're getting both dice sets. It's a brand-new concept, a uh, brand-new design. Do you know how we often talk about, you know, one die can transform a completely different look of a card? You'll often hear people say that, but I've got to say, the transformation that these die have, oh, my word, they are dramatically different. You're going to save you £6, uh, 881 897 £19.99. So there you go, good deal, saving £6. Now, stock-wise, going to give you some updates soon. Um, I wouldn't think about it for too much longer. I don't want to pressurise, because I know it's like it's annoying. But um, if you would like it, I, I would I would get it this hour. I would get it this hour. OK, uh, £39.98, that's a good deal. So, John Lockwood. Yes. Go on, what are we doing, sir? One right, day special. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the one day special. I'm going to do the Desford. All right. This has been called the Desford because Sam actually helped me. I was stuck. I designed one panel, so I designed this panel here, and I couldn't work out what to put in the other panel. Okay. So I sort of so shouted downstairs, Sam, came up and said, how about you do some, like, ovals oh. in a row? And I thought, oh, what a great idea, and we could ribbon thread through well, that or yeah, anything. Yeah, pretty. So we did that. So I called this the Desford because most of my dyes are named Des after Leicestershire and oh, sort of right. local villages. We did the right. Oakham last month. We've got the Stamford coming in May. The Stamford, oh, Stamford, yeah, because yeah. it's next door to Oakham and it's similar. Yes. I shouldn't have told you that actually. Sorry. Is the Kettering coming? Um, someone says that, and uh, Haley's asked for a Hinkley, so Hinkley. we'll see what we can do. Well, that's Corby. Oh, no, I'm not going to call you. That's Corby. a town, though, not a village. Sorry, you're absolutely yeah. right. <laughs> um, you're just thinking Ministry of Sand. I know. I, 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 yeah. um, but basically, so I called this the Desford because <laughs> that's the village that Sam comes from. Oh, right. his family come from, so we've called it that. Now, what I'm going to do, normally I've been it. cutting it in card, but I'm going to cut it. This is the paper. Just to show you, this is the paper okay. this time. So I've not tried this, but it should work. So what I'm going to do is just put the die, the base die, down. Okay. That's it. And this is why I said a beginner could do this. You know, you could actually, if you, you could cut this, it's a great one to cut for, you know, like sort of for kids, for grandkids. Yeah. For, um, scout groups and thick girl guides groups. I know it's an mean. easy cut and they can really go to town decorating it. Can, yeah, this is what I'm saying. It's, 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 it creates that base very quickly, yeah. very precisely. And what, and what is that base going to become? That's the exciting thing here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the strengthening bar in card. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut the matching card. So in a nutshell, you add in the, the strengthening bar so we can use a lower weight card. Yes. Okay. Get it the right way in. So what a great way of using it for your... Uh, on a, oh, I like your type machine. Thank you. This is a prototype. <laughs> this, this is a so prototype. Nice, sir, John. Um, uh, yes. Um, that? I designed the case for it. Where is that from? Um, um, John, this is exciting. Yes, hey. now, we didn't... We haven't done any of this sizes yet. Um, we have managed to get some in from Europe from Nelly Snellen. Right. They have done it, so I think there's some on the website. But, yeah, this is a, a, a view of things to come. Is it coming soon? Am I allowed to say this? Um, it's, it's coming. It's coming at I some wouldn't point. say soon. Let's say, say no more. Uh, Do you know what's going yeah, to be called? a slightly different version. I believe it's going that. to be called the Omni. The Omni? So, if you actually... Um, if you're good at Latin... Like it. I'm not. Um, like then me. you'll you'll see what that means, Omni. and it will give you a good idea of, of what we're planning for the machine to be able to do. So That's quite exciting, isn't it? There we go. So I've got then. This is so 120 GSM paper. Yep. You know what you'd normally think for inserts. That's one that's fold. sold out, by the way. And actually, previously. doesn't actually need the strengthening bar. Well, it doesn't actually. No. But if you wanted to, because what I can do is take one of the dies, 
and drop that in. It is on extended delivery, just so you know, this card, but I don't want to hop on. So I can cut that in, which is obviously going to weaken it. Okay. Quite a bit. So we're going to cut, run that one through. Okay. And I've got my strengthening bar. Your, yeah. All your folds are in there, because if you're anything like me, mm. you'll struggle half the time to find your phone, bone folder and your embossing yes. board, because you won't know where, where in your craft that? cave it is. Yes. And I never know where anything is uh, in my craft cave at the yeah. moment. No. Is yeah. it a state at the moment, John? Is it tidy, is it? It's tidy, because I tidied it before I left, and right. it's always tidy every morning, but it's only half the finished. Day. Right. So I, I have cladding up and things, but I don't actually have any this. plasterboard up. I bet it's a proper studio um, made there, isn't it? It's getting is there. It? I bet that's cool. Well, yeah. That's going to be lovely. But there we go. So we get all of that <laughs> detail. Yeah. Amazing. But it'll still stand. If I'm concerned, I can just... What I'll do for speed is add a little bit of spray glue. Okay. That will fit there and there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And we'll close that on it. So that just gives me strength. Beautiful. But that's cut in 120. That's gorgeous. That's not what we would do. We would use a, a 200. Uh, the lowest I would normally do for any... Well, for a card blank, you'd normally do 300. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a 260, 270, you'd 290. Assume, you? you go over the 250 level, but that's actually cut in I totally paper. understand. And that was the idea of the just strengthening bar. Holds. It's like a roof, isn't it? It's, yeah, it is. It's like, like a, a roof truss. It's like, a, like an yeah. RSJ. Oh, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> I've never, what does that stand for? Uh, RSJ. Oh, it's a, uh, something steel joist, isn't it? Ah. I never uh, know. It's a... Uh, I don't know. Reinforced steel joist. It is, is. Yeah, it is that, I think. Hey. It doesn't matter, really. But yeah, that, that's, your, that's, your, that's your cardboard RSJ, basically. Yes, I was So it's saying. an RPJ. Do not build uh, houses with that, though. For no, them. but that's... Yeah. So that's your basic <laughs> premise of what you can do. So straight from the box, yeah. anyone can cut that. Again, if you watch kids with the machine, because don't let them get... No, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...fingers it, trapped in there. But that's the basic you can do, and we can take it anywhere. Yeah, you can, can't you? And the same one-day special, the same dies. You can make boxes from these lids. You could do so much. By the way, um, can we give this some fame, please? Yeah. Because I want to jump ahead, because you've got so many examples here, John. You've, done, you've all done so well. That is stunning. So this is the one-day special. This is the one-day special. This is made by Mrs. Duck. Th oh, thanks, Mrs. Duck. And I've run your batteries out already, Mrs. Duck, it had a light in it. I saw Mrs. Duck at the NEC. But that is made with the same die set. Oh, so yeah. that is made with the one day special and she's used the front panel and do you want me to show you how that's done? We could do, can yeah. we? Should we do that? That's what we're here for. Um, by the way, well, stock wise of the one day special, again, it's saving £6, uh, we are getting through it, £19.99, that's your first payment of two. So there you go, it's those two die sets, £39.98, that's your full payment if you prefer that. Again, 881-897, so that's a good deal, folks, good deal. So um, if you're new to crafting, ideal, uh, something for all levels of craft. For all you're levels, so there. if you're, you're feeling a little bit more advanced, I've got one of the squares here of the 300. Yeah. And I've just put down this lattice panel, which comes from the Foston. But what I would say is, and again, with anything like this, because we've got straight lines running across it, yeah. So because we've got straight lines running across that way and we've got straight lines running that way, when your machine comes down, it can jump some of these lines. Yes. So what I would always say is, if you can, if you've got the ability, put it on the wonk. Okay. Because what happens is, as your machine comes down, and I always say this, it doesn't matter how good someone tells you the machine is, yeah. if it's straight, it'll get, uh, you know, a second over that. You've got a lot of cutting that. points, aren't you? You want to go that way. So just by putting it on the wonk, and going through. Well, you're focusing the pressure on less cutting you're actually, points, aren't you? Less cutting points, yeah. and you're actually giving longer time as it drags across the diamond longer time, right. than a square, which it drags down. I see, I and see. And it can jump. You do the sleeping policeman, you know, we, I know, I know if you miss the sleeping policeman in the road, yes, yes, yes. and you just go over it, yeah. you really do jump it. Yeah. yeah? That's what can happen uh, oh, with yeah, our die cutting machines. <laughs> yeah. That's where my transmission's gone. <laughs> right. yeah. Oh, my suspension. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. I know nothing about cars. Tracking's your... Uh, but there you go, you see? Straight out, 300 GSM. How amazing, comes. that's beautiful. So, what we've then got the option to do... Yeah. So I'm just going to take these off my plate. And it's okay. snowing in here. I am really sorry, Chloe. You're going to be sweeping again. No, I'll have to do it. Thanks, Chloe. But what we could do is we could match this there okay. to give us a background with a hexagon. Yeah. Or I could match it there to give me a smaller shape. Yeah? And take it up one and click it back in to give her like a lozenge shape. Okay. Or 
I can go right to there. So it just sort of fits in, doesn't and it? And it clicks in. Yeah. And it actually, you do it by feel, not by eye, but that is actually clicked in. So it fits back in. So I can, in fact, if I go one, if I go two more layers, so I'm going to go to here. Feel it, you'll feel it click back in. So I'm just going to tape that. When you've got a die clicked in, make sure that you're really taping it well. You don't want it to jump in the pressure in your machine. OK. So, and again, I'm going to put that slightly on the wonk, just to give it more points of pressure on the machine. Well, John, whilst that's running that through, through. Um, we are got some news for the one-day special. Uh, we've been going to the stock level. Um, if you like it, we are now 60% of the stock gone, OK? We've got another show at 1 o'clock, another show at 5, all being well. But if you like it, you're saving £6. Can you stretch to £19.99? If you can do, you're going to get the one-day special. This is John's brand-new dies, brand-new concept, live here on Hochanda. Uh, same die set, this box we're making currently right now. The same die set, the same bundle, same one-day special could do cars like this as well. If you want variation, if you want versatility, and it's a word we often use, isn't it? But I've got to say, well, I've just been told how many people have currently got this in your baskets. Folks, check out your basket because after about seven minutes it gets dropped out somebody else could get yours there might not be another one that you can grab if you like it variation if you want value this is what's all about value should be john's middle name i think because he taught me at the start we want value when it comes to dies he stretches he strives for something new every time when he's buying so if john's designing dies you know you've got something worthwhile getting it's 881897 uh, and i'm harping on but again 60 percent has gone i just don't want you to miss out on this because when i see something great that i'm passionate about i just want you to have a go with it especially with that price is brilliant value uh, thanks john thanks, that's john. all right so what I've done is I've just run this through and cut it, so we can see there, cut it through, just drop it out, and what you see, you've not recut anywhere, but where is that die? Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you look at that one, where it's is that die? Well, it doesn't actually exist anywhere, because all we've done is cut, and you can see in there the pieces that it's cut. It's all there. So, Ken, if you are relative, if you are this is sort of a, you know, what, a little bit more advanced, a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to click this back in the other way to so like those this, two. You know. Yeah? I'm going to click that back in and it's fixed back yeah. in. There's no like, oh, is it, isn't it, isn't it? No, it's you'll know when there. it is. That's what the is. great thing is with a, with a, I mean, I love lattice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, people know that I love a lattice. Oh, oh, um, I, I like the pastry the lattice one. as well. Ooh. Oh, don't. You're talking about the diet or the, or, the, or, the, or the pastry sweet? No, I'm back on my diet, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I am so, as well. I'm um, trying to be. But, I, I, I've, uh, but I'm quite pleased I've done £12. Good on so you, far, sir. So. I was going to say, John, you're looking, looking very trim. I'm not, but. Um, you are? Yeah, there's a long way to go. But, £12? Uh, Yes. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have lost all that weight initially. No, I remember we, we talked about that. In the old building. Doing the same... The same thing, same that, that same world. Yes. Like. Uh, yeah, I know. A world of slimming opportunities. That's the one. Yes. One of the groups. Yes. Fantastic thing. So, it changed my life, actually. Yes. Yeah. Oh. It has. It has. So you see there, I've repeated it. Can you see? That's beautiful, John. So, so I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat one more time. But this is, you know, we say this is, say, an expert thing yeah it's not anyone can do this anyone can look like an expert so if you remember what I did was let's match that diamond mm -hmm. so we'll go right to the same sort of point yeah that looks brown. Yeah. click it back in and um, when you're doing this you'll notice I'm taking fresh tape every time mm -hmm. I will always reuse tack. tape this is low tech but I will always reuse tape yeah but I will always get when I'm using a die, then I'm doing a repeat, mm. I'll always use fresh tape. Right. I know we all have bits on our machines, Yeah. but if we use old tape, sometimes it loses some of its adhesion and things can move. Yeah. And I don't want it to, so it's always worth just using new tape. And then leave the bits that you've had before mm -hmm. on your machine and use them when we're just cutting our flowers or anything else. But when you want something to stay in the right place, just use a fresh bit of tape. Right, OK. And if you're like me, I go through one of those rolls about one... You know, I go through a roll about every six months. Right, yeah, yeah. Which so means, mo you know, a, a crafter at yeah. home would... My you friend it tested it 18 months she went through a roll and she makes a thousand cards a year. Well, well, there you go. So, I asked her to test it for <laughs> That's me. That's impressive, isn't it? <laughs>
she does, Pauline, she makes nearly a thousand cards a year for charity. One thousand. So this lady Christmas starts in card. January? Yes, the lady starts in January. Paula, her name. Pauline. I often talk about Paula, but I can't remember yeah. his name. Paula, I'll remember Pauline. that now. Pauline. Pauline. Paula, I'm going to remember that now. Pauline, thank you. Uh, well done. Good on you. That's, uh, that's impressive. She does. And Mightily she... impressive. And there we go. So, where is that die? Oh, I like it. I love it. I'm going to take those bits out. Really annoy me. But where's that die? And you could keep that going, but that, if it was a die, would cost you nearly £20. Yeah, it would. Because it? of the amount of metal used. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Whereas it's one panel from 17. But you're a crafty thing. crafter. I try my hardest crafty crafter. to get the best things for people. Yeah, well, you do. And to get the best ideas. And I remember, I remember our early shows, John, when you say, enjoy, it's got to be off of something new, exciting, got to be value. It That's has. what you it's look for. It's got to be it's innovative. Got to be. Otherwise, it's got to it's be good one value. Pony. And it's got to be. For me, it's got to be it's got to be innovative. It's got to be good value. And yeah. It's got to be pretty. Got, it's got, it's got to be pretty. Oh, it's got to be pretty. Yeah, but it has to do lots of things. I want value for my money. Yeah, of course you do. Of As a crafter, do. I want to be able to think. Oh, where can my brain take me now with yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. What can I do that no one else has done? Oh, um, in a nutshell, that's the one day smash me. What if someone's thinking just tuned in? What would you say to them? Why go for the one day smash me? Because you can actually go from. Yeah. You can make this card. Yeah. Uses exactly the same dies as this. Right, well, there you go. Exactly the same as this. You can make the box with it. Yeah. We can make just a basic, fully latticed card everywhere. That. You can do anything that you want to. Yeah. And this is all you of those. Use it are only using one side. We've got another side to that die You can just well, use yeah. the outer die just for the structure of the base. Yes. You can use something for Father's Day, something for Mother's Day. Yeah. Oh, it reminds me, it's a Sunday, isn't it? It is. I've still got time. It's fine. Uh, right, there we go. <laughs> right, shall I do a quick recap? Yes, I think while I start and work out how I'm going to make your mum a Mother's Day card thanks, for you. Thanks, John. Uh, right, John, I haven't forgotten, see? <laughs> uh, right, John, uh, thanks so much. I'll be right back. By the way, if you like some of those sprays John used earlier, it's the Isings, the Isings. They are beautiful. These are the sprays. We've got the uh, Sunrise set. Oh, the Sunrise set has sold out, but we've got these. Um, it's the Berry set. From what? Uh, Black and Cassis, it's uh, £14.99, it's one four nine five five four. If you like that, honest folks, I would grab that. Now, I know I'm a bit hyper, but uh, when you see something new and exciting, when you just know that people have got a genuinely good saving, a really fantastic product, um, I, just, I just want you to experience it, I really do. Now, lots of you have uh, have bought this do you know to be more specific about 65 percent now of the stock's now gone uh, it wasn't long ago it's jumped to another five percent so how long are you going to leave it because you, know, you know and i sometimes i overthink things I, 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 it takes me a while to make a decision sometimes i think oh shall i leave it and then it's gone and then what you do you're, you're frustrated with yourself you think oh well i've got ideas for this now what if tomorrow you've got ideas what if it's seven o'clock tonight you think oh you know what i've got an, i found a piece of car look beautiful with that with that die john had earlier well if you're worried that's going to happen if it's your passion you're saving six pounds anyway I'd grab it. I would grab it. Um, right, let's see some more cards here. Okay. In fact, John, firstly, the die. Right, now, you're getting two sets, oval and a hexagon. So two sets in the one-day special, all one bundle. There's obviously one set here, the hexagon. So you've got outside cutting lines. That's, I mean, that's, that's your workhorse die. That's just going to make the structure of your card. So when you think what card you're going to make for somebody, you're going to be using, oh, you're going to be using that. So therefore, you could use this to make any card for anyone. I mean, it could be. It could be any card for anybody that's how you start off and then this way it becomes a little bit more specific you can choose the lattice for somebody in particular you've got almost like a floral design around here and uh, that's like a support bar so if you're using a weight of card or paper you don't think it's actually very smart or very uh, appropriate you can use a support bar to add a little bit of sturdiness so you might be able to make cards from uh, a lower weight of paper who knows right cards okay let's go now uh, firstly i love an easel card been a while this is what you can do. I'm going to try and show as much variation as possible. Uh, right, we are busy on the phone lines now. Uh, more and more people, as I'm talking right now, you're allocating it to your basket. Don't forget to check them out, folks. I know I'm harping on, but I don't want you to miss out on this. I really, really don't. So, for 50th wedding cards we've got here, look at this. Now, now we've got, from the, from, the, from the same collection, look, I've now, I've now got a wedding card here. From the same collection, and I've got a different wedding card. It could be a congratulations, could be many things indeed. It could be something for Valentine's Day. Oh, do I mention it? Uh, but that is beautiful. Mother's Day. Oh, there we go. I found it. <laughs> uh, that is 
gorgeous. £90.99. I mean, we've got boxes here. We've got box lids from this. The demonstration we're doing now, uh, we're kind of showing you how to do something as gorgeous as that. Mrs Duck made this. Mrs Duck, that's absolutely beautiful. Now, again, if you're brand new to crafting, you're going to hit the ground running with that base time. If you're intermediate, if you're experienced time, these are John words, not mine, you're going to get something from it. £19.99, save you £6, get it on Flex by 881897. You're getting both selections there. That, to get something such uh, worthwhile, so versatile, that's an exciting opportunity. I mean, yes, all right, in dies, you can make various different styles, various different looking cards, but the multitude, the broad spectrum of cards you can create from that is one of the biggest I've seen from, from a couple of sets. It, it really is, it really is. Right, now then, this is also going to be impressive. Now then, if you haven't seen this before, look, come on. We're talking about the base cards. If you've got the one day special, how about embellishing it? with these flowers there. Now, the black one, I think it was a chrysanthemum. The black one, the black, I think it was a chrysanthemum, was it your previous dice? Camellia. Camellia, Cam 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 sorry, beg your pardon. Oh, chrysanthemum. Uh, Camellia, so if you've got that previous die, you're gonna be laughing. But uh, to be honest, that overlay die, the floor designs, the petals, that's what you can make from the selection right now. So there you go, this is important. If you're using mirror card, if you're using glossy card, if you're using craft card, uh, absolutely ideal. This is an elegant finishing touch. £22.98. Save yourself that £3. It's nine, ten dies, sorry, even better. Ten dies in total, saving £5.30. And there we have them right there. If you think they look beautiful, I'd grab them. Save £3. Uh, right, now, we've got Carstock on the show. Uh, we've got another die, actually. We're talking about personalisation earlier on. Uh, numbers, these are the bold numbers. I say these are bold. Bold. Uh, and what I like about this, it's not a fiddly little die you're going to lose. One strip keeps it nice and straightforward, does our job. And that means you can cut very quickly, you can cut numbers out uh, uh, very precisely. I love that 90, that's really cool. Uh, this is that, oh wow, I've just been told in my ear, this is absolutely flying. By the way, how cool is that? That shows all the numbers there, doesn't it? It could be a date, it could be a wedding date, it could be an anniversary card, it could be the date someone moved into the new house, it could be the date your son or daughter was born. That's important. Personalisation is vital. And with a font like that, you're not going to alienate it. It's not, it's not a divisive font, that, is it? This is going to be good for girls, for guys, for all ages. I really do believe that as well. Maybe that's why it's flying. It's at £9.99, 282233. John Next Door, bold number dies. It's another item that's brand new today. OK, right, now we've got cards and envelopes. 25 cards with 25 envelopes. Now then, it's important to have matching, I think, quite often. That's exactly what you've got right here. You have got the matching envelopes to the matching cards. Not just in size. By the way, these are oversized. These are absolutely oversized. Look at those. It's going to fit in perfectly. In fact, you know, I think we've got one right here. The reason why oversized, obviously to make it easier to get in and out, but they really are oversized. So if you've got, like, your embellishments there, they're going to be absolutely perfect. That's ideal. That's going to give you working space because it's a shame to squash your embellishments. It all makes sense. But I've got to say, when matching, the colour is gorgeous. It's like a little, almost like a white silvery mica loaded up in here. It's not overpowering. Joy, if you aren't using your ink, your versifying inks over there, um, it's to go like an almost like a grey kind of uh, pewtery kind of colour, metallic finish. So, there you go. 25 cars, 25 envelopes, complete matching set, 12.99. It's 023-021. If you like to multi-buy, you might have 150 wedding invitations. Buy it three times. Uh, no, it's more than that, isn't it? I can't work it out. Uh, six times, isn't it? Ooh, I've landed myself in air. I landed myself. That's just basic maths. Yeah, if you want to make 150 cards, I don't know, but it's going to be by uh, six times, isn't it? I don't know what I'm trying to say now. I land myself in a hole. Uh, if you want to stock up, by the way, do it. So there we go. So 25 sheets and tw it is six times. Yeah. If you, if let's say you've got 150 wedding invitations, if you wanted to buy it six times, for example, if you did want to, uh, you can easily do that. Uh, that's sort of that the throwaway common. Well, that was my fault. That was, uh, I, I dragged myself into a hole then. See, what I tried to do then, I tried to work out basic maths. Just doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. That's why art was, that's why art was my favourite subject at school, and I scraped through GCSE maths. But I've got a calculator on my phone, it doesn't matter. Right, OK, uh, zero, no, kids, actually, it's important. Though. Seriously, if you watch it, uh, I'll go in a bigger hole. Seriously, maths is vital, very important at school. Right, now then. Uh, <laughs> now then. This sold out earlier on this hour. But we have got a bit of stock back on extended delivery. Dispatch on the 4th of April, you're still getting the same deal. The only difference is you wait a little bit longer for it, but it's a good deal. It's £9.99. Now then, we're talking about this card. If you spray it with those eye zincs, come on, look at that. That's completely dried now. Look at that. It 
the, the, it doesn't dominate the pearlescent finish. So you're going to make your own personal bespoke card here. That, my friends, is beautiful. So rather than, you know, uh, but by spend lots of money on this colour card and more money on another colour card, you might as well go for the base, which I call this, and then add your own colours. It's, it's, it's the best family way to get it. It's the best family way to buy a card. Buy a neutral colour, then you just make it your own. 9.99 it's 9.37922 again that is that's a lot of that's that's a lot that's a lot for your money 20 sheets 300 gsm as well so it's nice and thick uh, nice and sturdy like, like me at mass right now then uh, you've also got uh, some some papers here now to go 12.99 you're getting 50 sheets this time 120 gsm so if you want some ideal flower making paper it's the perfect weight it's the perfect finish that's why it's sold out that's why i've got a bit of stock back again on extended delivery so same story as the last uh, bundle of the card this one right here um fourth of april okay one six four two two four. For stamping on it, just use a black Versafine, and it's got like almost like a grey kind of metallic kind of colour. It's beautiful, like a pewtery kind of colour, like a gunmetal. So there you go. Twelve ninety nine. Again, it's one six four two two four. For your embellishments, for your flowers, for your inserts. Well. That's going to be very, very smart. Now that there we go, we're going to go back to John. We've got more demonstrations because I'm like you. That's what I love watching. That's how we learn, isn't it? Here's the one that's special, which we're focusing on demonstration-wise. It's a limited time offer. The one day special. If you flicked on, and you might be tempted, not only going to save six pounds, you're going to make a wide variety of cards on this. Now, do check out your baskets, folks. I know a lot of people who uh, uh, miss out sometimes because uh, uh, by the time you've uh, wanted to check out your baskets, it's been emptied. Somebody else might get yours and we might have sold out by the time you re-enter. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, with a one-day special, I would check out. £19.99 today. Anyway, I'm John, I'm boring myself now. I'm right. boring myself. Right, what have we got now? No, because I understand that happened to me on one of the New Withers shows. Did it really? I put it in my basket. And it's gone. Around, do, da, da, and it, 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 it's it's gone. Sometimes with those two items, it, it can do. Yeah. It can do. I don't want to scam. I've got pressure. But yeah. I, 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 I know what it's like to miss out on things. It's frustrating. <laughs> yeah. Right. So, so what I'm going to do is I thought I'd show you the easel stand. Yeah. So yeah. What I'm going to do is quite simply to start with, I'm going to cut the main piece. Now, what okay. I need to check is, check which side has the cut line on it. You'll be able to see which side has a cut line because it's got a higher raised cut line. Mm. The other side just has the piece of metal to give you the emboss line, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. So, what I always do is put the tape down on the piece on the side that has the cut line on it mm -hmm. because I want my fancy piece to be there, mm -hmm. yeah? So what I'm going to do is take then the fancy piece and make sure if you look, can you see how it's, it fits nicely evenly on those three sides? But you've got a bigger gap at the top. That's thanks to Jane, Jane okay. Smith, who Thank said you, to me, just, she said, just remember when you're making this sort of fold over, if you cut the filigree all the way to the edge, what's going to fold? Uh, so just make sure you tuck it there so that you can fold it. You want a, bit of, a good bit of room there, don't you? Yeah, you want to leave a little bit of room. So that's why the dies are slightly shorter on here, because if it went to there, yeah. there'd be nothing to actually flip. Yeah. And if you put your strengthening bar on, you're going to see it through you're your filigree. See it. Yeah. So I'm just going to run that through. Now, I like the strengthening bar. That's impressive. Whilst that's running through, what I've done is I've taken a piece of another piece of this is the A4 this time. This is what we've got the on the show. Yes. Just that's sold out earlier on this show, but we've got some more back on extended delivery. Just uh, FYI. Yeah. So what I've done is I've taken it and I've measured the die, and mm. the die is just under six and an eighth. Right. Okay. So I've cut this piece to the same size as the die. I'm sure in metric it makes a certain size. Because I don't know why, my brain seems to work these days in inches. Right. Even though I was taught centimetres at school. Right, okay. Yeah. But oh, I oh. draw in millimetres. Right. Oh, you don't make it makes easy for yourself, do no. you, John? No, because why make it easy for yourself? No. You know, why do things the simple mm. way when you can do it the hard yeah, way? Yeah. I do believe in making things easy, but I don't know why I draw in millimetres. Um, works, but I make I card make it's anything I do in in inches. Right. So I'm just going to peel that off. Okay. With this, when you're using this filigree panel, be very very careful because it is very very fine. Mm -hmm. And what I did was they I, I said this last night if anyone saw it, but the factory that manufactures the dies for us, I send them some designs and they'll return back going, How, we've obviously not sent you the instructions for die making right. with the rules on how close lines can be. Right. So they send me through this same diagram again. And I have got it, it's stuck up in front of the computer, I just ignore it. No. They've sent it me now 15 times. 
Are you trying to say oh, something, John? We think we might not have given you the rules. No, I keep pushing them, and that's oh, why. I like it. So. These lines, if you look at these sort of little I think you may have not that, read the instructions. I oh, know I've read them. They're taped up in front of me. <laughs> I, I know. 0.8 millimetres, 0.7 between those. They're hinting at something, John. Just don't take any notice. No, go on. Look how fine the lines are for <laughs> those leaves. Hilarious. Yeah? So. <laughs> it's hilarious. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut now a mm. second piece. Yeah? And I'm going to place the die onto place. Yeah, I'm going to take the die that I've just put down and lost, obviously, after carefully cleaning it. Very and smart. again, the tapes on the cut side. I'm going to tape this one down, and we're just going to run that one through. Now, while that's running through, okay. What I'm going to do is take the back of here. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just going to first of all take a piece of pink. I don't know where I put my... Oh, there it is, my double-sided, because it's far speedier. Right. So I'm just going to take my... And I'm going to put a piece... onto this flap. So I've cut the square just over six inches. I'll cut... Uh, just over six inches, cut, and then I've scored at just over six inches. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? OK. <coughs> I'm then going to marry that to the square. Oh, seven minutes, John, just to let you know. Yeah, OK, that's fine. Doing lovely. Yeah, because what I've done is got some double-sided there and I want to hide that piece. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take that and there and some reason. Is there any reason why I can hear Leone booming in my head? Oh, I can hear that as well. <laughs> you hear before you see it. We, we just heard Leone. So, I mean, this is, these are thick insulated walls in the studio. We heard her through there, through another world wall, down a corridor, through our earpieces. That's what we just heard there, wasn't it? Yeah. So. And, and the door the shut. Start. As well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That, this is quite scary. I had to go boom. <laughs> so, I'm going to take the Love next it. one. So, what I've done is I've taped a piece of pink into there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I've taped that piece onto there. So, yeah. I've got my start of the flat piece. Yeah. Okay. The pink I'm using is the shell pink, which comes from the antique linen card pack that we've got on the show. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to take this out now. Mm -hmm. Carefully remove. And again, because this is quite so fine, and, and something I, I would mention, actually, I've seen a lot of people saying recently, oh, if a die doesn't cut, try wax paper. Okay. Wax paper will not help a die to cut. Wax paper just transfers wax between the die cut and the die and helps the die come out easier. Yeah. So it's not going to help it cut at all. No. What it's going to do is make it come out a little bit easier. Okay. So when it's something really fine like this, because it's so fine pushed, sometimes it may be worth using a piece of wax paper yeah. just so that it just drops out. Yeah. Yep, so there we go. Clean that carefully. Okay. And I'm going to drop that in then to the top piece and tape that down. Because that's the thing I wanted to show is it fits, because it's equal, it fits yeah. on both sides. Oh, I see. Yeah. So we'll run that one through. No, it's beautiful. So while we run it through, I've got a feeling this is going to end up as your mum's Mother's Day card somehow. Really? Oh, that'd be amazing, John. So, just going to add, I've got another square of pink She's a big fan. That I've cut. Oh, bless her. She is. Jean, isn't it, your mum? That's right. Yes. Absolutely right. Oh. Chester, Jean from Chester. That's it, yeah. Oh. Okay. okay. So I think people, this is the great thing. I mean, I know you shouldn't say this, but this is one of the things I love about our channel. Everybody will get on. <laughs> yeah, we we'll do. We'll talk over scenes, you know, we, we all. Oh, we, it's you know, a party backstage, we, we yeah, catch up. It, and it is great, and it catches up when we've seen we each other. We catch up, oh, yeah. There is a genuine, oh, really social. good family feeling. There is. And, yeah. it, and there is. Yeah. Um, you know, and everyone has a laugh. I mean, you know, like I say, Leonie's in the studio now chatting away. I can hear that. Like, yeah. Sorry, in the gallery now chatting away. That's oh, how I it is. I turn my ear down. <laughs> so all I'm going she's to do... She's, def she's defining physics at the moment with that volume. <laughs> just going to drop that piece of pink in. <laughs> and then I'm going to take... There we go. And again, this is so careful. 
So I'm just going to peel it carefully away. And you may, as I say, you may want to feel at home yeah. that to get it out quickly, you want to put a piece of wax paper in. Mm. So, mm. just going to finish this one and get this out. Okay. There we go. Um, and one thing, important thing to mention on this one, if you bought the swirl leaves or the leafy flourish yeah. that I had before, it's the same pattern. Oh, okay. So the leafy flourish, so if you've got that, it matches exactly. Actually, that's the leafy flourish that she, Anne just used on there. Yeah, yeah. So that's exactly the same pattern. Oh, I see. I like to keep things going so that they match, but well, don't course. match, if that makes sense. That totally makes sense, totally. So you might have, might have to excuse me because... No, fine. <laughs> I don't have time to pick all the bits out, so I'm going to put that there. Actually, let's go other way around. So I'll put that piece just there, which fits exactly. Right. So we've got all of that detail, and then I have one right. of the hexagons that comes in the centre of this die. Yeah. So we've only actually used three of the dies in this set. On a piece of that, there we go. Let's get a little bit of foam tape. Mm. Mm -hmm. And just peel that off. This is the bit that gets annoying, isn't it? A little bit more satisfying. When I'm gluing. What's satisfying? But I just wanted to feel like I'd finished a card. <laughs> For once. <laughs> we're doing it. But we drop that in there. Two that. minutes, sir. John, that's, I mean, that's beautiful now, isn't it? Look at that. So that just wants a little bit more of a press, but that's, apart from a little bit of cutting first, that's from scratch. That's beautiful. Or we can have it standing just there. Just there, can you? John, that's so beautiful. So you decorate that, there you would put your Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. So I've left you a space to decorate. Right, John. But of course you've got all of that, and then it fits just like that. That's beautiful. So that's what we could send. Yeah. We could slide that, doesn't matter how wide it is. Into one of the envelopes, and because they're oversized, it doesn't matter what you put on that, and you're done. That's impressive, isn't it? Jo I'm blown yeah. away. Okay, really? Yeah, of course you can. Thank you very much. That's I really right. appreciate it. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go to the shop now. My mum's not watching because uh, she hasn't had a card in years. John, awful. Well, there you go. You got plenty. Uh, thanks very much, sir. Do you know what? Um, if you like the one day special, um, this is uh, coming towards the end of this one day special dedicated hour with John Lockwood. I'm going to say we've got a minute left on the show. It's simply not enough time. An hour isn't enough time. To, a one day special really isn't enough time to talk through all of the different options you can create because not on this they're going to grow. Think. You're going to grow with it. Aren't you? They're lovely. So we got both sets, don't we, John? You get both sets. So this is actually using just one of the dies in the set. Right. Cut in three times to a long piece of grey card and matched in. But this is using the same dies we just used, cut twice as a background. Here, Ange has actually done a lovely. single fold. Beautiful. Flat. But again, you wouldn't think they're all from the same set. You wouldn't. I mean, we, we often say, oh, there's a versatile dice set, but I, I've seen such a broad range. This is probably the broadest range of examples I've seen from a selection there. I mean, this, it, it's just good value, isn't it? Every time you make a card, we think, what shape is it going to be? Yeah. This could be so many different shapes, therefore it's going to be good value. And it just really depends how you dress it up, isn't it? It does. It's how you decorate it. It's there for you to use. Yeah. And everything's in there that you need. It's everything in there. John, thanks very much. Always Thank a you. pleasure, my friend. I'll see Always. you at one o'clock. I will see you at one. See you at one being well. We'll see you live here after the break. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you after this. Right then, it's the talk of backstage. Are we ready? It's handmade by Haley. You don't want to miss this. There's a huge buzz about this show. Uh, Crafted with clarity after that with Tina and ink it up with Lou Withers. The Sizzix Multi-Tool is a must-have for all your craft projects. Double-ended with both a distress and cutting head, the ergonomic grip allows for easy use with your A3 cutting mat. This self-healing mat comes with precision grids in both imperial and metric and 0-90 to degree angle measurement for precision crafting. Add this to your crafty stash at hochanda.com. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric, or you're an experienced sewer, 
We love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss the Meal Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Hello, I'm Hayley, and you might have seen me presenting here at Hachanda. Well, I've always been an avid crafter behind the scenes and have been given the opportunity to share some of my favourite products with you in a monthly show called Handmade by Hayley. So I hope you'll join me, let me inspire you, and maybe you will discover a new craft in the process. I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace and so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia and along the way I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers and that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start, and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hachanda. Hello and welcome. Well, I love this show. I mean, it's brilliant for presenters because we can go off and leave you to it. It's like me, it's like our like, little shows. Um, but I'm so pleased because, um, you know, obviously we've known each other years now. Years Two now. Years, um, and we've obviously been through all these wonderful crafty journeys. But mm. when you get your own range, when you, when you have this idea mm. and it becomes real, when it comes reality, mm -hmm. and when you start seeing how people use it, mm -hmm. that must be so cool. Are you getting a lot of people giving you feedback yeah, on everything. Yeah, loads. People are blogging about these panels. About, and it's brilliant because it, those two words in that same sentence together, I never thought I'd hear the word idea along with range. And that's what we've got. We've got a range of four panels. Yeah. This is your fourth, fourth collect Well, the, and this is a beautiful thing about uh, the panels. If you've maybe just tuned in, mm -hmm. these are so cool because these are going to allow you right from the top. Can we hold this Yeah, up, well, this, this is the complete equipment. So it's been a wow. series of four panels panels with this one being a panel for let's turn it around this way because then we can actually see the latest one on the top so you have got now um 12 panels in total in fact no it's that way sorry <laughs> get it right so if you've been collecting if you've been That's it. from the beginning yeah this is from the beginning this is it so these are all 12 blocks now the idea was what i wanted to do is bring a way of learning how to quilt and strip it right back to make it simple because one of the things i hear from so many people is i'd love to be able to do it but it just looks so complicated yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely and i'll let you into a secret it's not complicated there's a lot of maths involved when you kind of do it yourself but yeah. what I've done is I've made them into easy panels where you've got the shapes printed so all you need is a pair of scissors to cut round them Amazing. then you can decide if you're going to like um, a quilting and then you can go on to get additional things yeah. but for the price of a class you could learn how to create a block so series or oh, panel four is this three across so this here this is what we've got today mm -hmm. essentially so you've got your bow you've You're also gorgeous. got your twisted weave I love that. and the final one being a star that's beautiful now these do look complicated they, yeah but they're they not do. they do that particular one there i think you've got about four different styles at the square and that's, and that's it that's it cool. and that's what it's and all it's about just knowing how to pattern but so this is this week so that's then... that is um, panel four this one is panel three amazing panel two and yeah. guess what that one is leone the beginning Yay, this is where panel. the story began with the <laughs> first panel and, and it looks i mean this is what you could be doing so far mm. it looks gorgeous when it's that's all it. sewn together it looks amazing so maybe maybe you've tuned into all of the the shows and the panels that our hail is brought if so 
maybe that's what you're doing with yours. If you haven't, maybe this is the first time um, you've seen Hayley's show. This is such a good idea. So, let's show you one of okay. the panels. Now, you've got options with the different colour palettes. That's right. Um, this one is the leaves. Let me turn it the uh, right way around. This one's the birds. This sorry, 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 sorry. It's the birds, birds yeah. Sorry. The leaves is the one that's kind of got those bright contemporary of greens it is. in there. I knew that. It's the one that you like. Sorry, that's sorry. The there you yeah, go. I, I knew that. I would not be thinking. <laughs> um, look at that. Now, the beautiful thing about this, because you've made it so simple mm -hmm. literally it's marked where you need to cut you've even got the instructions mm -hmm. on the panel yeah and they're color coded as well so on this particular one with the bow you can see that you've got red focusing there the fabric that's um, got that red uh, outline is the fabric that you put in that place amazing so it, it's really foolproof mm, yes, it's, yes. it's really cool and it's even better when you hold it the right way up because I just realized it would come upside, upside down, down. <laughs> but there you go but it works both directions <laughs> <laughs> and the feedback I'm getting is from people <laughs> Loads that I've had experience though that have said um, that they love sewing, but they like something that's and feeling that this is kind of the equivalent of colouring in. So it's yeah. mindful sewing because you're not having to do the maths. Yeah. You're not having to think about it. Yeah, that's And a then really other people that complete novices have never quilted before in their lives. Yeah. Have had a go with this and said, "Gosh, I didn't realise how easy quilting Amazing. was." Amazing. I love that because it is opening the door. It's yeah. making it possible. It's taking your hand and allowing you, um, like like on a work. Workshop. Yeah, yeah. Like being able to sit there and, and learn all the techniques. But without that person that just wants to complete it before everybody else has even started. Yeah. We've been there, haven't yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're the person who sat next to you, doesn't listen to the teacher. Yes. Um, or doesn't listen to the, the person. Wrong. And, and nudges you and goes, what did she say? <laughs> See, when I'm on a workshop, I am that annoying person. <laughs> I am that person. Beauty is, though, you don't have to make it into a quilt if you yeah. don't want to. You might go for one of those panels and suddenly think, well, you know what, yeah. it's not really for me but you've still got something that you can turn Absolutely. into a usable piece this yeah. was from that first set so first panel panel number one we learned how to do the log cabin Beautiful. and that's what's been created for this cushion here um, additional fabrics can be added in and I have picked out some of those we've got those on the show so if you do Perfect. want to add those in for your binding and your backing then you can do amazing but, yeah. and the color palettes work color palettes are there so let's go through the options for you so first of all you have got um, the beautiful birds the second one is the leaves I am going to open them up just because I like to see all the colours. Um, oh, it's a leaf in the leaf oh, this that's time. That's interesting. Hey, normally, normally it's the flowers, isn't it? So, well, yeah, and in some of the shows we have had the, the pretty pinks um, with the pinks and the purple. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. okay. I See, this is my favourite is the leaves because I, I like the colour palette. Nice, fresh use. colour. And the colour. thing is, every time you bring a new panel out, the colours, it's the same. It is. So, exactly everything, if you do want to make them into a quilt, they're mm -hmm. going to match. That's it, you can do it over time. Now, the bow block, you can see there where we've got the squares that are actually going to be cut on the diagonal to make yeah. your four um, tr um, triangles. That's teaching you. So down at the bottom, right look way down, where's my hand? Down at the bottom there. There you go, those ones there. Um, what I I've actually you. done is, in the past, I've kind of cut those out and, and done them into triangles, a bit like these here. Yeah. But what I've done on this particular block is teaching you that you can actually take a square and turn it into your four triangles yeah. just by following those little diagonal lines. Perfect. So subliminally, without even realising, you'll have learnt how yeah. those um, triangles are cut from the original square. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's perfect. So, and again, it's... it's it's things that maybe you haven't even thought about and it's mm. teaching all those so that's your beautiful leaves the last one that you can see there is the one that's generally um in the leaf because this is the one that's very pretty. pinks and purples oh, love, pinks people and love purples. the pinks and purples don't they as well there you go mm. how gorgeous is mm -hmm. that one um so again easy to follow instructions actually printed on this you don't have to find your instructions that one is your uh, your flowers but yeah the leaves is is off that's really <laughs> in the leaves uh, this one's your watercolor flowers um now if you want to get hold of these you're saving five pounds um 39 pounds 99 pence remember you have got three complete panels on here um obviously we've got loads of options you can get singles but but historically it's always the panels that just tend to be yeah yeah um now there is something else so if you do want to go for these all you need to do is do your color options 219296 um however it's really important to mention we've got another brand new launch you have oh, i'm so nervous about these these were for these were obviously education starting mm -hmm. but then when someone's got it mm -hmm. and they want to carry on 
That's what you're thinking well, here, isn't it? Well, this is it. The next kind of section from these is to cu cut with your own fabrics. Now, mm. of course, you can trace around these if you're wanting to, but they'll get a little bit dog-eared as time goes on. So what I've developed is a set of two quilt rollers. Now, we'll show you these um, in action in a few moments, but we're bringing up the details. One is four inches wide, but it's yeah. got a mitered edge. Wonderful. So these are going to help you cut your triangles. It's a bit tricky for you to actually see. Um, Shall I put, not much help on that. Oh, that's a good idea. Put on the quilt there. So you can see you've got all your markings on there. Have we got black cardstock? I've got there, some isn't? over there, don't worry. Oh, have you got yeah, some? yeah, when oh, we get to right. the demo area, it'll be fine. Cool. So you can see here you've got, um, this is one half of it, so this is your binding tool. So this is going to allow you to get the mitered edges that you might need. Four inches square, you've got your, um, your inch markings there as well, so you can use it so many different ways, cutting Perfect. your own squares up to four inches in size. In fact, you can go larger than that. But then, this little one here, this is where it all started, because yeah. I wanted to make a little square that you could cut your three inches um, squares from because that's what you're used to using within the panels but then there's such a large open area yeah. in the middle yeah, which there normally is well that's it but it's such a waste and yeah. what's that what can i put in there um so i was working alongside andy from crafter uk bless him and he helped me out with all the markings and all the measurings so what we've actually done is put four sets of slots in there to help you create your bias binding too as oh, well right. or straps for bags and things like that using up that spare space um but i'll show you that in action in a little yeah because i don't understand I know that works, no, so I fine. need to see that. Okay. Yeah. So, comes with instructions, though, as well. brand, brand new today. This is the launch of Haley's. Uh, fantastic. Fa there you go. You've got your instructions as well. So, the fantastic rulers. Obviously, so many uses for these. If you do want to go for both your rulers, which are upside down and invisible <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, if you do Not want to go colours. obviously you can see through these that is important it that's is, yeah. why the design like this we're already approaching 10 percent wow, gosh really busy okay brand, brand new <laughs> yeah thank you um that is 206 no it isn't it's 906 635 that's your item number uh 35 pounds 98 pence <laughs> that's your price i know i corrected myself it's like no it's a nine i kid. do that get the numbers wrong all the time i often wonder all if you get the numbers the numbers wrong and you actually order it what you get be like a surprise I know. wouldn't I know, it like a lawnmower or something, something like that <laughs> um, now if you do we don't even sell them um, if you do want to go for these please check your baskets out 35 pounds 98 pounds that's your price right let's move down we'll do this quick because i know you want to see mm -hmm. our hail creating um so this is where we can choose a panel separately isn't this is it? it now with each of those panels you've got three different blocks but i appreciate that not everybody wants to go for all of those in one go yeah so you can go for them individually and this is where that kind of 14.99 price is what you would normally pay to go to a quilt class with yeah. your fabrics to create a block and that's exactly what we've got here we've got all those different blocks in the different fabrics so the one that Leonie's just been showing you is the twisted weave so there you go you've got your birds which is very much a kind of antique style that's so cool um, quite a neutral tone so that's yeah. one nice and easy next one you've got is that one that um, everybody's loving at the moment yeah, with those it's leaves. My favorite. <laughs> and, and then finally your pretty pinks and purples with um, your watercolor flowers now you'll notice with this they're not lining up perfectly it's not about that it's about getting to grips with quilting yeah. and enjoying it we're not trying to win prizes yes. we're just having a bit of fun that's yeah. what it's which about which is important mm. um, Haley, I've noticed there's that fabric is it's a fabric around the outside that's that it. we've got on the show that's right well no that's actually built really? in with each of the panels so every single block has got that sashing now Fantastic. terminology can frighten us which yeah, is why yeah, I kind yeah. of shied away from it a little bit but when you're actually creating your blocks you tend to have a fabric separating those blocks which is called sashing so rather than you actually finding that sashing I found a nice easy way that you actually sew yeah, in yeah. as you're doing your block and it's automatically there so all you're doing then is putting squares together which amazing. we'll do a bit later on amazing and that's lovely because you always know the colors are going to match Perfect, perfectly yeah. so you've got the same choice again um you've got the beautiful leaves you've got the watercolor flowers or you've got the birds that's your first one that's your twisted weave 14 pounds 99 pence five seven five zero very eight, sinister zero. twisted then yes, I like twisted. any time i say twisted it has to be a twisted <laughs> I love it. Hello. <laughs> I'm a little bit twisted. Uh, the next one. <laughs> I know, I'm a, I'm a girl built for Halloween. Um, the next one. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. Um, now, this one I love as well. This is your star block. Um, so that's how you're going to get it. Again, with the instructions, let's show you the finished samples because I always like seeing how it looks when it's actually, mm -hmm. when it's done and dusted. And with most of these, you'll find oh. that you've got an extra little block of fabric that says you can use this any, any way you like. That's where that square and that binding will 
all come in because Perfect. you can make your own blocks with it. Perfect. Um, and there you go. So that's your watercolour flower. Isn't it pretty? I love the star as well. It's really quite, um, it's rather striking, isn't it? Well, this looks really That's complicated. Gorgeous. I must admit, when I was stripping it back, I was thinking, right, okay, doing the maths, let's get this right. But I couldn't get over how simple and easy really? it is. All these years, people have been duping me into thinking that quilting is really, really complicated. Uh -huh. yeah. But it doesn't have to be. It yeah. can be, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and I like that. I like that people can just get those results quick and easy. Um, now, if you would like to get those £14.99, pence, you've got your choice um that is two seven nine two two six and that is that beautiful star last but by no means least and i like these because they are like bite size aren't they yeah they are well the, you, the the with these, cutting them out and actually stitching them together you could quite easily do a block within an hour yeah. um uh, because it is just so easy yeah yeah and cutting these out i mean you could actually just cut them out with your pair of scissors you don't need a, well, that was a the idea trigger. i didn't want people to have to go out and invest in a lot of tools to start with because yeah. when you're getting started you don't know if you're even going to enjoy quilting yeah. So with these, just a good pair of fabric scissors, that's all you need, and a sewing machine. You could do them by hand if you wanted to, but I think we tend to yeah. use a machine, really. Yeah, yeah, you're going to whip through them a lot mm. quicker. Um, so your beautiful ball block. I like it because whichever way you put it looks a little bit different. <laughs> so that one, again, is uh, your wonderful birds. We've then got the leaves, which you can really see the balls there. Mm -hmm. And then last but by no means least, we've got the watercolour flowers. Absolutely exquisite 14 pounds 99 pence 401 952 that's your item number um so you've got all your different options you can get them as singles you can obviously get them as a full three panels but do remember those rulers we've got hold of those as well yay brand <laughs> brand new um if you do want the rulers these are so popular. Um, you've got so many options. Obviously, Hayley is going to talk you through these um, in more detail. But if you would like to go for these, saving eight pounds now, nine zero six six three five. That's your item number. You do get full instructions, of course. Um, but hopefully, this is just the beginning of loads of fantastic templates from our Hayley. Are you ready, love? Um, our Hayley is in the hot seat. I'm going to pass over to Hayley. Over to you, Hayley. Grab yourself a cup of love. <laughs> I love it, the little secrets are um, when we let loose. Now, um, with these, you're very busy for these, so it's really good to, you're um, embracing these. So I'm going to explain to you exactly what we've got. So we've got that four inch wide ruler here. You've got your markings on there, so you can cut anything from one inch squares right the way through to your four inch squares. In fact, if you're lining it up, you could go larger than that if you wanted to. The long edge at the bottom means that you can square off your blocks too as well, because you can see there, it's around 12 inches in length. So it's a little larger than those 11 and a half half inch blocks we're going to be making so you can trim off those edges too as well um, and then we've got the fabulous little handy block now the handy square whoops it is it's turned that round so as you can see um, it's going to allow you to cut your squares two three and a half inches and you can see those um, little markings there um, giving you a quarter of your inch too as well as your center mark and of course you can see you've got the divisions there to make your quarter and um, one and a quarter sorry one and a half inch squares too as well so many numbers, so many numbers. Now, you've got your different slots here. So you can see you've got two inch finished and width there. You've also got your one and a half, your one over this side, and that one over there, which is your half inch. And that means that you can actually make your own bias tape as well. And during working with this, I did discover that you don't actually need an iron because you can use the friction with your fabric. But we'll do it with the iron to start with. So what I've done is I've got a piece of a fabric here and this is kind of one of those fabrics that we've got that are contrasting the watercolour flower. So I'm just going to give it a little press just so it's, it did get a little bit crumpled in transit. So this is um, on the cut width of my fabric. So I've gone salvage to salvage. Sometimes with bias you might cut it on the diagonal if you're wanting to. Don't tend to run the length of your fabric. Um, always um, salvage to salvage to get the best results. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in those edges, those little corners there, so as they meet roughly in the middle, like so. Okay, just give it a little press, press down, I don't know, an inch, inch and a half, something like that, um, just to get you started. So there you go, nice press. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it to the little handy square. Now, dependent on what size you want your bias to be, depends on the size of the slot that you, you uh, sorry, the fabric that you're cutting to start with. So with this particular one, I think it was, um, where am I? Let's just measure that to make sure. 
it was, um, where am I? Um, it was actually two and, a, um, two and a half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that down a little bit, actually, to make it um, a little bit narrower. I thought I trimmed it shorter than that, or narrower than that. But with the rotary cutter that I've got here and my straight rule, I can trim it down. Um, oh my goodness, 10% of this is gone. Actually, we'll use this one because it's already at four. That'll do. We'll do it with the four. So, I'm going to make this into two inch binding. So, I'm just going to slide those bits together there. So, now that width is two inches. And again, just pressing that inch or so at the beginning. And then all I'm going to do is feed it through the two inch slot because that's how wide I want my bias to be. So, we're going to go up the one that is in the kind of the closest to the centre and then back down the one that's on the outside. And this is going to act as our tensioner for actually putting the fabric through. And all I need to do is just take a couple of little pins, little daisy head pins will do, just to keep the fabric secure like so. So putting that in there and putting that one in there like so. Now I'm just going to move that out of the way because it's a, ro a rotating mat and I know what will happen, it'll start spinning round. So now, all I need to do is take my iron, and I can actually take the iron right the way up to, to that. And I can literally just, with my left hand, I'm right-handed, so with my left hand, I'm just kind of holding the fabric in um, a position, just almost like so, really, just guiding it. And then all I'm going to do is take my, um, my iron, and I'm just slowly but firmly moving it along. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it as I go, moving it along and pressing it in place. And you can see here your bias tape is created. What you can do, though, if you don't want to use your iron, and this is something that I found that's quite cool, hold it with your left hand, again, if you're right-handed, and then if you move it backwards and forwards, the actual um, friction, I've just <laughs> hot bit of the pad there, but the actual friction is creating that bias itself there too as well. So you can see you can do it that way. But if you need to move it along, all you do is feed it through, slide it along to the next point, and if you are wanting to do it with your iron, then you just carry on um, right the way through. There you go. So uh, nice and easy. It makes it nice and easy. For, as I say, just push it along with the iron if you want to. My mat's moving as well because we're on a, a quite shiny table. And then obviously you can pin it in place and keep going like so. Now, what you might want to do is actually turn that into one inch bias. So it's like a, a double effect. So again, all you need to do then is fold it in half, press it down again just to, to get that feed easier and then this time we're looking for our inch marker so there you go you can see your inch marker so again coming up closest to the center going down the outside one like so am I shaking really nervous staff have been doing this for years I don't know why I'm so nervous pop the pins in there to stop it moving and again, if you want to do, you could do it kind of with the, the friction and move that along. And the heat from that, that moving will actually put that um, nice crisp edge in there. Or you can go through and do it. Then it's sliding right on the table here. Um, but there you can see. But um, we're going to concentrate on this more at three o'clock, though. So I just wanted to show you, because I know that we're busy for it already. And I didn't want anybody to miss out on it without actually seeing it in action. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. So now I have got a lovely length there of bias tape, double fold. Um, but of course you could be making that out of a heavier weight fabric and I have actually used uh, things like um, denim to make straps with these two as well so uh, there you go that's what you can do with your square but we're going to go back to the panels because of course we've got set four it's all very exciting the feedback that I've had from people with regards to these has been tremendous too as well so we're going to have a little look at the twisted weave now, the Twisted Weave is teaching you um, another way of creating um, little tiny squares because the Twisted Weave is the one in the middle on the panel that we've got at the back. And when you look at it, it looks like you've got loads and loads of little tiny squares. Okay, and you have. Uh, but rather than cutting lots of little tiny squares and stitching them all together, there's a little bit of a, a technique that you can use, which I'm going to teach you with the panel. So you can see here we've got three different types of fabrics. You've got, got kind of like your daisy star flowers, you've got your butterflies, and you've got your blue fabrics. Well, lots of those are squares. The only ones that are actually rectangles are the pink ones with the daisy flowers on them. So... I'm going to do it with the leaves, because you're obviously liking the leaves. And what we've got on your panel, you will have a piece 
of fabric that has got little tiny squares on it. Now I have put a note on the fabric just so you don't go chopping it up too quickly because I know the temptation if you like me is to get your scissors in there and get snipping but you can see these are all marked at and they're marked at one and a half inches um, so uh, there's lots and lots um, of squares that you're going to be able to create in, but nice and easy. We're very very busy during this hour. It's so good to have your company. So glad that you like them. So with these you've got two of your white background and then one with your green background and what we're going to do is going to actually stitch them all together in a long strip like so so I did mean to do these beforehand but then I got gossiping with Leone so <laughs> as you do so all you need to do is um, a straight stitch um, standard um, quarter of an inch with these with regards to your actual seam allowance I'm gonna pop my glasses on which I've put in a safe place over there sewing machine doesn't work without glasses well mine doesn't anyway um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure and you can actually see through the, the lighter fabric where those little markings are so all I'm going to do is every so often you could pin this if you wanted to do but for the sake of speed I'm not going to just eyeball every so often that as you're stitching through those are lining up throughout the length so I'm popping this one on got my little Husqvarna 100Q Speed that up a little bit there we go with um, a quarter inch guide on here but with your 100 q you have got a little marking on there to help you with your quarter inch too as well so. okay. now we are very very busy um, you're loving the leaves um, we're also loving the little rulers too as well which is good because i think you will find them very useful the the actual sizes that you're able to use um, the little kind of uh, patches that you can create you can do all the shapes that you will have experienced in the panels previously um, and then uh, you'll know how to use them because you've learned how to use them with the, uh, the panels that you've invested in previously. Um, so yeah, just very quickly, I'll show you those actually. So you've got the original three and a half inch square. That's when you are trimming around that, temp um, that template. This is the handy square at the bottom of your screen. Um, cut it, take the four um, inch ruler, so this particular ruler, and cut a square, so you cut it one way and then cut it the other to make it a square and then cut on the diagonal. You'll actually make your two half square triangles, which when you stitch together is going to make the same size block. And then if you add on an extra quarter of an inch, so you mark this out and put an extra quarter of an inch on there and cut it into quarters to make your quarter square triangles, then you'll actually be able to make that size block. So all of the shapes that you've used in the past on any of the blocks, you'll be able to recreate in your own fabrics. That's why I wanted to bring that set of rulers. So as all that knowledge you've gained with the panels over time, it's not been wasted, you'll be able to use them again. Now, if I was at home, what I would do is double stitch that row. So where we've just stitched, I'd go back down and stitch it again. And I'll explain why in just a second, because we're gonna start chopping this up in a minute. But I'm just going to go back and do the other side to put these together. So again, stitching down here. Now, if you're watching and you have started putting some of your blocks together, I know there are people out there that haven't had a chance to get round to it, which is fine. It's not a problem. It's not a race. Um, but if you have, I'd love to know about your experience. Is it the first time that you've ever quilted? Um, how have you got on? Have you, how many blocks have you made? Are you just waiting for these last set of three um, you know how you can get in touch but just in case you don't it's studio at achanda.com i have got my little blog and my website so um, check out handmade by hayley.tv if you do want to either find me on social media facebook um, or through the website and the blog i have been a bit lapsed with regards to um, the blog i must admit of late because i've been busy bringing the, the latest panel and uh, the rules so I need to dedicate a little bit of time to that. And I've been kind of in here doing bits too as well. Every now and again. Um, now, I'm not sure if I caught that scene going part of the way. I might have missed it slightly, but not to worry. Move the machine out of the way because we're just going to do a little bit of pressing. So, now you'll see that those three strips that we had as individuals are all now together. So, um, again, don't worry too much about those lines. If they don't line up perfectly, you've got your quarter inch seam. So... That it can be very forgiving. And as I say, it's about enjoying it. It's not about winning prizes. 
work our way through so you can see what's happening here now those lines that you've got there are now going to be your cut lines and this is why i mentioned about stitching that seam twice because when you are doing little tiny pieces sometimes you can find that the seam comes um, apart especially if you um, kind of handling them a lot which we will be in a few moments so i'm just going to turn that back over to use my cutting mat side bring my ruler in and all I'm going to do is take a rotary cutter, but you could do it with a pair of scissors if you wanted to. And all we're going to do is cut across. And I would take my guidance from the white strips because you've got two of those. If it goes a little kind of wayward, then don't worry too much. Or if you wanted to, you could use your rotary cutter if you have already got one of these. But again, just taking those sections. So now you can see that we've got our little squares. So we've got one, two three i'll do another set of three and you just go through doing that with all of these um, but do do the double seam with these oh, sliding across do do your double seam your two sets of stitching because what can happen and i will show you on one of these i'll kind of sacrifice one of these where are the six let's do a spare one seven because when you start handling them, what can happen is, can you see how that seam's starting to come undone? So if you've got two sets of stitches in there, you do tend to find that it's a little bit more reinforced. So, I've got six there, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the other part, other strip that you've got will have your rectangles, your darker rectangles. So all we're going to do now is stitch those darker rectangles between these. Don't need to worry about rotating them or anything like that. So we've got our three like those. So we're going to stitch those together now. And this is what quilting is all about. It's about taking little pieces of fabric, stitching them together and making a big piece. Simple as that. Um, the little cutting mat that we've got here, I have had people asking about this before. Um, I haven't got, or they're not here at Hachanda, um, with the kind of business, business setup that I've got, because it's only me, and I've not got multi-millions behind me. I haven't been able to bring them in, but I do have a few of them on my website, because I know some people did need to get hold of those, so you can check those out, but yeah. I am still trying to bring them to Hachanda, so never say never. Um, now with these, you're just going to put these together. Now I'm chain piecing these here. So you notice that when I stitch through one of them, I'm just kind of running over a little bit and then I'm bringing in the next one. I'm gonna make sure I don't get too carried away because I've got six of these. So, oops a daisy, put this together. There you go. Again, if you're wanting to pin these, you can do as little or as much as you want it to be. So, got those. Where is that? Oh, snip those apart. So now you can see there, you've got your little strip in between. So then all I'm going to do is bring in another one of those and stitch it to the other side. So you can see you've almost got like a cross forming. So can you see where we're going with this? <laughs> Breaking it down, these blocks, all of these blocks, and you're going to be making nine of these little um, patches, should I say because the small segments that go into your block are called patches. Um, hence the phrase patchwork. Because you're working with your patches to make your block overall. And you'll find that many of those traditional blocks out there are made up using um, squares, rectangles, your triangles, just in different combinations, using different fabrics. You might find that you have a series of three or four fabrics that you're working with. Um, just depends on the style that you're looking for. And I'm actually working on some other things to help you plan out your blocks too. Maybe make a few of your own too as well. Because there's hundreds and hundreds out there that you can take inspiration from, but then you can play around with those too as well. So, pop that there like so. And then all I'm going to do is put these, lay them down to show you that first row because it's a set of nine patches, so you've got three in one, oh well, three rows, should I say. So a little bit of a, a press. It's always a good idea to press as you go along because it does help you with that lining up and getting those pieces together. But you've got your quarter of an inch, so you can kind of manipulate things if needs be. And like I say, we're not looking for prize winning quilts. So you'll see these are, oh, now, you see what I've done now? I've actually done that one wrong. I picked up the wrong fabric, but not to worry. 
I can sort that out in a little while. But all you would do with these, in fact, I'm going to, I am going to stitch another one just to, to uh, <laughs> make that last one. I've had a question come through. What, sorry, what was the question? Angela, hello, Angela. She's a complete beginner. All right, okay, sewing curves. Now, um, depends on curves on how, what you're looking at and the fabrics and things like that can make a difference with regards to these. Tight curves, sometimes um, it's kind of manipulating the fabric and nipping in. With um, dressmaking, when you've got curves around an arm and things like that, sometimes just nipping in um, before you stitch can help. Um, because it allows you to manipulate and open up that seam. Just be careful that you don't go too far into the fabric. Um, so dressmaking, I think it tends to be three-eighths of an inch, you seam allowance. So don't go any further into your fabric more so than that, because you will find that it's, uh, it's a little bit tricky to hide it when you actually come to do your seam. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say little snips can help. Sometimes when you're manipulating your fabrics, the heat of your hand can help you manipulate your fabrics too as well. So um, kind of encourage it to go into a curve shape without warping your fabrics. Just be careful you don't move it too much because some fabrics don't take um, kindly to being um, handled too much. But at beginner fabrics, you wouldn't tend to find that. If you're working with your cottons and things like your um, uh, poly cottons, they're, they're quite, quite. Um, what should we say? Not substantial as in weight, but they, they can take a bit of a beating, so to speak. Now, I'm moving that one out of the way because I don't need that one. So, now, we have got three patches, all identical, now that I've fixed that mistake. <laughs> and on your actual instructions, I'm going to bring this one in, this is for the watercolour flowers. It shows you how you put these together. So, right from the beginning where you were putting those rows together, you can see that it's showing you. So then we're at this stage here where we've inserted that green band. So all we're going to do is follow that next little um, icon there. So we're going to have one with the horizontal band, one where that rectangle is vertical, and one where it's horizontal. And that will create your first row. Next one down, you do it alternate. So you do it vertical, horizontal, vertical. And then the last row is exactly the same. And all you're doing is stitching those three together. So this is going to be our first one. So as it said, first one needs to be horizontal. Next one needs to be vertical. And the next one needs to be horizontal. Like that. So that's when you have a look. Actually, I think I've stitched that one in upside down by the look of it. But it doesn't matter. If you see, you can see where we've got vertical then you've got horizontal, and then you've got vertical, just stitched together in the same way as we sewed um, those uh, pieces together. So that's your first band. The second one, you can see there you've gone horizontal, vertical, horizontal. And the last one is exactly the same. It doesn't matter, to be honest, um, which way around you do them. Um, and of course, once you have made your block, then you can rotate it around to whatever you want to afterwards. So there you go. Simple as that. So um, we're going to get Leonie to come in and do a little bit of a recap when she comes back into the studio. <laughs> Bless her. I'm going to have a little look at that star block. And the star block is the one next to um, the weave that we've just been looking at. And this is another one that when you look at it, it looks way more complicated than it actually is. And in the instructions, I do actually say that you're breaking it down into a nice, easy formation of repeats of the same little squares. The corners are just solid colours. You can see the next ones are long where you've got a half square with a solid colour and then your third style of square is using the two fabrics together. Nice and easy, nice and simple. Just the way I like it, nice and easy. So, there you go. Um, it gives you an idea of how those panels come together. Um, and on the website, you'll find the brand new panels alongside the previous issue, as we saw. And, of course, you have got those little rules that you are loving so much. And I'm thrilled to bits that you are enjoying those. So, thank you for placing your um, orders for those ones. And, um, yeah, I'm going to hand back over to Alione. Thank you, our lovely Hayley. Um, okay, okay. Now, if you do want anything at Chanda.com or, of course, ring 017 Um Do to show us pictures as well. I don't know if you've been showing us pictures. Must admit, I've been playing with alcohol links. Uh, but share the pictures. Um, make sure, make sure you get those sent in. We love to see, we love to see um, what you've been doing. We love to see how far you've uh, got with Hayley's fantastic um, panels now. The rulers, these have been so busy. I'm not sure, is that too shiny or is that going to be okay? Can you see them? Um, now, over 20% of the stock has gone really, really popular. So, Hayley's been showing you how to use these. 
obviously this is the beginning so it's going to allow you um to start getting your own material start building your own fantastic quilt panels fantastic quilts fantastic designs um of course this one as well there you go um this one as well is creating your binding i think that is such a good idea because i've seen so many templates with this space just filled in it's so nice to actually have that space so it's practical as well now going for both templates and of course the instructions just 35 pounds and 98 pence but they are busy 20 percent of the stock has gone very busy indeed for that bundle nine zero six six three five that's your item number now obviously i'm going to go through your panel options i will be busy because uh busy i will be quick because i know you need to get back to our hair later. so um, going for these, this is the collection where you get all three brand new panels. Oh, I showed you that one last time, so I'm going to show you this one this time. Uh, so you are getting, this is your watercolour flowers. Now, the watercolour flowers, historically, um, is the most popular. So this is your watercolour flowers. So you've still got all three panels here. This is like three workshops where you're getting all the instructions, where you're getting step-by-step -step projects, where you're also getting all the material literally all you need to provide is a little bit of time uh, your scissors good sharp scissors get your dressmaking scissors and then obviously your sewing machine and your thread that's it and you're off um it's up to you what you do with these then you might be making just your blocks for now just as testers to see you might be building it up you might be collecting them all to create a beautiful quilt you might be using them um, for cushions you might be using them as bags the choice is yours now you've got your choice in your colors so you've got your watercolor flowers you've got your beautiful leaves there that's a slightly bolder one and then you've got the gorgeous birds the birds has got that real vintage feel to it now all three panels here 39 pounds and 99 pence you are saving five pounds 219 296 that's your item number but then you've got the options so you can start getting them as single panels i do like this because it's bite size so anyone who's still thinking oh i'm not sure this is brilliant or maybe it's just a particular one and you think oh that is such a nice design i want to learn that one then this is the perfect way um it's almost try before you really buy the big one isn't it before, before you buy into the whole quilting uh thing now with this you've got all the material there all cut up so you're not buying tons of excess material you're not having to take ages marking it out so you know exactly where you're cutting all those squares and see that in itself is time imagine how much time these save but it is um it's obviously what you're going to learn now the actual panel looks like this this is beautiful isn't it that's your birds so you twisted weave the birds the birds is really gentle it's got that really nice soft look to it that's the one that hale has been working on at the moment that's your gorgeous birds the next one that you can see is your leaves so this one is really nice and bright i love the leaves and then last but by no means least you've got the watercolor flowers there now only 14 pounds and 99 pence for your panel with full instructions extra material on each one of those panels that's five seven five zero eight zero the next one is your beautiful star block and i'll show you the birdies for this one so that's what you're getting with the star block the birds of course are upside down so you've got little birdies on there you've got leaves you've got um flowers you've got the beautiful feathers and of course you've got the material that matches perfectly and that's well that's another massive thing with this all the material blends perfectly so you're not going out to colour match you're not having to buy tons of material that if you don't take to it you know what are you going to do with the material you're getting just the right amount of material and a little bit more so this is your star leaves so the first one of course is your beautiful leaves which does look really striking doesn't it really beautiful this one is your star birds so you've got your little birdie fabric there and then last but by no means least that beautiful watercolor flowers and i think the way hale has done this one because that that color is so bold that really makes it striking doesn't it really draws the eye in um if you would like your star it is two seven nine two two six and then last but by no means least um you have got which have i not shown you i'll show you watercolor flower um you've got the beautiful bow again 
um, Hill is taking you step by step through this. Um, the most popular individual is the bow at the moment. Um, you've got your full instructions. Breaking that square up to create your triangles. So again, it's teaching you how, um, how to pattern build, essentially, how to look at your different shapes so you can start breaking them up. That's the watercolour flowers when it's actually done up. And the good size panels as well. I mean, things like this, they could be plate coasters. You know, things like this could be a, a beautiful little bag. You know, gorgeous for cushions. I love that. So again, you could do so much with the panels as they are. £14.99, pence. that is 401592. Now, check that website out. You can order on the website. It is at chanda.com. You can, of course, give us a ring. 01733602000. Obviously, the big bundle is historically the one that everybody goes for. Because why not? You know, you can get your teeth into it, can't you? If you do want to go for these £39.99 £99 today, they will look beautiful. You know, when Haley's brought all the panels out and you make a full quilt out of these, they're going to look so exquisite. And all the different techniques that you've learned, all the different patterns, it's an amazing way to learn. And I think doing it like this, You've got the material. It's better, you know, if you get a book, or just a pattern book, actually getting round to doing it can take years. But this, you've got your material, you're ready to go. I just think it's so accessible. 219296. Our oh, Hayley's waiting in the wings. Oh, Hayley. Indeed, I am. I'm doing a very quick bit of unsewing, actually, because I just realised I stitched two wrong bits together, trying to get some bits together quickly for you. So, a bit of unsewing. It's not quite as quick as sewing, but it's uh, got there. So, right, we're working with the star block now as well. And I'm going to get um, Chloe. She can pass me over the star block for the leaves. That would be fabulous, because it can kind of illustrate what I'm doing. Cut out all my little elements already. So I was just working my way through putting these together. Uh, on the instructions, it does actually explain to you just how simple it is. So, one of the first elements that you've got, to, obviously every single one of those instruction panels will tell you cutting out your pieces there, how you cut them out. These um, pieces that you've got here are going to be your border strips. But when we come down to number four, you can see there, it tells you that this block is made up of 16 patches. So it's going to be four patches by four patches. But there's only 12 of them that are triangles that are sewn together. And there are actually only three repeats um, of um, three designs. So yeah, nice and easy. So it's not as complicated as you might think and you can see here where we've got all those little triangles being stitched together so I've made a start so you don't have to watch me do all of them um, which is why I was racing ahead and I ended up doing them a little bit wrong but not to worry so I'm going to bring my same machine back and what we're going to do is going to be working on the ones where you've got your solid colour next to your patterned fabric. And I've left it so as I've got one in the dark green and one in the white that we need to put together. And then we've got some of those ones in the middle there to do too as well. So all you do is you've got your solid triangles. So you just work your way through. Um, you'll have eight of those in total. So four of them you stitch to your darker fabric and four of them to your lighter, which is easy nice and easy as we've already said before popping that underneath like so and stitching away again quarter inch seam pinning if you want to just lining up if not small manageable size pieces so that's that one next one is a solid triangle with your lighter so that will give me a set of four in total because i've already done the three saving a little bit of time there we go there's that down like so and I'll press all these afterwards to show you them all that's when we start putting it all together so there we go so you've got your dark with your solid your light with your solid and then the rest of your triangles all you're going to do is stitch a dark one to a light one and you're always going to do these on the long diagonal edge and this is showing you where if you take two um, right um, half square right angled triangles they become a square that's one of the kind of little uh, elements of maths within here. But of course, when you are making a quilt and you're cutting the pieces yourself, you need to do a lot of maths because you need to know those squares are all going to line up together. And that's what I've done with these panels is strip out that maths, give you the shapes just so you can cut them with a pair of scissors. You don't even need a rotary cutter. But if you have, then you could actually use your quilt rules and your rotary cutters to cut these out too as well. It's just whatever you've got to hand, to be honest. 
Now, with each of those three panels, what I do try to do is make sure that you've got three different levels within them. So whichever panel you go for, you will have an easy, an intermediate, uh, and maybe a harder one. Well, I say harder. They're all pretty easy, to be, to be honest. The simplest in panel four is probably your bow. Um, and some of you, I know, have gone for the bow on its own. If you've gone for previous blocks, um, it's a similar sort of way of sewing as the butterfly or the windmill, um, which uh, both are just using triangles. So if you're still wanting to gain that confidence, then that, yeah, the bow is, as an individual is an easy one to go for. Maybe the first one. Um, you've seen the weave. I'd probably say the weave is the most complicated because you're sewing in a slightly different way where you're cutting those and um, sewing those strips and then cutting them up afterwards. Um, but to be honest, none of them are that complicated. The star, I'd say, is pretty much in the middle. So what we've got now is we've taken all of the um, solid triangles and we've sewn them to the lighter fabrics. And as you work with these, what you will find that you'll do is you'll probably just trim off those little triangles there just to neaten up your shapes. You don't have to. That's down to personal choice. Ends up with lots of little bits otherwise. So I'm just going to press these out so you've got your dark and your light fabric. You've also got... Oh, come out. Now, when you're pressing these, it's a good point to mention, press to your darker side. Now, sometimes your fabrics, you're not going to have anything that's particularly dark in contrast to the other one so just think about if you were to press that way you might be able to see the seam through the top of your fabric so just push it to the other side because the pattern side will disguise it so I would say press to the dark or the pattern side when you're working so we've got our four light fabrics one two three four um, later on three o'clock I've got another show it's always so helpful when we've got two shows because it means that I don't have to go a, a race or not. <laughs> and we've got a lot to cover in the second um, hour because I'm going to make up the third block, which is the bow, which is the simplest one. I'm going to make that up in between shows. So we'll then have the three blocks from panel four. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch them together, make perhaps like a little table runner. Um, and I'm going to make it, quil I'm going to quilt it for you as well because there's a lot of people that kind of got to grips with making your panels up, making your patches and your blocks, but don't know how to put those fabrics together to make your quilt with your wadding and your backing. So three o'clock, we're going to concentrate on that and we will be using those quilt rules as well. So if you have it already bought yours, then brilliant. If not, we'll be revisiting them. So I've got all my squares now, so you can see. Um, I'm not going to cut the, the corners off just to save a little bit of time. So we've got one, two, three, four solids with light. One, two, three, four solids with dark. And then one, two, three, four, where you've got your mixed fabrics. Okay. Now, the pattern for the laying them out just shows you them laid out. But I find the easiest way, especially if you've worked your way through some of the other panels, is to start with that centre square. Because the centre square is very much like the windmill that we had in panel one. So, just going to take those ones where we've got the two fabrics together. So, move the solids out of the way for the time being. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go with these. So, so you go from dark, light dark to light dark to light and then finally dark to light so can you see how you've got oh actually i've gone the wrong way around there you go it's going to go that way there you go so you can see there we've almost got like that windmill effect in the center i'm going to pull it back into the middle of my board so i've got a bit more space like so and then what we're going to do is we're just going to extend the star for those outer parameters there so you can see the, those end points so all i'm going to do now is take those so i've got a solid triangle there so i'm going to need a so, um, sorry a dark triangle there so a dark triangle with my solid over this time i need a light triangle with my solid and then all you need to do is make sure that the solid is in the center solid in the center then over this side, we've got your dark going to a solid in the center, your light going to a solid in the center, and then around the edge here. So your light going to a solid in the center, your dark going to a solid in the center, and over here, 
that's a bit repetitive. Your dark going to a solid in the centre. And guess what we do with this bit? It's a light going to a solid in the centre. So you can see we've got that cross formation. And then all you're doing is putting your solids in the corners. Like so. So now, can you see that star in the centre? How easy was that? Doesn't it make it easy? And then all you're doing is you're sewing these together in your little squares like so. Top tip from me, when you come to sewing these pieces, because sometimes you'll pick them up, take them to your sewing machine, and you might find that you kind of twist them and stitch them in the wrong way. So what I do is I put face to face, right sides together, and then I put a pin in the side that I need to stitch. So I know when I take that to the sewing machine, that's where I need to sew. And then the same with that one. And then pop that in together. Of course, when you are putting these together, do try and line up those corners. But again, as I said, it's all about having a bit of fun. We're not going to send the quilting police round. And then when you've stitched those together, like so, then those two would be stitched together in the same way. And you can see that you end up with row one. Do the same for row two, row three, row four. Bring them all together and there you go. You've got your star. And then, of course, those rectangles, you'll stitch together in the same way as you've done with all of the panels, one across the top, down the side, going clockwise round, and you end up with your final block. So join me at 3 o'clock, and I will show you what to do with those blocks, and we'll start putting them together in a quilt just like we've got behind us. And, of course, everything I've been chatting about is on the website. The rulers are on there, too, as well. So, yes, um, whatever you want to add into your basket, whether it's the panel, whether it's the rulers, it's entirely up to you. I should just be grateful that you've taken the time and trouble to place an order for anything. Um, so there's loads to choose from. There is loads to choose from, and obviously, if you haven't got any of the original, panels uh, please make sure you get hold of them as well get the full story because it all makes sense <laughs> um, and I love the fact that we've got the matching material as well so it does mean you can back these you've got you've been through you've got the That's colors so. that all sit beautifully with your panels well, which is, is important well this is it and this is one of the things that I often hear from people is that one they want to take up quilting baffled by all the maths and mm -hmm. all the shapes and all that kind of thing. But it also, it's about choosing your fabrics. And we yeah. get this in card making, yeah. choosing those colours that are going to complement each other. Well, with these, the green that's been picked out from that background is the same green that is on the other one, where you've Amazing. got the reverse. It's the same green that will have been used on one of those previous ones. You can see here, some of that extra fabric yeah. is exactly the same, so you know it's all going to work together. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you do invest in those little rulers, all those extra little pieces, I'll show you at three o'clock, you can make into your own. Blocks. Yeah, the rulers have been so busy, haven't they? <laughs> um, now, the quilt, it does look amazing when it's built up, and that's it over yonder. Yeah, Isn't it cool? Go. Isn't it exciting seeing it all come together here? Well, it is, but it's almost like you've got, you know, in Victorian times, they used to do a sampler exactly. of their stitching. Yeah. That's what you've got here. So I'm not really a bookworm. I'm not into books. But what I do like to do is to learn by doing, and yeah. that's what we've got here. We've got 12 blocks, which quite easily I could have put into a book for you to kind of follow the direction yeah but they I just find for me it's easier and it goes yeah. in if I'm doing it well and I think your book gets put on shelf mm -hmm. when you've got these because it's it doesn't feel like it's going to take you forever it doesn't, and yeah. actually you've got mm -hmm. everything you need to get going mm -hmm. rather than having to go out and get this get that get it you've got it haven't yeah. you you know literally sewing machine and a pair of scissors um do remember do remember before we run out of time um hail is I'm making sure I've got this right way around not upside down etc etc um we've got Hill is a fantastic brand yeah. new ruler. And if you are watching Andy, thank you so much. He's been really helpful putting these together because I didn't know where the, the first place to start with these. I just knew I wanted a square. Yeah. He, even down to the logo there, the little oh. label has got a little tiny hole in there. Oh, how it's, fantastic. It serves no purpose at all, but it's, it's there. And he it's put it there. Cute. It's really sweet. Just attention to detail. It is, That's yeah. really sweet. It is. How much has gone of these? I think it's, did you say 20%? I missed it. It's off now. 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 It's off now.
together, whether it's a table runner, um, whether it's all 12 of them, yeah. how you actually get your wadding in place, how you get your backing in place, Amazing. and how you put that binding in place too as well. Amazing. So lots to cover. Touches. Um, right, that is going to be at 3 o'clock. Make sure you tune in. Do not miss that. Um, obviously, we'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, so get those emails in with photos showing where you're up to. Um, and don't miss any of the blocks and the brand new rulers. Well done, I hear. Thank what a you. lovely thank show. You very much. Um, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks, Hayley. See you later. Bye. -bye. Bye. So next, crafting with clarity. You should see what Tina's been up to. It's amazing. And then we're inking up with Lou, which is so cool, want everything. And then it's our lovely John in the building with his one day special. This set of 100 powerful neodymium magnets are an essential staple for scrapbookers and album makers alike. Ideal for creating fastenings for your albums and envelopes or for use in your scrapbooking projects, these incredibly strong 10mm magnets offer a firm fix and a smart finish. To add this to your crafting stash, go to achanda.com. Hi there, let me introduce you to the Hochanda app. This is our free app that allows you to watch Hochanda live, on the go, anywhere, anytime, and purchase items featured on air, giving you a quicker and easier method of shopping using your mobile phone or tablet whilst watching us anywhere, and it's free. You can find Hochanda by simply accessing your iPhone's app store or Android through Google Play, typing in Hochanda into the search bar and downloading. Once downloaded, this places Hochanda onto your home screen for easy access. Then simply tap the Hochanda icon to access Hochanda anytime via the app. Once open, you'll notice the current live show will automatically appear. If you turn your phone or tablet on its side, the live stream automatically becomes full screen. But that's not all. At the top of the app, you have four icons. The first icon is live. Here you will find the live stream along with all the items featured in the current show. The next one is TV schedule where you'll be able to access the past month shows, catch up and purchase any items featured at the top of a button. The third one is your search where you can search our entire website for any items you've seen on Hochanda. The fourth button, currently this should be empty but we can soon rectify that. When you add an item to your basket you'll be asked if you wish to continue shopping or go directly to your basket for checkout. Once you reach your basket you'll notice it is very similar to our website where you can choose different postage methods as well as applying any current voucher codes. Simply agree to the terms and conditions to check out securely. Log in with your account using your registered email and password. Ochanda Go will automatically detect if you are a Freedom member and will deduct your postage accordingly. Also on this screen you can select your delivery and billing address. Once these have been selected tap check out securely. This takes you through to the payment page. Here you can make your preferred payment selection. Then once this has been selected, simply tap submit order and your item will be on its way. The Hochanda app. Download it now, watch live and order anywhere, anytime, on the go. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am so looking forward to this hour. Can I introduce you to the lovely Barbara and Tina? Hello. Hello, Yanis. Good morning. So what we try and do, and this is what I love about Clarity, as a company, the, yours offer something a bit different. I know uh, first Thursday of every month, we're going to have our Pergamano show, so make yep. sure to tune in then. We've got a special concept here, because Tina, uh, Tina, you're known for your doodling. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to focus on doodle designs. But tell us how this all came about, because there's this a, is a good little story. Yeah. yeah, this is so neat, because Tina and I obviously were on Facebook. Yeah. And I saw a doodle from Tina. Right. right so she brought this out, oh, which okay. is white pen. So I straight away went in privately, and I went, wow. cool. So she's used the designer <laughs> wow, paper okay, from the Northern Lights, nice. yeah. and she doodled on. And I said, is that on parchment? Because it was white, uh -huh. and because Tina's a parcher, yeah. I assumed. She said, no, no, it's on, um, it's on paper. So I went, right, okay. So then I came back at her, and I did mine. <laughs> I started mine on parchment. So oh. in other words, then you work from behind, oh. you see. Use and I said, concept. oh, that works. That looks amazing. 
So then I said, blimey, I bet Shenandoah would be good for this, the design <laughs> yeah. paper. So then Tina posted yeah, right this. Here. And I said, no, it's beautiful. I really, really like it. I see it. what's going on here, a little yeah. back and forth. But what it's was a little so, bit of a And I said, I like this one. <laughs> so she said, you topper. Oh. <laughs> and then she, of course, wanted to oh, have the last right. word, sent me that one. And so what happened was that oh, no, the whole time no. we had this banter about... I love and it. what was interesting was because Tina's the parcher and yeah. I'm the paper, and yet we had a revolt, a total role yeah. reversal. Yeah. Freaky Friday. So she was on the yeah. paper and I was on the part. And so then I said, right, I'll tell you what we'll do. Genius. Let's have a doodle day. Yeah. And then Tina had a doodle, doodle day, day. With, uh, with some students, didn't you? I did, she, because you, she said, oh, let's go do doodling on um, Hochanda. And I'm like, nah, -uh. <laughs> what, live on air? She's like, yeah. And I said, yeah. no, I need to have a practice session. So I called a few friends over who haven't doodled. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I showed them you can. And doodling is really for everyone. Well, you you know, were if showing you break that. it down, it looked like anyone an amazing can day. do it. And now I've got all the ladies hooked on doodling. And you will be as well. I promise you. Stick around for this hour because yeah. we're going to show you some great stuff. Uh, Tina, we'll let you get set. We're yeah. going to go down the counter quick so we can get to you as quick as we can. All right? Definitely. Looking forward Thank to that. You. It's so achievable. I'm hooked. Yeah. I, don't, I am hooked. Just see, you've got to see this. And I said to Tina that. This looks like it could be hanging in the gallery. Should we yeah. show you? Now we have got we pens. Have you can this, use the pens to create this. We're already getting busy. The quality of these micron pens yeah. are exceptional. So you're getting various sizes in there. Seven pens. We will go through them in detail when we sit down with Tina. But twelve ninety nine. You're getting all seven of those. And I must show you. So I gave my artwork, my doodle, to Lucy. Wow. Yeah. And this is what she made the insert with. So ah. isn't that super? So the insert is actually using my little doodle Isn't that nice and touch? It, it, she actually used it upside down but it actually works really beautiful and what i love is that she's yeah. using our little adage now our little strap line the bridge to art clarity the stamp the bridge to art that's a lovely so, strap line yes lovely i love it line. and when you look now so this is let's just take this out yeah. so i've used one of the black pens okay. on parchment then i flipped it over and i did the white work on mm, the back okay. you see so that's why we've got the red you see so when you push through the parchment yeah. then of course that's how it comes out. The whiteness ah. comes through. So you've got the best of both worlds. Amazing. Right? Now, have a look, though, at oh, this yeah. one. This is ridiculously good. So this, this is, is Tina. Amazing. Taking Wait it to the next this. level. Right? Check this out. So Tina now, can I just have a wow. peek? Wow, yeah, of course. So this is why we decided to put both of the parchment and the paper together. This piece here is on parchment. So she's done white work, oh. and she's used a white pen, where I used a black so pen. So mixing the two mediums. And then, on this is paper, Yeah. and all she's done then is taken the designer paper and just captured in white um, the the areas because Shenandoah is especially incredible. lends itself to this yeah. but but what's so beautiful is that it runs right across from the parchment into the paper so just using the pens to follow the designs yeah. in the Shenandoah papers look incredible and look you can do this got to show you this one we have got this stencil on the show so the reason oh, that we oh. added isn't that so beautiful wow my Dave he just wow. fell in love with these yeah. leaves he said that is incredible Incredible uh, shading. Um, so what, this is all done freehand. I'm blown all away. done freehand. I'm blown it is so away. beautiful. It's doodled. Now, what I wanted to say wow. was um, that the the stencil. The reason that we added stencils to the show was because if you were to give um, so many people say, oh, I couldn't go freehand. It's like taking no. stabilizers off a bicycle. Oh, I can't do no. that. Um, but if you were to go freehand and you were looking at something like this, it would be a bit daunting. Yeah. You'd think, well, where do I begin? Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, and so the stencil is fantastic yeah. because it gives you a frame it gives you something to work okay. towards and that's what we're going to do today just to guidance. get you started yeah okay got to tell you the pens are already busy 12 no way 12.99 we're already approaching 10 percent of the stock they are absolutely flying out the door we haven't even shown you them but they are honestly fantastic we They're will great. play with them at demonstration 734 931 your item number as a crafter, actually forget as a crafter, as a person, I love a bargain. When we heard the price of what you're about yeah. to see now, everybody at the meeting stopped. Everybody. We had a meeting for one, but like, really? Uh, so yeah. what you're getting here is the parchment and the paper. Now you've got four different options, so you can either go for your Shenandoah, your Rainbow River, your Indian Summer, or your Northern Lights. What you're getting is a pair. You're getting the parchment and the paper, and to achieve the inspirations that we've got on the show today, you need both. But effectively, you with that paying, saving, you're yeah. only paying for the parchment. You're only paying for the parchment. Wow. So it's like £25 for the parchment. And it is expensive, to, very expensive to make. Normally, an A4 sheet of parchment, coloured parchment, is a pound.
Wow. So here we've got 48 leaves and you've got you've got four of 12 different designs and you'll see here if we just take one let me just take okay. one right Go you'll see it. on the back it's quite this is the front of the parchment uh -huh. it's quite muted now if I put this against a piece of white let me just show you uh -huh. then you'll see Ooh. So if we do this, oh. now you can see it better. So this is parchment. That looks amazing. And this looks is like the a front. waterfall. Yeah, I, d I designed it to look like a waterfall. I'm glad, it, I'm glad you saw it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm glad. And so this one now, this is the back, if you like. And you'll see that the back of parchment is always a lot more, glo it's a glossier, right? And when you work on the back of parchment, mm. see, that's how you end up. Uh, Come, so you work results. on the glossy side, yep. and then the white side shows through, don't so. It's so, so that's elegant. How it works. What I do, I'm just going to pick through uh, the paper. It's just easier to flick through and show you at home. All the designs are the same, but you're obviously getting them paper and you're getting them in parchment. They are absolutely captivating. As yeah. backgrounds go, these are exceptional. Now, that's this is right. just one. This is your Shenandoah. It seems, and I know that you, um, <laughs> Shenandoah at the moment is the favourite. I love them all. I'm really struggled to pick a favourite. But what Barbara does so well, because uh, you did design this for Shenandoah. I did. Right? I did all but four of them. But you wanted to yeah. create the scenes. Well, the idea with this was that I did design because Linda Williams, yeah. Archer Extraordinary, oh, yeah. she said to me because I'd done the Northern Lights and the Indian Summer, and she said, uh -huh. the next time you do it, Barb, can you make sure that there's always a lighter area in the middle, because Parchers, they do their artwork in the center, and they do their white work around the outside. Uh -huh. And I said, can do that. But then I thought, well, for people like myself, who are, who are mixed media and, and, and stampers, yeah. it's, see, so if you look at them now, you'll see they've always got a light area in the middle, but I try to make a landscape it's or something stunning. that looks akin. So, so for what we're doing, there we go, look. Oh. And Shenandoah is like a canyon, isn't it? Isn't it? it's, yeah. it's a river and a canyon um, and you'll see now why there's logic behind it so not... I think there's a lot of Incredible. A lot of mileage in there, and you can imagine and you've got both as a sides doodle as well. Just seeing yeah, that in that's the right. You've got both sides. So, but yeah. for doodling, this is perfect because use your micron pens. Yeah, that's it. But value for money, exceptional. You're getting the parchment, you're getting the papers, and we are really, really, really busy. Each one of these is a showstopper. There is not one set that I personally wouldn't love. And at that price, mm. This is crazy. So this is Ronk mm. Langton, one of our... She never doodled before. She, she never doodled before? Never doodled before. What? And she went to Tina's workshop, and this is what she came back oh, with. Look at her. Isn't that beautiful? So that's, again, that's on the muted side. You just jogged my memory yeah. that this was uh, in the pile here. Wow. Because uh, she worked on the muted side, uh -huh. and then she laid it... Up. I mean, I just think that's exquisite, isn't yeah. it? Absolutely incredible. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-four ninety-seven is your price. You're saving twelve ninety-nine. Uh, you just go for whichever option you like. You've got four different options here. Uh, yeah. 477 your item number. Throughout the hour, we'll pick through and show you other designs, but they are incredible. I they think really the other incredible. thing is that you will, these are what we call a consumable. Yeah. This isn't a one-off purchase, you know, oh, like no. a groovy plate, it's you not, expect to have that no. for life. This is something that you will chomp through. And so at this use price, it as well. I actually yeah. think it's, an, a, a, you know, push the boat out and, and treat yourself because it's, even if you've already got this, don't worry, yeah. you'll run out. It's the way it it works isn't it so yeah. this is a tight this Very, is an opportunity you'll use both that parchment yeah. is exquisite and the designs Definitely. and you're getting the paper all right come over here then barbara because uh, we got more okay <laughs> the stencils these are great <laughs> we're already at 10 percent. we haven't even showed it to these you are lovely. Uh, but they are stunning so you're getting the elephant and the stag uh allowing you as you're seeing here have some fun with your doodling. Oh, oh, oh. Look, look at this. This is great. I'll hand them to wow. you. There we are. Now, clever use of shrink plastic. And yeah. I love the trunk wrapped around Mama's tail. So I like that you wow. can see. And look at the see the doodling inside there. Now, that's made with stamps. Barbara, so that again, that's lovely. using stamps. And there you can see the solid, the shape of uh -huh. the elephant. Isn't that great? Very this nice. is a beautiful one with the beads. Ooh. Um, oh, and now I want to show you this one. This is interesting Wait, because, again, there. this is a 12 by 12. Okay. Let me show you this. So Carol, I think this was. Let me show yeah. you. Carol yeah. Baker. Yeah. So she visited me at the NEC and she brought this along. And she'd been to Tina's workshop as well. Uh -huh. And again, this is somebody that's never doodled before, and she went for it. So when I was at home, I thought, well, let's just see what a little frame can do. And I heard our Lou Withers saying this earlier on. Yeah. You could take a piece of paper and put a mount board around it, and then all of a sudden, it's actually a work of art, isn't it? Easily a work of art. I mean, wow, that would look beautiful in any room. Yeah. Uh, the stencil's extreme busy. Let's just show you a couple of the... <laughs> we're going up by 10%. So we, I called 10%. We're now at 20%. Have a look at this. This stag. is fantastic. Look. 
So who's this? This uh, is Carol, Carol Pankstello. Love that. And Absolutely gorgeous. With a stencil, you can either use all of it or just Yeah, the, so here again, portion. Dee's just used a portion of it. Oh, that's nice. And of course, this lends itself beautifully to Christmas. I oh, mean, yeah. these are beautiful, aren't they? The and the other thing, I love that one by Sam Crow. I don't even have to look at the back, I know it's Sam. <laughs> but I love, the thing about stencils is that they're double-sided, aren't you they? Can so flip. you can flip them. Oh, isn't yeah. that clever? Yep. Yeah, I'd I really like that. And also, positioning just the heights, you can get the illusion of uh, Isn't that good? male, female, whatever. Love it. Uh, very, very busy here. Look at that price. Barbara, are you kidding? Nine ninety six, and you're getting both of those. They They're are top exquisite. quality. I think the thing is, there are stencils out there that are less expensive, yeah. I know. But these designs, for example, first price. of all, they lend themselves beautifully to this doodle art. Yeah, Secondly, yeah. they lend themselves beautifully to uh, their thick, so they're almost like embossing folders. If you yeah. run them through a, oh, a die yeah, cutting machine, yeah. you get a really good emboss on them. That's fabulous, isn't it? Nine ninety six. Your one? price? Janet. Is that Janet? Janet? Yeah, it is yeah, Janet. Janet. Yeah. Janet. Well done, Janet. And you've also got Maria there. And Maria as well. on the other yeah. side, yeah, with. Uh, 421337, you your item number there. We've got to move on because we want to get to Tina. This now, is cool. I like why we're offering this because as a mat, if you're a parcher, this is incredible. You, yeah. It really does make a difference. But you were saying that you just wanted, because I know with the bundles and especially what we're going to be showing today, even if you're not a parcher, this is what you effectively what you need. With yes. the mat and with the ball tools, you can create the doodle effects. Exactly, we've been because if you buy, if you invest in the paper and the parchment, yep. then you want to stretch the parchment to use that property of the yeah. parchment to make it white. And so all we're going, all we've done now is so you don't have to buy the whole starter kit to get the tools. Yeah. We've taken the two, the tools from the starter kit. Yep. So you've got one, two, three, and four. You've got your your ends here uh -huh. to get, and you use one and two on the parchment. Yeah. Um, you've got your soft mat, mm -hmm. and that's all you need. That's it. So as a stamper who's not than any parchment, if you've got parchment, that's what you need to stretch it. And the beauty of the excellent mat, and it really is a great name for it because it is excellent, is if you're a little bit heavy handed, you're not going to tear through the parchment. It will be your savior. It's so easy to work with. It's a desirable. Uh, I know a lot of parchment, especially with the starter kit, we say that you've got everything you need to get started, but that's something you'll move on to. Yeah. But for what we're offering you today, this is a must. You're going to need it if you, you don't have it. You need something soft yeah. underneath, definitely. Uh, yeah. 2196 is your price. 858 936 your item number. She's so good. Tina, with these designs, are exceptional. Oh, yeah, they're super. Isn't she? Um, so let's have a look. These are Tina's. Yep. These are mine. Oh, these are your designs. They I apologise. Sorry, I got it mixed up. I no, thought we were no, Tina's no. first. So teamwork makes the what, dream work. Let, let me let me rephrase that. You're so good. I love these. I have my moments. And they're, they're beautiful <laughs> designs, but they're so usable. Um, mm. I do. I have my moments. And those white labels that are on there on each yeah. groovy plate. Let me just explain. Uh -huh. The reason these are removable labels, and the idea is that when you put them in your storage box, you remove that and you put it on the on the actual folder in the little compartment, so yeah. that when you take it out to play with it, you know, you know where to relocate it. So You've that's so why they've got the stickers on there. That's a really good. It's a small detail. I think one shows. of our customers came up with that idea, idea. and then we moved on it yeah have a look at this you are as a company you're actually very good at listening to feedback so i know so groovy clarity about. yeah it's a community uh oh sorry i had that upside down let me just show you here isn't that beautiful so now we we're making effectively uh, a beautiful strip border there yeah you see the, the thing about the these fold. these um when i when i drew these these are made in stamps and in groovy and you can see for example you've got these lovely floral borders four of them and then you've got uh, the four bases so you've got grass you've got a stone wall i like that one yeah, then too. you've got a log logs with the gr with the reeds Ooh, and the grasses then brilliant. you've got the roses with the brick wall yeah. and then you've got a little spacer so that they fit nicely inside your um, your groovy plate your, okay. your groovy plate mate. even with the spacer you make use of everything and beautiful little sentiment too a lovely set and lovely we will and be playing around uh, yeah. with this already getting busy 1996 and look at the saving the prices they're all so good the reason that they're on the show again is, huh? is because again not everybody can just take a pen and start doodling yeah. and so the idea is that these are perfectly sized you'll see from the artwork here yeah. that we're just coming into these are perfect for an infill for starting a doodle if right. you want to just put flowers on a bank on the, elephant, the, on the though, pot yeah, exactly fantastic. but if yeah. you just wanted to put flowers on a bank and you don't, not sure how to draw a flower, yeah. then here's your, here's well, your yeah. answer. 1999, uh, no, sorry, 1996 is your price. You're saving eight pounds, 069967, your item number. Okay, so I, I got it reversed, so apologies. That lovely collection is by yourself, Barbara, and now we're on to Tina's. This is nice too. 
same principle. It's giving the tools to get that infill to get you started. Uh, details on your screen. Have I got that right? I got that right. No? It, it's... No. No? Uh, no, it's ours. It's oh, it's all, but all together. But it's all teamwork. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. It's okay, fine. It's guys, fine. All right, my it's bad. Not, but I was correct. You know what fine. it is? It's yeah. because you see the tina, the the parchments inside. That's why you're looking That's at them. My it. my bad. They're so, just a yeah. simple so background. Well, it's collaboration, obviously, with the doodle design. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. isn't it? Do you know what? I'm yeah. I'm 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 really flattered yeah. that you think that. The clarity at my artwork is actually... Uh, I do. I think, yeah. well, I love the whole story about this as well. There we go. And just showing you names. So that's Karen. And there's another beautiful one from Chris. Isn't that lovely? As backgrounds go... Oh, I like this too. So the idea is if you, look at the, if you look at them when they're... Yeah. they're I'm going to be bringing I'll these actually in stencils. They're coming out in a couple of weeks' time. I've oh. got them. The next Sunday when I'm on, I've got these in stencils and stamps. Oh. They are insanely good. Lovely. And you can see they are so detailed and so intricate. Yeah. But they're fantastic for exactly what oh. we're doing here because they are like floral doodles, aren't they? Florist, forest and floral doodles. Beautiful. And what you'll see is that when you go to infill, like you were saying about the stag or, yeah. or just just meandering or mm. filling in an area, these are fantastic for that. And that's why we put them on the show. Fifteen ninety eight is your price. One one seven 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 six. Your item number. We are busy for everything. Good. Uh, we're going to start having a play now. It's all about doodles. Let's jump onto the website as we head to our demonstration. Uh, so you've got your micron pens. You've got those beautiful plates. Those stencils for nine ninety six. Get in my basket. And I tell you what, Clarity worth every one of those stars. For me, Clarity is a five-star company. So whether it is groovy, whether it is for the dyes, because obviously we've got the fresh cut dyes, uh, we've got the stencils, the stamps, all five-star reviews. You're just seeing it in front of you right now. We've got some frames as well. Barbara made a really interesting point. You can do a piece, but when you frame it, and there is the mount boards there, suddenly you're transforming that into a work of art. So especially if you want to display it and really bring it to its full potential, that is a good way to go. Okay, Tina, I'm so sorry. It took us a while to get back to you, but I'm really looking forward to it. So where, where are we going to start? And I know that Barbara's going to be working along with you. Yeah, we're just going to doodle. Okay. Like I said to Barbara and you, we're going to yeah. wing it. Wing it. We like it. <laughs> it's a doodle. We'll... I think mm -hmm. doodling for me is a very relaxing thing. Mm -hmm. So I don't decide exactly what I'm going to do uh -huh. as I'm drawing things. Yeah. I just let, just pen in hand and, Brilliant. you know, What would you it. say to anyone that is a little bit reticent about just getting started? They're like, they see your work, which is stunning, and they're like, well, I just don't know where to begin. Where would we start? Um, well, what I... I think that was one of the main yeah. things uh, yeah. when so I decided to, you know, have a little play at home with a few friends yeah. and see where will I start teaching it. Yeah. What I did is I did a sheet of just basic doodles, starting with circles, lines, flowers, yeah. and then using it to uh, get them to, you know, uh, fill, it, fill in places and mm. things. So we've got a sheet here which has uh, lots of flowers mm -hmm. and that lovely? Uh, that different nice. ideas. Yeah. This one here, and if you're just starting, this is a really good idea. Draw out a few squares, basic shapes, anything, and start filling in little areas. If you see a texture or wallpaper or something, mm -hmm. a design you like, mm -hmm. fill it into a square as a future reference. For me, this is future reference because um, sometimes, yeah. although I'll be doodling, I think, oh, well, it looks all a bit the same. Yeah. So maybe I want to do, uh, let me bring up the sheet and see if there's something yeah. else I can see. It's a good way so to get you your know, confidence too. Yeah. Just build it up, they're manageable sizes. Okay. Can I say something else yeah, to of course that? Yeah, you can. Because I also, what we, what we also both agreed mm. independently was that I, I very, very seldom go straight to the parchment, mm. you know, and I very seldom go straight to the paper. What I do is I have a piece of white copy paper and I see what I, what I, whether I like it. It's a and the ways. other, another trick is if you want to do a landscape, a whole yeah. landscape, it's a good idea to put a piece of tracing paper over the top and try it on a bit of tracing paper before you see go to works. your masterpiece. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, because you'll, you'll make a flower and then you think, actually, that doesn't look so good. I, could, I wish I'd moved it over a little bit or, because mm. these doodles are actually very strategic, aren't they? If you want. Yeah. It's one thing just doodling in the, you know, when you're on the telephone chatting to somebody. Yeah. It's another thing when you want to doodle to make an, a nice cool. piece yeah. of artwork. Lovely. Okay. It all makes sense. So a bit of copy paper and tracing paper helps Good advice. Really good advice. 
Right. So what we go, I've got two examples here. One we're going to do this show, one we're going to do in the afternoon show. Okay, but just to show you the, the difference, we're going to do the stag this morning. Mm -hmm. And in here, it's very much um, a beginner project, although you may not think that <laughs> when I say that, but it is, trust me. Um, That's a beginner project? Yeah. Yes, what? it is. This now, is a beginner project. As a beginner, if I had done something like that, I would be over the moon. Yeah, over this is a moon. beginner one. It's, okay. it's more gentler way we, you, you know, if you're not confident about yeah. um, okay. freehand drawing, we start off with uh, some of the groovy okay. plates we yeah. have to use to it's trace the point from. Barbara was making. I like having that safety yes. net. And also you're, you're building up that confidence, yes. that muscle memory, and then and you can go on to explore. Yeah, and getting your wrist moving and things, uh, you know, okay. just to get it flowing. But also what I introduce in this is freehand okay. as well. Simple nice freehand balance. ideas. Yeah. So, you know, we do that in the morning. Okay. And then in the afternoon, we're going uh, to work on the elephant. Now the elephant on here is all freehand. Wow. But because we'll have practice this morning, we'll be elephant. ready to go with okay. it. Oh, so I like definitely. it. So watch, watch two. Where do we start then? And uh, let's put this one aside. Okay. So. Uh, and the other thing, what we wanted to show as well, is like the paper and the parchment, they go together. Mm. So let's say if we take a look at this, this is where we're headed at the Can moment. This is where we're going to go. So we're going to yeah. trace out the outer, and Tina's going to show us how to do that. Now, if I take the same piece of parchment, exactly yeah. the same, if I slide it in here, you'll see that it actually locks in. Ooh. It's made to fit exactly. And that's why when Tina tears away yeah, yeah. the front part of the parchment, the back just flows straight yeah. through with the paper and once you see it physically like that you'll see that's exactly okay. now if I could just borrow Tina's artwork yeah. you'll see exactly now that why the art lovely. why the paper just flows straight on from the parchment because they're built in the same way I think that's beautiful it, it is works. really so lovely. I'm very excited to see this Tina I really am there I want to are. give this a go okay so we're gonna we're gonna start now the whole point of this hour, we're, we're focusing on the doodles, and I do love the story of how it all came about with both of you It was funny. Just, that was just nice. But we've got a fantastic bundle as well. And don't forget, you are getting the parchment, and it is such a good quality parchment, and the papers for $24.97. You're saving $12.99, which in essence means you're getting the paper for free. It's, it's, you're not paying for that, because that's how much that, and there's 48 sheets too. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to start, especially if, because I said uh, on uh, Facebook yesterday and this morning, uh, you know, if you want to doodle with us, then have your papers and pens yeah. ready. And if you don't have, say, the stencils at the moment or the designer yeah. papers, all you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil to start off okay. with. Ah, and you. I always, uh, the way I did uh, my play day yeah. was I got, I gave them a pencil, I gave them a piece of paper, and I said, we, Scribble a few lines. Doesn't okay. matter. Just scribble a few lines. Thank you, Barbara. Uh, I know when Yanis oh. is in the building, he likes to try too. Now, These pens are beautiful. What you were, definitely go easy with them. When I'm oh, at the office, yeah. sometimes I see we use these pens all the time. That's how I draw yeah. my artwork with okay. these. So these, are, these are the best Funny. in the business. Yeah. And uh, and sometimes I see some of the lads at work. They're on the counter and they start writing like <laughs> notes. It's like give me, <laughs> don't even go. That's my art pen. And they are at pen, but we're at thirty percent of the stock, and we're only twenty-two minutes in for the micro pens. They're worth having, and they do—they so do, they they do have a shelf. Zero, yeah. I've used the eight, okay. number eight. All right. You can use any any um, oh, any of the widths. Yeah. Eight is the widest in the pen set. Uh, when I do my basic outline like this, I like to start with something wide. Okay. And then for the finer details, I go down in numbers for the finer points. Okay. And like I said, we're just scribbling a few lines. Oopsie daisy, not on my okay. light panel. One. Do you want a thicker one? Yeah. What do you want, an eight? I'll go for an eight. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So you've got 005, which is super fine, and then it goes to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, and just then to eight. To show you the difference here, look, this is not a demo, I'm just literally, I've just done two lines. But that was a one, and there's the eight. So you can see yeah, there is a difference to it, and you can feel it as well. And also, if you go slower, more slowly, what you'll find is that's when you see the thickness of the pen come in. Uh, if you go fast, they tend to go, f they, they, they get finer. But if you slow down, mm -hmm. then your thicker pen will come into its own. Lovely. That'll do. So, yeah, I basically just 
scribbled a few lines and they, and actually when I'm mm, doodling at home I always mm. tend to do this first on a piece of paper especially if it's first thing in the morning and my hand is a bit shaky without okay. the chocolate yeah. <laughs> you know I need it to start it's working a good hand sort study, of yeah. thing. so yeah. I do a little bit of scribbling okay now I've got the little sections in there I'm ready to fill in nice. but at this point I'm going to leave this on the side for the minute okay. yeah and now using the stencil is sort of the same sort of idea so you know uh, where we are creating our sections mm. so let's get this um, if I just draw this out sort yeah, of please do. not the whole thing okay. but just now the, the designer paper and the parchment we are using the Shenandoah here mm -hmm. and uh, very popular option the Shenandoah. and uh, like Barbara said this is the more landscapey sort yeah. of uh, pattern but when you turn it you see different things oh, yeah. So if you've got the designer well, papers and a parchment, tree. you only turn it down. I'm seeing a, the limb of a tree there coming we are. through. Yeah, and is it, they are they are lovely papers. You've done and such a good job with those, Barbara. This is the one that uh, over there, which I had in the frame, the white the yeah. white one with the uh -huh. free hand, yeah. where I saw trees over here, and this was the mountain that that uh, was the river. Yeah. So every time you know you see different things, yeah. and you know turn it round and see how you so how, how you like it the you best. You suddenly become the trees, suddenly become clouds, and yeah. yeah. So every time you turn it, it's going to look very different. Yeah. And that's a massive compliment yeah. to the parchment and papers. And the price today, and I'm sorry to keep on going on about it, but you can see it for yourself. That price, $24.97, not only are you getting the parchment, but you're getting the papers as well, the same designs that allow you to get the effect. And that's the whole point. That's why Barbara and Clarity and Tina brought you this package, is because then you can achieve the effects that we're going to show today. Okay, so we've got our stencil. And can I just say, Tina, the stencil's perfect for doodling because you've they got are. all that space yeah so if you stuck it down with I'm groovy stuck tabs. it down with groovy tabs just to Low hold it in tape place. would do it as well wouldn't it masking yes. tape yeah. and uh, I've stuck it on the mat side mm -hmm. which is the front of our work um, ready to stencil uh, yeah. ready to draw that up okay. now I'm going to use the 08 to do the work I'm going to use a groovy guard just mm -hmm. to hold it down for me okay. and if you've got a light light uh, panel yeah. I'm just going to switch that <laughs> I've put a note switch it mention yeah. you're switching it on she says yeah. you can yeah. if you want yeah. or you know even even if I switch it off yeah. if I switch it off by the she way says, the smaller light wave I was doing a show it flew, the didn't day. it? My goodness. Well, it launched at six. By the time I, I, yeah, I eight o'clock, we I had a, a handful left. It was crazy. So with yeah. or without, if yeah. you've got one, see what works better for you. Okay. So, and all mm -hmm. we're going to do is I'm going to go in there with the zero eight, so and I'm going to draw inside those Right. sections and Would because the stencils are good quality Janice you know yeah. what we were saying earlier because they're good quality even though these are super fine lines yeah. then they don't move as I'm going round here you you'll see it, it, yeah. it's not flimsy and the way that, that Jim constructed this at work yeah. you'll see it's it's, it's see what I mean that the line isn't they're moving not flimsy. no yeah, they're, they're not, not flimsy they don't move when you when you, you trace them out like this so would you recommend Tina when we're doing this just a slightly because I know you've gone for the 08 uh, remember the Rikon, uh, micron pens and so busy you're getting a selection of sizes the 08 is on the larger size so that's better for your outline would you, would you recommend it, it's that, just personal matter? preference okay um, you know I, I like my outline to be um, bold, bold yeah. and then the inside with finer detail yeah. so it's absolutely personal okay. preference there'll be times when I'll use the same width yeah. all the all the way yeah. through tell you what Barbara's flying along well, you've nearly done it all. <laughs> wow the speed the speed outlines yeah, the, okay. it's so it's so uh, easy because the, I think the thing about using a stencil yeah. or a shape like this, it's it gives you if you want to get into this kind of uh, artistic mm -hmm. doodling, then the the stencil gives you a really good mm -hmm. uh, uh, outline. You oh, know, yeah. so you, you a limit like yeah. a parameter, so you you're not just free falling. Yeah. You know, and you can still use your inks, you can still use your texture paste, you can still emboss. 
I love the idea, and it's a good point that you wouldn't necessarily think of, that Barbara mentioned earlier on, being able to flip the stencil. Because then yeah. you've got different designs, you can put two stags together, and I know the design team have, have shown that. And another thing that's very interesting, say for example, mm -hmm. like we're doing the full stag here. Yeah. So let's say you just wanted to use only the head, or the, you know, just the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the chest and the head, you mm -hmm. know, a bust of the, yeah. uh, the stag. If you were, for example, to take a... Um, a box like a ruler yeah. or trace around a box or trace around a mug or yeah. you see with a uh, yeah. and you give yourself an outline before and then you uh, infill it in. yeah that that reduces again I always if think you we should go small if you took the antlers off then you've got the dough you so you've have a and, uh, clever idea yeah, yeah that's and right dough. and it's a compliment to the way it's designed because you can see that's been purposely thought through because how it is with the antlers that's that's a good idea mm -hmm. okay so Okay. We've got our outline. So we would go ahead and do the whole... Yeah, just let you know we're halfway through, Tina, just to give you a little Ooh. time check, just over halfway. Okay. So I'm going to take that off. Uh -huh. There we are. Mm. Okay. Wow. Can we just show, because I know you did a portion of it, I just wanted yeah. to show that from Barbara. Look. And Barbara, this is why we were talking, literally a couple of minutes work and suddenly that's great. Thank you, Barbara. There, so you can see it. So it's very quick to do, isn't it? Beautiful design, though, that lends itself for different techniques. You know what you could do? Imagine gilding flakes in there, so put some glue yeah. stencil on, add some oh, gilding yeah. flakes. Okay. Oh, there's so much you can do yeah. now. That's your one now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've got one, you've got one. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Because we're working on the front, yeah. um, you see, that's the, that's the cool thing. If I put a bit of white paper under no, here for you... Thank you. There we go. Is you that can, okay? You can tell you're a mum, Barbara. I am. <laughs> okay. Okay, so what we're going to do yeah. is to start off, to uh -huh. keep it simple, mm -hmm. we're going to use some of the groovy plates. Perfect. For this, it's very much, you know, choose the s uh, s sections you want, yeah. uh, that you want to use plates for. And okay. uh, Now these are where the plates, so everything on the show so today has been designed for these kind of techniques. If I put some plates out yeah. here. Okay. So you can use that, okay. right, and then pick one, go on, which one do you fancy? This one. There you go. Thank you. So are we going to use, are we going to trace it? Are we going to use the grid? We're going to trace grid? it. So we're using okay. the flat side. i show you both. Cool. Oh, okay. Because you've got choices here, haven't yeah. we? Yes. So wait, so we're using the flat side or the grid? I'll show you both oh, okay. and see what, uh, All right, I'm how watch. you prefer. I'll watch. If I give you as well a black mat to put under there. You guys have been very sweet to me today. Thank you. Because um, I wasn't meant to demo. Yeah. Take that away and leave okay. the white. Yeah. There you okay. go. Let's yeah, see what you're doing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to turn that on. Uh-huh. And... Uh, so you can work like that. that you'll, now, you'll this is um, mm. with the oh, plate flat cool. side. Right. The grooves on the other side. If okay. I put that on, I can see the design just about. Yeah. However, mm. and this is where we need to find our soft, gentle... Yeah, look at the difference. ...touch. Mm. And by putting this, we see it a lot better. That's the groovy side yeah. up, the groove side up. Now have a look. Now, oh, yeah. the lovely yeah. thing about the Micron pens nice. is they're really juicy, that you really are not going to need a lot of pressure mm -hmm. for them, uh, you know, to show through. No. And we're working and with, on the parchment, the we're working on the gloss yeah. side, we're pushing down, so the gloss side's on top. No, we're no, not. We're working on the front. You're going to work front, on the front yeah. the whole time. Oh, okay. It's still mat side up. Ah, and we'll only okay. flick. It's a good question, though. Yeah. We'll only, we, so we're going to work all on the front. Yeah. And then that way, when we flip to do the embossing from the back, we won't affect the line art. Right. Okay. Thank you. So now, if you, if you decide you're going to use your groovy plates, yeah. then, um, you know, be very gentle when we are tracing out the design. So, would you like some groovy tabs to stick? No. I'm just going to hold mine because I think it's Thank you're you. only using small sections, small aren't sections. you? Yeah. So, for example, if so I go go on, Tina. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to use a zero one or a zero two to do this. Now, pick any section. It doesn't matter um, for your plate, and very softly. I'm not pressing. Just very softly tracing over the design. Oh, I see what you mean. This is nice. So you're not actually even getting in the groove. All you're doing just tracing is right just tracing out. Just this tracing. is one of the most therapeutic things I think I've ever done. You guys have won me over to doodling. Tell you what, this is nice. Isn't it lovely? 
And yeah. you can make your own doodles, like just add infill as you go. Can I make a suggestion as well? Yeah. That you lean on a bit of copy paper, yes, or if you've got a groovy, groovy guard, guard. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I haven't got, got mine. I, 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 yeah. I haven't got mine with me. Uh. So you can, you know, uh, change plates over. You can use different plates. You can move around to the the next area. Yeah, and you can move the, the the images around. I mean, these plates lend themselves fantastic to this because they are so busy, aren't they? So I'll do a couple like this because then I want to move on to doing a bit of um, freehand okay. in some of the areas. Mm -hmm. And it's gone very quiet. It has. No, this no. is like <laughs> giving, <laughs> giving the presenter time to play. This is what no, happened. no, this is absolutely fantastic. So what you're doing is you're infilling and we're using the smaller, we're using obviously the smaller finer pen now for yeah. the detail. And the thing is, what I find is once I've got the outline, I can go in now and I can add more detail within the detail. So if, for example, I want to add detail within the flowers, so say I can do it. Or, something. or yeah. if I want to, sometimes blackness, you know, you you must forget that you're going to do some white, right? Yeah. Um, so you don't want to infill everything, but for example, I'm, I'm already off now, Tina, I'm off on the free, on the okay. journey. So okay. I'm going to do some freehand. Shall we try some freehand? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, for the freehand, let's turn that off. I'm going to go back to my white piece of paper. So all of you who are trying this at home, maybe you want to go back to your white piece of paper. And let's start filling some of these sections. Now, okay. the easiest thing I find, um, you know, to doodle and I love is lines. Yeah. So over here to fill in one of the sections, I'll start one end and I'll draw uh, just a wavy line. And follow, follow the curve around. Okay. Just lines. They don't have to be sort of in the same direction. You can break direction. It doesn't matter. It's a doodle. Now I'm going to I'm going to suggest something as well. Yeah. Okay. Because when you're going along, right? If you keep your eye on the actual nib, you'll find you wobble. Yeah. If you keep your eye on about a quarter of an inch in front of where you want to go, it's like being on a motorbike. Yeah. You don't look at the wheel, you look at the road ahead, otherwise you start wobbling. That's good advice. And you wait when you just experiment. Look at the look at the nib and you'll see you'll wobble and you won't get it you won't get it exactly where you want it to go. But hand eye, uh -huh. as soon as you stay about a quarter of an inch ahead of yourself with your eye, you'll find that your pen, this is the theory anyway, your pen will follow. And also, I'm tending to find it, the slower you go, the harder it is. It if you is. go a little bit faster. Yeah. So you look a little bit further ahead, and then you, p yeah. you, you change up a gear. Lovely. There we are. So in this section I'm doing at the moment, I started with just straight lines, and now I'm crossing them. So I've yeah. effectively created cross-hatching. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to fill in this cross-hatching, I could fill in, you know, the alternate box, and that will give you a different... Um, Look. But this is what the, you then apply to landscapey areas. So when you're yeah. working on a piece of parchment, for example, what you'll see is that you, um, you when you when you go to when you go to apply it to landscapey areas. Uh -huh. Like, if, can I just show you I Tina's work see. now? Oh, you'll see as soon as you put it into. Um, See, that's exactly what we're doing here. See, if you get in really tight, you can see how she's, she's rolled a hill. That's so she, nice. there's your line that she's talked about. Yeah. Then she's used straight lines and curving lines to create depth. Isn't that fantastic? You really get a sense of the undulation of the land. And, and nice. that is just lines. And this bit Sorry, here, you know. yeah. all she's done there is exactly what you did right at the beginning and, and yeah. then just made little dots where all the joins are. But it looks like fantastic netting. Yeah. So here where I've got the scribbles, nice. for example, uh -huh. yeah, all we did is do little circles where, they, where, they li where the lines intersect. And it looks so sharp. You know, so you can do, for example, yeah, circles. Nice. You can do, li you know, if you don't want to do circles, you can do like miniature squares, yeah. sort of squares, which will look different like as well. Now the circles just, so they do finish so off. So there's so many yeah. different ways. 
I have to say, the pens are beautiful to they work are. with. They are. They really, really, really good. They are artists' really quality. Yeah, they so are. It. And you'll find if you, if you, you, it's the speed as well. If no, you, no. you'll get the hang of it with mm -hmm. the speed as well. And may I say, don't press too hard. If you press hard, and I've had this at workshops before, where the nib gets crunched because the nib's yeah. quite a delicate thing, right? If this happens and you press too hard and your nib break, not breaks, but kind of you, 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 it bends, right? Let me show you a trick. Stay where you are now, cameraman. Right. All you want to do is just turn it gently like that. Thank you so much. Right. And you'll see that you just clean off and then it will go again. If, you, if your pen suddenly stops working because you pressed it too hard, yeah. just turn it like that in your hand, just swivel it and it will come back. These go on for a long time, these pens. You can tell the quality. Now, we had a little bit of a question. Tina, you know, actually, a lot of people, not a few, a lot of people are talking about these sheets. Mm. Tina, uh, is there any likelihood that these will be maybe <laughs> turned into a book just to give people some inspiration? We talked AI about book? this, didn't we, before the show? I think we're going to there do one better demand. than an AI book. What Barbara's are going, to do? going to blog it. Yeah. So She's what we're going to do, uh, I will blog it and then I'll <laughs> yeah. get our Stuart at work to turn this into a digital download. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the best thing. Yeah. And it's free. It's a gift from Tina to you. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. This is what I love about Clarity. So every, I mean, we did have a lot of messages. So what we're going to do, please yeah, follow no, Barbara's blog. How do we follow you? BarbaraGrayBlog.com. Your new, new address is so much easier. It is, isn't yeah, it? So much <laughs> Barbara Grayblog. <laughs> 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 so when I get home tonight, yeah. what I'll do is I will I'll scan these in and, and blog them, yeah. and then tomorrow I'll give them to Stuart, yeah. and he'll create a digital download from that. So you can download and those. And failing for free. that, if yeah. if there are good people at home who struggle with mm -hmm. digital downloads and all yeah. that techie jargon, yeah. then just um, then all you need to do is call Janine at the office, and uh, we'll pop one in an envelope. It's not You're a lovely. Or even if You're you lovely. message me, yeah. I can, uh, you know, send it across to you. Yeah. Um, you we'll know, email it to you or, if you're or whatever. Not, if you're not you know, we're happy to do that because... Cool. Uh, Raw mail will help. <laughs> I think we want to convince the world they can do though. Because I think a lot of us were made, made to believe we can't draw, we can't do the, we can't, and yet we can. Honest. We yeah. so can. We can. It's so easy. Look, it is not so, hard. No. And it looks no, very it looks, effective. Yeah. And you know, if you if you suddenly think, right, I want to try something new, mm -hmm. then try it on a bit of scrap first That's and make idea. sure, you know, yeah. um, like if you want to try a different sort of flower, like yeah. when I was doing these flowers here, let me show you, if you have a look just on the packet here, when I, when I tried those flowers, um, I practiced those on a bit of scrap first. I didn't suddenly decide. And not so much that the shape, the shape's not difficult, but it was the positioning on the, on the designer paper that I wanted to get right. Yeah. I, li I really like just having a play. Yeah. Having a play. But it's a perfect balance between the team saying it's keeping quiet. Um, it's a perfect balance between we've got the plates to start us off. And I, yeah. I felt that was a nice way. And actually, I really enjoyed that because it's easy to work with, we're familiar with the groovy system, but then we can, once we've got that confidence and a bit of muscle memory, then we can start going on and exploring. Definitely. And you know, I'm going to leave this white piece off at, uh, now for the moment. I'm going to go back to the stag. But you know, come back to this white piece. If you're joining us at home, keep this white piece and come back to it. Because by the time you feel, fill in all your sections, you'll have a little piece of artwork all done. Yeah. So don't throw this, even though you may think this is my practice piece. Come back because, you know, if you put a mount on that, that's become an art piece for you. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm coming back to my uh, to the stag. Yeah. And I'm going to do a bit of freehand in there. Okay. So, so now we've had a little bit of a practice yeah. and then we can start to see where that would work. So you can use your groovy plates, mm -hmm. but because we want to do a bit of freehand as well in here, so I've done a bit of scallops, maybe between the scallops I'll do some lines. I don't overthink it, mm -hmm. I just go for it. Because by the time you fill in all the section, sections, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it really looks pretty. Uh -huh. Can I show you my parquet floor? When in doubt, yeah. you do a parquet floor. Okay. Right, parquet, yeah. if you come from Surrey. <laughs> right, ha check this neck Remember out. That? Check yeah. the neck out. Right, so this is so easy. So you go three way like that, right? Like that. Can you see it all right? Yeah. Right, and yeah. then you go three like that. One, two, 
three. Oh. Then you go three like this. You've seen floors like yeah, this, yeah, look. Yeah. So you go like that. Then you go three this way again. I've seen them. I think my parents still got them. <laughs> <laughs> and then, there you go. So if you're looking for, if you're running out of ideas, let me, let me show you. The parky floor oh, that's always nice. works nice. really nice. Doesn't that look good as a collar? Yeah. Nice neck. That's nice. I'm going to use that <laughs> as a rump. That's a good oh, idea. <laughs> Um, and the other thing is, like, if you, if, if I'm allowed to say here, for example, I've just started doing a little bit of flower work on this mm -hmm. side. Let me just turn this around so you can see it. So this is, I'm thinking now about the background, but it's obvious these are, these could be bear paws or anything, couldn't they? But these are just simple flowers. They don't look like anything until you add the white work to them. And that's all it is, though, is that three of those or four if it's a large one, and then. Again, what really is charming is to give the little stamen like so. So then you just add a little stamen and already you can see, oh, that looks like that stamp that she did the other day. Yeah. And that's where it comes from. And the other thing that I, this is just for my sixpence worth, I have to decide, are the leaves going to be, let me show you this, are the leaves going to be alternate uh -huh. like this or are they going to be opposite each other like that? Do you see what I mean? So they're either, they're either running parallel like that. Yeah. Let me show you. I they're see. either running yeah. parallel next uh -huh. to each other or they're like steps. Oh, I like alternate. Yeah. Uh, tell you what, we're going to continue with Tina. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, because we never try and hide anything. We're going to have to have a chat with Barbara because <laughs> we're very, very busy. The stencils are flying, so we just want to need to ask a question if we can get hold of more. And that is just to let you guys know that we are busy. So, Tina, if you just continue, we're yeah. going, we are limited stock with the stencils. Uh, oh, just talk us through what we're doing here, uh, Tina. Well, what I did is I cross-hatched in there. And where they meet, where they cross over, yeah. I'm doing little circles to just add a bit more to it. Okay. So just circles in there. And I don't know how we're doing for time. Because... We've got about nine minutes. Oh, okay. Ooh. Nine minutes. Wow, where did the time go? I know. Okay, what I'm going to do is, if that's okay, I'm going to leave this bit because yeah. I want to bring in some of the paper and okay. I want to show um, how to doodle trees, although I, I personally call them how to scribble trees. How to but, doodle trees, yeah, but okay. Before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, so here's my designer paper that matches the designer parchment. Right. On one side, on, on the card itself, I had torn both sides, but for here, at the moment, I'm going to tear on one side. Mm -hmm. Just outside there. And when, can I say, when you tear, into the piece that you're tearing, like Tina is, you get that lovely white edge, which is what you're after. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing is that you can control the tear, can't mm. you, Tina? Yeah. Right. So you go like that, and then what you, as you get to the area now, you see now yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, that's quite controlled. Right. And oh, mind his leg. Whoa. Whoa. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and depending on where you tear, because you can see the white's more prominent yeah. here to That's on right. the other side, so it depends what effect so you it want. So, so this Which is what I wanted to from? show you. So here, for example, I've torn from the front. Okay. Now, if I tear from the back, right. let's see what happens if I tear from the back. Just to give you the idea, if I tear from the back, does it look any different at all? Yes, it yeah, does. So l check it out. If you, it's entirely up to you. Ooh, like if you, if you want it really white, isn't yeah. it, Tina? Yeah. Then you tear from the back. If you want it more muted, then you tear from the front, uh, from the, from the front. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You'll soon work it out. You only do it wrong <laughs> <Yeah>. once. <laughs> and I didn't think about it. I just tore. You yeah. just tore. Okay. Yeah, it's a doodle project. But, <laughs> but when you, but if you want a really lovely torn yeah. edge like that, if you tear it from behind, you'll find you'll get that lovely white fibre running yeah. through the parchment. Oh. So what, I mean, on the main project, like I said, we've torn on both sides. But for this, because I want to sh get to the trees, I'm going to... Um, the nice thing about the parchment and the paper is because they match, I have just lined up okay. the print on the paper. I'm going to just stick that down. And again, you know, if you want, have a little uh, practice. 
yeah. on a piece of paper so on how to do trees. It's good advice so to have a little bit of a practice. So I'm going to yeah. show you on the paper first the trees. And for the trees, um, I'm going to use a 08. And I think my trees are literally scribbles. I'm sure there's a better way of doing trees, but I like scribbles. So to make it easy, I'm going to do like just little lines there. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in there and I'm going to just scribble in there. Ziggy zaggy, scribble, ziggy zaggy. That's I'm exactly what I do too. Fast. Mm. And then go in there and fill in a, a bit here and there to make it more branchier kind of thing. It, it's really about not overthinking this. Yeah. yeah. It's just go for it. So, coming back to the uh, parchment, uh, to the designer paper itself, yeah. I'm going to draw me a little hill. Draw me a little hill. Mm. I love you, Tina Cole. <laughs> oh, I'm going to draw me a little hill. A little house on the like prairie. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Now <laughs> I know why the kids are always um, mimicking me. <laughs> I'm right. Draw just me on that side. So, here's my, um, what's it called? Pen? No, the line on the tree. The trunk? The trunk, that's yeah. it. The trunk. <laughs> the trunk. <laughs> we need a break. Scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble. Got about five minutes, just to say. So do you put the tree in before you put the line in, before you establish? No, you've done the line as well. No, I did you? the, yeah, I did the little hill. Right. And then when I got, get to the uh, bottom of the hill, I just go right up to the edge. So we make this different lengths. Right. Height, sorry, not just okay. length. So and you d you establish where the... I see. So you're not actually too, you're not too worried about the, the, the patterns on the parchment, you're just going for it? For this one, yeah, I'm just going for it. Right, the I other, get you. The other tree I really quite like is, uh, you know, most of the trunk showing and just the tops done. Do you know what's interesting? Because you know you told so us to start everyone's gonna be different, isn't with it? the practice sheet. So I'm kind of looking at the little doodles that I did just on our little practice and seeing what would work then within the design. It really is worth just having yeah. a little practice go. Yeah. It so I mean, is. I, I, I usually keep my white pieces of scribbles because every now and then, you know, I do something in there and I think, oh, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. amaze myself. I'm <laughs> like, really? <laughs> I really Very like nice. that. I'm surprised it worked. So, yeah, keep them. Yeah. That looks really cool. Uh, now, we have had a picture from Carol. Oh, I love this. Carol, uh, who's watching on Facebook now, she's doodling along. Let's see what Carol's efforts are. What? Oh, wow. Oh, blimey. Carol's going straight, <laughs> straight <laughs> through her teeth uh, good. I love it. On leopard, yeah. <laughs> Very good. There's us doing little stick trees. <laughs> I look Actually, up, can I, I look up and I've got this. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're scribbling on <laughs> trees. Yeah, we're yeah. scribbling yeah, trees. <laughs> slightly humbling. <laughs> can I quickly actually show, if we've got a few minutes, Please, is... Please, um, three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Can we go back to, you know, the little group we had together? Yeah. Um, and sorry, I'm trying to find the lid to my pen. Okay. And these are the ladies who hadn't done uh, um, doodling before. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, we've got to show these. And actually, know, some beautiful oh, pieces yeah, behind fantastic. as well. Oh yeah, fantastic. Should I put it down here? Will yeah. that be better? Got to tell you, with regards to the micron pens, I've used them, and today is the first day that I've used these pens. They are exceptional. They really are artist quality. We're approaching 60% of the stock. You're getting seven pens. Different sizes, twelve ninety nine. A great price for a phenomenal pen. Sorry, can I? Do you mind if I hold them up just oh, so we can yeah, see them? Yeah, that's that fine. Way? Yeah, there you go. And we'll give a shot. So just, just to say, this is the when I had a day with you. So the group came to yeah. learn how to doodle. Yeah, I said I need guinea pigs. Wow! Can you please come? Oh, I like that. <laughs> just a few friends came that's over. Karen. This is Karen. Karen hasn't doodled. Um, and yeah, some of you know, doodles, she, I love all of it. A little bit after, tribal. After like they it. spent a day with me, they went off and they went and produced all this amazing stuff. Oh, now look at that! This is on the designer parchment. 
Um, wow. That's so Linda. pretty. So in yeah. the parchment itself, she saw poppies, you know, so she turned those into poppies. Linda, that is but very there is clever. so many things that, We've you know, everyone half, sees. Guys. There's jeans. Beautiful. Oh. oh, that's probably that way around. See, that's it. When you oh, look at the designer thing. papers and well, the parchment, yeah, she's, 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 she's got look a at tree that. there. See how yeah. she's got and the she's tree? Got yeah, the little circle trees. Uh, nice. I'll just whip through these really quickly because yeah. we're running out of time. We can have another uh, look at them Rosalind. at 2 o'clock. Stunning. How about this? Another one from Rosalind. Oh, let's that. take another look at two o'clock. Yeah. I love yeah. that they're they're taking the patterns on the designer oh, paper. Isn't that clever? Linda, so beautiful. We've got to stop there only because yeah. time has beaten us. Do you want to just show where we've got to? So what have you done? Oh, oh nice. I've done my little trees there. Yeah. I, I've started. Can I show you? Let's there we go. are. So I've just started doodling up here. I'm going into the the, the cliff. Yeah. So I'm taking the design Very from good. the parchment Building and bringing it in that way. Yeah. Uh, and I Tina. finished mine. <laughs> <laughs> Very but everyone quick. is different, That's isn't yeah. it? <laughs> At that. And Everyone this is, is what different. you could be doing. But how beautiful is that? But the whole point of this show is that I know that Tina and Barbara really want to show that anybody can doodle. So you've got yeah. the plates, and that's where you're getting your confidence. And then go on and start exploring. The stencils are fantastic because they give you the space to really explore your doodles. Thank you both. And thank you for letting me have a play. I loved it. I don't feel I've done my job, uh, but you have got Leonie coming up a bit oh, later on, so you're going to have a great time with Leonie. But thank, thank you very you. much. Thanks. Really enjoyed it. Uh, please make thank sure to you. check out your baskets. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Bye-bye now. So, coming up next, we're going to ink it up with our Lou. After that, John's here for our one-day special with John Next Door. And then we will once again be crafting along with Clarity and Tina and Barbara for another chance to explore our doodle. Hi, I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting, and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting's all about for me, making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and pergamano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hi, my name's Christine Emerson and I'm the brand ambassador for Spellbinders Creative Arts. I've been with Spellbinders for many years now and I just love their innovative style and all the amazing products that they come out with. Being part of the Hashanda family is just wonderful. Being able to share with you tips and techniques and to bring you some exciting new products is just absolutely fantastic. I think you're going to love the Spellbinder shows. I want to share with you different ideas and techniques, what you can do with your die cutting. It's not just limited, there's so much that you can create. So don't miss the Spellbinder shows on Hashanda. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Hochanda. Your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for 24 hours or while stocks last. Part of your morning routine should also be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Ho Chanda and start your day with a deal. Well, good morning. Good morning and welcome back to Lou's second hour with us. A second opportunity for you to see the most incredible colours taking formation 
before your very eyes, as you can see. That's a brand new brand to me. Um, Dr. P.H. Martin. I'm looking forward to learning more about these colours because from what I can see here, you've got true intensity of colour and, of course, you can add your own little sense of creativity to make those colours work. You've got the details on the screen already. We have been busy for these. Lou was here earlier on and we have got a pick and mix. So if you don't want to go for a set of 14, then you can go for a smaller combination of five where you choose those colours. But as you can see, add a little bit of water to those wonderful watercolour inks and you are going to create the most amazing colours merging from one to the other. Um, you can see abstract formations taking place with these. You could be using them in a whole host of different varieties. The reason that I know that being watercolours, I know it's one of the most versatile ways of adding colour to many other things. And I know that Lou is going to educate us during this hour too as well. I love what I am seeing already. And I know you guys out there have been loving it too. So if you want to take advantage of either set A, set B, set C or even set D, then the details are on your screen there. We will see them in closer detail, but you can see there on, on your screen, FlexiBuy is available for you. So you can spread the cost of any one of those sets over two payments, bringing them to £37 and 48 pence. Oh, the book's been closed. Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, my word. Look at those colours. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, a beautiful backdrop for you then to perhaps add your journaling, to add your silhouette stamps, to get your texture paste involved. Like but that. what a power of colour. And of course, the magic hands behind that, as we saw there, are the fabulous Lou Withers. Lou, these look absolutely incredible. They are. They're stunning. Absolutely stunning. And just to make sure everyone realises, they are a watercolour. Yeah. You've had a few people mention it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, it's a new brand to me. I've not come yeah. across these before. So. Well, I've been on before with them, and okay. um, the, the ones I was on with them were the PH Martin Bombay Indian inks, which are so, very different, okay. totally different. They're, wow. they're permanent. These are watercolour. Okay. They act in a totally different way. So if you think that a big bottle of watercolour, this is sort of like it condensed into a smaller bottle. Well, when you're looking at the colour that we see in here, I mean, oh, yeah. these are such bold colours, but then being watercolour, you can dilute them right Absolutely. the way down. Absolutely. And there's some of the colours there that they're really, really difficult to get, like the certain colours, like the pinks um, and the Norway blues are a difficult colour to get, and all those okay. colours. So they've got them all in there, and they've got a really good range. Now, have a look at these colour cards, because you have got set A, B, C and D, as you can see here. Um, set A being right the way down in there, I think. Which one is it we've got here? I've got here. Is yeah. that set A there? Someone. Oh, he's done. I put my finger in front of what I think it is, and I can't see my finger on the screen. I thought I turned into a vampire or something, and then that's it. The reflection had gone. We're over here, it's his hand. Um, and now you have got a um, beautiful colours with these. They're the vibrant ones at the beginning. Uh, they're like your primaries, so they go from one to fourteen on the numbers. Beautiful. And it's really handy because it's on. They're all numbered. So each of these bundles has got a different number to another yes. set, so you don't get any duplications. No, nope, none, none oh, whatsoever. Lovely. And they all fit together um, you've got an A, B, C and a D but you'll see that A has got the main juicy colours they're all juicy but then you've got either side of it so you'll have more blues more greens more pinks and different ones so if you want that gradient of color yep. the pinks across several of these ranges are going to work well you're not going to get any replications nope, in any of whatsoever. these but it's nice that they've given you a nice rainbow of colors yeah. in each of those sets so if you can only afford to go for one of these sets then you don't have to worry you've got no. all the colors that you might possibly need and some of them have got primers in there too but the thing is you can't like the pinks in set d c sorry at the bottom those two, they might think, oh, they're just a pale version. They're actually not. They're actually, there's one that's a lot cooler and one that's a lot warmer. Mm -hmm. And I try to dilute the other one down, being tight, as you know, and you can't get the colours. Yeah, this is the key thing. It's making it easy. You it might is. think you can do it, but you when can't. you actually come to have a go, and I, I often hear green's a tricky one to actually yeah. get the same Absolutely. over and over again. So You yeah. need more than enough. Whenever you do anything green, you have to make double. Yeah. It's like painting a wall or anything. You have to make double because that is... Oh, don't... Don't go there. Now, the design team have come up trumps, as they always do. Um, we love uh, your okay. design team. Thank you to everybody. I've seen some very familiar names here. So, how have they used these inks? They've used them in any way. They've used them uh, stamping with, they've embossed with them, they've put them in a wash on backgrounds, they've took colour out and really, really highlighted bright colours. I mean, H has used it all over her. You can see it's like what we call a mop up. Mm. And then really concentrated on the colour, so she's 
you know, like the, the mandala and stuff. The shadow she's created using charcoal, which you've gotten later. Okay. But then the shadow around the lee, uh, the feather is amazing with a white pen. Doodle. So if I'm a complete novice, mm -hmm. um, and I don't just mean to this brand, I mean to mixed media yeah. in general. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's watercolour based, does that mean I can add it to anything else that's watercolour Absolutely. based as well? So oh, things like my pastes, things like gesso, could yep. you put it in with gesso and Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely, you can mix it with anything water based and a lot of the, you can make it um, an acrylic Ooh, okay. by adding um, an extender. Uh -huh, so okay. you can add everything to the... I'm liking what I'm hearing. So it's a wise investment because it's going to oh, be yeah. a multi-purpose colour. This is for art. This is artists. And I don't mean that lightly. The reason why a lot of people don't know is because it's been in the art industry for a long time. Graphic right. artists... Um, like, so in the professional capacity? Absolutely. They're, okay. they're, they're used by all the, the animators, the manga oh, artists, right. the anime, all them. They use these because the colour's so, so intense, they don't need to, to mess. Because mm. they're doing thousands of pictures yeah and when this is a true color every time so that's what they use whenever i think of things like mango i always think of actually the the spray um painting with yeah, these as well that, so yeah. could you actually put this into one of those kind of uh, yeah it's got on the side them, like the spray gun yeah yeah the air yeah. Gun, air spray, air gun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah on the side it's a very little little emblem i like a lot of them and it shows you really plainly oh, okay yeah just there can you see it's got the three little emblem, emblems there. We've got a pen, a brush, okay. and a. Can you see it? Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can just. And an airbrush. There, yeah. So it shows you. And then, if you look on on web on the web or, or actually on the packaging at the back, it gives you like it says. Well, that explains. PT, NT, of... and all that, and that'll give you the pH levels, and it's really clever. Wow. So it gives you all the information. Like proper science. Oh yeah. It, well, you have to because if you're creating a piece of work and it's going to go through a lot of processes, you're going to have to know that it's not going to contaminate everything, yeah, or yeah. your machine isn't going to get clogged and stuff. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, with it's that idea. And science. we've got it here. We've got it here at Hachanda, oh, and I love what we've got here. No, Leonie was working with you earlier on, and she yeah. was in seventh heaven. She was a little bit disappointed that she didn't have this hour, to be honest. Um, but, but you can see there on your screen the amazing results that you could be getting with these wonderful colours. Set A, B, C, or D for seventy-four pounds and ninety-five pence. Very tempting because it works out about five pounds per box. Five say, pa like just over five pounds. But you're using the tiniest yeah, amount of colour with these. Don't. I mean, you think about that it's quite. I know it's considered, but considering that I don't know many people who run out of them. Yeah, yeah. You know, in, in, the, in their art lifetime. There you go, that's it. But if you don't want to go for the full set, don't worry, we've got a pick and mix yeah. for you. And in this pick and mix, you can choose any five. So, of course, with the set that we were looking at, you've got 15. With this one, you're stripping it right down, which does make it sensible if you just yeah. want to try out those colours. Maybe um, you're learning a little bit about these. And you can see there now, down at the front there, I can see one that says 12A. So, in my simple brain... Yeah, because it is. But no, sometimes you need it logical. No, don't no, you? no, totally so get you. So, yeah. Logical. 12, so 12A. So I'm going to find that in set A. Yes. Oh, absolutely. See? And then the numbers you were referencing, the numbers. They all fall together. One through 15, and A's and B's and C's all go together. Yeah. So if, if you were thinking about going for one of those sets, say set A, yeah, yeah. and you're going to go for your pick and mix as well, choose colours other than A. I would, I okay. would. And the other thing is, though, when I've used these, I use, Leonie does as well, we mentioned it before, I use a lot of yellow. Yes. Because uh, it's such a bright colour, and plus it has such an effect on the colours near it and around it. Mm -hmm. So I would go for extra yellow. yellow. Yes, yeah, would make you sense. know because yeah, you might find you double upon yeah, some of those. Yeah, yeah, good point. I use a lot of yellow, I do. Well, you can see a lot of the girls... The, the yellow background in the work, it's there, isn't it? So Absolutely beautiful. Love those fabulous oh, poppies no. that we've got there. Bright, vibrant colours there as well. Intense colours with Absolutely. these, but then you can dilute them down. So much so that they could go into a spritzer. Yep. Wow. A ta it. And you only need, I'll show you, I've got one ready. You need a tiny bit. Tiny a tiny. dot. Sometimes people just think half, that. Half a drop. A mere, <laughs> as, my, as I used to say, a mere suggestion of colour. It was you that said it. I yeah. used it in Jenny's show yesterday and I a couldn't remember suggestion. who it was. There you go, it's Lou. A mere suggestion of colour. Um, 174 446. If you fancy getting hold of your pick and mix, any five colours, go onto the website. You will find them all on there. £28.99. A whole host of colours you really are sport for choice mm. and of course if you do want to go for the big bundle then you can do we've got flexi buy on that one so it is in effect that you kind of get in three pick and mixes in with yeah. one of those sets so you can see affordability wise i can understand why you go for the pick and mix 
but it is a really good price with regards to that bigger bundle. Yeah, but is. what are you going to paint on? Well, maybe you're going to pop this into your basket oh, too as well. Stunning. Now this looks good. What is this? This book um, is it's a concertina book, but you have to pick it up and it's, it's got a stamp on the front. Okay. And let me do this. And the paper is absolutely stunning. Ooh. Now, I didn't expect it to do that. So, you've got quite a few leaves. It's well worth oh, it. Oh, right. So, you've got double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow. Fourteen sides. And that it's beautiful. It's, that is such a good weight. And it's aquarelle paper, so it's proper watercolour paper. So, it'll mm -hmm. take anything that's water-based. Aquarelles are expensive. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's got the stamp. It's so well made. It's beautiful. But it'd be lovely if you worked on each of these leaves yeah. um, individually. But imagine creating almost story. like a long story going across all of those. What a great idea for a child. Yeah. Or so even how a you journal. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could actually do it almost like a, um, a panel a month. Yeah. You could do Couldn't you? And then yeah. have it over 12 and then you've got some extra ones. That, ooh, like the idea. £10.49. Or a planner. Yeah, planner. A yeah. planner. Anything like that. Nice idea. Uh, it's a beautiful, I've got to say, beautiful paper. The it's weight that, of it. It says something on the band that it's, it was the weight of it and me and Lonnie were laughing because it's more than that. 300, 140 no. pounds, 300 grams. No. It's heavier than that. Oh it? gosh, that's, yeah. That's really conservative. That is, you would use that easily. If, if it was a, um, on an A4 sheet, you could use that as a card base. Oh, well, and yeah. Boxes and things like boxes, that. It boxes, it'd be like a card. Oh, yeah, box, yeah. Yeah. So there you go. But yeah, it's yeah. a stunning book. But you just know that the attention to detail. They've actually got a fabric cover. They've stamped the cover. Yeah. You don't do that on a cheap book, do you? Yeah. Well, it shows it's got that premium quality, doesn't yeah. it? And at ten forty, um, that's high again. Ten seventy nine. Brilliant value for money. Eleven ninety nine. Otherwise, they've got ten percent mm. saving as a freedom member. One seven eight seven zero two. Add that in alongside that larger bundle, and you can spread that cost over two payments. So it works out about where. My five pound and forty p there or thereabouts, and it's incredible quality. That's the key that's thing. The key. That's important if you're throwing a lot of water at it. As well, it, as it, it, it just won't handle no. it. I mean, I've got some watercolour paper here, purposely different, different sort of price ranges and i've been messing about and i've found it even that pills but this hasn't oh okay same amount of work mm -hmm. but this hasn't done it good to so know just a bit of a heads up lou doing the testing for oh, us oh yeah i yeah. like to do that i want, <laughs> I want you to know what's happening well this is it now i'll tell you what's happening with the next one we're getting a bit worried to be honest oh, um yeah. rapidly approaching 70 percent of the stock and in between the shows we did try to get hold of more we've had a call back to sell us no no that's it we have got the entire stock that we are able to get hold of so if you wanting this you need to get hold of it soon um upo paper tell me about upo paper it's a man-made watercolor paper okay. well not just watercolor you can do anything on it it behaves like a paper mm -hmm. but it feels like a plastic and it reminds me of those envelopes you know the, the ones that you can't tear you, you can't tear that so yeah, yeah totally yeah. you can't tear this but you can cut it yeah. you can die it die cuts beautifully nice really beautifully but it takes paint and it doesn't repel it. Yeah. It takes watercolour, which is really difficult because yeah. it feels like an acetate. Well, it feels like it just sits on the top and pool. And the best thing is you can draw and paint on it and you can use a pencil straight over the top. And I'm pretty sure that the original di um, designs of the Shenandoah papers that Barbara bought, I think she originally used you, yeah, papers. Yeah, she did. She designed yeah, those. She did, so, yeah. yeah. But, but this is a different one because this is a translucent one. Yes. Oh, yeah. The yeah. other one, it, this would have been a can't yeah. get older, this. It's really yeah. difficult. Mm, that's why people are stocking yeah, up on it. I think it is. Um, you're getting two packs of these really good sizes as you can see there 12.7 centimeters by 17.8 um, and 70 percent of the stock has gone 14.99 for both of those packs look at the kind of results you can get with that, those, I, that was a mop-up because i had a bit really left. Yeah, wow that was, that was a mop-up how did you get that little kind of sheen in there all that, oh, that was was with? picked it up off um i'd put some oh medium out Oh, right. So that's like the dry and it's come in, yeah, and the, and the medium. I like that. Yeah, but I do, yeah, yeah, I like that. Love it. There you go. Fancy getting hold of that and the details are there on your screen. We'll keep you updated on that one, but of course, with 70% of the stock having gone, it'll stand likelihood that it might not last the hour. 406109 if you fancy getting hold of these. Now, I am intrigued by these two huge pots that we've got here. Oh, these are clever. Charcoal, I've heard of charcoal. Yep. But sanguine? Sanguine, yeah. Sanguine. These are both original, how they used to draw. They used to do, like the, the, the masters, as they say, they used to do a basic drawing and then they used to pinprick around okay. the drawing and then they'd do a pounce on it. Okay. And a pounce is like they used to get a little, say a pair of tights or something. 
but something like that lets something through. You make it into a ball, and then the like your anti-static. Yeah, anything bag. like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, and then it pounds it through, oh. and it goes through all the little pinpricks in the picture, okay. so that they'd be able to join the dots up. And wow. that's how they used to get all the features. So this is what they used to use. But ah. this is the new version. That was like really dodgy stuff in that. This you can make into paint, into paste. It's incredible. But it's like ground down charcoal. Okay. So if you see some of the work they've Ooh, created okay. all, the, all the dark um, edges. This is the original sepia, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah, yes, definitely. So that was the, the, the colour that you'll see Leonardo da Vinci's uh, sketchbooks in. Okay. The sanguine and, mm, and yeah. sepia colour. Well, of course they would have been. Yeah, They'd have made yeah. that into an ink. Seems familiar. So with this, can we have it as intense or as light Anything as you want? you want. I'll show you. You can use it as a proper charcoal. Okay. You can use it like, you, like Leone did. Just put some on a finger. You can wet it and do like a, a dry brush effect. Yeah. You can mix it in with all your mediums Ooh, and you get okay. matte a uh, matte finish, it's absolutely stunning. And Huge try, I, I, I defy someone to try and find them both. Well, I've never seen them before. Well, maybe yeah. one of the other, you can't. Yeah. No. You see, that's the beauty of this, you can bring this stuff here, we can't that's get it. Um, now, on your screen, you can see you get both of those, £19.45, and pence. incredible value for money. And you can see just how big those tubs are, they're going to last you forever. Yeah. Um, 180020, if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, drawing ink. Now, I have come across drawing yeah. ink before, um, but not for a long, long time. No, and that's, that's exactly the point. Yeah. And I made a really good reference before we was doing it on a um, uh, an embossing we did a piece of embossing work and then I used the walnut stain distress and it's the same colour really that's one of my favourites walnut stain you, wait till one of the you just put the two yeah. together that's where this has come from right because Tim's idea of colours he loves yeah. this yes yeah. this age yeah. and this grungy metal look and this is the original one and when I think of um, using drawing ink I think of it kind of using like mapping pens and things Absolutely. like that yeah. it's great oh it's great in your, um, your fountain pen Oh, okay. It's not going to block. Yeah, I did have one, but the other stuff that wasn't this blocked it, so I couldn't get it. Mm. Intense yeah. colour again. Mm. Um, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. One, three, two, two, seven, four. Um, we'll see more about that in just a few moments. And then finally, um, we have got another tub here, which is your <laughs> absorbent ground. Right. I found this from a lady called Tracy Scott. And she okay. said, "Try it." And I was like, well, is it another gimmick? Mm. Because don't forget, a lot of these items look like other items. Yeah. So you need to think, well, is it? And this is, okay. uh, it acts like a watercolour. Okay. So it acts, uh, sorry, a watercolour paper. It sort of makes any sort of paper you've got into a watercolour paper. So it's kind of putting a coating on but without making it like a It's not a, a gesso. watercolour paper. And yeah. water... Um, sealant like, yeah so you can still it, use it absolutely yeah. but you'll get a different effect now what i've done is on on mm. the, the book the sketchbook i've done a little bit of this and a little a little bit, bit of that, that. A little bit of this. <laughs> so what i've done is so you can see the two colors side by side so you get an idea because it's no good me showing you white paste yeah you know, it's white paste <laughs> We'll see in action yeah. in a few moments. But over half the stock has gone of this. Big wow. pot there. And, of course, you know that name, Golden. You know it's going to be quality. It's going to be on the website along with everything else that we're chatting about. We're heading down to the demo area. Um, you can see those individual pots of colour there if you want to go for the powders individually. Bear in mind, together, you're looking at just shy of £20. So it's definitely worth going for. You're saving £10. If you want your UPO translucent, then you need to be quick. That's proven to be incredibly popular during this hour. And, of course, your pick and mixes and your complete collections of 14 of your inks there then uh, you can go down that route if you wanted to gorgeous watercolors there that you can pop into your basket you can see some familiar names there things like persimmon that we've come across chartreuse there as well norway blue bear in mind oh, that's yeah. a tricky one to get hold of and all with those little dropper bottles there so complete control with regards to those colors just wanted to show Look you this at that. that's that's quite dry now it's still damp so there were there are things i wouldn't do on it but it's just nice because i've done two and I, because I closed it, I've got the, the, you know, it looks nice on the opposite side. That's a nice way of working. Yeah. Can I, can I be cheeky and ask on the other yeah, side, does it soak no. through? Oh, no, look at that. No, can't see anything. Any wool. And you put a lot of water on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I don't mess about because it's not fair. Okay. You well, you can't do it on teller. Yeah. You get in trouble. And of course, if you did want to chop into this, then you can do. I don't imagine that you want to, but if you do want to, but you could that's add. That's amazing. You could add into this if you think. You could got your little. This is mop up from the first. I'll show mm -hmm. you the first one. You could get your paper and just 
sew them in. You could indeed, yeah, because of course you've got access to put on your machine. Or yeah. you could, or you could, uh, yeah, that's perfect because mm, you can get it in. Yeah. And now you could just put in what we call tippings. So just think, this little piece here, you know, all your watercolour would go in. Yeah. So you could have your little books and stuff. And Make just, it into little pockets. Absolutely. Put tanks in there. So we've got that. I've got some more to show you. But okay. th this is what I tend to use it. Ooh. And this is only a messy one, so it's not cool. And it's. All I did was I had some um, die cuts mm -hmm. and I just drew around them. Oh, okay. Because I didn't want to think about drawing, I wanted to just chill out. Yeah. So, and this was just dropping the colour down mm -hmm. and then colouring over it. And then there's another one. That's how it starts. And you, if you say, oh, that's a mess, I understand it. It does look a mess. But then you can start to get. And I'm thinking we saw about an hour earlier on with Barbara um, and the lovely Tina doing the doodles Perfect. with the stencils. That would work beautifully Absolutely. on top of these. And if you think this is one that I'm in inspired by Mende. Um, and it's a very fine pen I've drawn, so the walnut ink would look beautiful yes. on this as well because it's not as heavy, and that's like the walnut ink really diluted mm. just there. So you've got a beautiful soft colour. So that's that. Lovely. So just to show you, and then earlier this morning, I decided I was going to do a little bit in my book, and I did that. Oh, look at that. But this is a pulse off from, because it was too wet. I've gone a uh -huh. bit mad with that. But these are all, you can tell, these yeah. are all... But it hasn't peeled at all. No, no nothing. Right? And these are all pulling the excess paint. These are all from that. And little tiny drops of colour you were using originally. Honestly, that's all from. You can tell the colours. Yeah. You know, I can't, I'm not going to fib to you, but all that was the excess of that. Yeah. That so is just, that is amazing, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely. And these are great because you, 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 you've already got your work started. You're not worried about that blank page anymore. Are you? <laughs> Shut up with us. <laughs> Shut up with us. Shut up with us. Shut up with us. Shut up with us. Right, I've got the absorbent ground. Oh, you okay, may be able yeah. to see it. And all, uh, I know how we good can, they are. Yes. Alex is a super. Ah, look, hey, at, look that. at that. Textbook directing. I'm that telling is. you. <laughs> there's nothing these people can't do. They're amazing. Well, you can see there, that's an excellent picture. From from the top it's a bit hard to see because they're both white but from the side you can see mm -hmm. one's more of a, a, a duller white yeah so what i'm going to do is show you what the ink looks like okay. on the two surfaces wonderful because like i said there's no point in me showing you a bottle you might as well see so i'm just going to damp it down not a lot i don't want a lot okay. because i want to try and contain it a little bit more now i always tend uh, you'll get some that'll have a sediment oh, okay, in yeah. don't worry about that do not i mean bad people say oh i sent it back because it's 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 broke no oh, it broke <laughs> it just all it is is the color the indian yellow has a certain mineral in, okay. in and the watercolor is not ink so and it is a bit confusing but it's soon yes yeah because everyone thinks it should look like that yeah. there's nothing wrong with it it's just that the mineral they use are the colors yeah Okay, so while that's sort of now, Alex will get again. You'll see it's still wet there, but the absorbent ground. It not. has, yeah, yeah. It doesn't say it's taken. It's it sucked it all soaked, in. Sucked all that. But not this. Let me see if we, I don't know because really, you can see where it's around the edge. Oh, yeah. I can't pick it up because of this. <laughs> you just see it's dry where the absorbent ground is, but wet on the. No, you can kind of see, see just around the, the yeah, edge there where you've got wet stuck there, the wet, but it's yeah. not in the middle. Okay, so it's it pulls it in, so you can imagine with colour. So I'll just drop a little bit and just show you. Lovely. You can see a tiny bit. Ooh. Oh, well, that was really clever all oh. over. <laughs> well, I've got a bit more than I wanted there. Uh... Oh, bless you. Do you, do you mop it up? You've got something that's gone on to your mate. It's on your hands oh, everywhere, bless you. I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> not wasting it. <laughs> wasting that. Oh, Aye, look at that, guys, already. <laughs> Yay, she strikes again. <laughs> right. Well, you only need the tiny bit, not the bit I've just thrown everywhere. <laughs> but that little bit there, make sure you clean. Um, a little bit of advice again, I have two pots. Okay. A dirty pot, well, they're not dirty. You just need to get the colour off and then a clean pot. And yeah. then what that does is super clean to brushes so that your colours don't contaminate. Okay. But I can just show you now. It, so it's quite intense when it's on that absorbent. Very, very intense. Yeah. It changes it from... And you can it kind of see, it's, it's almost in. like a line there exactly. where you can see where it's changing from one of the mediums across the paper. I'll just show you what I mean now because I can now blend this off real a lot. This paper is stunning. 
in the sketchbook. But I, I can do that with this. Yeah. But it's all it's sucked it in more. Yes, yeah, it's not moving, it's just staying within that uh, absorbent. But that makes a great surface for you to work. Oh, I might as well do this now, spill it. See, I'm thinking about if you were to use the absorbent, say through a stencil. I mean obviously perfect. here it's fabulous because you've kind of got that randomness which is absolutely brilliant. Perfect. But if you wanted something more structured through um, a stencil and you still got the same colour, yeah. but of course the difference of absorbent rate gives you the different results. It, uh, it would look perfect. Now that shows it perfectly because where you've actually popped it on the right hand side, it's not moving. Well it is, Doesn't but very, very slowly. Whereas on the other side you can see it's moving so much faster. Just, look at that. Yeah, it stays still. It's like, yeah. and that is travelling. So you can help it. And th there might be times that you want things to mix more and there might be times that you don't because sometimes purple and yellow, notorious for making horrible colours. Won't say what sort, but <laughs> oh, really horrible. But look, can you see? I can pull it out, but it, it sucks it in straight yeah. away. You've got more chance of containing it, and I just think it's absolutely. And you see now, little I put yeah. on, apart from the bit of throwing. Really. And then we've used. It's just a bit of that blue. I'm just going to put tiny the bits around. The intensity of the colours with these. And I'm, really, I'm seriously just scratching the well, you're surface. You've not even dropped it. You're no. just using what's on that kind of the glass tube within the drop. It's too much when you drop mm. it on because it just overpowers. I want to sort of bring it into because watercolours are amazing, mm. and I want it to stay a watercolour. And what I'm really happy about is it dries pretty fast. Some watercolours take a long time to sort of dry, so that. By the time you put another colour on, you've mixed, say this, it'd go green straight away. Mm -hmm. Well, it hasn't here. It stayed blue. Yeah, and you can see within the blue, you've almost got the brush strokes of where you applied the absorbent in the first place. There's the absorbent there. Yeah. I think maybe it looks, you can see it better on the darker ones. Mm -hmm. So the absorbent really intensifies the colour and it's not as easy to move around. But, as I say in that, like I said, you might want times that you'd... Oh, Oh, look at this. Now, just as you're applying different colours, I'm just going to read to you because Angie, bless her, has been in touch. Hi, Angie. Um, hi, um, Hayley and our Lou. Cannot wait to see what Lou does with the Dragon's Blood Sanguine Powder. Wow, what a fantastic price. Do people realise that you can pay £28 just for the Sanguine on its own elsewhere? Yep. Um, lots of question marks, lots of explanation marks there too as well. That is such an amazing deal. Those inks really do look stunning on screen. How anyone could possibly choose between the sets though is beyond me you really do need them all and that upo wow i've got envy uh, for the show um is it a bit bad when you start looking on your flexi order as rent <laughs> do you have a large enough cupboard <laughs> spare please um i just come and move in i'll bring cake and i'll bring coffee as well. you're always welcome if you've got cake and coffee Ange, you're more than welcome anytime she's our, our, and this is lovely but yeah she's um she's got two daughters as well who one studying i think one's going back to study uh, and she's really interested in everything not just like what what things Ooh, can do but nice. how you can use them yeah and this is a lot of people have come back and said to me this is how we need to, to learn what to do with these things mm. so and I'm just all I'm doing is filling spaces because what I will do later on is actually put some doodles on it mm -hmm. but as you can see now the layer normally Mm -hmm. This wouldn't happen, but can you see we've yeah. got the turquoise colour there yeah. and we've got the magenta. Now the names are, oh sorry, it's ultra blue and it's cherry red. So, but I've got this bur purple happening mm, yeah. and it's a lovely purple. Lovely. Like so, that. Now the blue, ultra marine blue, so 21B, so I'm guessing that's coming from set B. Yeah. And the cherry red, number 6A, so of course that's coming from that first set. Also that juniper oh, green, we saw that in action, that's come from set A. Um, and things like your violet, um, a beautiful colours coming from set A too as well. Each one of those sets, you've got a good range of colours yeah, there, so absolutely. whichever you go for, you know you've got quality. I mean, this is a stencil that John gave me and I've got one. Um, down there but you can easily then just get um, say a little bit it's a bit wet to do it yeah. but you will get what we call a bleed through and that, mm -hmm. all that means is that the colour has because it's damp the, it spreads out but you can do what we said about your um, stenciling yeah I'll just do a tiny bit okay damp your sponge if you want yeah um, or spray it you sort of spray it like I'll do it there you don't need a lot okay like a waft, a, a, a waft, waft, a waft or a waft, okay. and you can actually just quickly, <laughs> uh -huh. and you get a lovely bleed sort of shape. But oh, look at that! A 
crafty waft. It is a crafty waft. You could be have careful saying that one. Would <laughs> yeah. you? Normally you wouldn't be able to do that with watercolours because yeah. they're just. But if you use a little bit of uh, cut and dry, it's. But I don't. I don't want it. But oh, I love that. No, and I changed the colour as well. So now we've done all that. We're going to get a bit of this. Oh, oh yeah, this is that fabulous drawing ink. And all I'm going to do is uh, just going to get. Don't I'm not, I'm not, not wipe it on the top. I'm sad like that, aren't I? But now I'm just going to put a little bit out there, and it's such a beautiful colour. Such a beautiful colour. I'm going to leave that there. Putting the lid on. Hey, saved it all times. Oh, what am I like? But now, get me cut and dry. And just watch this now. Perfect, yeah. This is this dress in water form. That is lovely, yeah. Oh, yes. And I'm using this, you know, John's um, die cuts. It is. It's from his honesty flowers that are featured in the one day special. And he gave me some before, and they work perfectly on that crystal pa the paper that he's yes, got. Yeah. So they work beautifully. And look at the got shimmer. Got that pearlescent that. shimmer because Perfect. of the paper. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they work, and this is a lighter version. So what you know, they, they work. This works. These inks work on everything. But if you just have a tiny little bit mm -hmm. of ink, you get a beautiful. That looks beautiful. But then I can really go and then we can make it aged. And if I get the colour again, we, well, do you remember what it was? We said walnut, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Right, where she put it? Here it is. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then safety first, as we said. I'll show you this colour now. Because I love this colour. There you go. Yeah. Same colour. It is, yeah, yeah. And you can think that now I'd be. I love this colour, mm. but um, but it's hard to do, to paint with it. Yeah, but quite I, an intense colour, isn't it? And also, it's an ink pad, so it's always yeah. a bit trickier. With Absolutely. that, you've got the fluidity of the ink. But you can also. Oh, oh, right. And a stamp pen. Oh yeah. I'll just get this now. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, if you wanted to, I've just got a stamp from Studio Light. It's not sticking. Oh, it's all happening to me today, isn't it? Oh, here's another one. That's not open. Right. So I can do that and I can get my ink on. Okay. I can use any colour I want. I'll just put that out first. You can paint it, you can mm -hmm. do it like that. And I'm going to use that blue actually. Okay. So you can mix it with all, all the stuff you've got. Don't You don't have to be neat and tidy. <laughs> Right, so I just want to see that... Is this neat and tidy then? This is for me, yeah. I've not only got half, half an inch of work, space to work in. Right, and then what we'll get is there's um, some fantastic girl. She's absolutely brilliant and she uses this technique amazingly so that she gets um, the, the way the paint, uh, the ink just sits and then when she pulls this off, mm. it sort of makes a suction Ooh, look. Okay. And she look. It looks fantastic. Now, you won't get... A crisp image, but oh, you'll get nice. that. I haven't got enough there, so it's almost like um, artistic science yes. working with these, isn't it? I mean, if I had more ink and did more, but I don't. I'm, I'm not particularly. I just want to show you that you can stamp with it, and don't forget, don't forget. Look, I'm working on a board. Yeah, it's a different size, yeah. so you know you could. So we could try it doing it with. We'll try it with a bit of this, so you can paint onto it. Just show you what I mean. And, and I'm literally not using hardly any ink, but you get it on there and then dab it. You can see now how that, you can see where you've been now. If you were to mix it in with um, like a fa fabric medium, could you yep. use it as a fabric paint as well? I'm going to show you that now. Ooh. You can mix it in with all your mediums and make gels and everything you want. So like a clear gel medium, that would sit almost glossy perhaps yeah. with that colour in there. Well, I've got, um, I've got a gel medium. The, the ones from Global um, and Kev, who, who, uh, who does, brings all these amazing products to us. You can't get them over here. He, all the work, products work together, so the Golden Range will work with this amazingly well. I mean, I've been a bit tight with that one. But then, don't forget, you can spritz, because it still reacts, and you get a wash. But to me, I would That's sit and nice. doodle in that when I had... Now, yeah. I'm working on a slant here, so it won't look right. Yeah, yeah. But I'd sit and doodle on that. And then pick out some more colour. Isn't that fabulous? I know, Look at the I know it looks a bit messy there, but when you see, that's how these all start. 
So, you know, don't look at it as that. And they're kind of work in progress, aren't they? Because you're Absolutely. constantly adding to it. That's the beauty of this. You might create that page and then months, maybe even years down the line, adding extra go. elements to them. You might find that you've got um, additional stamps in your stash and you suddenly think that would work yeah. perfectly there. Word of inspiration, um, a tag that you've created in similar colours. And that's the beauty. The colours that we're working with here, they're timeless, mm -hmm. classic colours. Um, and of course, they're professional colours too as well. That is the key thing. We're talking professional quality. Well, this so I'll let you get ready for your next part of the demo. Yeah, whatever you want. I just want to show you some of that and then the other... Brilliant, I'll let you get ready for right, that. Right, I'm ready, okay. go on. So, if you're wanting to get hold of your fabulous watercolours, then we've got three choices for you. Well, not three choices, actually, it's four choices four. with the colour groups, isn't there? A, B, C and D. Then, of course, you've got the additional elements, you've got your pick and mix there too as well. And, of course, don't forget that wonderful watercolour green linen book there, as you can see. Um, brilliant quality, loving these. The intensity of colour is phenomenal. And, of course, you've got the ability for flexi buy if you're going for one of those sets of 14. Now, you've got four different colourways with these. They're simply called set A, B, C and D and that depicts which of the colours you are working with because when you receive these bottles, and I'm going to bring in one of the bottles here just to show you. So this particular one here is Norway Blue, okay? It's got 33 on there. Now the colours are in number order so from number 1 through to number 14 you've got set A. This particular one obviously is further along that catalogue of numbers but because it is a C, um, it's going to be in set C. So as you work your way along you'll be able to find that colour within there and that is the beauty of these and you can see it normally blue down at the bottom there there you go. So if you are going for any of these sets and you're going to add in pick and mixes either now or at a later stage and you don't want repeats of colours, then do avoid those letters A, B, C and D, dependent on what you've already got in your collection. Of course, it does mean that you can easily collect all four of these knowing that you've not got any replications of colour in there. Unless you want them, of course. It might be that you use an awful lot of a certain colour and, of course, you can go back in and get more of those. Pick and mix, if you want to, you could go all five of the, exactly the same colour. So if you wanted to, then you could do but when you've got such a fast array of colours, I can imagine you'll be choosing all sorts. Um, set A is the most popular. Now, I'm wondering if that's because you're thinking to yourself, right, logically, I'm going to go for set A. Then at a later stage, I'm going to go for set B and so on works makes sense and you've got a good collection of colors in there as well because you've got a gorgeous bright vibrant you've almost got like kind of um, fluorescent yellows in there you've got your oranges in there gorgeous reds really good primaries this is a good set to go for actually because you've got your yellow you've got your red and a good blue in there too as well but then you've got your shade there from your darker tones there from your black so yeah nice set to go for proving to be the most popular but of course logically you might want to go for set a and then follow through with those others as time goes on or maybe go for set A but then you love the look of that second colour that we've got here from set B. Well that's where your pick and mix comes into play because in pick and mix you've got all those colours at your disposal so all of them so we've got 14, 28, 32, 46 in total. So 14, not on the pick and mixes, but you've got 46 different colours across there, but you can kind of pick out certain elements. Don't worry, I'm going to scroll through 46 colours to find those, but we've got a vast array on there. Oh my goodness, can you imagine how big that shelf would need to be in our warehouse? Um, now look at these, absolutely beautiful colours. Pick and mix you can choose. You can see here where you've got those letters depicting the group that they're coming from, and of course the number um, whereabouts they fall within that range. So we're looking at pumpkin from set C there, daffodil from set B, your cherry red that we did see in action just a few moments ago from set A and so on. Um, they'll all have their own little individual colours and of course you can see some of those colours along the bottom there. Chartreuse, one of my favourites, a beautiful green there. Um, tropical pink there too as well, that Indian yellow, a really nice range there. And it's a nice way of you trying some of those colours as well um, because I appreciate that the larger bundle at 74.95 is a considered purchase but if you want to just try them then why not go for that set as you can see there as a pick and mix. 174446. Now of course adding your colour to your watercolour paper go consider what you're going to be using on it and the beauty of this particular pad is you can literally throw anything at it it's really clever design Lou has been working with hers and the beauty is you kind of got concertina with this so it's not a book in the traditional sense although it could be you've actually got concertina of pages there so you've got 16 leaves within there that you can actually add your colour to and as we saw from Lou's um, painting that the colour doesn't seep through to the back hardcover 
beautiful as well. So really good quality, professional quality, and you're going to get some wonderful results with that. 16 leaves for 11.99, but if you're a Freedom member, discount it down by 10% to 10 pounds and 79 p. 178. 702. Now the UPO, we've been busy for the UPO. Translucent, not often we get hold of this one. That's why over 80% of the stock has gone. Got no more of this. This is it. Is this Lou's last show today with us today? Ooh, okay. So, if you're wanting to get hold of it, now is possibly the best time to get hold of it. Now, with this UPO tape, uh, tape, paper, it's it's paper, but it's not paper because it's almost got kind of um, a plasticky feel to it. It's very clever because you can't tear it. Now, traditionally, we might as well come across white previously. It's not often we get the translucent with this, but it's brilliant because you can use anything on it. could be watercolour, and usually with something that's kind of got that almost plasticky feel to it, watercolour, wouldn't soak into there you couldn't paint with it it just literally sit on the top like raindrops on a window but with this it's not you can get some amazing results drop that color in move it around with a little sponge or just simply just rotate it around let those colors dribble through but the kind of results you can get are phenomenal you can die cut this you can stitch through this too as well create little tiny perforations so it may be on your sewing machine too as well but of course you can add your colors that we've been working with as you can see here, 1499 It's flying out. If you want yours, now is the time to get hold of it. Now, I'm looking forward to heading back to see Lou in a moment because she's going to be working with these. Now, rapidly approaching half the stock has gone of these. You are going to be able to get both of them to you and delivered to your door, if you're a Freedom member, for just £19.45. Now, they are available individually. I think they were £11.99 each, if I remember rightly, on the website, which is a good price. Um, it's not often you come across them, especially that gorgeous kind of sepia tone that you've got there. £17.95, in fact, that one is on its own. So you can understand... So that one, seventeen ninety five by itself, but we're doing both for nineteen forty five. That that is a ridiculous price. That is a, yeah, definitely go for both of those. Charcoal, of course, there you're going to be able to use that intensity of colour. And can you imagine just how long that is going to last you? Absolutely ages. And you can see again being used on the back of panels here with some of those decorations there. Gorgeous sepia tones, mixing it in to get some wonderful results. 180020. Now, the uh, drawing ink, we saw this a few moments ago. As you saw, um, walnut stain works beautifully in a similar sort of way, um, but you're getting a lot of it. You only need the tiniest amount of this as well and at 9.95 that's going to last you ages 132274 and then finally again we saw this um, on the um, the page that Lou was working with your absorbent ground this is not going to kind of create a, a barrier for your watercolors to go through um, you'll still be able to use it but you just get a different result to it actually going direct to paper now with this what was the update sorry 70% of the stock. Wow, we have been busy for that one. Um, 13.99. You saw it in action. Brilliant value for money. 4.96506. Now, Freedom members, for you to take advantage of those discounts in this out, you need to be a Freedom member. Um, and how does that happen? Well, all you need to do is either tick that box as you check out your order, or you can quote triple eight triple eight if you're speaking to our call operators. They can add your membership in for each calendar month that you choose to stay with your Freedom membership. It's six pounds and ninety-seven pence, but you're not committed for any period of time so if you did just want to take it for a month then you can do or as many of our feeder members do they take it and stick with it because it means all your standard deliveries are paid for via your membership you only need to do two or three orders a month and that's covered i've been on to start it because it's it's worth it for me mm. and if you think the american viewers as well oh goodness me yeah I'm delivered to your door yeah yeah, yeah. i want to show you some different things to use your inks for i've got a golden and it's a polymer medium so it's like a gel okay and this is a, a gloss one so you get a glossy finish this could be your pva um you'll get slightly different obviously because it's not the same medium but your gel mediums and all that and it, but this is like a runny version i just wanted to show you that you can mix it in okay. so if you think about your gels are going to be translucent your paste are going to be white okay. so always think that so you're going to get like a pastel color with a paste and a gel you're going to get see-through okay so all you do whatever you use your little gels uh, your your anything you want you just put a little bit down okay and this is what's going to create like um now an acrylic ink Okay. This is permanent and it's more light fast in this manner because you're actually 
encasing the little particles of colour so like in a, a polymer. A little cardigan on Yeah, them. absolutely. And, and I mean that. That's it? That's it. Seriously, you don't need a lot. And I'll just show you now. Oh my goodness. You don't need a lot. But this will dry darker okay. cause it, it, because it's a creamy and a, a, and a sort of milky colour, it will dry. Uh, it looks like the lighter. It dries darker. I can so show you. So that kind of milkiness will disappear as uh, as it dries. Yeah, that's it. There. Okay, I can see so it. So yeah. I've done it in a stencil there just to show you that it does dry. Okay. And even though it's it's on this, it's not dried too glossy. Yes. Yeah. I'm really happy about that. But the Upo is still wet. That, but it dries slightly shiny. There's a big okay. dirty finger out there. Sorry about that. But yeah, you can see there's just a shine on it. And um, that Upo paper, limited in stock now, Don't so just going to bring those details in. So when it's in your, in your book, because you've yeah. done it there, does that now act as a resist? Yes, it oh, will do okay. to some point, but you need a higher shine on it, you know, to make mm -hmm. it sort of resist. But just to show you, just get a piece of cut and dry, um, and then you just use your gel, your polymers, whatever you want, and you just put it in, push it into... That you don't want, what you don't want is it sitting on the surface. You want to have to scrub it because mm -hmm. if it sits on the surface, it will go under. Whereas if you're pushing it inside, mm -hmm. and it sounds silly, but it's not on the surface. Okay. And you just very gently, it all depends on how much you want. I'm only doing it lightly. I'm going to get a really lovely clean, but this will be permanent now. I'll do all of it and let you see. So it layers on the colour, mm -hmm. it creates tone. Without dampening the other colours, it gives it like a beautiful translucent look. So, and it's quite sh on the white bits. You'll see how strong it is. Wow! So you've got all those beautiful, yes. and it's not dull the colours. It they sit on top. Yeah. And you can go over again and do it again. So you've got quite a lot there. I've got a little bit more ink, and I'll go darker. So don't forget, you can go darker if you want. Mm -hmm. If I yeah. really want to add to it, I'll get the. Mopping everything up. Yeah, it? just mop it up. And that's good because that shows that you can reactivate those colours as well because they're water based. Yeah. And I'm using now the back, the, the walnut ink with the blue, and you'll get this wonderful darkness to the colour. And you can use it on white. I'll show you what the colour looks like on white because at the moment you're looking at the colours there. But this could be any ink in this pack. Any ink. And you've got this stunning. Nice. And it's because I've pushed it in, it's mm -hmm. not actually affecting yeah. and not seeping out. So that's one use. Lovely. But you've also got this. Now this is, Leonie looked at it and she went, oh, can I stick my finger in it? I said, sure, sure can. But this is a new one for me, a new eye opener. This, because I used to use this um, charcoal powder years ago mm -hmm. and it was a right faff. Oh, it used to drive me nutty. But now it's it's so much nicer. Like dust. Just put your finger in. Mm. Just don't put it on your shirt. Well, you can't feel it. You don't even know you no. put your finger in there. It's a bit like a ton of feathers and a ton of bricks. It's the same. Yeah. It's still a yeah. ton, but you need. But this is like, it feels nothing. Oh, gosh. But keep then, it away from the air conditioning and any open windows. But there you go. <laughs> oh, look at that. So I can actually. Go for a stencil. Just, I don't know what I smell things. It, it, no, it's actually like the one. It is the, no. Okay. It is like the uh, the willow charcoal. Yeah. So I can actually. Um, I'll get a dry bit. Oh no, oh, that bit there. Oh, it's wet. Right. Where's that? See if this works. Tiny bit on, and dry bit. Okay. And you can just build up your colour, very gently if you want. Nice. Very. So you get a very subtle effect. You, th you think, oh, that's not working, mm. but it actually is. Oh, wow. It really does work. Gosh, because it didn't look like anything. No, of course it doesn't. I'll show you again. Now that, I mean, you, you couldn't even say, you know how sometimes you'll say like, oh, half a teaspoon. Or, it's, it's not even that. No, it isn't. And all depending on the, the sort of effect you want is how much you put on. Wow. So you get this wonderful shadow effect. Nice. But, 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 if you want to, now... I'm going to move add. that because I have visions. Well, no, you need it, so I can't I need, move it too far. Dip your paint. Now, I dip it in when it's when my paintbrush is wet, mm. only because I, only, I get enough then. But now, I'll show you... Oh my goodness. It's so thick. So again, can we, oh, that's been, that reminds me of, um, you know, if you're doing something like calligraphy. That's exactly yeah. what you can do. So you can use the brush. 
Wow. I mean, you need a, a bit so of again, me. being such a fine powder, can I mix it in with other things? Yeah, I'm going to show you now. So I've got my polymer again, a little bit. This is what I do, and then I would get my charcoal, dip my brush in till I've got about, well, I'll put a bit more, I'm being too mm -hmm. tight there. So it's just stuck, the alley, it's just stuck to it. Oh my goodness, that intensity. You see, and this oh. polymer is also from um, Global Arts. So, I mean, they really do. I can't say enough about it, Kevin, the team, because they bring us the stuff that we can't get. So this, par this powder that we've got here, this could pretty much replace so many different elements that, that you, you might need. I mean, think about, um, I suppose if you've got, say, a white gesso, yeah, absolutely. And you need a bit of black gesso. Yeah. Add this in. Yeah. And there you go. And I'm going to show you on MDF. So I'll use this one because it will colour it out. So now I've got... You see I'm pumping it mm. back into it and I'll do it again with this. I've drawn with it now and now I'm going to just give it a really light... So this is with that gesso. Oh, look at that. So you've got a beautiful colour, but yeah. then I can dip that in. In fact, I don't even know when. You don't know when you're dipping it in, you know? <laughs> and it. you just see you've got a bit there, and I'll show you on here. Now, I've not done this, so I'm going without a safety net. Or hey, whatever it's called. Drum roll. Oh, I like that. I that think looks it's good. So you can actually... If you've got something that's really fine detail, wow. Right. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to show you, I stamped before um, on my page somewhere. In the back, I did some stamping of some flowers, and I'm just going to show you... Um, it's look, it's absolutely brilliant. H has done an amazing job on one of the flowers at the back. You don't need it with your polymer. You don't need it with um, anything. You just wet it with your brush, mm -hmm. and then you make it into a smaller paste, sort of a, just a. You don't want it dead runny. Mm -hmm. so that's a little bit too runny, and I'd take some off. But you can actually add. Add it as a shadow oh to paint. Oh, my word, yeah. So I'll just do one side and let but you see. But it's not gritty. You know how sometimes when you add a powder to something, it goes a bit lumpy? Because um, it kind of goes... It can go quite granular. But look at this, pulling that colour out. It just smooths out. So, because it's only water, it reacts like watercolour. So it, you can get rid of it. By get rid of it, I mean push the colour away so you've not got an edge. But each time I do that, I'm making... This look more 3D. Yeah, it looks like it's lifting off the page now. So sometimes, you know, when people use a bit of charcoal or a charcoal pen, I don't like them personally because I find them difficult to use this. Well, it's when brilliant. you've got an intense colour um, and then you're trying to pull it out, you, you can still end up with that harsh line, can't you, with this? It's allowing you to do that gradient. Gosh, I'm thinking of so many different uses. You could literally just paint this onto card and turn it into black cardstock. Absolutely. You don't need a lot. I mean, I'm using it, you can edge your paper. I mean, I, people say, oh, you're using it on that page and you're ruining your paper. No, I'm not, because it's all part of the learning process. And this is what makes this work successful in the end, is that I've tried all this. I like that. So it now I've... That texture, right? Well, yeah. I've done that, but this is nice as well. You could just get a brush and now paint it in. So you still retain yes. your texture, but you've got what we call a wash on there now. So, and, and I've just... Gosh, you could do an hour just with this. I could easily. You know, quite easy demonstrate it for an hour. And I think a lot of people... You, I was saying to Leone before, these, it's quite snoppy, the art world, and they think it just belongs to them. And it's not, it's for all of us. And, you know, but all you need is someone to just say, this is what you can do with it. Just and have then a go with it. Away you go, yeah. you know. So the sand green, would that work in the same way, but obviously your brown tones? Yeah, but can we have a try? Because you know yeah, why? Yeah, I think so. What time didn't have you send me in here now? Four minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, can I put the lid back on that? I'm getting very nervous. <laughs> right. Well, I didn't uh, get any of that sand green, but yeah, it works the same way. Oh, shall I get the... Oh, Oh, please. Yeah, please. Right. Just going to show you the MDF with the gloss and the look at the colour on Ooh. that. And all that is is MDF with a bit of the polymer and you get a superb finish. You, it's it's the charcoal is making it. To me that looks like a landscape yes, already. Yeah. And I've just created like so you can do anything. Oh my goodness, you can so have it so dries much fun really with this. It does really, really dries beautifully. Right, now I haven't tried this colour. Okay. I, I did have some sanguine in um in 
chart farm. And okay. It kept breaking. But again, that's on quite there. controlling as well. That means that you're going to have those harsh lines with Absolutely. that. Oh, look at that. Now that is strong, isn't it? Yeah. But this is originally, this would be what they. Um, Leonardo and that did their paintings with. And when you think about those those pictures, which we've all seen over and over again, oh look at that! The intensity of colour. That's madness, isn't it? And you think how much you've got. I'm going to add the black now and see what we get. Look at moving around. And that's with the black. That's a really dodgy sponge. <laughs> it is a dodgy sponge because it's got all these colours on it. But well, that's that's what I like because you you will never get oh wow that's, that's covered nice. all that. But I can still go back. It's very moody colour there, yeah. And it's quite you know for um, at harvest time. Yeah. But you can still paint on it, and I can still move that about if I want. It behaves beautifully. Lovely colour. You're getting both of those colours in the, that's the bundle that we're mad. looking at. I'm going to show you it on all MDF. of that. You've seen how much Lou has been using. Just dipping the brush in there. That's all. I mean, look at that. You've got this huge tub that you've got here with that gorgeous, gorgeous sanguine there, as you can see. Um, tiny so much. Literally just dipping your brush in like that. Now. Well, rapidly approaching 60% of the stock has gone. I think you're realising just how useful this is. Yeah, you know, when you're working with a colour, and I've done this a lot, I, I use a lot of black when I'm doing, and that's why I often reference black gesso, because I use it as a base for so many different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. But sometimes you get through it at a rate of knots, and sometimes you need more than one layer. If you've got things like furniture and things like that, you, you need a lot of it. Yeah. With that, I mean, that is brilliant, the coverage that you've got with it. Well, if you're adding the polymer or you're adding a wax to it, then you, what you're... It, in essence doing is getting rid of all those other waxes that mm. you've used and polymers because this dries matte as well if you look at the stuff uh, that's with a polymer but it's yeah. slightly it dries matte so look it will this now it's so almost it's like a rust a rust technique with these two as well. Stunning, absolutely stunning, but you can still paint with them and it dries. You can just see on there how flat that colour is. It's not at all shiner. See, I'm thinking if you add in this into something, one of those texture paste, the really gritty ones, oh, then it it's going to look like rust. It's good. It'll look like rust. It'll look like uh, brick dust. It'll yeah. look like everything. And that's to show you that it goes on primer and absorbent ground. Oh, yes. It oh goes my on goodness. all of it, all of it. And you can make it into... I'm putting that on because you've got a nice oh, This is exciting. Thing. But you can mix it with... I've got to quickly do this to show you. All these mi mix. We're literally down to the last few seconds. When are you due back with us, Loon? I know you're not back today. No, I've got a few a few days off now. Oh, no. <laughs> no, that's what you've got to be doing. Yeah. You'll be like that, but you can mix it with your absorbent ground. Lovely. Um, we've got a launch later in the, the week, I believe, have we? From the... Tuesday night. Oh, is it Tuesday? It's me thinking I'm going off. out. I've got the night off. I'm not exactly yeah. planning on it. Um, Lou, thank you for all your inspiration. We've come to the end of the hour again. So sad, but it's been a brilliant hour. If you just joined us, do go back and watch on Rewind. Don't forget, get hold of your pots. Um, a brilliant value for thank money. You. And uh, yeah, so much more to boot to as well. Girls. Stay tuned. Thank you. John next door coming up straight after the break. Penultimate hour with the one day special. Then we're crafting with clarity again. And I hope you can join me at three o'clock. I'm on the Olio, handmade by Hayley. These 30 sheets of A4 card are an essential pack for any crafter's stash. Perfect for a range of crafting projects. These sheets come in a choice of black, ivory, or white. At 300 GSM with a smooth finish, this cardstock is a great starting point to your projects. To add this to your crafting stash, please go to achanda.com. Hello, my name's Kay from Indigo Blue and we've been established for seven years and together with my husband Alfie, we design and manufacture our own in-house red rubber stamps. We also have our own range of paints, lushes and stencils. We're so proud that we've now got a reputation for such high quality products and the detail that we can manage to get in our stamps. What I really love about Hachanda is I get to demonstrate lots of different techniques for you to understand how to use our products and hopefully inspire you. I've got loads of fantastic ideas buzzing around in my head so I can't wait to get those filtered into our products and out to you at home. So grab a cup of tea, join me and the team from Indigo Blue on her channel.
Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We're both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. Add Some Sparkle produce paper embroidery kits and products, which is taking a very old and traditional Victorian craft, bringing it up to date with a modern twist in the designs we use. And what's really special for me is the fact that we can get paper embroidery to a wider audience through working with Hachanda. The future for Add Some Sparklers, we'd love to keep working with Hachanda to be able to bring more exciting and new products. We're looking at hopefully bringing some paper embroidery books out onto the market to add to the kits that we already produce and bring. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hello, John next door is right next to me. He's a good mate, he's a good mate. Right. Fist bump. How are you, sir? John Lockwood in the house. I'm very good, how are you? Well, I'm very good, very good. Looking forward to another show with you. Lovely demonstrations earlier on. Thank you. And it's all really focusing around this one day special. Yes. Should we dive straight in? Because I know you've got a lot you want to get into this hour. Yes. What is the one day special? Why has it been such a storming success then, John? Because I do think it meets that thing. It's new. It's innovative, yeah. it's different, it's versatile, and it's pretty. It's pretty. <laughs> you've got, so you have, Jenny, you've got 17 dies in here. Yeah. You've got two basic, the two largest dies in there take up absolutely no metal. They make you the fold cards, the flip cards, with an oval or with a hexagon. It's then what you can do with everything else in there. And this hour I'm going to show you lots more ideas that you can do if you're an okay. intermediate, if you're an expert, if you're a beginner, of what we can do with it. So you can easily make these cards. Oh, beautiful. We're going to get stuck in this. Oh, really simple. Word. But beautiful. you can use just one of the dies. Go ahead, Ewan. And make that. Lovely. I mean, that is beautiful. That's Mrs. Stuck. Isn't that nice? But that's exactly the same. That one uses two dies. Yeah. This one uses one. And that's one of the 17 in there. There's so much in there. That's it, Joel. 70% um, is gone. £39.98. That's 70% gone uh, of the one day special. It's touch and go. It's penultimate chance. It's your penultimate chance to get this in. Right, go on. More cars, John. Here we go. Yeah. I love this. Who's in this one? It's beautiful. Um, I don't have a that name. is a Martine. I think Martin, that's Martin Martine Smith. Much. Or it's. Bev. I think it might actually be Bev. I'm so sorry. Um, please put your names on the back, Angels. <laughs> yes, I know. Angels. Uh, I want to be, be an Angel, John. You can, you can join the WhatsApp group of the Angels. Like I'm this. sure they'd have you. Yeah, I'll be, be honoured. I'll be honoured <laughs> of an Angel. Uh, angels, if you're watching, you've done a great job. Seriously. They've done an amazing job. They've saved my They're life. A masterpiece. Uh, John, they have. Yeah, they're, seriously, each one is such high quality, but it's not just that. You've really got, across all the Angels, you've just got some, well, you're talking about your design team, aren't you? Yes, it's, well, they're friends. Yes. It's not a formal design team. They're just <laughs> friends of mine, I people see. who are uh, avid crafters, passionate crafters, passionate crafters, and they just, you know, they love to play with things and make new things, but it, it's the fact I can make that card and that card well, this is it. with just the same set. This is why you've all done so oh. well with these cards um, for your oh, that uh, angels, because you've just shown oh, such a broad spectrum There's so ideas. much they can do. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, the same the foundation. one. Yeah. Beautiful. Very, very but smart. That's indeed. the same die for that. Right. As we showed in the last hour, there's so yeah. many different things you can do with this, and they've done an amazing job with well, them. Well, this could be the base of your card for yes. any individual, any event, really, couldn't they? Yeah. It's the shape that we know and love, but again, then how you dress them up, how you use the oval, is the lattice dies, that's what it takes a recipient, I'll say. Yeah, it's what you choose. I mean, going with the oval here. Yeah. I mean, these are both made by Leslie Lakin. Right, Leslie. Beautiful. Absolutely Leslie. beautiful, but two totally different looking cards, yeah. but made from the same die set, one with a panel, one without, and made by the same person, just using bits. You know, she got some lace in her stash, so she's put it on here. She's put some of the orchids with the beautiful mm. new um, honesty leaves yeah, yeah. in there. And there she's used the, ca um, the camellias, and again with the honesty leaves just poking through with some of the rose leaves. But so different. Yeah, so, so different it's as well. What you've got in your stash really comes to bear when you use these dies. It is. Can we look at the actual dies themselves? Yeah. Now, you're getting two sets in the one day special. This is just one, just to give you an idea of the concept of what to expect. Now, firstly, what, what is this bit up here? Right. Remind so us. So, this is your strengthener. Yeah. This is like a, this is an RPG, as we called it. 
an, RS, an RSJ. An RPJ. It's because it's, it's made of paper, not made from steel. Can't remember what you told me it stood for earlier, was it? Uh, reinforced, reinforced steel, steel joist. joist. Yeah. Uh, this is your reinforced paper, paper joist. joist. I like it. So that An is RPG. so that you can use, this die will make you the card. That's yeah. it. That will make you the basic flip card. But that allows you to make it. We made one earlier in 120 GSM paper. Okay. And it stood up and it stood because we used that reinforcing bar on there. So you've got all of that. So you've got your you've got your RPJ, but then you've got all these panels that fit in. We'll give yeah. you different sections, different sections cut into this, cut them in single, cut them multiple, layer them up, or use them as this one has. Right. This has been done by Mrs. Duck, and what she's done is she's put the two together to make a diamond in the middle. There is no diamond in that die, That's but the beautiful. diamond is magic. I'm actually blown away by that. And again, uh, if you did watch the show earlier on between 9 and 10 o'clock this morning, then you watch how to do that easily, yeah. easily. In fact, even more detail than that, actually. It's one there is. I mean, you oh, the come one. on to the oval one. So this is the, the RPJ. There's your RPJ. Yeah. <laughs> so there's your base card piece. But again, here, we've got a panel with a sort of, and I think when I cut this, I think it was Haley said, it's like Broadway Anglaise. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got that, that look, which I could never remember the name. But you've got these three dies here, which you can cut together mm. to give you all of that loop. And you could thread ribbon through that. Or you can take that one out separately and do it twice to make yeah. a frame. You might any just size. use that for a separate yeah. card. Or use those two pieces for corners on a card. Very usable. Again, there's a sample somewhere. So we've got Foston and Desford. Where is Foston? Um, Foston is Le in Leicestershire. It's right. another village. Okay. Um, and that was actually because the names come from when I worked for a, a well known retail shop that's right, not okay. the last, but yeah. it's the, you know. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's sort of the next one in line, if that makes sense. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, I used to work in their interiors yeah. department, and all their sofas were named after Leicester, Leicestershire villages. That's nice, isn't the it? Two of my favourites were the Oakham and the Fostham. Right, nice, nice. So what I did is I decided when I needed names for the dyes, yeah. I will go with what I know and what I love. So yeah. we went, the Oakham was the first one we did named launched. Yeah, yeah. So then we go on to the Foston, yeah. which is this one. Yeah. And then this one was named because Sam... My partner helped me with this design. Oh, did it? Oh, and cool. He was born in a village called Desford, so this is called the Desford. Is that what it is? Yes. Sam's getting into his craft in there. Yes, he's, he's, he comes up and goes, oh, I don't like that. Or right. like that. Or when I was, I was completely stuck what to do as a second section to that. And he said, how about doing some more ovals, sort of rounding a border? Well, that's all I needed. So that's he named must learn Desford. a lot of craft. Yes. He must learn a <laughs> yeah. lot. That's brilliant. Uh, you know what, though? Um, we learn so much from you, John, and this is so inspiring. Again, um, John always taught me value, value, value when it comes to crafting, and this is it. It's, if you want something new, something that offers so many different type of potential cards and projects, this is the one. Not only that, you're going to save £6. I said 70%. We are now over 70% gone. £90.99. It's getting busier and busier now. It's at 881-897. I'd like to say thanks so much to everyone who's literally dialing the number right now. Or go onto the website, whochanter.com. It's the fastest way to order. That is beautiful one day special. Now, for uh, actually embellishments, John, this is ideal. Yeah, I love these. These are the honesty flowers and leaves. Yes. So you've got a very lattice, very delicate flower. You can see on the sample there, if I actually slide in... Yeah. Uh, where is it? Here. Oh, I love this one that Leslie's done. If I just slide that one in, right. you can see there. Okay. Just mixing the black and white in there. Oh, yeah. How it's, it's different. It's not like any other flower I've got. It's a fantasy flower. When you tie it together there, as she's done with the large silver, are actually using the matching honesty swirl leaves oh, on there. It gives a real classy, different look. It's almost got an Art Nouveau look to it. It has, it to yeah, me. has, yeah. Very but classy the, look. Yeah. It? In the set, you're going to get, because I am too lazy. John, you're and not I know, lazy. no, I am. When, as, when instructions say to make this flower cut dye A twice, oh, to you. give you two of each size. I just walk away. Yeah. So what you've got is there's four different sizes of flower. Yeah. Well, I'm funny enough. I, you know, I want it easy. <laughs> yeah, there's four different sizes, but you've got two of each size. So what you do is cut the whole die set once, and that will give you everything you need to put them together to make you four flowers. And they fit. This is with using the camellia from the last show, the February launch. Yeah. Um, and this is just using the camellia at the back because, again, I've drawn them. And it's still my sizing, yeah, yeah. so it fits with everything I've done before and everything I've got planned. Oh, I see. So if you watch sort of the April show and, and the craft along, which yeah, I will, yeah. when I'm not allowed to mention yet, sorry, you will see a lot more of this heart the collection and the honesty. I have heard. Yes.
Oh, yeah. who's in that day, I wonder? What happened in that day? Yes. How so many do I. students if I'm in? Yes. Right. If I'm in, I'll, I'll check the date. Oh, looking forward to that. That's going to be good. Yeah, that will be What's fun. What's the date? Are we allowed to know yet? No, I don't hush, think hush? we are. I think it's Let's still quite hush-hush. Keep watching. It's not space. long, though. Might be. Might not. Who knows? That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so if you want to give these embellishments, that's £20.68 of your freedom member, £73. It's 188570. That's your answer number there. That one day special, fly. It's your penultimate chance for that. Uh, might be the last one at this rate. We're not entirely sure. Over 70% is gone. It's a bit touch and go. Now, John, number dies. I looked at this one's brief in the previous hour. Yes. This, this is very popular. Uh, it's, a, it's important to have a font that's just so usable. It is. So it's usable. a very simple, classic font. Yeah. It's nothing special. It's nothing fantastic. It's. I can't stand in now and say, I've, I've hand-drawn this font. I haven't. This is a genuine right. computer-generated font. But the idea is, what you've got is bold numbers, right. but they've got a little level of elegance to them. So it's got a curved edge. Oh. It's got the little serif at the end. Um, and what I wanted to do was, I have lost so many dyes over the right. time. Yeah, so do. many dyes stuck to paper, so many dyes going in the bin, so yeah. many on the floor. <laughs> um, that I try and do everything I can yeah. in a panel. Now, the two things with the panel is, of course, we've got all the numbers. You've got, so you've got actually ten die cuts on here, one to zero, yeah. or one to nine plus zero. But if I did these as separate ones, number one, the chances are, if you're like me, you'd lose a six or oh, you'd lose an eight. You'd lose that. You'd lose something. Yeah. But also, yeah. if I did these separate dies, same size, they'd be almost twice the price. Right. Because you can't get them that close. You're right, actually. They're almost touching. You have to have that edge of metal. It'd be, it'd be even more metal. Yeah. So it would actually be that one, miss one, that one, miss one, that one, miss one. Yeah. So it would use up about that much more metal, and it would be nearly twice the price. So putting it on that, first of all, means I don't lose any. Yeah. Means it's a lot so better that's value. That's how you get 9.99. But also it means that I've done it so that the waste is usable. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, So of the blue is the waste, and I've cut it here in the mouse grey. Yeah. And just drop them back in on a little bit of double-sided adhesive. So, again, it's almost like a background for a kiss it's card, easy, but we'll try and it? do that this hour. Now, what's that called, by the way? That That's an eclipse. An eclipse, isn't yes, it? It's when it's jumped out. But if you get in the right light, you see stuck. she's used the whole... Strips. I like it. So she's dropped one through all the way up to, and then she's highlighted the 90. That was if really you had somebody, you couldn't do it with every number, but if you had someone who's 45, you could go, you could highlight the 4 and 5, mm, mm. the 46. Someone who's 12 or 13, 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. Or 16 or 18. You so there's a lot you can actually do that way, and it makes a really quick, simple what card. Nice idea, just highlight the numbers of the age. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Yeah. That's a really cool idea. Um, you know what, for £9.99, that's a great deal. I love that idea. That's a 282, 23. That's really cool and modern, isn't it? Yeah. An Eclipse. It's one of my new favourite cards. An Eclipse card. Nearly 60% is gone of this now, so don't take my word for it. Honestly, um, thanks to all you guys who have bought it. Again, 60% is nearly gone. Now, we've got something very beautiful here, John. We have. I love this. So this is the crystal silver paper. Yeah. So it's, we call it crystal because it's almost inset with micro. It's not pearl. It's not pearlized. What's actually happened is, I bet I keep knocking these, so I'll grab one of these. What we've actually done is, the paper is inset with a sort of silver white right. mica. Mm -hmm. But it's not a coating, it's not a print, it's everywhere. When we colour it, when we spray it with dye inks, yeah. um, when we put dye inks over the top or anything that's translucent, the mica shines through. If we stamp onto this yeah. with black, what happens is it, it kind of pulls the mica through and it softens it. Right. You get a glow to where you've stamped. So it's beautiful. So what I've done is we've got three sets to explain it simply. Mm -hmm. The cards, the flip cards you're making, yeah. these is the exact square size that you need for that. For the one day special? Yeah. So this is 165 by 165 centimetres square, which is roughly six and a half inch square. Right. You're going to get 25 of those. Mm -hmm and then 25 what we call oversized envelopes that are in exactly the same material, just thinner. Mm. And again, it's inside as well, so you get luxury envelopes. So with these, you could make 25 of the flip cards and yeah. envelope them. Yeah. And the actual cost of them would be just over 50p each. It's just over 50p, isn't it? So again, if you sell your crafts, this is <laughs> ideal, because what I wanted to explain, if you can give me a minute, I'm just going to walk craft no, this go way. For it. No, go for it, John. Uh, and Sorry. The, again, they're really oversized, so if you've got your big fluffy embellishments inside there, your bushy flower embellishments are going to fit inside. Right, OK, so in this, in the pack of 
yes. cards. So we do it as a 300 oh, GSM four, card at A4. A4. Yeah. And we do it as a pack of 25 squares and 25 envelopes. Mm. So on that, you will fit your card blank, but you will not fit a second one. No, you won't. No. Now, if you're anything like me, you will put all those scraps to one side intending to use it, and we won't. So you're no. paying for something you won't, you couldn't actually potentially yeah, use. Yeah. So what you're actually getting on here is... You might as well buy the size you need. This size. Yeah. So, I mean, I know I, we don't normally talk this, but I was talking to one of the guys earlier and I was trying to explain it to them, and I said, right, OK, that's £10. Yeah. Yeah. From that, you can make 20 of these. Yeah, OK. This is £13. Mm. From this, you can make 25 of these. There you go. And have... 25 free envelopes yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting 50 items, so it's just you're gonna better get value more for your money, yeah, aren't you? Because it was me that put the pack down. together, and I didn't. I wanted to make it the biggest pack I could. Yeah, because you think also oh, small a bit of card. Mm, yeah, if, if when you think about it, it's much better money. If you it is one of the special dies. And what we've done is the envelopes are oversized. Yeah. So they are seven and a half by seven and a half. We call it a seven by seven oversized, mm. so that it doesn't crush any of your embellishments. So you can just put it in, and if you do cards that are 7x7, seven seven, mm. these are the envelopes you want, because these will go, a 7x7 seven seven card will go in, and you'll have all that room for the flowers, the embellishments, and anything of you put course, on. Yeah. <laughs> How many times have you made cards that you sell, yeah. and you're having to make boxes for them, because mm -hmm. it's a 7x7 seven seven card, and you can't get... 8x8's eight eight too big. Yeah, it is. It, it's, it, it, it rattles like it's about, same but 7x7 seven seven will fit perfectly, and a lot of people are making that sort of size, so right. that's what I did this for, was I wanted to give people value. Well, it's definitely getting that. 25 cards, 25 corresponding envelopes, is that beautiful shimmer, as well as that pearlescent finish that we really are paying for here, £12.99, 028021. Uh, right now, we've got some, if you do want A4 for bigger projects, you want to make your backgrounds, it's ideal. Yep, so again, you've got the same 300 GSM card, this is with the same right. crystal finish in the silver white on both sides, but it's a 300 GSM, which is the thickest card that I would die cut. Sure, sure. So this is your construction card, this could be a box card, this is your base card mm -hmm, card, mm -hmm. and you're getting 20 sheets of it A4. Yeah, now this is where the magic comes in for me. You know what, sometimes it's worth buying a colour that's fairly neutral. Because yeah. then you can add your own colour, you can transform to something else effortlessly. Oh, like this, for example. Yeah. So that's beautiful. What did you use here? So all I use were the Eyes Ink Quick Dry Sprays on this. And I use the Mare de Sud because it's my favourite colour in all of them. That is lovely. And this one I use the Sir, which is the wax or beeswax, really, we'd call it. Orange. Yeah. If you look on the orange, it's almost like it's got a gold to it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Gold shine. Not in the inks at all. Turn it the other way with the blue, and it's like you've got a platinum or silver shine. It's incredible, it. isn't it? That is yeah. beautiful. And so, if you got the watercolour inks, the PH, is it PH Martin ones? I was looking at oh, that, yes. I, that I was lusting over on loose stand earlier. I didn't see those. Well, I, mean, I saw yeah. them, but yeah, they haven't actually used them yet. They look no, amazing. no, they look amazing because they're watercolour. Yeah. And because they're actually the hybrid, so they're actually light fast. You could colour this card with them. The ones you had so you could just paint it over and then you would actually have, say you use the yellow, you would have a yellow, yellow with a mica shine to it. So the shine colour. dominates basically, isn't the it? The shine dominates. That's beautiful. Isn't that nice? John, 9 99 you're going to get 20 sheets, 20 sheets. And again, uh, this is how they arrive, just like that. Uh, so there you go. Again, it's at 937-922. Lou's just handed something in. I'm well, Lou actually made using the inks. I gave her one of the flowers. Right. Is that from the paper? Yeah. Right. So this, these inks, Lou, have absolutely no glitter in them. No, they're no. just flat. But look at that sheen. That sheen is where the mica is coming through. You'd think I'd given it a spray with a finishing yeah, spray right. or a sparkle or spray. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just that the paper. And so she's inked it with those inks. Stock up. On the base, this is the base. This is the base. If you use it as it is, it's already beautiful. But if you want to add some colour, yeah. so you can harmonise now with that bit of shimmer now, you can. can't you? You but can make everything tiny. What these are made of is this. Right. So this is the flower making paper version at 120 now, GSM. This sold well, actually, they're both sold out. They can't sell it early on, but it's on extended delivery, just to let you know. Uh, that's uh, 9.99. But this one now here, this now the papers. Uh, wow. It's just beautiful. It's sold out early on as well today, but it's also on extended delivery. So it's while stocks last, don't forget. So uh, £12.99, 164224. We get this sold out uh, well, early hours of this morning, didn't it? It was, yes. I, I, I was sort of ringing poor Andy 
this evening. Right. Yeah. Last night, very late. It's like, yes, fine. I thought you might call after the last show because um, we added so much more stock of this on right. because of how well the original gold version of this went in the first show. And it still wasn't enough. Last month, and it still wasn't enough. Wow. So we've added some more over. Yeah. Um, this is, again, 120 GSM, so it's thinner than the last flower paper, but will work exactly the same to me. If I can cut a detailed die cut like that yeah. from paper, it's got to be something good in the paper. It, it is, you know, it is. Yeah. And it's still sturdy. I just, I'm well into my inserts. That would just be beautiful. That, that adds such a sense of value, a sense of quality yeah. in I mean, if you're doing a wedding, oh, oh, I'd, I'd oh. get all three because you've not got that classic. I don't mean this horribly, but you can have sometimes I'm almost offended, a by the way. cheap pearl. <laughs> right. You know, it's got that really, you know cheap. what I mean? It looks cheap. Yeah. It looks tacky sometimes. But this, you're getting. Cards, envelopes, mm. card, and paper. So it's not over the top in your face glossiness. It, Sometimes it's, it's nice. It's not. It's it's classy, not brassy. I like as it. We would say classy, not brassy. So there you go. Uh, Twelve pounds ninety nine. Uh, if you like to go for those papers, uh, dispatched on the fourth of April. Now, if you like some of the colours we've used to spritz onto these, um, it's from Isaacs. Now, the colours we have available for you to buy now is this selection here. So this is like the berry collection. So it's these from. From what? Uh, it's the black and the cassis. It's forty pounds ninety nine. The berry set is one four nine five five four. It's framboise, isn't it, John? It's framboise. Yes. Framboise. It's, um, raspberry in French. French. And uh, so we have cassis. Is cassis what's which strawberry, is then? black currant. What strawberry? I was so cassis is black currant. Right. I think, or it could be cherry. Yeah. No, it's cherry. I've always it's called it black currant. Sorry. And then you've got the framboise. No, 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 it's raspberry. black currant. You mean it's black currant? Black currant. Yeah. Yeah, creme de cassis. Yeah, creme yeah. de cassis, yeah. Make a key royale. Ooh. Or, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, that's with a bit of uh, sparkly wine, isn't and it? And the regless is actually licorice. We what just call it? it black because it's easier because I can't spell licorice and I write the things. Right, is that nice? Yeah, and then you've I got. Them. Then I think the next one's coming in my favourite. They, they are nice. The berry set. Now the next one. My colours, which is the blues and the greens. Is that the blue we saw in that piece of yes. uh, card? The Medusu. Medusu. That oh, that is. Yeah, which a is South blue. Seas. Is that what there it is? is no translation. It's just South, South seas. Shields. South Seas. Ah. Not South Shields. <laughs> Could be South Shields. <laughs> Uh, again, I've heard the, the sea up there is beautiful. I've heard it's my nice. friend Marie told me. The month and uh, the other one. It's uh, forty pounds ninety nine. Yeah. It's six eight nine seven three. Mint three. and verbena. That's the one. They are very smart, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Right. So, John, what are we looking right, at first? So the one day special. What I think we'll do is on the one day special. And could you possibly pass me my overly one? Please? This one. Nope. The next one's right down the counter, oh. just to annoy you. Okay. So now I've got you on my own. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see. No, I couldn't do that to you, Charles. Oh. So what we're going to Stop do it. is, as you see, I'm going to use one of the squares that's already cut because yeah. I don't like waste. And if you position it right, you will get a lovely square frame as well out of it. Mm -hmm. So just place down. And I'm just going to tape it. And if you feel on the back, I would say to make sure you note where is the cut line. Mm -hmm. So I always tape it on the cut line because what I'm going to do this time is... I'm going to add in one of the panels. So I'm just going to evenly space one of the panels there, and I'm just using the sort of ribbon thread ovals one right, okay. in there. And we can run those through together. So I'm just going to run these through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I'll pop that through my Very machine. Very nice. Get it the right way around. It's a nice machine, isn't it? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I love this. I love my Omni. I'm sure that's prototype. probably not what it'll end up being called, but to me it'll always be the Omni. Watch this space, that's what I'm going to say. But there is oh, the... Okay. And again, I think online you have got the Nelly Snellen version. We they have. picked it up. Yeah. I think you have got that, the Power Boss, which is sort of their Europe. Yes. So, I've just something I said I'd never... I've just done something I said I'd never do. What have we done? I answered a question to the, to the voices in my head. <laughs> Oh, yes, Directly, and I've, I always said I would never didn't even notice she did that. No, I, obviously very smooth. So um, when people talk to you, and they're not standing here. So yes, Mr. Producer, sir, you are right. <laughs> um, oh, or was that Mr. Alex, director? I never remember. So there we go. That's our Sandra. Uh, yeah, that sounds more likely with it being with it being Latin. Yes. 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 But then we've got really simple. Oh, lovely. Yeah? So we've got a very sort of simple, basic yep. card piece. What I'm going to do now... You do with an RPJ in that, John? Or not? No, it doesn't really need one. It's there if you need it. Oh, right. So that's... But we don't sorry, need Sorry, because it's 200 GSM, Because it? it's 300 GSM. Thank you, Bob. We just don't need it. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to, I'm going to cut a second one. 
So if you are using a lower weight card, you could do a little bit of support. You've got that die to give you that little, that little joist. Yeah, or what you can do, of course, is if you're wanting to make, in fact, what I'll show you now, we'll use that. I'm going to change the demo because I'm going to show you something else that we can actually do with that. Okay. So I'm going to need to take my, RS, my RPJ. Okay. I like that. So what this will actually do is create you a link yeah. or a bridge between two cards. It's a nice quiet machine, that thing. So, it mm. is. It's, it's, it's very I've, smart. I've loved playing with this. Um, and I actually designed the case. I was going to say, fair yes. I thought I wondered why it was stylish. Yes. There you go. You, no, you wondered why it was blue, didn't you? Yeah, basically. I was blue. <laughs> yeah. 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 But no, I sort of, <laughs> I, I sat and designed the, I, I designed the case just to make it easier. Right. So what I've got here is another piece. Uh-huh. Yeah? Uh -huh. So what I want to do is, I actually want to connect these together so that I can have a double flip card. Mm -hmm. So how would I connect them? Well, I would use my RPJ. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is take another square, or you would use a scrap. And I'm just going to put that on. And while I'm at it, let's take some of the other pieces from this. Yeah. So I'm going to have an oval. And you've got two sets in the one day special, by the way. We're over 70% of the stock. We've obviously got the oval and we've got the hexagon too. Again, even if you just use it for the, for the outside base die, you can use it for cards for guys, uh, cards for girls, you know, for any event really. But then you've got the overlays if you want them. Yes. You've got that, you've got that um, RPJ, if you need that, the reinforced paper joist. And uh, it's whatever you need, really, it's, it's impressive. But again, uh, we, uh, we are getting through the stock now. Just a so heads up there. I'm just going to, there we go, and we're going to put on a couple of the honesty leaves, because I hate mm -hmm. waste. And if I get this right, let's just, let's go with that there. Just going to move that slightly, sorry. I will show you what I'm doing when I've actually got it done right. Because I do, you know, if I've paid a, you know, a good price or I've got, even when I've got card at a really good price, mm. I still want the most out of it. And there's so much waste going on these days. There is, yeah. There's so much going to landfill, there's so much going to, and we, you know, I know we all like to think that we recycle, but I think we don't recycle as much as we could. No. no, um, no. I know I'm, I'm, I'm the worst for that. I'm, I'm getting you know, better. Yeah, I'm yeah. awful, but my recycling bin for paper is emptied once a month. Oh, right, okay. that, that doesn't do it for me. So I'm trying my hardest now to utilise everything I yeah, can. Yeah, of course, yeah. And use yeah. things the best. And that's why, rather than you having slips, strips at home, mm. I've had the card cut to the size you need for this. Exactly. Makes far more sense. It's better. It's better for wastage, yeah. I'll personally say. It's better for uh, uh, value for your money. It's, it's great. Yeah, and the manufacturers that way, because of the way they cut card and paper from the bigger sheets, so basically, they can get more squares out, which again means we all get better value. Yeah, so the point is, if you're trying to use these dies here, you could get one from an A4 piece. Well, so you can't get an A4 piece. You might as well buy the piece that fits. Yeah, because you're going to buy 25 pieces of A4, 25 pieces of the one's going to fit. Obviously, it's going to be the one's going to fit. going to be the cheapest or the best value. As you can see there, if I get it in the right, oh, just about. Yeah. But there is a front of another card. Oh, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you've got a, a picture. picture you can put a stamped image in that. You could leave those as they are, and you could just have a f couple, a flower there and a flower there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So don't waste that. Look at when you're cutting dies. You know, please for your own sort of value. Yeah. Look at where you're cutting them from. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I've got my RPJ. Mm. So <laughs> all I'm going to do is just take because this is going to be a hinge. I need a little bit of strength. Right. So what I'm using is red line tape because I know that will give me the strength. Mm. Um, I could, could use a wet glue. I wouldn't use normal double-sided, yeah. and I certainly wouldn't use a tape runner. Okay. They don't have, to my mind, the enough strength to actually hold the card permanently, yeah. and you don't want it to fall It's well-renowned, this tape, isn't it? Yeah. This yeah, is I mean, red line is the basic. I think it was Jodie I, I nicked the idea from. I watched her doing it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. But just a little tip, if you're using red line tape, I've been doing this in workshops recently, everyone tries to pick it from the end, and you end up picking up... Mm -hmm. The actual tape itself. Mm -hmm. Scribble your um, poke tool in the middle against the card. Oh, and just carry on. John, I like that. You just tickle it, tickle yeah, it, tickle it. Oh, I like that one. I might steal that one, Charlie. Yeah. So just find the pieces that I cut a while ago and okay. put somewhere silly. It'll probably be me. Right. So I'm going to take one. So don't fold this until you've actually stuck it down. 
So I'm just going to put that on there. Yeah. I'm going to tickle the other side. Yeah. Yeah. See how easy that what comes off. What a brilliant off. idea. Full of statics. I've yeah. been stuck to my jumper now for, for hours. Yeah. 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 And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that onto there. Yeah. Okay. And just now fold that in half. Okay. The fold's already there for you, but I've not wasted a piece of card with a big wedge. Yeah, this back. is it, yeah. So what just I've to, got just is... Just enough, isn't it? Just enough. Then... Very a base strand card. Beautiful. What I can do is... I can take this one... I mean, that's just a lovely top there anyway, in its own right. Yeah. If it's for a, on a completely different Well, card. again, if you've got a stamped image or you've got a sentiment, Use that that way. Yeah. Stamp your sentiment in the middle of it. Put a couple of flowers. There's a, you know, it's a piece. So instead of having mm. to go through loads of different dyes to say, you know, what do I need a sen sentiment on this? I need to cut out that stamping. Yeah. Just leave these on your counter. Just leave it there, yeah. And those will answer everything. Yeah, you get, these are hardly going to be in the drawer, I think. Yeah, they, don't sit them in the drawer. I think all of us sort of think that way. We don't want to see them wasted. No, no. So where did I put those? I couldn't make and sell with these, John. You can't. My attitude, my, with the John Next Door range, I have, it's a very simple angel policy. You've bought it, do what you want. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> there you go, brilliant. Yeah, I know if there's something different, if there's something in the range that we've had to use an image or something like that, then I will say Yeah. that. But everything so far that has been done, you know, has been drawn. It is my copyright, so yeah, yeah. You know, so this is your, this is your art, this is piece. Yeah, exactly. Down to you. Um, I like it. Thanks, John. And again, you know, every company at times will use, you know, different artists or different pieces. Oh, inspiration, yeah. Um, and inspiration from all over. But you know, that's not. You know, what I say is, when we've done it, it's it's my work. It's my work. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, so just taking these bits out. Now, what I did was. Obviously, I cut these out of 300 GSM, mm -hmm. so all these pieces are easily falling out. I know, that's impressive, actually. But, because they, it's 300, they're kind of still, they don't want to just fall out. Mm -hmm. But to mm -hmm. me, the way we did this is the dies have actually been coated with Teflon. Mm -hmm. And what that means is, rather than you pull out the die-cut shape and all the bits stay in the die, yeah. the die stays clear. Okay. And it comes out with all of the pieces intact in here. Right, yeah, Because right. to me, I would rather pick out pieces from the paper than sit there going like that. Yeah. That just to oh. me is, yeah, so boring. So if we look, yeah. the pieces that don't fall out, see, are not in the die. To me, pick it, pricking out from the die is, is a lot harder than doing like, this. Stuck in there, you gotta find that little holes. Yeah, or it's you get one easier. of those brushes Just and you find that one of the brush things gets stuck in the hole yeah, and pulls out, out and everything else. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you that to do. I was kind of really hoping you'd say that. I really like I, this. I, I get the feeling you're one of those people who finds that um oh. yeah, fulfilling. Oh it's satisfying. Oh satisfying, that's the word. It's so like just tidy up. It's lovely. A little bit of hot glue on there. I've let this go a little bit too long, so it's a bit orange. So I'm going to have to put a flower there, and um, we'll put a flower on there as well. But if you can see then, so what we'll do is we'll add the other one, we'll put some flowers on, in, we'll do some colouring and do some flowers in the next section. Oh, look, you see, white on white, never good for cameras. Sorry. But you know what? Our Emily will sort it. When she knows much doing. There we go. That Perfect. is looking so good. You can see your orange, but I will cover that. It's smart, isn't it? Glee. Do you want this piece now? But again, no, you find what we'll do is we'll tell you what, we've got some flowers here. Now, these are the what I did with these, and I'll show you how to do this in a second, or I'll show you how to do this in a while. These are the honesty flowers. So I've used the honesty leaves, these are the honesty flowers. Now, right. these I spritzed the paper, and we did this in the eight o'clock show last night. So, this is on 120 GSM paper. Yeah. So, this is how good the inks are, and how good. The dies are and the paper, because you wouldn't expect that to cut from photocopy paper. Oh no, you wouldn't. I'll hold it in the right place, that might actually help. But look at the shine is all coming from there. Yeah. So, we'll just put it all together. The shine is from the flower paper, the 120 GSM. And it's sold out like yesterday, but um, we've we got a bit of stuff I can extend it. So it's available to buy, but uh, I wouldn't say for how very long. Neither, yeah, I don't think it, I don't think the mill would appreciate another call today. To be honest no. with you, um, they can't have any more. What certainly, are you as doing they are us? physically yeah. cutting at this precise moment, the pieces. So, are we? We don't. Perfect. Are. Thank you very much, Charlesburg. Enjoy that. It's good.
so a little bit of glue on there so I'm just going to but if you see I've completely mm. they're a mirror image mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are yeah exactly a mirror image at which works so we want that to stand there so I'm gonna start putting some flowers first of all to cover where I made such a mess mm. Mm -hmm. and we'll just work the flowers across mm -hmm. the front so work it through. Well, yeah. Okay. There we go. But there, so from a little bit of extra, so this is from three of the squares with the RPJ. We've made all of that. Very nice. John, that's beautiful. Flowers just want some centres, but yeah. it all matches. It all works so, so Isn't well together. Isn't that nice? And we could then drop some of the coloured paper behind. There's loads we could take this. Well, there is. Oh, there but it's is. just, again, something else to do without having to add. We've not used any tools, no. extra tools. We've not had to have a scoreboard or anything for that. It's all just done for you. Well, there you go. The, um, it's uh, all straightforward. It's all in the one-day special. Like those flowers as well. Um, details on the web. No, details on the side of the screen. Sorry, that is the 10 dies. That's 188570. Shall I do a quick recap? Yeah, that'd be brilliant. Is that a good idea? Yeah, well, let back. me clear down all the bits that I seem to be covered in and snowed over with. Love it, John. Tape. I'll be right back, sir. Uh, John, we're well over that halfway point in the hour. If you'd like to get yours, the one-day special, put an ultimate chance for that. But we've also got something else on the show. This is the texture paste right now. I've got to say, maybe you're using some of these dies as uh, like a little mask or a stencil, perhaps. Just tr trowel it through, spatch it through. With this, it's uh, £12.49. It's at 401170. So if you're tempted to buy this, I would get it added to your basket and I would get that shut down. It's uh, 700, sorry, 750, 75 mil each, £12.49. That would be a lot. <laughs> Half a litre. Uh, but uh, again, uh, it's £12.49. Details on your screen. And you've got those different options there. Right, now with the options, sometimes give you options of the one day special. However, this one is special. You're getting two. Two sets bundled together and you're going to save six pounds. Now, one day special is something normally brand new, something normally bundled together, something we can give you a good discount on, but for a limited time offer. We can't do this all the time. So if you like it, I will get it before six o'clock this evening. This, therefore, is your uh, penultimate chance to get the one day special, but it is while stocks last. Now then, over 70% has gone with this. It's still over 70%. It is. Uh, Right, no, nope, nearly 75 now. Nearly 75% of the stock's gone. Uh, so again, nearly three quarters. And do you know what? It's uh, only just gone half one. Lots of people have been buying this. Now, can I just say, we had a large stock. We know you love John. We know you love his new ideas. So we really stacked this up high. But I still don't think it's quite enough. Even that, I still don't think it's quite enough. It might just be, it might just be, but it's touch and go. Folks, if you like it, grab it. It's £39.98. If you love crafting, if it's your absolute passion, if you spend a lot of time crafting, you spend a lot of money on materials like card and so on, you might as well strive for something different. That's what John gives us, something different, something unique. Now, it's not just a one-trick pony. You can use lots of ideas for this. Now, you'll often hear me say, oh, dyes, they're very versatile. That's what, to us, that's what most designers strive to do. That's what most companies try and do, because they want to give you value. But I've got to say, um, the value I see here really is something that can't be ignored, because when I show you the variation here, you'll know, look, at this is from the same bundle. This is from the same one-day special. That's from the same one-day special. It, it, you cannot compare these. From a distance, it would take you a bit of time to work out how you actually did them. Upside down, forgive me. But there we go. Uh, same bundle that did this. Same one day special that did these as well. You get the idea. If you want value, if you want versatility, if you want to be able to make lots of different style cars, cards from the same bundle, this is for you. Uh, again, now John said uh, at the start of the show and, uh, and earlier on actually as well, if you're new to crafting, great. Because this gives you that base start, gives you that foundation. If you're an uh, experienced crafter, if you're a very experienced crafter, this is going to be something different for you. I haven't seen anything quite like this before. Boxes for Mrs. Duck. Thanks so much, Mrs. Duck. Beautiful card right there. But you know what? Um, I looked at cards suitable for adults more, but let's not forget. Great for uh, kids as well. Great for babies. Sorry, I just reached for it there. That is beautiful. Now, look, if you're tempted by this, 
if you think you're going to get this at some point, if you can't get it now, you save six pounds. If you can't get what you want during savings, it all it does mount up, doesn't it? Especially if you spend quite a long crafting, if you've got a high budget. £39.98 or £19.99 today. It makes no difference in terms of cost. You just tackle it interest-free. So you might as well do that if it helps. It's 881897. Now, we've got lots of ideal uh, embellishments to use with this one day special. So this is a different bundle now. But it's also brand new and it's also very popular. Right, now, do you know what? Um, I've seen a lot of dyes with uh, John to put geared around flowers. Why? Because it's just, it, we know you like it. We know you like it. You love floral designs, and who doesn't, Joe? Uh, and I think it's not really ditzy flower. I think it could be quite massive. It could be quite cool. I, I quite like this, you know. Lads, lads, lads. I, I can imagine this, you know. Uh, I would. Lads, lads, lads. No, maybe not. Like, maybe not for stag parties. All right, maybe not. But you know what? <laughs> Although, you know what? Stag parties, I'd, I'd quite like to do it. But seriously, though, anyway. But you can use so many different occasions so far. Uh, the lady in your life, the gentleman in your life. This can be, obviously, wedding cards can be perfect. But you know what? If you are going to make some a bit more masculine, I, I'd like a card like that. I think I'd really like a card like that. It'd be beautiful. So, again... £20.68 if you're a free member, otherwise £22.98. You're going to save money, save even more if you're a free member. But seriously, um, the actual one on the back there, where, oh, where was it? Oh, and a minute, and a minute, I've locked myself now. The one I just showed you, actually. Now, you may recognise the shape of the black die cut behind. Now, that was, I want to say chrysanthemum, but it's not, is it? Camellia. Camellia, Camellia. not out yet, it's, oh, it's, oh, is that a tease? Yeah. Hello, if you like chrysanthemum, watch this space. Uh, so if you like this one, you may have this one uh, previously. So if you're uh, a John next door crafter, uh, all these different shapes and sizes, uh, John's going to think about this when he designs dice going into the future. So the more you get, the more possibilities, the more they can tie in, the more they can mix and match uh, professionally. Right, now then, we've got more dice. Now, I'm going to be quick with this one. If you like this, they are the numbers. Now, do you lose numbers if you bought some dice sets in the, in the past? You lose the one, the four, the nine. Don't worry about it, because you've got them all on one strip. And that means, because they're all joined together, you haven't got to have a frame per individual die, you, it's going to be cheaper to produce, and we can give you better prices. Nine ninety nine. that's absolutely ideal. You can isolate them easily if you want to, so don't worry about the actual die cuts. Uh, so there you go, like we have done right there. A uh, little Eclipse card, I like it. Uh, and that one's been kept together, but you, know you can pick out the old numbers there. 999 202 233. Again, brand new today. I've just seen the time. We've got less than 20 minutes on this live show. I need to be quick. Right, now I'm going to be fast here. Now, I'm trying to explain this as clearly as I can. Right, so, basically you've got a couple of choices with the car stock here. Now, the one day special, it's sized to work with this card right here. So, you're going to get 25 sheets, therefore obviously 25 cards, and you're getting 25 envelopes. Now, you can spend money on 25 pieces of A4 of cards, but you're only going to get 25 cards from the die because you can't use two. So, you might as well choose the card by less material to make the same amount of cards, if you get what I'm trying to say. So, it's £12.99, 12 sheets, 25 sheets, sorry, 25 sheets. 25 envelopes for £12.99, 028021. So there you go. These have been decided to work perfectly with the one-day special. So you're less likely to waste, stri waste strips of cards here and there, because it's hard to avoid, isn't it? The envelopes, by the way, seven and a half uh, inches. So uh, I think it's seven and a half inches on there, yeah. So there we go. So therefore, um, they're slightly oversized. Not too baggy, but oversized, uh, which means it's perfect for the embellishments. John's thought of all of it for you. If you got the one-day special, I'd go for that. Right, now, uh, perhaps you like uh, some A4 cards. Now then, this sold out earlier on today. Why? Because, wait till you see the price. There you go, that's why. Uh, that is 20 sheets for 9.99. That is why. They're A4 in size. It's uh, 937922. You've got that beautiful, glowing, pearlescent finish on either side. And again, 300 GSM. So that is sturdy. By the way, um, if you're going to buy some pearlescent car stock, I'd get this, not only because of the quality, but because of the colour, because it's a neutral white. That means, if you've got like, your eyes inks or your other inks, it means that you can personalise your card. And look at that. The actual finish dominates over the colour. So it looks like a bit of a bronzy colour there, the orange. And although we sprayed blue on it, you've still got that pearlescent finish. You're transforming a piece of neutral into your own coloured pearlescent card. I love it. There we go. That's why it's gone. Uh, 999 did sell out earlier. We got a bit of stuff back on extended delivery, 4th of April. Now, just briefly, this one sold out, I believe, yesterday, actually, last night. John made calls. We've managed to get a bit of stock back. It's hanging in there. 4th of April. Dispatch on the 4th. £12.99, you're getting 50 this time. 50 
A4 pieces of paper, and that's 120 GSM, 164224. Inserts for your flower embellishments, absolutely perfect. £12.99, 164224. Again, lots of people are going for that. Add it to your basket, do get them checked out. Right now, we've got lots more on our website. By the way, you will see these dyes. Do you look at these ones? Well... I would get them now because this is the one day special. You're getting the two sets there. It's £19.99 today. You get one payment today with your PMP. These will then be delivered to your home, wherever you're watching this from, anywhere around the UK, Europe, or America for that matter. And then in a month's time from now, you pay your second and final flexi buy. In the UK, it's £19.99 for two pence of that. Brilliant. Uh, right, so R. John, what have we got next, my friend? Right, I said I'd show you the numbers, so I'm right, going to show you the it. numbers, but I also wanted to show something different as well. Mm -hmm. These are the texture pastes. Mm -hmm. Now, we've, we've brought these to you before, right. but just to explain quickly what, they, what they're designed to be, because yes. nothing is ever... I think you should do more. Yes. So these are the texture pastes. So these are a quite a thick texture paste that are permanent on every surface. Right. So, card, oh, really? paper, glass, fabric, MDF. concrete, MDF, everything. Like it. I so like it. So you don't it. have to have a fabric version and a paper version. More They're money, exactly more sense, more time. Yeah. Um, this is but, one thing. Um, I was talking to Jane um, um, Smith, who's just a great inspiration to me and gives me so many hints and tips. Thank yes. you so much, Jane. Thanks, Jane. Um, and she said, I wonder if it would work if we sort of like used um, a, like one of the Crafts 2 blending tools and blended it on. And it works amazingly for picking out embossed areas. Really? Like, so if you've got an embossing folder, all you would do is this. Like you'd use a polish of some variety. Yeah, yeah just use that. So instead of buying another product another again... Another product? Yeah, no, use these already. Use oh, these the same. So what I'm going to do on this occasion, I'm going to take some, using the old ski slope idea that I came up with, and I'm going to take some of the gold and I'm just going to That's smear... Amazing. But you see how that is colouring? That's beautiful. Um, and that's dry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's ideal. Again, if you've got so, your 3D embossing folders. Oh, it works so well. Oh, 3D, it's you know, beautiful. We've got a lot of passionate crafters watching. Clearly, we are busy. We've got a big, lot of fans of John watching. One of, one of them is called Amanda, actually. Amanda, thanks very much. I want to have a bit of a shout-out. It's her birthday oh, today. Oh, happy birthday, Amanda. Amanda, happy birthday. Have a lovely day. You're one of her favourites. Oh, Your thank favorite, you, Amanda. Favorite That's crafter. lovely. Amanda, thanks very much. That's lovely. I'm... You're a very favourite oh, well, crafter. I never know what to say when people say that. But thank you. That is so sweet. Well, Amanda, that's lovely. Happy birthday. Thanks so much for watching. So Have a lovely day. gold. Yeah. Look at that sheen. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that's a, it's a texture paste. This is not another product you've got to sort of get and add. Well, that sounds bad, but, you know, we should be it's able to bad use these things more. And this time I'm going to use the you rose. Build your way up, don't you? And I'm just going to. And I know I'm not very much. You know, people don't look at me and go, "Oh, mixed media." But do you know what mixed media means? Uh, mixture of stuff. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> a it. mixture of materials. Yeah. Basically. It doesn't mean black, dark, grunge. Yeah. You know, there are, things, there are my, words uh, for that, like grunge and steampunk and things. It just means using. It's not overcomplicated. It's a mixture of materials. It's yeah. a mixture of materials. That's all it is. But I love this pink. So I'm just doing a real sort of splay. But what I'm going to do is, there we go. So then I've got that beautiful, beautiful colour. But what um, I'm going to do is, this is a texture paste and it's permanent. permanent on fabric and everything. Paste. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, look how thick it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can actually do, um, if anyone's been watching Bake Off, All right. you can do the meringue trick. Oh, yes. Oh, I like so it. So I can happily hold it over my head and my hair is not oh, very pink. No, I mean, oh, no. <laughs> Happy because it's a texture paste. Okay. Yeah? But it means, girls, what I've got is that beautiful finish. That's dry. Okay. And I can die cut it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I've been a bit cheeky. So. They come in pairs, by I'm the way. I've borrowed the spare. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I've borrowed the spare number die just to speed things up a little I bit like for it. me. Okay. So I don't know which way they're going to go. I don't know which way I've put them. So we just put this on. There we go. Very nice. And I'm going to run that through. There we go. Oh, and in these texture pastes, I think there's an absolutely beautiful yeah. um, turquoisey colour. You know me and my blues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
you know. We love a blue. Blue is my colour. Blue is lovely. Blue. That blue, the eyes is in love, isn't it's, it? But you know what? Uh, the tech paste, uh, £12.99. So £12.49, even better. Brand new today. Rose and gold, uh, turquoise and mango or mimosa and tulip. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? They are. They lovely colours. The rose and the gold. Yeah. It's going to be a nice one. So, you see the letter's already coming out, but... Well done, yeah. That's dry, it's not sticky, it's not stuck. Oh, lovely. Oh, it falls out, doesn't it? Yeah. So it numbers zero so two. So your numbers oh. fall out. So then I've got... Zero two. So there's the waist. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to do a background. Yeah. I'm not going to... I hate wasting card. I really genuinely do. Yeah. So I'm just going to put that down, turn it over, good press. Um, I'll find my scissors when I remember where I've put them. Right. Which could be anywhere, scissors. quite frankly. Hello. There they are. Absolutely anywhere. OK. The number is flying out. About 60% it's gone, I think, actually. So we'll just take our numbers off. But again, the thing is as well, because this is permanent, yeah. what you can actually do is you've almost made, you've made this card waterproof because this is a permanent thing that works on fabric and doesn't wash off. So you've actually made it waterproof. Oh, right. So I'm just going to trim that out. That's lovely. Uh, I've just realised the time we've got seven go. minutes. So we're going to... Absolutely well, flame by. But then, of course, I get all of the numbers. Yeah. But I love how these look with the mix of the texture pastes. They are beautiful, aren't they? Beautiful. That you're getting on Beautiful. there. So, what um, what birthday are we going to celebrate, or what which one are we going to go with, Charlie? Uh, so, how old's Jack? Uh, should we do something? Well, should we do something unusual? Twenty-two. Is that all you are? Twenty-three in August. we'll do twenty-three in August then. So it's, a, it's an early birthday card. <laughs> twenty-three in August. Oh. Twenty-three. I oh, know. But that's quite surprising, because I actually told my friend the other day, I said the average age of the floor managers at Achanda is 12. <laughs> <laughs> Getting on, then. <laughs> I mean, Talking joking. to 12 years, where is Matt? <laughs> 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 um, but what I would do is, so... <laughs> no, sorry, <sir. laughs> I'm going to go with... Cause 23 is one we can do on one line. Right. So, but what you can do with the two lines is you can actually then take one, and you see, right, that is the one that was in there originally. Like yeah? It, yeah. So I'm going to take that out. Oh, that's a nice idea, John. A cool bookmark, and actually. Miss and match one it. Strip. So mm. there's two in a different one. And there's three. So we can do... That's a really cool idea. Or you could paper this all of, the, paper piece all of them and uh, leave those yeah. out. Or leave those two. You yeah, could yeah. actually miss those out. I wasn't just yeah. saying that, no. So we could, you, you're right, so we could go one, yeah. go in with a three, like you say, but don't use the same colour. No. Don't use the piece that's Do, come out. That's why opposites. I've done it, that's why I did it in different colours. Mm. Mm -hmm. Four, <laughs> five, let's just go up to five. I haven't glued these, which is very, very naughty. So we want the two in there. We want the one. That's cool, isn't it? Really, really cool. In there. Going to miss the three. We're going to go with a four, which again is from the top, so it mismatches. And we're going to go in with, when I find the five, I'm missing my five. No. Where's my five? Anyone seen There's five? There's always one. It's actually not there. Is it there? No. That's no, two. I've got three. Yeah, we could pretend. We'll pretend you're, you're going to be 235. But the idea is we could even out. cut that to there, or <laughs> yeah. cut that to four. Yeah, I could. Yeah, you could, could you? Yeah, but I love the way it looks. So what I will do what is. What a great idea! If I get a chance, I will. Um, and you can do a lot of that in advance when you find out someone's age. You can just do the last bit, can't you? Well, you can't have found the five. There it is. Yay. Lovely. But there we go. Uh, John, I think that was wonderful. Do you know what? It's, it's a big bundle, though, um, or the one they special. But if you like those numbers, that is separate. It's nine ninety nine. John, for z numbers zero to nine, that's good value. That's good value. Two, well, two, what two you, three, three. What you do is, yeah, with those spares, put them in a bag. I have little bags of them yeah, at of home, course, yeah. and then you can actually just toss them down, 
on a sort of a decent sheet. Could be four o'clock face. Yep. Oh, perfect. Because they're classic numbers. They are, not they? But yeah. that stuck together and then some white yeah. glitter over the top. There's a background. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It really is, you know. That's really cool, to isn't it? Check those up. I like right way, but there we go. There's a background. I like to get some fabricating. You would think you bought. The, you'd think you bought the fab. You think you'd actually bought really fancy paper for that. No, of course you not. Were. It's messy paper we've made, but using the texture paste. And which is available on the show, come in pairs. And that was the rose and the gold you used, yes. wasn't it? Uh, again, not rose gold, rose and gold, so there's two pots there uh, on the website. Oh, it's at the bottom of the screen, actually. Uh, right now, then, 9.99 for the numbers, but let's have a look at that one, this special again. We've got less than five minutes. Um, this uh, has a lot to talk about with this, because there's a concept. Yes, of course, they're pretty. John did these, but they're good value. John, uh, well, let's start from getting exactly what have we got in the one-day special. So what you've got in the one-day special, I'm going to pull in my thing. Yeah. So you're going to get two of these. My other one's a mess. Okay. So you're going to get two of these dies. So the very first thing is this big outline piece here is the main bit. Yes. That's going to cut you your flip card. Mm -hmm. Then you've got a choice of two different panels to fit into that flip card if you want to. If you want to. Or you separately use on their own, put them together, make opening cards, make cards that flip open two backgrounds with them but then you've got a middle yeah which again doesn't cut out only cuts in right okay. so you can cut that three or four times and make a pattern you could build up a whole background with that yeah so yeah it won't cut out or mm. you add in the hexagon to cuts out you've also got because there's metal left a little flower in the middle Oh, Completely different flower. Yeah. It's not one I've done before, but if you look, it's the same design as the little flower that's in the middle of there. Yeah. And you've also got your RPJ. Your reinforced paper your joist. Your reinforced paper joist, <laughs> which will, first of all, help you to strengthen that fold if you need to. If you're using a lower weight yeah, card, or yeah. Or a lower weight card, or you've really cut into it and you've cut the guts out of it. Yes. But also, that makes you a hinge if you want to do a hinged book oh, of cool. pages. Oh, cool. Ah, oh, the little flaps. Yes. Yeah. Never ignore smaller dies on a set. They're always there for a reason. And that was yes. put in because you can use it as a reinforcer. You can use it to make you a fold. So you could just do a page there. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, say this one. Of course. I've done this as one long piece of paper, but a lot of us don't have long pieces of paper. So use two of the RPJs in the corners and just use two of the squares to make there that. There you go. Yeah. So you could make that entire card just from two of those 25 square pack. Of course you could. You haven't got yeah. to have a long A4 piece. No, and you just use the extra pieces there. Good idea, John. Good idea. You know what? Um, they're beautiful. It just goes to show how many different options there are. Uh, it's one option for the one that especially you get all of them. You get uh, I mean, all the dies. But this goes to show how much we can do with them, isn't it? Beautiful. I like this one. one. So this is one of Leslie's. Thanks, Leslie. She's used the main card as a base. Yeah. But then she's put it onto the front of a normal card base. Oh, so that she's got something that stands far more proud on someone's mantelpiece. Yeah, yeah. And again, no work. And for here, all you would do is you connect those with an RPJ. With an RPJ, I like it. Again, all comes included. So again, two RPJs in the one day special. You are. Uh, so there you go. It's at £39.98. You're going to save £6. Now, if you're tempted to buy it, again, again, the Foston and the Desford, that's 17 dies. If you want something fresh, something new, something pretty, something good value, and at a discounted price, it's a good time to get it. £19.99 today. That's at 881897. Anywhere around Europe, you get it delivered to your door. If you're up early or late, depending on where you are in America, you can still get this, buy this now and get it delivered to your home. Uh, Tom, thanks very much, my friend. Thank you very uh, much. Pleasure. Fist bump, fist bump. Uh, right, we'll see you later on at 5 o'clock today, won't we? See you at 5 o'clock, yes. I'll see you soon. Uh, I'll see you for my party, if not before. Yes. Uh, right then, we'll see you then. See you live throughout the Take care. So we've got crafting with Cloud Chapter Bait. Looking forward to this. You don't want to go anywhere. Then it's got Handmade by Haley in an hour's time and introducing Artistry Inc. We'll see you live here after break with Cloudy. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. The SAA exists to inform, encourage, and inspire all who want to paint. And that's exactly what you'll learn to do with me as your teacher. As a self-taught artist of 30 years ago, I know the challenges of a white piece of paper and learning how to paint. But with me, Achanda and the SAA, I'll show you how easy watercolour painting really is. I'm here on Achanda because I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. 
So whether you're a beginner or an advanced artist, I've got some fantastic watercolour techniques that will get you started and take you even further on your watercolour journey. So join me, Matthew Palmer, for my shows on Achenda. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hotanda. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Ho Chanda, your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for 24 hours or while stocks last. Part of your morning routine should also be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Ho Chanda and start your day with a deal. Designed with crafters in mind, this Sizzix accessory kit includes a non-stick silicone mat, caps to protect your fingers from hot glue, a flat glue spreader for precise glue application and 12 additional glue sticks for the Sizzix glue gun. To add this to your crafting stash, go to achanda.com. Hello. Oh, gosh, get us having a chat. Um, it is lovely to have your company. I am so looking forward to this hour. Our Yannis did the hour earlier on today, didn't they? Yeah. And then we were backstage and we were like, we got, I got a chance to have a doodle. He had such a nice time. So yeah. now it's my chance to have a doodle. Um, ladies, obviously fantastic to have your company. Oh, Barbara's here, of course, because it's amazing clarity. But our wonderful Tina. I mean, Tina, you've been doing parchment crafting for, for a number of years now, haven't you, uh, Tina? Uh, yeah, since 95. Yes. 95. yes. Two months into getting married, yes. Wow. <laughs> wow. But the thing is, Tina, you are so, so skilled. And, Thank and you. I'm sure you'll agree, wherever she turns her hand to, it, it doesn't just matter whether looks it's parchment. Amazing. It doesn't matter whether it's stamping or parchment or doodling. Exactly. She just blows the doors off, yeah, doesn't she? Yeah. Every Thank time, you. every time you show your work, I go, oh, she's good. You're so good, so talented. I love seeing your work, Tina. Exactly. And I love it because you share your work, you know, like with obviously with the beautiful plates that you bring now. Yes. You know, as part of the of the, the Clarity team, and obviously, they, oh, it's fantastic. Do I you think, love I it? I think it's important to share, though, because if you don't share, it just, well, it's going to go to grave with me. Yeah. This yeah. way, if I put it out there, you know, gives other, other, people, other people, people use it, they'll get inspired. Today with Doodling, we'll have future designers out there. Yes, so yes. You, you have to put it out there. Yeah, well, thank you, so. because it's ace. So this hour, we're going to be doodling again, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> All um, right. We're going to let Tina go for a little bit because we will be back with you, Tina, yeah. in just a few moments' time. Um, yeah. We will see you later, you. my love. Tina's um, driving the bus today. Tina's <laughs> driving the bus. We like that, don't we? Uh -oh. We like changing <laughs> hats. We like, we like going, you can be bus driving now, love. Um, so Tina's taking the seat, the bus seat. Um, now. We've got these brand new mm. pens, um, drawing pens. I mean, these are just such a beautiful set, Barbara. Why is it important to have a set? Well, I've always used these when mm. I, as an illustrator, I've always used these pens to do my these artwork. Specific my micro. Exactly. I've always had these. Yeah. Um, and I always, usually, you well, I always use the number one. Yeah. Just the O one. Yeah. Um, the O O five sometimes for fine detail. Yeah. Um, so when we started on the doodling journey, we thought it would be really cool to have a set yeah. of... Uh, so we've gone from 05 right down to 08. So Amazing. So 05, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, and then it goes to eight. Amazing. But the eight is great for the infill as well, you yep, know, yep. shading. Yes. Um, and I was having a play earlier, and it's really cool because you can do, say you do a, a blackout, say you do a tree and you do yeah. a silhouette tree. Yeah. When it dries, it dries grey. Yeah. And then you go in with the fine one over the top and you can put the detail in. Oh, so you can well, put like cross hatching and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so lovely. Amazing. Yeah. Mm. So That's it'll really layer nice. beautiful. Now, if anyone hasn't seen the doodling, let me show you these. Because these works of art are just exquisite. That's my stencil. This so Tina's done this one, hasn't Tina's she? Done, yeah. And if you look at oh, it, it's I love like, it. like the bottom of a mushroom, Mushrooms. doesn't it? Yeah, Absolutely yeah. Absolutely fantastic. So this is your stencil. That is so and cool. And used that for inspiration on our designer papers. That is beautiful. So Paper, and then now take a look at this one. Wow. And this time she did this was free this was freehand. Wow. And she just looked at the designer paper itself, which I think this one is let me see, is that Shenandoah or Rainbow River? Shenandoah that one. We're isn't both it? rubbish, I don't know. Tina, do you know? She can't remember. I'll, I'll remember. She's like me and she okay. just picks I'll, a bit of paper. Rainbow River. Rainbow this is River. Rainbow River, thank you. <laughs> um, and she, what she's done is she's looked at the different designs within the yes. paper yep. and she's just let that carry. That's the, so the cool. So her. literally taking the splodges, taking the marks, taking and the outlines exactly. and expanding on and it. And because this is on parchment, yeah. what she's done is she's used a white gel pen on the front, then she's flipped the parchment over yeah. and then she's produced that beautiful embossed white work. Yes. So when you feel it, it's actually got It's texture. got that amazing and texture. And the white work pops. That's doesn't what, it? And that that's just looks so... The parchment is so different to the paper. Yes. And even before I was a parcher, yeah. before we had started up with the groovy, for me, parchment was always a fantastic medium yeah. because of the stretchability of yes. it. Yes, you know? yes, yes. And so actually and the on the show, and we will get there, we've actually got a soft mat and a couple of ball tools, which is Amazing. all you need, even if you're not a parcher. Yeah. And that's it. They're all you need to be, be doing it freehand. Now, something else that we've got on the show, um, the beautiful, beautiful stencils. Which one are you showing first? Show the There's stencils. the stencil. Look at that. They're not going to last. I need to tell you now, they're not going to last. These are exquisite. She's got on only $12.99. Um, oh, no, 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 they're not. They're coming along the bottom there. $9.96. That's yeah. so good. So you're getting the beautiful, beautiful elephant. You get the elephant. And You've you get also the got the stag. stag. Look at that. Just, oh, just that sorry, is I so nice. Just wanted to show you the stencil, stag. so it means you can flip it. So you can, of course, the limited like to stock. If you want that, is absolutely sensational. It's gone limited already. Limited but we stock. Limited stock. stock. Okay. Yeah, they've gone limited. So if you do want those, you need to be checking out your baskets. Oh. They are sensational. Four two one three three seven. That's your item number. Very busy um, in the earlier show as well for those. They're stunning. Right, so we won't sorry, talk sorry. About them too much we won't anymore. talk about them too Let's much. Go, Put it down. <laughs> Tent. Let's go move on. One that's amazing. Now this is another picture. That is amazing. Is a masterpiece by Tina. Now this is where I want to wow. talk about the paper versus the parchment. Yeah. So this piece here, where you see that fantastic yeah. white work, if you can come in close, you'll see that that is stretched. Yes. So this little panel here is parchment. And you can see the tear. Parchment yeah. tears like a dream. It did. We did that. That is you just get to gorgeous. Tear it again in a minute. Now here, this, again, what Tina's wow. done is she's taken a white gel pen, you do the same with black, and she's gone in and she's outlined just what she sees on the paper. So when yeah. I did the paper, there was a bit of a splash of green, a splash of blue on the landscape. <laughs> But because the paper and the parchment are exactly the same design, yeah, yeah. she's overlaid it like that so you get the best of both of us. It's yeah. so beautiful. That is it? amazing. Yeah. It's, this is what I mean. Everything she produces is just amazing. That oh, that's incredible. Look, Look at, at the, the detail. Yeah. And this is all done freehand. Good grief. This is all done freehand. That, look at, you've measured it out perfectly. Look at that with the ruler, probably. Isn't That's that so good, Tina. Mine would be all over it, Sean. Look at the leaves, though. This is what I, oh, Dave wow. said. Look at those leaves. That's and we amazing. learned how to do this earlier on, this netting. Beautiful. And all it is is just squiggles, and then you yeah. just join the crosses. Yeah. You just join the, the Isn't it funny? When, when you learn the techniques, it's so easy. It's not that hard. This anymore. is why you'll need these pens. I mean, the detail that you can achieve with those pens, that is amazing. When you see that proper we up close, that? we're on the way. We're do, 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 do. Um, it is CC. This is the kind of detail, that and that's the pens. Too forward, would that help? Oh, well, no, because the focus in it. It's all right, in it. Have you heard me in it? Look at this. See. 
it's so gorgeous. And you see, if you look at the, the, the elephant, you can see that even the gaps and the stencil yeah. gaps, yeah. Tina's gone in. Wow. And she's dotted. So it looks like a so peacock like cut. Pico cut oh, Tina. Oh, you can't get away from that. That's her, ridiculous. And now look at these leaves. But yeah. When you look at them, there's wow. a little bit of pencil shading in there as well, isn't there, Tina? Oh, you the blending, the pen. blending pens blended out. Isn't that just a word? Oh, of man. Yeah, that's stunning. Stunning, yeah. stunning, stunning. You okay, you need Thank them you. pens. The pens are fabulous because you can get that detail. Um, the pens are there, only twelve ninety nine. Look after them. Look after oh. them. Don't do what I do and just go over your wet acrylic pen. Look after them. That's why I'm over a nice little pack so yeah. they won't get lost. Yeah. And and in actual fact, I'm proud of oh, this. Wow. This was my little doodle that we oh, used for the packaging. Beautiful. So even the packaging shows you. Even the packaging is inspired. It gives you a couple of ideas, look. Oh, how lovely it's is easy, that? Isn't it? And that's yeah. what we're going to do today is just do a little bit of doodling Perfect. like that and a bit of white work on it. I love it because once you learn techniques with doodling, you combine them all together and it allows your brain to start seeing things differently. Very it's so. just about practice. Okay, if you want those pens, please check the pens out. But we've had a lot of work, a look um, at the papers and, of course, the beautiful parchment. Mm. I mean, these are exquisite and the parchment it just feels so expensive yeah. now in the in the parchment oh. pack this is loose leaf yeah yeah and so there are 48 leaves in here beautiful so 12 different designs four okay. sheets of each one so when we take them out you'll see that these are loose leaf and your this side is the back oh, yeah. so it's quite glossy you see it's very glossy yes. isn't it yeah so as you go through it the thing is you can't really see the designs and because they're translucent that's the whole idea yeah but you can see there's lots and lots and lots and lots of parchment. Just yeah, there's a, lot of parchment. there's a lot of parchment. Now that that pack is expensive um, to produce, yeah. and so that costs twenty, nearly twenty five pounds, like twenty four ninety seven. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. so what we said today wow. was, if you invest in the parchment, and we're going to show you what you can do with it, then you're going to get exactly the same. But this is now in paper. Amazing. So our designer paper that usually costs twelve something. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah, nearly thirteen pounds. There we are. Yeah. So this is exactly the so same. That's for nothing. That's free. But this is free. Wow. So this whole set now, this seven by seven, eight. Yeah. Sorry, eight by eight set, forty-eight leaves, twelve designs. Amazing. I, that one. I do. I designed this myself. Boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> and now, now, because of, we've seen the doodling, now your brain does it start breaking this up at home? Exactly. Do you start seeing the shapes? Do you start seeing where you're going to put your doodles? See? Where you're going to? Yeah. You already, already, you're breaking this up. You're, you're putting white reads on in. That, black mm -hmm. on black Black in this bit, white in that bit, yeah. you know, and then if you go to even one that's not necessary, like this one, yeah, this yeah, would be yeah. brilliant to start. Yeah. And can I say, like, this is eight by eight. To be honest, if I was starting out, I'd cut this in four yes. pieces yeah. and I'd start little. Yeah. And I'd make a tiny little square like that. Yeah. And I'd, I'd see the hills, I'd find the trees. I really would. Yes. I'll show you a trick to how to make little birds. Beautiful. Piece of cake. Yeah. If, if you just put a couple of little birds on a wire or in flight. Yes. You don't, because when you look at this, it's quite daunting. You yeah. Think, oh, blimey, that's a, that's a big, yeah. you know, where yeah, to start? Is, even though it's only Make eight, it but yeah, yeah. And that's why we were using the stencils, because yes. the stencil gives you the smaller, doesn't it? It breaks it, it up, doesn't it? And, and mm. working in smaller increments is always easier when you're starting yeah. out. Yeah, it's just not scary no. at all. No. Okay, now this is such a deal. It so is. essentially, you're investing in the beautiful parchment, you're getting the paper pad, which matches perfectly, and it's double-sided as a paper pad. Mm. You're getting that for free. So you've got choices. So you've got your beautiful Shenandoah. I can say it now, can't I? Shenandoah. Yeah, it's taken me ages to learn that. You then get in the Rainbow River. You then get in the Indian Summer, or you've got a choice at least. And then last but not least, you've got the Northern Lights. All that choice. I mean, they're all really exquisite. I think so. Beautiful and I know papers. That a, lot of the, a lot of our good friends at home are, they've already got these. And yeah. I would suggest that even if you've got them, push the boat out now yeah. because this price is uh, probably not going to get repeated. I have an awareness of stock. Yes, yes, um, yes. And I just feel that um, this, is, this is an opportunity not to be missed, really. Absolutely. Especially if you've not used the parchment yet because it may, again, it makes you experiment. 
it's it does. makes you use it in a That's different exactly way. That's exactly right. We, we actually sell a lot more of the paper mm. than we do of the parchment. I can so we've it. given away the paper with the parchment because I really feel strongly. Once you get the idea behind the parchment, yeah. and I'll show you how to erase, you can rub areas out. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And it, it just brings your artwork to life. It really, I mean, the papers are stunning. Um, okay, we'd better move, aren't we? Because I know we're, we're running out of time so already. You can pick any one of these, yeah. can't you? Or yeah. you have all four That's or a pair, choice. whatever. Yeah. But whichever one you pick, if you pick Shenandoah, then you, you buy the Shenandoah parchment and you get the Shenandoah paper for as free. a gift. For free. Because they work in unison, they work yeah. together. Absolutely mm -hmm. perfect. Now, if you do want to get hold of them, your item number 477110. Um, obviously, make the most out of that incredible deal. Okay. Stencils, so we have to be really quick with stencils because these are very limited stock. I'm just going to show loads of finished samples. Um, if you do want these, only nine ninety six. I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. Have they gone? Okay, they've sold out. I do apologise. They have gone. They've gone for a sell out of the hour, uh, but they've sold out. Um, so we'll just move on and shut up. I've got to just say before we move on, check out this Whoa. artwork. That to me, yeah, that is so it, cool. It just is ridiculous. Yeah, good, isn't that's it? so good. That's Barbara so Lancaster, good. and I'm guessing that's going to be D. That's so cool. It looks a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it is. I can see it's Thank deep. You. My Fantastic. Going. Fantastic. Look at that. Yeah, that's amazing. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah, microbeads over the top. Fantastic. Very clever. There you go. Um, okay, if you do want them, they've gone. Sorry. <laughs> Next. <laughs> But um, that's it. That's all I've got to say about that. Uh, next, now, the this excellence mat. So you might have seen this before. You might not have dipped in because maybe you not, haven't got into parchment yet. Maybe you haven't got into Pergo Man or maybe you haven't got into Groovy. However, if you want to go freeform, if you want to go freehand, if you just want to do it, this yeah. now with the tools. That's it. A so brilliant the starter. Are separate now. You don't have to invest in the starter kit. All you need in order to stretch parchment is a soft surface underneath yeah. and, a, and a ball tool or an embossing tool. And these, the, this, these two tools have got four balls. This one is for scribing. Yeah. So you could literally uh, scrito. You could you could draw yeah. onto the parchment with that one fine line. Um, then you've got the three ball tools, which will Perfect. give you varying degrees of whiteness. Perfect. Absolute perfect. And this mat, when you watch any yeah. of the I Groovy know. Shores, everybody uses a, yeah, the excellence mat. And, and, and I've asked so many times, is there a right side or a wrong yeah, side? Right. And nobody ever really gives you an answer. They just they? say no. They just say whichever way it lands. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm guessing because the brand Pergamano is on that side, that that's supposed to be the top. It kind of seems like that were intended, but, but no one seems precious. Brand, I use whichever way yeah. it falls. And it just feels really nice as well. It's a beautiful product. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, um, you've got your your freedom price there, nineteen pounds and ninety uh, sorry, nineteen pounds and seventy six pence freedom members. Um, obviously, you don't pay postage either. Eight five eight nine three six. Okay, now then, we've been talking about incredible artwork. Look at these groovy plates. Look at the detail. I mean, these are just beautiful, Thank Barbara. You. The beautiful. Absolutely love them. I drew these. They're beautiful. Yeah, you did these. <laughs> they're lovely in stamps as well. Have you seen yeah. them in stamps? No, I haven't seen oh, them in stamps. Oh, they're dynamite. They're so lovely. They're, these are so, so pretty. Some. Yeah. To play yeah. with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, more so, things. So there are four There are four of them here. If you hold those two, let's have a look. Right, you hold those two. You can see here, you've got the grasses, and then you've got the daisies. Beautiful. Then you've got the lisianthus, and you've got the, the wall. Amazing. Then you've got the rose and the bricks, and then you've got the grasses with the logs. So and then oh, you've also look got, at the logs, and them. then you've also got the the verse. Beautiful. The, beauty, the true beauty lies in the tiniest things: petals, leaves, and butterfly uh, wings. Butterfly wings. And and the thing is that they're all very interchangeable yes. and usable together. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And when the you're, detail. And the, yeah, well, that's it. And when you look, see, I even drew it. See the little oh, snail. Oh, the snail! How cute. So when you're doodling, yeah. if you're not sure oh. how to draw snails or flowers, you can use these plates. Amazing. You, not only uh, for groovy, but you can use them as a as a yeah. to trace yeah. basically. Yeah, to absolutely. And and you'll find that all the flowers they're just the perfect size. 
you see here amazing the glasses. yeah yeah so if you wanted to translate that onto um the designer parchment yeah it's there for you yeah yeah and this is a beautiful beautiful thing about all the groovy system that it they're so interchangeable you could use yeah, them with absolutely exactly. anything exactly. obviously it's you look at the clean, plate yeah yeah you look at the plate and you can yeah, literally just take the flower head out if you want just take the little snail you can extend things it allows you so many possibilities that's They're gorgeous it. That's um, it. absolutely Thank gorgeous you. now Thank if you, you would like to get hold of these um so you are getting your beautiful plates so you can see that you've got your four gorgeous plates yep. and you get that gorgeous sentiment as well um saving eight pounds on that zero six nine nine six seven and also what i wanted to mention was if you're wondering why we've left the stickers on here these are reference stickers so right. when you put these in your storage folders then you peel these off carefully and you put them on the plastic on the wallet and then when you take it out to play when you put it back then it, you know, you know exactly where it lives where it's going because that's a real headache it's all yep. very well putting them all away but yeah if you don't know where they're supposed to go so that's what yeah. these references and i love are the for. fact that you've put the picture on not just what yeah. it's called i'm a i'm a, I'm a me picture. too do you know what numbers are like? What's the point? What is the point of numbers? Why would, would you bother? No. No, you wouldn't. No. Would no. We, we, they're horrible. Do you know at our place at work at, at Clarity, everything, everything has to have a picture on it. Yeah. You know, like our picking system. Yeah. It's yeah. like, well, don't just give me a reference yeah. number. No. Just give me the picture. Absolutely. I will find it's like the picture. When your kids I won't find it. the number. It's like when your kids and you have like a duck where you make time your coat. Everyone has a little animal. Same. Nothing's. We haven't moved on. No, we're keeping hold of that. But we're a graphic and yeah. art company, so of yeah. course we're going to respond. Most of the people that work in our building <laughs> respond to pictures, yeah. not numbers. Not numbers. Oh, numbers are bring out your knives. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, so now, talking a detail, oh my gosh. Look at them. Good grief. Good gracious Good me. Good gracious. They are amazing. I know. And I'm absolutely I've got them amazing. On my shoulders, so we can wow. Form. Wow. Stencils, yeah. Look at that. That is so beautiful. But again, there's so much going on in these plates, but you could literally just pick out a vine look if you at, wanted look to. Look where you've traced that. Exactly. But you know, to, to infill an area, mm. e even not doodling, but this is just brilliant. Mm, so those are the little stunning. flower ones. I mean, it doesn't get more detail. And that's the, see the Love little hearts it. and the, flo to me, yes. it's more of a foresty one. So we've got a floral and a forest, but they're beautiful. Absolutely That is beautiful. so, look at yeah. that. I mean, I... Tina uses oh, them all the beautiful. time. See where she wants to make a panel? Yes. So she just breaks it down and then she uses it just in a panel or in a background or to infill like the part of the elephant, for example. That's so elephant. pretty. Mm. So that's so, so that, yeah. It looks like lace. Yeah, and again, see so, you now that's on clear parchment and then you flip it over and with a little ball tool, you can bring out all that whiteness. Yeah. Isn't that just fantastic? Yeah, yeah. It just, the, the all incredible. That's Tina's. This is her layering uh, groovy plates. Now, Paul Church is on on Saturday. It starts on Saturday evening because these were so popular. Paul, we've brought them out in stamps as well. Wonderful. So Paul's bringing these layering stamps out. Now, look at the Stunning. background. So he'll be here at 6 o'clock on Saturday, Saturday evening for an ODS. But see the background? So yeah. that's that entire plate. Wow. Just, isn't that fantastic? Yeah, yeah. Who did that artwork? That's Who so did beautiful. that? Let me love. guess. Karen. Karen Jackson. Karen Jackson. What that a nice, is so what beautiful. A nice piece of art, but isn't that a lovely mm. background? Yeah, yeah, absolutely exquisite. Um, okay, if you do, and that's the thing. Using and that's a groovy. Done on design a parchment, you know. Uh, Check it yeah, out. yeah, yeah. You can see so the colour. So that's the designer parchment there. Uh, yeah, and of course it's just white yeah. card behind isn't that it. Lovely. Yeah, that really works. Really works. And the thing is, using groovy system, it's not even going to take you that long to actually create a big background. No. Uh, just following the plates, only fifteen ninety eight for both of them. That's such a good price. Nice. One more. 7776 that's your item number right get on that website i tell you what if you have a look on the website obviously we've got loads of beautiful products here today however on that website if you have a look um under the company so if you look under the the obviously under our uh, wonderful suppliers you'll be able to see everything under clarity you've got clarity stamps you've got the beautiful uh, groovy system there's so much and there's so many goodies on there so please have a little peruse 
perusal uh, through the goodies that we've got. Um, if you have any questions, email in studio at chanda.com. If you want to order, more importantly, um, it is chanda.com or 0173360000. Nearly forgot. Right, that's enough for me. What we're doing now? I just want be, I want to tell you how we ended up doing a doodle show on <laughs> uh, on a shopping channel. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah. Because it is a bit like it is a bit we're weird. doodling. We're doodling. doodling. Yeah. <laughs> but we're doing really well with our doodling. We're enjoying it, and this is so creative. And it you is. know what? At the end of the day, of course, it's a shopping channel. I will say this: we've got beautiful papers, we've got mm. beautiful pens, we've got everything here. Yeah. But in the end, if you just get a piece of paper and a biro, you will create. Absolutely. Beautiful so, art too. You can still you do it. You can still do it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's the key, really. Yeah, what, absolutely. You know, that's what yeah. I, I'm excited about here. Yeah. Is it? It's if you all... can't afford all this, you know what? That's okay. Yeah. Just get creative. Yeah, yeah. It's Isn't all it possible. It's all it's possible. All possible. And that is incredible. Was, so, so Tina, she posted this on Facebook. You wow. tell that, right? And Look at that. I, and on Facebook, because I couldn't touch it, I thought it must be the parchment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she went, no, no, it's, it's on, pe on the paper with That's a white, with a white gel, right? With a white gel pen. So I, I went and dug out the, and I went, ah, oh, right. So I rose to the challenge, mm -hmm. and I brought it out on, so now mine's on Amazing. parchment. Right, so there you go. Yeah. So that's on parchment. Yeah. Then Tina, <laughs> top of that, <laughs> right? So then she did that one. Whoa. And I went, oh, I like that. Are you like, oh, go on then, yeah. Tina, top. you can have it. So I thought, well, I know that's, <laughs> I, that's got to be on paper. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So this is the weirdest thing. Tina the Parcher, Barbara the Stamper. Yeah. She's on the paper. So I thought, right, I'm definitely playing this game. So then I went in <laughs> and I took the parchment again. That was and I brilliant. This one out. Wow. That's there we go. Beautiful. And then that was the one where we went. So that that's the one that ended up being the, yeah. the packaging. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is amazing. And at that point, Tina, of course, <laughs> always has to have the last answer. She went, what, you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> You mean that's what you were trying to do? <laughs> and so the whole Amazing. purpose was, at that point, we both started laughing at her saying, OK, how about a doodle show? What and a like fabulous said, idea. It's so therapeutic mm. and it's so inexpensive and it's so beautiful to do. And of course, we want to show you how the parchment works because yeah. that whiteness really puts yes, a spin on it. Absolutely. You know, which yeah. is what Tina said. So now I'm going to hand over to Tina. But that's the story. That's how we ended up. I like up. that story. That was good. <laughs> and then that's I and, Freud, fabulous. and then I said to Dave, right Dave, we need those black pens. You know my art pens, my I only ever use the O one. Yeah. He yeah. said, We need a set of these though. So off he went on the on the pet on Oh he's good. Oh he's good. Pen hunt, pen hunt. Um so so what 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 are are Emily what? Oh, there's slight cues on the phones. Um, if you want to get on that website, no cues there. Hachanda.com. Right. Oh, Tina, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, well uh, we started this one in the morning and uh, I think we'll continue with it this afternoon because Super. we didn't get, uh, the, gosh, the hour goes so fast, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, yes. It's like, oh, only three minutes. I'm like, huh? <laughs> but I've all just started. Um, so we thought we would continue uh, with it and cover some of the embossing and, you know, looking at landscapes because the really nice thing about these papers is that there is so much on the papers. Yes. Until now, we've used the papers very much for layering on our cards. Yeah. But they're beautiful on their own. They have the landscape. Yeah. They have the features on them. Yes. It's just a case of looking at these points. And it, even if you don't see the flowers and the animals and the f trees, just pick out the spots and yeah. the splatters and uh, just, you know, yeah. uh, draw around them. Yeah. Yeah, and by the time you've it. drawn all the way around them, it just looks really yeah. nice. Just like looks good like, a, anywhere, like the blue it? one over there with the white yeah. gel pen. I yeah. mean that I was just like I, I think I got lucky actually. I didn't expect it to look <laughs> it looks like that. amazing. But so good. Th that's the nice thing about the paper is, you yes. know, it's got all the work done there. Yeah. So much in there. So I right. thought we would continue with that. Okay. So we won't uh, retrace the outlines of the stag. Okay. Watch on re Rewind if yeah. you didn't see that. Um, and we'll just jump into doodling a little bit. Beautiful. And another thing we did is, uh, you know, usually both Barbara and I agree that, you know, when, when you're starting and you're not sure or something, or even just to try out different fill-ins, mm. do a little scribble on a piece of blank paper, yeah. you know. And we just scribbled some lines, Beautiful. really, yeah, and, and then just, just start, start to... filling in 
areas. Now, for me, doodling here was like, oh, I can't do that. So I said, Barbara, I think I need guinea pigs. I need a little <laughs> workshop to make sure, you know, I can come here. So what I did um, for them is I did this sheet there. Oh, that's fabulous. The flowers okay, one yeah. to get them started as ideas. Yes, yes. And then once I did that, I thought, well, it would have been nice to yeah. do a little squares one as well. So I did another one with squares. Wonderful. Um, so I these were just, ideas. These are just your test pieces. This is just you practicing playing. Yeah, usually I, I have a doodle, like scrapbook sort of thing at home where yeah. if I like a design, I scribble it on there. Yes. But at home, you know, do do like little, squares, yeah. do little scribbles and fill them in with ideas yes. you like. Yeah. Keep it because very soon you'll finish that. You can yeah. mount it. It will be a piece of yeah. art. Yeah. And it's going um, to look exquisite. So what we're going to mm. do is because Tina generously said that she's going to send me this a link to this. I'm going to blog it and then I'll ask our Stuart at work to create a digital download. Fabulous. And then for those non-techie people at home that want a copy of this, uh, if they call Janine, then we'll be happy to put it in the post. So too, just a, a clarity. Yeah. Janine yeah. at clarity. Make yeah. poor Janine. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Not our finance Janine. No. She won't have a clue what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, so Janine at Clarity and get a copy of these. Okay. So that's where we started. We started Perfect. with that. We're going to jump onto this because uh, otherwise I'll panic when I'm told three minutes again. <laughs> well, we didn't we haven't got that much time. So it's we're going to go minutes. straight to the, this. Perfect. And we started filling in little bits. But what I also want to show is, uh, you know, how we can pick little areas and do little... Um, dangly things and Wonderful. so I thought let's use some plates if you're not sure about starting off freehand oh, yeah. yeah yeah beautiful so um yeah okay let's do that go let's see so if you want to doodle along with us I shall we've got indeed. one there ready for you well thank you how fabulous I haven't do you know I haven't doodled on parchment before which is quite Have interesting you got an one? I've got a three do you want to know it's your favourite, isn't it? The O one. When in I've doubt. got an O one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorted. O one. Got it. I think you'll find that the O one is is just when you're when you're illustrating. Yeah. It's the one that gives you that beautiful fine line. It's that crisp yeah, detail. Crisp line, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So That's it's the one nice I use to... a lot for when I'm doing my design work. Yeah. So it's exactly. a good place it's, to it's start. It's the artist pen. It's the one yeah. that you go to. Beautiful. Okay, so, Tina. I'm so I'm going to. Turn on the light wave, and what I'm going to do is, um, or shall I? Or shall do we I need not? it? Decisions, decisions. Well, I was going to do a little bit of hangy bits uh, okay. from there. Do you need a light wave to do that? Well, no, you can have your black mat underneath, and yeah. that would be fine. But do you just love um, your light wave? I like my light wave, yeah. She just likes so, a light wave. Oh, you're I using a, a plate? You're not going for I'm going to go first with a plate, so anyone who didn't watch this morning right, can okay. see how easy it is. Wonderful. But if you want to go freehand, go, go freehand. But just, just to show the viewers if they of didn't course. watch. Yeah. So the plate, if we have it smooth side up, for example, and if I was to put it on there yeah um, can you see you can see it but it's still it's still quite light right. but if we use it groovy side up the group side yeah. up it's easier to see the outline yeah 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 it is now, a lot because, easier yeah, yeah. but okay. and because the pens are really inky uh -huh. and um, wet yeah. you don't need to put pressure if we put pressure on it we're going to emboss at the same time which right. is not what we want to do yeah so just very gently and i'm going to use a uh, one as well does it matter and when you're um, parchment does it matter which side you yeah. actually draw yes, that's a good question you draw on the front so oh, on, the on the side that's the got a shinier. Side. No, the, the other non side. Right, 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 right. Okay. That's where we're drawing. And then when we emboss, we'll flip it over. Cool. And then that way, we won't mess up the uh, the line art. Right. Yeah, get it. Because otherwise, will the pens actually dry on the, the parchment on the shiny side? Will they dry Yes, it on does. That? It takes a little bit longer than it does on the matte side. So if you're uh, drawing on the shiny side, have a uh, have your groovy guard over your work. Right. Yes. Just to keep it from sliding. But it does dry, yes. Right. Smash him. Okay. 
So I'm going to put a few, um, what are they called? Vines? Dangly Vines. things? Yes. No. Leave enough room for the leaves. I do need to tell you the beautiful plates that we're using, they have actually sold out. So the big backgrounds, they have gone. Which ones? Uh, the backgrounds Stencils. that we're using, oh, the no, beautiful they plates. Um, they have mm -hmm. gone. So if you did want them, I am so sorry. Um, I also want to say, Tina, can you move back a little bit? Is that possible? Oh, sorry. Because all we can see at the minute is your head. My white hair. <laughs> oh, sorry, silver hair. My silver hair. Your beautiful silver hair. See, it's no oh, you've got lots of silver I've hair. got loads of silver oh, hair. Oh, it looks nice. I like it, Tina. Megan said to me, Mom, why don't you just go and dye it all white? Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, I don't think I'm brave enough. Oh, of course you will be. It'd look beautiful. Um, so, yes, so our, our beautiful plates have... So, um, I'm just tracing over the design. I'm not putting any pressure whatsoever. It's just glide because the pens are so lovely that you will get the... Um, the, the, the line. Yeah. The black outline very easily. Beautiful. So, I'll, I'll do a couple traced like this. Actually, let's change plates. Um, so this was the large background plate, Okay, but there's tons of stuff on these plates as well. And is they, oh, these, these are, are the pretty. Barbara's designs. Wonderful. So again, and there's so much on these as well. You can pick out so many of these little elements. So I quite like these um, here. If you do want those beautiful plates, can you get in? All four plates with that gorgeous sentiment. Um, we've had a question. Who was a question from? Isabel. Thank you ever so much, Isabel. So, um, Isabel's saying, attaching parchment to paper. How do you attach parchment to paper? Have you any top tips, ladies? Brads. Brads, yeah. 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 We have the Pergamano brads. They are oh, absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're really tiny. I think they're 3mm and the they're just fine enough to disappear into the background. Wonderful. That's my favorite uh, way of attaching it. Um, the other way is if your parchment is, for example, for this, if the parchment is slightly, um, uh, sh uh, I'm better at explaining it through pictures. Okay, yeah. let me do that. <laughs> yeah, rather than, let me switch that off. Let me switch that off. There you go. Wonderful. So if oh, I explain, yeah, I'm, I'm better explaining it this way. So if my parchment was slightly longer like this, yes. what I can do is create a wrap. So this I would uh, fold over yeah. and then stick the glue at the back. Perfect. And that, that way your, your glue is not going to show. Yeah, that so that's, totally makes uh, sense. That's what, we, what I did there is wrap it at the back. Wonderful. Yeah, that makes, that's brilliant yeah. because otherwise it is quite I'll tricky, you, isn't thing, it? Though, um, with this designer parchment, because it's so saturated with ink at the back. Yeah. You know the glue runners? Yes. You can you can use a glue runner and it does not show. Really? It shows on clear parchment and it shows on light colours like pastels. Yeah. But on this vibrant colour, yeah, I could run the, I could run a glue runner along there and pop that on there and you will not see it. Perfect. Yeah. You will not see it. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's top tip. Um hope that helps. Thank you ever so much. If you've got questions, please email in studio at com. Right. So I did Back a couple. Um, I did a couple with the, using the plates, but then if I wanted to go freehand, for example, I can just uh, you know do little swirly things. I've got. So what have you got? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Little swirly things. I've gone freehand. Look. So I think I'm going to have a little bit of a freehand. Oh yeah. Is yours a zero one as well that you're using? Oh one. I'm using. Oh one. Oh look how detailed. Can you, you see? see that? The other it's nice. The freehand. Yeah. That will. Beautiful. You can't see it because it's dark. That yeah. will pop when we when, do the white one. Yeah. yeah. Then you'll really see it, and that's yeah. the exciting thing. Yeah. So I could either have done it with a white pen on paper. Yes. Or do it with a black pen on par on parchment on the front, and then when 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 I bring that out with a little white ball tool. Boom. Yeah. That's when it will really. Yeah. And that's when the lines, your lines, will really pop yes. as well, isn't it? Yes. Okay, right then, Tina. Sorry, so the back to other, you. Uh, the other thing we can do is, uh, you know, if, if we're not sure about, uh, you know, um, um, drawing freehand and things, I've shown how we can use Groovy. But, uh, you know, like I mentioned, the paper itself is so beautiful. So if I show you on the parchment, if I didn't want to do anything on the base here mm -hmm. by yeah. the feet, I can just pick out the outlines 
of the design on the parchment ah, to create little sections, so oh, yeah. lines. It looks so beautiful. And it is just following what's on the paper yeah. itself. That's really interesting because you start to look into the paper differently, don't yes, you? Yes, and it's really nice if you're just starting off and you're not sure. Yeah. Because it will create, it will give it, it makes it look like you've, it's got texture yeah, 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 yeah. by just going around just the different colors yeah. yeah and obviously then you can start to add your own elements and in can as I well show something else while we're on this if you've got a piece of let me just show you this if you've got a piece of parchment like let's say my bit here let's say i want to add a little bit more interest yeah because right, i feel you know i'm struggling to find you might be a bit too dark if you flip it over onto the other side so now here's the thing because I did all the colouring in on the front, yeah. see now if I if I I can go in now and I can I can take out colour with a rubber with an eraser. Ah, Do you see what I mean? You take so out the colour of the I paper. Can add shade, yeah. See, so I can add shade here. I can add interest. So the bits that I'm if I'm if I haven't got enough interest, yeah, I can yeah, create. Yeah. So I'm making a boulder there now, or under his foot, let's say, yeah, just yeah. with an eraser like that. Then when I turn it over, I've got my, yes. now I, so I didn't have anything there, now I do. Yeah, do you yeah. see what I'm doing? See, so you've, you've literally. So I'm creating my own yeah. look. Yeah, yeah. That and makes that, so much sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, completely. So that way. So just a different, a different technique, a different look, isn't it? Yeah. I love that. And That's you, a really interesting technique. And when you've got these, like, boulders or stones that Tina's doing, what's really lovely then is to, just do straight lines behind yeah. a minute, Tina. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What a lovely idea. That is superb because yeah, you can change the look of the the uh, parchment completely. And and also, you know, you've got pink erasers and you've got white erasers. Now the white one, and we will get these on the show. They're like they're like hen's teeth trying to find these things. <laughs> they are. I've um, never heard that expression. Got, well, hens don't have a lot of teeth, no. but the pink end <laughs> is more of a, a shaded end. So say I wanted to, I don't want to completely eliminate the colour, I just want to add a little bit, I want to lighten it a bit. Yeah. See, I can cut across here uh, yeah. and I'm taking it out. Yeah. Do you see, when I turn it over, you can see oh, that I've, yeah. I've taken some out. That looks really but I effective. I have completely whitened it. Yeah. Just, so if you want to do, you see what I'm, I've done here? It just, it, 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 it lightens the, the, the saturated ink, yeah. but it doesn't whiten it. Yeah, yeah, whereas yeah. the white end does. I really like that. Uh, watch out for those then, because, yes, Come like... Come into a screen very near you <laughs> any minute now. Unlike hen's teeth which you're never going to get. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness. Um, no, that is a really, really good tip. I like yeah. that. I like that a lot. Um, what's it you want to So, do? if I put that on the paper, now, the, the lovely thing about, you know, the paper and the parchment is because they're the same design, you know, you can lay one on top of the other, yes. match up the design, and... Uh, there you go. So if I just stick that with my groovy tabs, just there. Beautiful. And the parchment is sitting on there. So I can continue and look for the same design and continue it oh, along yes, there. yes, on the paper. On the paper. And just, again, just follow it through. That's beautiful. So you're just oh. picking up the color that's already there. The it's lines that are there. A cool way of looking into the paper, isn't it? Yeah. And for for this, actually, um, you know, my hand is pretty shaky at the moment, which is quite good because it gives me that <laughs> wavy <laughs> line for this bit. So, you know, it's just a, it's just so an it, added it, technique. It, it works even if the hand is a little yes. bit shaky. Yeah. You know. Yeah, it still looks good. It just good. gives it. A completely different look as well. Yeah. Each time you do it, you'll see different uh, um, splatters and spots and things. Yeah. So and it's just emphasising what you can see, but but it is changing it so it becomes your piece of artwork, isn't it? And the other thing is that each design, each paper sheet, whether it's in Shenandoah, Shenandoah is yeah. the one with the landscapey ones, but yeah. Rainbow River, Northern Lights, they've all got because. You know this morning you were on with Lou and you were doing Yupo paper? Yeah. So these originals, they were made with alcohol ink on Yupo paper. Beautiful. And so that's why you've got all these splats. Yeah. 
yeah, um, yeah. was where I spritzed it with yeah. a, a blending solution, yes. and it just all, sh all yeah. shatters. Just moves, it? just and, moves. And that's how you end up with all these splats, yeah. um, which is exactly what Tina now is encapsulating. And which it's, easy, really. it's easy but so effective and it makes you look into like your own designs that you do at home you think oh my gosh yeah i could be doing you know that yeah. with my own paper so it really does it really does give you a brain a workout doesn't it the thing about this is if you you couldn't do like you need the parchment you wouldn't want to do this on a piece of a yuko yupo paper with you want the design. You don't yeah. want the con you don't want the consistency of alcoholing on Yupo paper when you're doing this. It wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah. Right. So here you want the parchment because this is where you can. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just translated yeah. it into parchment, yeah. which which is great. Yeah. No, I think it's fabulous, and it does. It gives you so many different um, scopes, so many different ways of using it. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. Just beautiful. But so, when you when you start using doing the white work on it, it blow. It, you watch it come to life. It's, it goes from being nice to being incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I need to ask you, Tina. We yeah. need you to lean back again. Oh, so, sorry. sorry. I, I'm so engrossed in this. It's like <laughs> I'm having such a brilliant time. And um, we've only got 15 minutes, my love. Oh, so oh, that's a little time work. update. Yeah. Time update. So yours looks darker than mine. Is that because of? I'm using a different colour paper. It's a yeah. different paper. It's just a different colours. Yeah, I'm just using. I a suppose different mine paper. is a darker one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Then. I'll, I'll I'll go back. I'll go back to you. <laughs> so what I've done <laughs> is down, um, <laughs> just just quickly, I have I saw a little bit of hills on this paper along there. Yeah. So I've just gone and outlined the yeah. hilly bit. Oh uh, yeah. And then you know I. Maybe I want to do something different in there. Maybe just do lines. Yeah. So I can just go ahead. So all my hills, maybe this is what I would do. Beautiful. You know, we showed how to do trees in the 11 o'clock show. So, you know, have a have a look on Rewind yes. for that. And let's do some embossing. Beautiful. That's um, the one. You can see that the shows. one. That's where, where you see what, exactly Tina. what Tina's yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah. And that just looks, I mean, it's fab, and isn't it? And that's where you can see the difference between the different pen thicknesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the heavyweight pen, that really, really breaks up the hills. That yeah, creates your definition. You need the definition. Yeah, the and it with the, well, and trying to create the depth that those dark, beautiful, solid trees where a little pen is going to take you ages. So it's so yeah. nice to have the bigger, thicker pens. Yeah. Yes. Um, and that's a beauty of getting the full pen set. If you do want the full pen set, they're at the bottom of the screen for you. 734931. Remember, you're getting all seven pens there. Okay, white work, Tina. Okay. So we'll, uh, on here we can see we've got all these white areas. What we've done there is we've embossed from the back on nice. the parchment. Yeah, that's lovely. So yeah. let's do a little bit of that. I keep saying, uh, to me, my stag looks like it's got a serious case of chicken pox or measles. <laughs> <laughs> I keep looking at my face thinking, it's got chicken pox or measles. Poor it sorry. just looks like, yeah, it's sunny <laughs> with freckles. I like that one better. Okay, it's so we're going to turn freckles. it to the back. Okay. And um, am I getting this now? Yeah. I'm just looking at you. Yeah. yeah, I'm just watching Tina, weren't I? I'm like, what? <laughs> Tina's got one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm going. Come on, catch up. <laughs> no, I mean, she's got one. Why does she need another? <laughs> honestly, honestly, I were like, I don't, I don't understand this. Okay. So a bit of embossing. So. Yes tumble dryer sheet just going to rub it on the thing because it will um, help glide the tools Marvelous. easier and then using the ball tools now depending on the size of the flower or leaves you're trying to fill you'll start mm -hmm. with either a really uh, you'll start with number four ball tool or yeah. number three number two so I'm going to start with the number four on the bigger petals I have so I have a look and see the designs you have so or the leaves. So, for example, I've got leaves here. Yeah. So I'm going to flick slightly towards me. Beautiful. So it's just nice it go... and soft. And you know, like when uh, when we're doing normal embossing, we would do this in layers. Yeah. Advisable, you know, if you wanted to have it go really wide, you know, do it in layers. I didn't emboss it a lot, to be honest. 
uh, when I did my finished uh, sample because by the time you do just a little bit of embossing, because it goes white, it pings. Yeah. You know, even yeah. if it's sort of a grayish white, it will ping it compared to pings. the rest of the paper. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I've got to show you something. Can I, can I just interject? Of course. Okay. So, so let's say, right, rewind, Gray. Let's say mm. I've done my freehand piece, yes. and it's really dark, isn't it? Like yeah, 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 I've like mine. Done, Mine's right. quite tricky. Okay, so I've done it on here. Yeah, yeah. So then, can you see that? Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Now, when I turn that over, I can almost not. I can almost not see what I'm yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah. be embossing. Like me at the moment. So exactly. Yeah. So Barbara to the rescue. Barbara, so what do I do? I do? It on my pink, if I put it on my pink. Matt, mm -hmm. I cannot see it. I can no. see where it's light, you're fine, and then it goes, then it goes wrong, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. And this is where, right, so that's where I've got to show you. Watch the difference now. So then I go like that, uh, right, yeah. and in comes, enter the light underneath. Into the light. Right. Put yours on there as well, right, and you'll see the difference. Boom. Right. Yes. And then what we need there, we still need a soft mat. Yes, indeed. So you've got choices. In fact, I bet if I put this on here, let's have a look if this oh, will work. Oh, yeah, that will work still. Not great, right? So okay. watch, we go another one. When you buy the light wave, you get one of these white things. This is this white sponge. Yeah, thing. I like these. They're nice. So it's if squidgy. you put this, like a poly bag, on it, mm. right? And then you do your. That's now do, miles look, easier. You can see exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you can see exactly. That's still on the, still working easier. on the back. And now you're going into those really dark areas, right? Perfect. And you watch. When I turn that over now, it's a, it's a bingo. Yeah. Look. Yeah, that works much better. There you go. And you can get right into the darkest area like yeah. that. And that is, so we've had to have a light source underneath. Yeah. You need to press a bit harder, you'll be here all day. <laughs> yeah. Give it a bit more welly. You, see, I've been watching when they say, when you say, oh, you know, it needs to be nice and gentle. And <laughs> yeah, not that gentle. Let it no, rest. Not yeah, a touch of parchment. She's let it rest. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Do that, let it rest. Now oh, she'll rip through. Yeah, all right, it's well rested. Now so give it a bit of I've pressure. I've been watching, and now she's telling me to break all the rules that she oh, told yeah, me. Oh, working. Uh, on, you back on. You you'd be surprised how much pressure I can do and pretend I'm not. It's like, I'm, I'm, hey, what's it? Sting like a doodah? I can't remember a thing. <laughs> there you um, go. The light source, we haven't got it on this show, but we have got it on the website. Do check that out, um, obviously, under our wonderful clarity. <gasps> we had a I mini one. I haven't even seen the mini one. I didn't want to, I see, it had a baby. I didn't want to uh, interrupt, but I just wanted to explain that when you're getting into the dark area of the parchment, this is the only way, really, isn't it, Tina? Yeah. That you're going to be able to see what you're... Because you can... Um, what a difference it makes. Yeah. It helps if you're working on the right... Uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> huh? There you are. Hey, look, it looks well good. Doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Well good. There you go, well done. I mean, you can't see anything that I'm doing because obviously I'm not showing you. <laughs> nope, so so that's the way to do that. <laughs> um, what are you doing, Tina? Embossing. Just embossing. Just embossing. Being so very relaxed. <laughs> it is very therapeutic, this, isn't it? It's it is yeah. funny because after the 11 o'clock show finished, Barbara and I were still here, <laughs> like doodling a bit more. Let's do a bit more. Let's we do a bit more. We hour, didn't want to get up. Just a little bit of downtime. Uh, <laughs> it is very, it is relaxing. I mean, doodling is just fabulous. And if I think the doing those downloads and obviously um, sending the ideas out, it's brilliant because sometimes it is where to start, isn't it? It is. You know? And I think what you'll find, let me just find a piece of dark paper to show you. Yeah, let me, can I just show you this? Yes. And then you'll see in that really dark, in that really dark area of blue, that's how you can make this jump yeah. absolutely beautifully. Yeah. And then yeah. when we line that up, we take that and we put that against our piece that we were, see I'm working on this art piece now, and we line it up and we look see and it really jumps doesn't it yeah, yeah. that looks and amazing 
Yeah, this is why the, the parchment why is definitely worth having a go at. I mean, get the parchment, you're getting your papers for nothing. You get your paper pad for nothing, but your parchment, it's this is so easy, medium. but it gives you such a different look, doesn't it? So can we have a look at what yours looks like sure. now? Sure. Let's have a look at the Where's the Apparently. blue, pa put it on the blue paper, on its, man on its part. On its home? Yeah. Let's have a see. There. Look. See, it's starting to get there. Yeah, it's so oh, pretty. So pretty. It's so gentle. So isn't delicate. It? Yeah. Isn't it clever? It's, it's just so, fabulous, isn't it? You know what we were saying it? earlier on about taking, um, taking a piece and cutting it into a quarter? Yes, yes. It would feel a lot more achievable to you, because you yeah. look at that and in your head you go, God, I'll be able yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. So, so this is one of those things that you either you either set yourself, you know, this is a job that you come back to again and again, like most yeah. parchment art. Yeah. Or you cut it into four and you make little samplers yeah. and tags and then you enjoy I think completion. that's lovely. And Some then you like can put them together. We? Yeah. Whereas I'm okay with never completing anything. Uh, <laughs> now, what was that question? Sorry, my love. So, Penny has said, um, what parchment are we using? Oh, which pad are you using yours from, ladies? What pad is your paper this from? This one is from Rainbow River. Rainbow River. The one okay, okay. Yes. you have is Shenandoah. Shenandoah. Excellent. So, thank you ever so much for your question. Um, Rainbow River, go for that one. Well, go for it, any of them, all of them, because it's such a good deal. Um, if you do want to go for that today, remember you've got your choice. You're getting your, your beautiful parchment, but for nothing, you're cool. getting the paper pad that matches. Now, is there a reason I am working on a plastic bag? Because... Because <laughs> <laughs> take it away and now yeah. go. All right. It, it acts as a resistor, so uh, that I'm working with a much smaller ball. Right, so, okay. And yep, if yep. I, because I've got as much smaller leaves. Right. And so if I, I, I'm not bad at it, but you'll see, if you start, there's a chance if you're working on a larger area, what the bag does is it just stops going it's through going the parchment. Through. Yeah. Right. I can feel it squidging in a bit more. Do you feel how it's a lot spongier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all that does is it just, it just stops you getting too carried away I right. mean yeah you'll see what I mean I get your drift yeah I yeah. get your drift see how it's whiter yeah even though you're doing exactly the same thing once you take that away it you got you're going in yeah. further I can so feel it I can feel whereas the pink mat it's got built-in resistance yeah it's like this plus that yeah equals the pink mat Perfect, okay. Um, and obviously it's just packaging, you're just recycling packaging. Um, three minute warning. Thank there you. you. Three, minute <laughs> three minute warning. I knew you liked your three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> three minutes! Um, is there anything you need to tell us in the final three minutes? I, I'll hand that over to you, Tina. Tina, you're we're both handing it over to you because we're busy. We're <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Tina. So, no, if I put mine back on this, I can show you where I've got to. And, no, I'm just uh, not listening to it now. <laughs> and, Sorry, uh, Tina. Go on, Tina. Yeah. Sorry, Tina. I am no, 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 that's fine. No, I was, I was, I was um, <laughs> what's it called? Positioning it. So, I wasn't looking. Um, so, I've embossed the little areas there. Oh, that's stunning. And um, be. I haven't embossed a lot, you know, yeah. not like normal when I would do it on a regular parchment, I would make it go very white. Yes. But just this Isn't little bit of embossing yeah. still makes it really pop. pop. Yeah, that's you cool. know, yeah, it's, it's really so pretty. Good. And uh, yeah, so I would go ahead and fill in the other areas. Amazing. Emboss them. Um, this here, can I show you just quickly here? This yeah. here, although it's not something specific like a flower that's there. Yeah. I still, when I finished mine, some areas looked dull compared to the white areas. Yeah. So I decided I was still going to do a little bit of embossing. And I'll show you the difference on one side to the other side. So I'm just doing little flakes just to make it pop a bit more. Otherwise, the sections where we don't do the embossing sort of almost disappear. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know what you mean. Let's have a look. So... There we go. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but just by putting yeah. it, it pops as compared to there where it looks a little yeah. bit more just gives you that uh, shade uh, in, doesn't it? subtle mm. you know this makes it pop those and sections the, yeah. and the thing to point out is that the black ink overrides the embossing yeah, even it if yeah. it goes across across the whole section yeah the black stays true doesn't yeah, it? it does yeah and it is like you said the black it oh, actually so nice does pop that. more because yeah. of the embossing the black yeah. really does come out yeah. more now definitely you see it properly don't you yeah yeah that looks really good that's a good tip that's a good technique we've only got 45 seconds uh, when you're back ladies <laughs> One of you. I'm You're not one of you. I'm not one of you. I'm not one of you. I'm here on tomorrow. Saturday. One of the clarity <laughs> team. Ba, ba, ba. I've got my brand new lounge tomorrow. Am I on at nine? <laughs> You're on in the morning. I mean, I, I should know. <laughs> And then, and then, and then Paul's Four, here at six o'clock okay. on Saturday. Saturday. Excellent. Yes, he is. And when you back, I see now. Um, April. April. And I'm back the Sunday, next Amazing. Sunday. Amazing. Yes, I am. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Full clarity team. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Liz. That is Thank so you. nice. Uh, check Thank your you. baskets out because it's all lovely. Thank Thank you. You. rocks. Clarity, so does clarity. Um, okay, next we've got our lovely Haley in the building. It's her own handmade by Haley show. We're then introducing Archer Stray, brand new show, cannot wait, and then she won day special. Hi, I'm Charmaine from Dolly Dimples Crafts, and my passion is in card making and three dimensional. Uh, paper crafting pieces and we're a family run business and I just love making three-dimensional pieces and things that come to life as well as using our products for card making you can also use them for scrapbooking and mixed media and mixing some of your own products that you've already got in your crafty stash I'd love you all to join us to watch us on a chanda and see the demonstrations and the hints and tips that I can bring to you. Um, great for new crafters and experienced crafters as well. So make sure you don't miss the Dolly Dimples craft shows on a chanda. This set of 100 powerful neodymium magnets are an essential staple for scrapbookers and album makers alike. Ideal for creating fastenings for your albums and envelopes or for use in your scrapbooking projects, these incredibly strong 10mm magnets offer a firm fix and a smart finish. To add this to your crafting stash, go to achanda.com. I'm Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils, the Craft Station Limited. We're a craft retailer and we specialise in stainless steel stencils. Our stencils are manufactured in metal. Uh, this allows us to have designs that are intricate. We also have new products coming on board. Um, our craft bonds, our uh, pole drops and acrylic paints are joining us. We've recently joined Hachanda and we're really excited. This allows us to demonstrate and show our products. Um, we know customers like seeing um, the demonstrations. So make sure you tune in and don't miss the Sweet Poppy shows on Hachanda.
there and welcome back. Welcome back to um, what's my second hour today, handmade by Hayley. But as you can see, I'm on my own here, so thank you for joining me for the next hour. And of course, lots of lovely interaction if you fancy that. Get in touch, studio at achanda.com. We had questions coming in the previous hour, um, which is at 10 o'clock this morning. So I'd welcome any questions that you'd like to send through. But we're concentrating on two kind of um, two areas, really. Um, you may well be familiar with my cork panels, which I launched uh, beginning of January, actually. And this is the fourth in the series. So you can see we've got um, cut and quilt panel number four on your screen. Now, the previous ones that came were obviously one, two, and three, and they are available. I think we've got three um, that's listed on the show today, too, as well. And the idea is that within these panels, you are going to be able to create three quilt blocks. Think of them of, as um, kind of quilt classes, where you'd normally go off to a shop and choose your fabrics and put your quilt block together, and then over a series of maybe 12 classes, then you'd put together a fabulous quilt. Well, what I've tried to do is make it so as you can have that class in the comfort of your home. So the last set of three completes the set of 12, and when you put them all together, then you could be cre creating a beautiful quilt, um, just like the one that we've got here. Now, the three blocks that you can see at the top, the bow, the twisted weave, and the star, those are the three designs featuring in the last panel, the final panel, panel number four. Then you can see as we go down, we've got your disappearing nine patch, you've got your weave, and you've got your jewel box. Those were all on panel three. Next one down, your card trick, your butterfly, and also your cross, those featured on panel number two. And then the first panel to start the whole story was your log cabin, your churn dash, and your windmill, and those were from panel number one. Now, all the designs that you see there are from the watercolour flowers um, range, and every single one of those blocks has been coordinated, so you've got the continuity of those colours there. So you've got the pinks and the purples and the blues running right the way through. But don't worry if you're not into your pinky tones and your blue tones. Then we've got choices, because we've got your fabulous um, birds, you've also got your leaves, and then, of course, you have got those watercolour flowers that we were touching on. Now, in the last hour, it was the leaves that were proven to be the most popular so I thought I'd show you the blocks that you're going to be able to create with this panel. So you've got your twisted weave here. Um, again, that features with all the other colours too as well. In addition to that, you've got your star. And we did touch on how to put these two together at 10 o'clock this morning. The simplest of the three is your bow. Really easy where you've got your triangles, your half square triangles coming together to form your four patches. So that one is your um, leaves. Now, don't have to worry about the instructions because the instructions are all on the panel. So you've got a set of three panels which you've got the details of on the screen, but you can go for them individually too as well. So at the bottom, you'll be able to see the twisted weave. So that is the first panel that we've got at the top here, separated with that black line. So if you want to just go for the twisted weave, you've got your choices with regards to your pattern. So this one's your leaves. Again, you've got your watercolour flowers and you've got your birds too as well. Um, next one down, we did learn how to create with that one in the last hour. Next one down is your star and again this is available on its own through different choices but if you are going for the complete panel you'll get this one too. And then finally the bottom one there is your bow and this one again being the leaves panel because it's all part of panel number four and again you've got your two other choices or you can go for your bow on its own. I know some of you did do that earlier on. Now what I try to do with any of these panels is give you some extra fabric. So on this particular one you've got a big rectangle of fabric there and during this hour, I'm going to be showing you how you can potentially use that to make blocks of your own and also make blocks using your own fabrics too as well. So that's how the principle of the panels work. Nice and easy, keeping it nice and simple, perhaps for people who want to just have a little go at quilting because you don't need to actually have any quilting tools. You don't need a rotary cutter. You don't need to have um, a quilting rule. You can just literally cut these out with a pair of scissors because they are all sized to perfection. Those triangles, the squares, rectangles, whatever you need for that particular block, all measured out to perfection. So that one it was your um, your leaves. Then, of course, you've got your watercolour flowers. So the ones that we saw um, on the, um, the quilt a few moments ago. So I didn't give you an update, sorry, with regards to the leaves. What was the update on the leaves, sorry? 40% of the leaves, busy for that one, so thank you for everybody that's placed your order. Watercolour flowers, this one has proved to be the most popular in the past. Half the stock of those have gone. And then the final one that you've got, which is kind of your antique theme with your sepia tomes and then also your um, creams, is your birds. So perhaps this is the one that floats your boat if you want to go down that route. Details are on your screen though, so whichever of those you choose to go for, just £39.99, and £219.296. Um, and of course, if you do want them individually, they are 
down at the bottom there too as well. Now panel three, I've not got the actual printed pattern to share with you, but I have got those finished blocks. So it's a similar sort of concept. So you're going to learn to create, um, create your, um, your weave. This one, um, all three of these are your watercolour flowers. So you've got your weave. You've got your nine, uh, disappearing nine patch. Okay. And then you've got your jewel box too. Now the jewel box and the disappearing nine patch and also um, your weave, they are all available again with your birds, your leaves and your water, um, your, yeah, well all three options, birds, leaves, watercolour flowers. So the birds, again those sepia tones and you can see how they are going to work alongside those others that you've got from panel um, four. That's the whole idea of them is that I wanted them so as they all worked well together. So you've got exactly the same colour palette on this occasion with your birds. And there's your jewel box. And then the final one with this one, a bit brighter, you've got your disappearing nine patch, you've got your jewel box in your leaves, and then you've got your um, weave with that one too as well. Um, again, if you want to go for that particular um, panel, um, then the details are there, £39.99, three choices. And again, they are available individually too as well. Just check them out on the website. Um, previous panels are available. Now, if they're not on the website here at Achanda, then do check out um, handmadebyhayley.tv because you should be able to find them on there. So, what about adding contrast fabrics? Well, in this hour, we're going to be featuring um, the quilting rules that I've had developed to create your binding to go around your pieces and also, um, well, just create all sorts of different blocks of your own too. So, um, we've got a fabulous little bundle for you. These have been put together by Hayley Smith using the colour groups that we've got with our um, fabulous um, fabrics. So, these ones, all of these, all 10 of these fabulous colours are coming to you for £32.99. So you can see you've got blues, pinks, purples, all of those colour tones would work with your watercolour flowers. You've got your mid-tones there with your dark brown going right the way through to your lighter tones that would work beautifully with your birds. And then the final um, set that you've got there are your greens um, going right the way through. They're going to work really, really well with your um, leaves. In fact, that dark brown would work with those two as well. So yeah, nice bundle those. Brilliant quality. You've got a half metre in each of those, £32.99. And you've got, um, with these, I think it's salvage to salvage with these. These are uh, kind of just sample pieces. So it's uh, kind of the half the metre width ways. Um, so with these, you've got a smaller piece, but salvage to salvage, you could actually cut that and strip it um, to make your um, binding, which I'll show you how to do in the next part of the show. 442-680 if you're wanting to get hold of all 10 of those. And on the website, you'll find all the things we're chatting about. You'll also find my quiz quilting rulers on there. I've been working with a lovely Andy from Crafty UK and he's been helping me. Um, I had an idea of what I wanted, didn't quite know how to put it all together so he gave me some design suggestions and we worked together on this one. So handmade by Hayley, handy square because it is exactly that, it's a very handy little square and then you've got your binding ruler as well. Um, both of them bundled together though with a discount so if you are looking at getting both of them then £35.98 is the deal to get hold of them both together. These are brilliant. I'm really pleased with these, I must admit, because they've got all the elements that you need to create some fabulous um, pieces. Now, where's my piece of card? Because of the, them being clear, it's a bit tricky for you to actually see them in the flesh. So I'm going to pop them down here on the card. So here, as you can see, um, you've got a four inch um, wide rule here. Along this edge here, you're looking at around 12 inches. So it's a good piece there. You can see it's handy because it's the size of an A4 sheet. So very easy for you to take on your travels with you. Got your mitered edge here too as well. So if you are wanting to join your fabrics, then you have got that there. And also if you're wanting to square off triangles, things like that, then you can use that. It's set at um, uh, inch intervals here. So if you did want to make a small square, then you could do quite easily and you've also got your half inch um sorry quarter inch um seam allowance with a dotted line there as well which comes in very very useful second part of the bundle is your Haley's handy square and i use this all the time it's so useful um it's three and a half inches square which of course if you wanted to make a three um, inch square within your quilt perfect sizing beauty of this is you've got your little markings here your little holes in the corner there so you can actually put your markings in there so if you cut around the edge put your markings in there to actually find all the points so you can see there that would give you a quarter inch um, you can hardly see it there actually should have done it a little bit darker but there you go put your little markings there and you would know that's your quarter inch when you've cut to the outside edge the inside area though I was quite aware that we've got a lot of space in here so I wanted to make it into something that's useful so what I've actually done is include incorporated a bias um, binding maker here where you've got 
different sizes going from your quarter inch through to one inch, one and a half inch, and two inch finished width with these as well. So really useful. So I'll show you how that works to start with. But the beauty of this is you can actually use the rulers, both of those rulers together to get you shapes that will allow you to actually create your own quilt pieces too as well. So if you've gone for the previous panels before, you'll be aware of your square, your three inch square. You'll also be aware of your um, half um, triangles, sorry, half square triangles. You'll also be aware of your quarter square triangles too as well. And these are some of the most useful blocks because if I bring in this one here, which is your um, card trick, we learned how to make this one in panel two. And I've got my little quilting window just to show you that when you're actually working with these blocks, if I isolate one area there, you can see you've got your four little triangles. So by using your four inch wide ruler, you can actually make triangles in a similar manner in your own fabrics to create that. You can also use that four inch um, triangle, to, sorry, four inch rectangle to create triangles to do your corner pieces there. And of course, mix the two together and you've got that little uh, section there. So you can see how those shapes come together to give you the illusion that those fabrics are all kind of interlocked. We'll look at that again in a few moments. So, for the time being, let's move that all over the way. I need to move, bring this in and also my ironing pad. Um, so, let's start off with this piece here. Now, this measures four inches wide. I did play around with it a, a little bit earlier on. And this is going to help you create your bias to actually use to edge your projects. Use it for straps to go on bags and things like that too as well. Um, and this one I've cut to four inches because the end width that I want with this, I want it to be two inches wide. So that's why you'll see on here your finished um, width. And the instructions that come with it do actually tell you to cut your fabric to twice the width of the, the finished width that you're wanting. So on this occasion, it'd be four inches. Obviously, if you're looking at one inch, it would be your fabric would need to be two inches wide. One and a half, it'd need to be three inches wide. And of course, half an inch, it needs to be one inch wide. So relatively easy to figure that out. So we're all ready to go. Just gonna bring the ends in, just like so. So they meet in the middle, like that. And just press probably an inch, inch or so, something like that just enough for you to actually feed it through the little handy square itself. So take the handy square and, and as I say, the instructions will explain to you, but you're going to take it through the slot which is closest to the middle. So it's going to come up through that particular one like so, and then down the outside, almost like a, a belt buckle kind of effect, like so. Um, and then all you need is a couple of little pins just to secure your fabric in. I'm going to take it right the way over to the edge there. Oh, don't pierce yourself with a pin, Haley. It's never a good idea. And then all you need to do is just move it a little bit along and then press as you go. Now, the iron can go right the way up to your square. Don't press onto um, the square, but just up to the, the square. And what I tend to do is I kind of place my fabric and then I move it along. And what you will find is that it's creating that fabulous bias strip for you as you go. You can go quite speedily with that. Something else that I did also find while I was playing around with this, and obviously if you need to move it along then you do, just move those pins. So quickly and easily you can be making that bias tape. But what I did also find is that when you actually um, use the square, because it's covering your fabric a fair amount when you're working with it, you can use, you know how you do finger pressing with your fingers? Well you can actually do that with the square itself because if you kind of give it a bit of a wiggle as you're moving along, will actually press those fabrics as it goes through. So it's nice if you're going off on a class or a workshop and you're wanting to do your bias and you're not necessarily going to be able to get to the iron because sometimes there's a bit of a queue at the ironing table. Then you can see there straight away you've created a lovely piece of bias um, ready for you to use. Now if you do your quilt as you go then that could obviously sit over the top of your seams almost like your sashing. Um, if you're wanting it to go around the edge of the quilt you might want to fold it over a second time and if that is the case then you, all you need to do is um, pass it through again. So this time, it's, it was two inches, so it's going to be one inch at this stage. So again, pass it up through the middle, closest to the centre, down through, around the outside. Again, just secure it with your pins. Oops, a bit thicker this time. A bit more gumption. There we go. And then again, just take your iron and then press and move it along, like so. There you go. Nice and easy. I've oh, got my iron caught up on my pin there. 
And there you go, you can see you created your bias again there, quickly and easily and really neat, ready for you to use. So I've been using it quite a bit, um, very useful. But of course, as a square, it's useful too as well. And this is where I'm gonna get, bring my cutting mat in. Because with each of those panels, you do get an extra little bit of fabric. So I thought, what a neat idea to be able to cut your own, um, your own pieces. So now the square here, um, three and a half inches um, around each of those sides i'm going to pull out let's pull out that um fabric so we don't use that at the same time and then all you need to do if you are actually i'll do that um you are cutting you you your rect and not your rectangles your squares you can literally just lay that down and take your rotary cutter and cut around so let's pop it into the middle there so it doesn't move around on the overhead camera take it up to the edge because i know that's a straight edge up there as well um, rotary cutter, obviously when you're working with a rotary cutter, make sure that you cut away from yourself. What have I done with my glasses? Put my glasses on so I can see it straight, what I'm doing. There we go, pop that down there. So, rotary cutter, always away from you. Obviously make sure you've got a nice sharp blade. Um, on this particular occasion I'm using a rotating cutting mat. Um, and these are all things that, as time goes on, um, you will invest in. If you're into your quilting, the idea of the panels was uh, really for you to have a go at quilting before you had to invest in any uh, material. So there we go, straight away, we've got our little three and a half inch square. Um, your quarter inch seam, if you've not got markers on your machine, then what you can actually do is just take a little um, mechanical pencil and put those markings in the corners. You've got little drill, um, drilled holes there. So when you're putting those little holes in place, you know that when you line up your fabrics, then that is going to be the point for you to actually stitch. And you can see there quite easily, that would be your stitch line. So when you're sewing on your machine, you take it from that point to that point to get your quarter inch seam allowance there. You've also got the ability to make smaller pieces with these. Oh, you've got your centre point as well. So if you do need to find your centre point for any reason, you can do that's in there too as well. But say if you wanted to do a rectangle, so there I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, okay, I'd like to do a rectangle, not a problem. All I need to do is find one of those other markings. So again, bring that card in so as you can see. Um, you've got your one and a half inch marking there. So that's your, your halfway point. So what I can do is actually use that now on that cut edge that I already made. And that's meaning that all of those little areas that have got all those waste pieces, I can actually turn into usable pieces now. So I'm just gonna pop my rotary cutter on there. Oops, a daisy. There you go. Rotating it round. It is easier to actually cut it away from yourself. Now, you may already have a mitered ruler. That's not a problem. Um, you can get hold of the square on its own. I know that's the way that a lot of you are getting hold of them. But there, again, there you can see, straight away, we've got a little rectangle. And of course, those little rectangles were used in things like your churn dash. So you have those ready. And of course, the beauty is that is going to stitch beautifully alongside that square that you created a few moments ago. But what about if you want to do triangles? Now, the thing is, if you wanted to do triangles, you have to, this is when the math starts getting into it, and this is when it can get a little bit, to, which is why I did the panels to make it easier. You need to make your um, triangles slightly larger, or the original square to start your triangles slightly larger, because you're going to be stitching two triangles together. So rather than it being a three and a half, um, inch square it needs to be a four inch square so hence the ruler being four inches so pop that to one side bring in another fabric on this occasion bring in the uh, one with the butterflies these are still fabrics that you're getting as a bonus in with those panels so all I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it down on my cutting mat now you will have little markings on your cutting mat which you can follow if you want to as well so I'm just going to take this straight edge there line up my ruler and as I say, it's nearly 12 inches from that point down to the bottom there. So I can just square that off like so. There you go. And then all I need to do is cut at four inches on this side. So I'm going to rotate it around because I'm right-handed. I find that easier. Um, just make sure that's lined up. Um, and then I'm going to go down that angle there like so. I don't need all of that fabric. So I'm only going to use that little bit at the end there. Um, bring it round this way. Um, actually, no, that way because I'm right-handed. <laughs> and then just uh, line it up so as I'm going to cut out a four-inch square. So again, I can use the width of the, the ruler for that. So if I put it down that way, there you go. doesn't matter whereabouts I place it on the mat. I know the point from that side to that side is your four inches. So I'm just going to take it like that and I like that across. Oh, didn't quite catch those bottom bits. Might need a new blade. Pop that there like that. 
So now we've got a square, but that square is going to be too big to work alongside our, tri um, our square there. So we just need to cut it on the diagonal. And all I need to do is literally take my ruler now from one diagonal edge to the other. And that, cut that across there, and that will give me my triangles. When I stitch those together with my seam allowance, it will then make it into a square the same size. So that's using that edge there okay so I'm going to do that again actually with which what fabric shall we use we'll do this one I think so again just going to do it very quickly we'll start stitching some of these together in a second so again making it four inches across there and straighten it up there but you can take it right up to the edge there so you're not you having any waste at all like so, and again down there, oh it's moved a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because I can use the edge of the ruler. Just make sure you line that up. There we go. And again there too as well. And then I'm going to take that across the diagonal, like so. And I'm going to stitch those together in a minute to make those half square triangles. So I'm gathering up my pieces, but now I need to make my quarter square triangles. So again, I'm going to go back to that large ruler. And it needs to be, um, where am I, four and a quarter inches wide, this particular one. So the ruler itself only comes up to four inches. But I'm going to use that extra little bit there in a few moments. So I'm going to use my rotary cutting mat just to get my straight edge to start with. Like so. Okay. And I'm going to actually put that, I should have put that on the inch mark there. So all I need to do, if I rotate it round, count across my inches, so one, two, three, four. And then the dotted line, I'm actually going to put on that solid line. So I've got one, two, three, four on my cutting mat, and then the extra quarter of an inch on my ruler. So this means that when I actually take these and cut these up, they will end up being the quarter square triangles. Like so. Oops. Didn't quite catch it. There we go. And then we're going to measure across. So one, two, three, four. And again, that little dotted line. Lining it up there. Whoops. Moving around. Stay there. It's been a bit jumpy. Put the ruler on it. That keep it still. Line up that dotted line, that's given give me my extra quarter of an inch there. So that, when I take that from corner to corner, and corner to corner again, that will create my little quarter square triangles. There we go. Oh, didn't quite catch that bit there. So again, those are allowing, it's all that about that seam allowance, but these are all the shapes that you will have used in your original panels. So you've got the patterns in your panels, it's just cutting your own fabrics for you to go with those. But we're not going to cut, we're not going to stitch those together just yet because we've learned how to do those patches before. Um, I thought what I might do is have a little look at putting the quilt together because of course the binding is going to help you put the edge on that quilt. So let's move these to one side just for the time being and we'll come back to those in a minute. Or shall we? No, we'll carry on with these. Sorry, I'm changing my mind now. Because it, it's logical to work with them. It's logical to work with them. So I've got nobody to argue with. I can do it on my own, aren't I? So, um, so we might need some more of those quarter square triangles. Let's see what other fabrics that we've got are going to work with these. In fact, I think I might pinch some of those planes. Jack, could you choose me one of those pinky purple tones that we've just been looking at? Um, or oh, the pressure, the pressure now, which one are you going to go for? It's to work with those these fabrics here, so you can choose any you like. Or oh, the blue, it's entirely up to you. Oh, the boy's gone for the blue, so traditional. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that. or oh, put him under pressure then. His face is like, oh, I don't know which one to go for. Now these fabrics are really nice weight fabric. They work alongside the quilt fabrics that we've been using within the panels really well. Let's give it a little bit of a press just to get that so as it sits nicely. And I'm going to make some more quarter square triangles with these, I think, and show you how they can all come together. I'm rambling away to myself here. I do apologise. It's easily done there. <laughs> oh, 
Do you know? Now, bring these back in again. So it's the quarter square triangles that I'm doing, isn't it? So let's just take a little bit of that fabric. I'm not going to take all of it. So just take some of that out. We'll just use that much. Pop that back in a second. So again, going for the four and a quarter because we're going to make them into your little triangles. So again, be quite frugal, as I always am with my fabrics, because you want to make them go as far as you possibly can. So I'm lining it up with that one, taking it through there like so. Um, and again, we're going to take that onto that line. I moved it to there, so it's lining it up onto that solid line there. Oops. Very slidey rotating mat, this one. This is a replacement. I had another rotary cutting mat, which I lent to somebody who was demonstrating on air. And I can't, for the life of me, I can't remember who I lent it to, but I never got it back. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And then we're going to put that dotted line on there to make it into four and a quarter. You could actually move it along and make it into more of a, I don't know, it could be six and a quarter or six and a half if you, you want to as well. So there we go, six and a quarter, sorry, four and a quarter. And then again, we're going to cut it this way too as well. So cut it on the solid line there. And then, where are we? One, two, three, four, four and a quarter. There, two as well. Like so. Whoops, a daisy. And again, we're going to just put it on the diagonal. So going from one edge there to one edge there. And then rotate it round again and corner to corner again. There we go, and then we've got all our quarters. Now we are ready to start sewing some of these together. So I'm going to bring my sewing machine in. My goodness, we're halfway through the hour already. Wow, that's gone quick. So uh, I'm going to take my two colours there. So I'm going to go with my blue and my kind of flower. I think you chose well, Jack. You can choose again. I'll let you choose again. Oh, it's then chuff, bless him. Right, what have I done with my pedal? Oh, there it is. So what I'm going to do now, and this is something that you will have learnt um, when you were working with the, the chambers before, um, different ways of putting those triangles together. We're just going to use the straight edge on these ones to make them into little kind of triangles, which then will come together to make your um, larger squares or your patches. Because, of course, patchwork is all about putting your little pieces together. So you put your patches together to make your blocks, and, of course, that's where patchwork comes from. Just take, we only need a couple of these, to be honest, just to show how it will come together, like so. And then, of course, we did those larger ones. So I'm going to pop those to one side, because I don't really need those ones at the moment. We did the larger ones. What did I do with my larger ones? Like being, being at home. That's my square. I need that one in a minute. I need that one. And I need that one. So the larger triangles, of course, this is where we took the four inch and then just cut it in half on the diagonal. That's going to go through like so. Stitch to those together like so. And then put that through like so. And I think that's pretty much all of those done. Um, these little ones here, I'm just going to press these before I stitch them together. It's always good to press your fabrics before you stitch them because they will move around a little bit. So these are our quarter square triangles. So again, originally they started off at four and a quarter as a square. Cut on the diagonal. Oh, and I should have, oh yes, I did swap them over. Just to make sure, I thought I'd done it wrong for a minute then. So lining those up. Line up that straight edge at the end there. And this, I've just got a little um, quarter inch foot with a guide on there, which allows me to make sure that I have got that uh, quarter inch seam running right the way through. And of course, you often hear us talk about a quarter to inch seam with quilt, and it traditionally is the, the size of the seam that you use. But to be honest, as long as you keep this, um, the width of that seam the same throughout everything it doesn't matter whether it's a quarter or inch or whatever it is going to be you just need to make sure that you do it across all the pieces so there we go so there's our little block so those are our triangles that was our 
quarter square triangle, half square triangles that you've got there, as you can see. And then what you can do is you can trim, trim them off with your block, not your block, your little square as well. So that was your original. Bring in your little square. And this is where those little points come in useful because the little centre point, a bit tricky to actually see here because we've got pattern fabric, but you've got your little hole in the centre there. That is going to line up on your diagonal. And then you just need to line up those dots on the opposite there. So you've got all three of those running along the seam. So that means that wherever it is on that little square, you know that you're going to get your three and a half inch square. So just trim those down just to make sure that they are all right. Always making sure that you've got those little lines lined up. So that one, there's not much just come off the edge there, just a smidgen. And again, on this side here, just to neaten them up. And on the panels, in, in the past, I've kind of said to you, you don't have to neaten them up using a rotary cutter. You can just trim off little areas using the um, scissors if you want to do. But that now is going to be the exact same size of that square that we need and um, cut around simply in the beginning. And similarly, with your little triangles, then you can put those together again. Put the little dots there in the centre and on the diagonals too, as well as your placement points. And then again, just trim those off. So again, just trim off those areas like so. Oops, a daisy. Definitely do need a new blade on this one. Those little lines. What you can do, you can see how that's not sitting quite right in the centre there. You've got a lot of fabric sitting in the middle there. So what you can actually do is just snip in. These probably aren't the best of scissors to do it. A little pair of scissors would do it best, but I haven't got a little tiny pair. Um, just taking out the bulk of that fabric there. Don't go right the way into the seam though. Just take that kind of little nugging out. Is that actually a word? A nugging? Nugget. <laughs> I've just heard him here. Oh, nuggets. Yeah, I must admit, I could just, oh, I could devour a box of chicken nuggets now. Anyway, we digress. So little um, dots on the sideline and the little markings there. Again, trimming those off to make sure that you have got your little square. Of course, you could do this if you wanted to with the, your larger rule, but you need to make sure that it's three and a half inches because, of course, you do want to make sure that uh, they all line up perfectly when you're putting them together. Um, again, the little dots there as well, lining those up. If you haven't got complete markings um, where you're lining up, you might have gone off very slightly, maybe stretch your fabrics. Don't worry too much. We're not looking at winning prizes with these quilts we're just looking about having a little bit of fun and there you go you can see now that that particular one is going to line up with that one and that one so that's when you can start putting them together to make your shapes in the same way as you did with that because that's what happens you put in those little squares so for instance that little square there could have been that corner there that little square there could have been the center and again that one there could be a solid one um, as you would find with one of the, the quilts so just shows you how you can actually use that quilt rule set not only to make your bias with your tape as we saw earlier but you can actually make your little pieces too as well um, they're coming together as you can see on your screen there so if you do want to go for them both together then you can do but equally so if you just wanted to go for the little one on its own then you can do um, 18.99 if you want to go for the one on its own 35.98 if you want to go for both of them but of course whichever way you want to get a hold of them this particular one incredibly useful and we'll use that again then um, on the quilt in just a few moments but I'm going to give you a quick review. On the website, you'll find all the different bits and pieces we have been chatted about. So it's so, so easy. All you need to do is jump on there, um, pop anything into your basket that you so choose. Uh, it could be the panels. Um, it might be that you're going for the quilt rulers. It might be that you're revisiting panel number three, because of course we have got those available for you too as well. But panel number four is the latest in the, um, the range. So it's completing all 12 of those blocks. And the idea behind this is that you would learn how to create, over time, 12 blocks that you could then refer back to. It's almost like you've got um, a working book. So rather than flicking through the pages and learning how to make these blocks, you are creating each of the blocks which you could put together and put together in a quilt, as you can see here. Or it might be that you take them as individuals and turn them into cushions, turn them into panels to go on a table runner. Um, could be a panel to go in a bag. 
it's entirely up to you. But the key thing is I wanted you to have a go and experience quilting without having that extensive outlay of all the rulers and everything. You can see the binding that's on the edge there, that purple binding, that has been put in place using the handy square with the details that are at the bottom of your screen. So if you do want to add that in, um, you can do. But of course, you've got three choices with regards to those designs. The watercolour flowers that we've just looked at. You've also got your leaves. Um, and you have been liking the leaves. Um, the leaves is a nice one, contemporary look if you wanted to go down that route and that's the one that we're going to be working with in a moment so you've got your bow um, and the bow I just uh, demonstrated how you could actually put those little triangles together to make your bow uh, so that one is your bow that one is available individually at the bottom of your screen with your three choices of your different prints then you've got your star I think this is my favorite in this particular one I like this one, but it's so easy to put together. I'm going to bring my little window in because, again, it's going to show you that if you are looking at that little area there, well, this is going to be a tricky position, isn't it? Hold on. There you go. That, you're looking at just two little triangles that have been put together to make a square. So that's how these come together. Demonstrated that one at 10 o'clock this morning. Really easy, as was the twisted weave. So those are the three designs on your leaf panel. If you're wanting to go down the route of the birds, then you've got same idea. You've got your stars. You've also got your bow, and in addition to that, you have got that twisted weave. Um, and then if you're looking at the watercolour flowers, again, you've got all three of those. Again, your bows, you've got your star, and finally, you've got your twisted weave. Um, if you're wanting those, then £39.99. pence. Individually, they are available at fourteen ninety nine. Just check out on the website for the individual item numbers. Now, of course, when you are placing your order, if you do start finding that your post and packing creeps towards that £7 mark, might be worth thinking about becoming a Freedom member. Um, but if you're adding lots and lots into your basket, the bottom of your screen, you'll see Flexi Order featuring there. And that means you can spread the cost of your order. Um, and, uh, well, how do you do it? Well, here's how. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. It certainly is. It means you can get all those goodies in one go without having to wait. So where are we up to with our panels that we worked on this morning? Well, I finished off the final one, which was the bow, and I've stitched that in place. And all I've done is I've taken all three of those blocks and I've stitched them together. So you can see straight away that um, sashing in between just comes part of the, the actual quilt because that's what I've incorporated with those panels, the sashing. So literally those blocks stitched together like so to create what could be a little bit of a table runner. Then all you need to do is pad out your quilt. So I'm going to move that to one side. And here I have got some of the interlining that Joe from Mill Shop Online brings. I don't know if you've got it on the show today or not they usually add it on but I forgot to check um, and it's a brilliant um, brilliant way I've never used it before I started doing the handmade by Haley shows but honestly I love it um, it's pre-shrunk so you don't have to worry about getting it prepared it's all ready to go and it's a meter by 54 so perfect for you to work on many of your projects and at 9.99 incredibly affordable if you're making your um, blocks up as the 12 block panel then uh, you'll have more than enough in that piece that's on your screen there so 9.99 then you just need to check choose a backing fabric so on this occasion I've just used some white fabric that I've got in my stash but you could use some of those fabrics that we've got in that bundle and all you're doing is you're going to put those together now there's a variety of different ways that you can actually put your quilt together um, sometimes people will do stitch in the ditch and actually sew around all those shapes we haven't got a lot of time to be honest so um, I would usually just pin these together 
um, and uh, look at um, doing perhaps the outside of the block. So where you've got those um, joins between the sashing, you might want to do those or just do your little square there. You might want to do your little square and all you're doing is stitching through all three layers and that means you, you're getting all that fabric stitched together and that's pretty much what I did with uh, those panels. Where's it gone? Where's the block? So this particular one that I've got here, that's pretty much what I did with that. So that was just one of the blocks that I worked on. Got my sandwich together and then stitched through. In fact, oh yes, I didn't miss one because that doesn't have one um, stitched through there. But you're just following where you've got those joins in the fabrics and it just gives a nice kind of squidgy effect. The quilt that's hanging up though, I didn't bother with it. I didn't do it. I just literally put some blocks at the back, pieced them together and then just kind of uh, put the binding around. So that's the way that we're working with this. So I'm going to pop that to one side because we need to make our binding to start with. And of course, it's nice and easy when you've got the uh, the tool to do it. So I've taken some fabric and I've turned it selvage to selvage. So it's the full width of your fabric. And on this occasion, I think I did three inches. Yes, I did three inches with this. But um, in order for it to go all the way around my quilt, I'm going to need a bigger piece than just one of those widths. So what I need to do is mitre the corners to mean that I've got a complete and continual run. So I'm going to take one of the fabrics and I'm going to lie it straight on top of the other. Now with these, because the colour runs right the way through, you can kind of, well, you can't really see that there's a right and a wrong side to this, so it's very forgiving. But if you are working with fabrics that have got a pattern, just make sure that you do have your right sides together at this particular stage. So what I'm going to need is, well, if I pop the ruler, there it is. It's transparent, so I can't see it. So what I need to do is stitch across that diagonal. So I'm going to line these fabrics up, and you can kind of see where that fabric is below, but I can actually line it up so as that straight edge there um, is, as you can see there, lining up with those little markings there. And then I'm going to actually stitch on the diagonal. I'm going to move it over a little bit, though, because it's a bit close to that salvage there. So I'm going to line up that top edge with my cut edge there, bring my other fabric in and just make sure that it is true down there. And you can see that mitre edge is taking me right the way across that fabric. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little friction pen, which is one of those heat erasable pens. And these, I picked this up from um, the supermarket in the stationery section. And it is literally one of those ones that you can run your iron over and it disappears. So if you're struggling to get hold of those, then, uh, yeah, good old supermarket. Starts with T, ends with O. That's where you can pick those up. They do all sorts of different colours as well. Um, there's purples and all sorts. I'm quite impressed with it. So all I'm going to do is stitch across that diagonal now. Again, using... Um, same sort of stitch length as you'd use on your standard quilting. So we're looking at about two and a half um, uh, millimetres with your stitches. I've still got my quarter, um, quarter inch guide foot on there, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. And I'm just going to stitch along that line, like so. I think I've wobbled a little bit, but not to worry. I'm not going to do the whole piece of the bias and we won't have time to actually put it right the way around and on the quilt but you'll get an idea. So now those two fabrics when I open that out you can see you've got that continual run and because you've got that seam on a diagonal it means you're not adding a lot of bulk. If you were adding it so like that if you've got like a straight seam you've got an awful lot of bulk in there so it doesn't lie very easy and then all I'm going to do is just trim away some of those little bits there just get my scissors in there because it's just simple like so there you go and then again just press that some people press that seam open some people press it to one side it's personal preference really I'm going to press it open on this occasion because it kind of distributes the fabric um, stops it getting too bulky just mind your fingers when you do get in there and do it don't forget we've got that um, set of 10 different colors to work with your quilts and I picked out those colors um, because they are perfect to work with the panels that we've worked with over the last um, well, three months actually since it started covered a lot within that time so look at that for a neat edge and of course that now means that that strip is twice as long as it was previously and you just measure around your quilt whatever size your quilt or it could be a table runner or whatever you're creating and you create that bias um, kind of mitered seam there and away you go but we need to turn this into our tape so back with our trusty square 
handy square. I'm going to cut the end of the fabric off there because you've got your salvage. Make sure that when you <laughs> you press in it, you have got your seam wrong side facing you um, because you don't want to have that on the outside. It doesn't look very pretty. So we're going to go to the end and we're going to bring those ends in again, like I mentioned to before. Bring the two together like so. Press it together just to get it started. And this time, because it was three inches wide, I'm just going to make it the inch and a half on my um, little guide. So find the inch and a half, which is that one there. And you can see finished um, one and a half inches there. Always make sure, and it does mention this within the instructions, to um, have your fabric twice the width. So on this occasion, three inches. I'm going to take it, feed it up through that slot which is closest to the centre of your square and back down the outer side one. And then just pop those little pins in place like so. And then taking your iron on the setting to um, whichever um, fabric you're working with, um, take your guidance from your fabric. And then all we're going to do, the left hand, because um, I'm right-handed, I'm just kind of guiding that. I'm just holding it just gently. And then I'm just sliding that ruler along trying not to bring the pins that are stuck in at the same time. And you can see you can just um, run that along like so. Don't put your iron on top of the square, just move it along. And then, of course, once you've actually got it in place, you can just give it a couple of little presses too as well to make it um, stay true. What I have found as well, as I mentioned at the top of the hour, is you can use um, friction heat, which if you wanted to, you could do this just to kind of press it roughly. I always do suggest using the iron to get that pristine press on there. But just again, by pulling that fabric in, guiding it at this stage, and there's literally just pressing and moving that, you can see that you're kind of getting that friction. Just be careful, because it does actually get quite hot, your fingers on here. But I'm lifting it up slightly with my left hand there, just so as I can get that. And again, just press, put your thumb on there just to keep them together. But press that and move it backwards and forwards. And you can see you are starting to get that crisp edge there. But of course, it's always best if you do do it with that iron just to finish it off and then move it through like so. And then what would happen with that is that is going to sit neatly on the edge of my quilt. Um, what sort of time are we doing? We'll do a quick little bit of stitching on that quilt, just so as you can see it going into place. Um, I'll just trim that off there. There we go. So there you go. You can see that's nice and neat. If I did need to fold it again, then I could do. Um, so that's not a problem at all. But what? In fact, I am going to. I'm going to press it over again because I'm going to do the quick version of the stitching right the way through all the layers. So that now um, it was an inch and a half at that stage. So um, I'm going to pass it through the one that's an inch. Now it is a little bit narrower, but it's only just to kind of give us that out edge. So that'll be fine for speed. It'll be okay. Pop that in there again. Just give it a little bit of a, a run along there. There you go. And then again, just lining that up as you go. Now, of course, you would continue doing this for the, the whole length of the, the quilt that you're working on, but because we're just working on that small piece, I'm just going to do a little bit like this. Um, move that out of the way and bring my actual quilt back in. So, with this, I'm going to trim off the edge of my quilt as well, or part of it. It's a big project to actually do all in one go um, in the time that we've got. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my ruler in, um, and again, because it's you've got a 12 inch um, kind of span there, I'm just going to line it up like so on the edge of my fabric there and just do a little bit of a, a run of a cut there. Obviously, you would take your time and trouble and you would actually make sure that you are lining this up. Just making sure that I've got about an inch there on that outside edge, just trimming it off because it's easier to actually have those edges all neatly together like so. Um, and wrapping around. So we'll just do that little segment that we've got there, just time-wise. So a little bit of a run there, that'll be okay. So what I'm going to do is with the piece that I've got, obviously this is much shorter than I need for the whole quilt, I'm just going to take it and for speed, and if you are new to quilting as well, and it's the first time that you've um, finished a quilt, I would suggest you do it this way because it's just easy. Your bias there is going to wrap around your quilt and you've got a nice neat edge. So some people, some people would suggest that you um, kind of stitch um, 
this way so you'd stitch along your fabric like so and then you would turn it over and turn it around the back and then you would hand stitch it in place um, I for speed and it depends how kind of precious you are about your finishing I'm quite happy with this to just wrap it around and at this point you can just decide how much of that um, outside edge you want him to, sh to show do leave a little bit of a gap because when it actually comes to finishing your quilt you will need to join those fabrics there but on this occasion we're just going to put them down just like so and then just work your way along like that pop that piece in there bear in mind that you have um, obviously you trimmed it all um, you've done any of that top stitching that you want him to do as well so then we can run around here oh let's trim that edge off there as well for the corner okay i've not given myself a lot of fabric to actually do the corner that we've got but we'll see how we get on because corners can be a bit tricky when you're doing it this method i i find it relatively easy to do but yeah if you were doing it as a wrap around what you would normally do is you stitch up to here to this point and then you would bring your fabric round and stitch down that way and then kind of wrap your fabric round the back but on this occasion what we're going to do is we're going to come along to the edge there and then I'm going to put a little pin imagine that mitered edge so imagine that diagonal line going right the way up to the corner there I'm going to put my pin in to about there which is where I'd need to take that line off to the edge you can always put a little mark if you wanted to so like so so i'm going to bring the fabric to the machine now bring it in again i've got the wrong color thread but if you were at home and you were doing this you would put the right thread in and i would actually change my foot as well because the foot that i've got on at the moment has still got the quarter inch guide in there but i don't know what i've done with the other one so it will do no, don't know what I've done. Did I put it in my pocket? Did I put it in my pocket? No idea. It's somewhere. It's walked off. <laughs> Did I put it in there? That would be the logical place to put it. No, not to worry. So, <laughs> I've got the guide on there. So this is going to be a little bit tricky to actually stitch it, but um, we'll go for it. Um, now, when you're top stitching, if you're going through all of the layers here, you're just going to stitch quite close to the edge. I'm going to keep my put my needle so as it stitches the needle goes down and that means that when I actually lift um, the uh, or stop with the fabric the needle will stay in there so I don't have to worry and I'm just doing a top edge stitch just right close to the edge like so I've put them in a safe place because I thought to myself I need that later on and for the life of me I can't remember it's been a long day now if you do start to find that you've got any little bits of puckering in there then just take your pins out and kind of just give it a little bit of a, a wiggle i've gone off a little bit there with my line but i'm sure you'll forgive me for that and then i'm going to work our way to, okay robin said no that's a bit harsh <laughs> oh dear that's that's one less uh, card on my christmas list then that's <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to go right the way down to the edge here um, as I say you would take your time to make sure you've got that space in. and as I said the foot that I've got on here isn't the best to, to work with but it's kind of doing the job then I'm going to take it right down to that little guideline that little mark that we put with our friction pen there you go so you can see that line coming up and I'm just going to stop when I get to the line with my needle down and then I'm going to rotate my fabric so I'm actually stitching along that line it's a bit tricky for you to see from the angle that you're at but where that line is that I drew I'm just going to literally stitch off like so then I'm going to pull my fabric out um, and you can see there that's what's happened there is it's stitched through all of those layers so it's a neat quick and easy way to actually finish your seam you don't worry too much about what's on the back but on the front there you can see you get a nice nice finish but then we've got that corner so what i'm going to do with the corner is a little bit of kind of fabric origami where i'm going to take that now imagine that's a long enough piece that's going to wrap all around so i'm going to make a little kind of uh, well it's like it's, is it like an airplane where you do the little point on a paper airplane i think it is isn't it so you can see it there 
In fact, I'm going to give it a little bit of a press and you'll see that pen mark will disappear because of the heat. And then all I'm going to do is wrap that around again, like so, and then stick a pin in there. Now, there are the Puritans out there with the quilt in quilting that will say, oh my goodness, that's not the right way to, to bind a quilt. And there's lots of different ways you can bind a quilt. I just find this nice and quick and easy. Um, and as I say, if you just get into grips with it, just learning, then it might be a quick and easy way for you to work because you're putting that binding right the way around. Uh, stitch that very, very quickly. We've not got very long to do that. So I'm just going to do a little stitch there just to keep it in place. Take my pin out. Um, at this stage, you've got quite a few pieces of fabric there. So just take your time going through those. Be sensible with your machine. Don't force it through those layers. Stitch it down like so until you get to the end of that run of fabric. Oops, like so. And then what you can do, and I, I do this, again, some people out there would say it's not the right thing to do when it comes to quilting, but I've never been much of a rule follower. Um, I go back to that diagonal corner. And because you've got kind of like a, almost like a little lip there where it's lifted up, I actually go back in and stitch over that to put it in place. And again, if you are using your same colour thread, you could do it if you wanted to um, by hand. Got quite a bit of fabric there, so ooh, is it going through? Yes, it is going through. Um, just put my little tack stitch in there to finish it. And then raise my foot. And then obviously trim away your threads and you can see there, whoops, You've got a relatively neat corner there too as well. And it's just a quick and easy way of actually putting that bias through. Um, it's not the neatest on the back there, uh, and it's not probably the neatest way of doing your bias, but it's quick and easy, and it's all I could fit in in the time that we've got. So uh, check out, obviously, my Facebook page and also my blog, because I am going to try and get some um, tutorials up there for you um, to work with. But of course, we've been working with one of those panels, panel number four, in fact. Those little pieces that we were working with, put them all together, and you can create a fabulous quilt as you can see here those top three blocks there featuring within panel four the next ones that we're looking at these are from panel three and as we work our way down you'll see panel number two and finally panel number one of course you've got your three different colorways the leaves that i've been working with um, and you've also got your um, watercolor flowers that we've just looked at and of course the um, birds too as well if you want that antique finish too as well um, and then of course you've got your quilting rulers lots of you taking advantage of these so it's good that you you have if you want this one on its own, you can do, which is your square for your bias, but of course you have got them as a bundle for £35.98. It's been really good to have your company in this hour. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. Wow, where did that time go? Oh, I'm looking forward to this hour. We are introducing Artistry Inc. Definitely stay tuned before your final call on your one day special before myself and the lovely Anthony launch a brand new one. Made from 100% recycled material, these 30 sheets of A4 grey board are a must-have for every crafter. At 2mm thick, this high-quality grey board is strong and incredibly versatile, working well with a variety of different paints, inks and other mediums. Add this to your crafty stash at hochanda.com. Hi, I'm Michelle Huberman. I love fashion, I love colour, I love sparkle. I grew up as a child with uh, parents and grandparents who were all in the fashion business. I'd spend school holidays helping out. I always used to make my own clothes, even as a teenager. And at 19 years old, I started my own fashion business. Turnitex is about colour, sparkle and style and it can be added to any project. You can use it for clothing, you can use it for card making, you can use it for glass decoration. It will add those things to everything. This journey has led me to coming out with original ideas and lots more for the future. Make sure you don't miss me with my shows on Hashanda. I'm Paul Church from Clarity Stamp. I've been fortunate enough to turn my hobby into a career and join Clarity Stamp in January 2016. My background has always been in crafting and I enjoy making things and sharing things. That's what crafting is all about for me. 
making things and sharing with others, and also learning all the time. At Clarity Stamp, we bring you a wide range of products from stamps, stencils, groovy, and Percomano. And the great thing about that is that it covers crafters from all different aspects. So whether you're into stamping, stenciling, parchment craft, we've got it covered at Clarity Stamp. So I hope you can tune in and join the Clarity team on Hochanda. Hello and welcome. Well, we've got a brand new show for you. I feel like we're doing a screen test then. <laughs> brand new show with a brand new guest, but it's not a screen test. No, I'm not. This I'm is real. the real thing. <laughs> um, Dave, welcome to a channel. It's Thanks absolutely lovely to have your me. company. Absolutely adore your shirt and bow tie. Thank you very much. It's so try. cool. You're looking fabulous. <laughs> looking fabulous. Thank you. Now, um, obviously, brand new products, brand new company as well, Artistry yep. Inc. Um, tell us a little bit about Artistry Inc. and, of course, yourself where does it all where did the story begin so uh, back in August 2018 um, a group of ladies got together they kind of like were they were already friends on Facebook yeah um, and they kind of got together and thought you know we could we there's a gap in the market we could bridge that gap yeah we want to have our own range of crafty things yeah you know, we, I think that's what we all aspire yeah. to yes we do so, don't we yeah um, and they they got together they formed artistry inc and kind of the rest is history and we're here live on her channel the with thing that. is the thing is dave <laughs> this was how long ago uh, six yeah about six, six months, months ago yeah. six months six months it's taken yeah. them six months to have this like oh i wonder if yeah. to be yeah. in live these on ladies don't mess around <laughs> that, that, yeah there ain't no, there ain't no messing going that on, is either. absolutely incredible and i love it because you've already like chatting there's already like we want to do this we yeah. want to do this yeah. so yeah. already a real lots of energy yeah. you know a real excitement about what we're going to be doing and the, the forthcoming stuff and you know this is just the start of, of what we have to offer. That's really, so exciting. So, yeah. And what about you then? Have you been crafting for a long time as well? Yeah, kind of grandma taught me to sew and Amazing. all of that, right from, you know, being a dot and yeah. uh, using a treadle sewing them. machine and that sort of thing. Oh, so, yeah, fabulous. I used to do the treadle, she did the sewing. Um, and from there, you know, I dabbled throughout my 20s. Yeah. Um, you know, I realise you're not. I'm not 20 anymore. I'm only 30. So. Um, so. <laughs> Same age as me, love. <laughs> it's funny we all are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I, d I kind of dabbled um, with craft, um, yeah. and really about 10 years ago, I kind of went back to to crafting. Yeah. Um, I was going through a difficult patch at the time. Um, I discovered I was autistic, um, yeah. and it was a great way to kind of manage my mental health. That's um, really good. And, yeah. yeah. And I, you know, I'm kind of driven by. Being a bit of adding a bit of diversity to the world, yeah, and, yeah, and and the ladies are really passionate about that diversity. Yes. Really want to bring, you know, let's bring different people into the yeah. crafting yeah, world. Yeah, absolutely, you know, absolutely. So and I think what we found on a Chandra as well is that no one's pitching old. You no, know, it's not, not like well, no. you're only going to sew. You're on everybody's yeah. pitching old. See what I did there, chickens, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, but but. <laughs> that right, wasn't a, that wasn't on purpose. That was excellent. Oh, get okay, you! Okay. Don't should we, should we stop start. There? Don't start. <laughs> but no, that's what I love about this industry. You know, yeah. you can have a go at anything. You um, can indeed. It is also about, of course, the products. Brand new company, brand new products. Already been busy before the hour. So let's go. So we've got two different stamp sets to show you. Um, so I'm going to pick the stamps up so you can see. So you've got mother hen, and then you've got the tools for us let me show you first of all so the stamps beautiful of course all hand-drawn yes they all they are all hand-drawn so yeah. specific for artistry ink if i spin yep. these around you'll be able to see clear stamps i tell you what is nice you get little instructions with stamps you, as well yes, don't you yeah you certainly i did do. notice yeah. that i'm yeah. going to show you board so you can see that's really nice the way anyone who's brand new you've already got yeah. your starting yeah. block yeah you know, it's just about you know some in interesting information in there, and I had to keep them clean and I had yeah. to keep them nice and really what you can important. Do with them. <laughs> yeah, really important. And these are really really sweet. So we've got I love you, happy anniversary, hem party, 
boom. Um, have, have you heard, because they look like the gossiping. Yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it could be any news could that, could, because indeed, look, she's yeah. there sitting on the little she, egg. Yeah, she certainly is. Oh, and little mother hen, you've got the little um, chicken who's escaped, and then the little chicken feet as well. They're really sweet imagery. Yeah, they actually. are. Actually, yeah. lovely yeah, imagery. Yeah, thought about. Mm, yeah. They're yeah. the kind of imagery that's quite warm, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, you know? exactly. Homely, that sort of, like, yes. you know, we all, we'd, we'd all like to have a farm with a few chickens. Yeah, yeah, things, cheeky free range chickens. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got the cheeky free range. So your first one, of course, is Lovely Mother Hen. That's your first collection that you can choose for. Brand new today, only 14.99. 10% of the stock has gone. It is lovely to have your company. Thank you oh. very much. And then you've got, and I'll pick up the clear stamp so you can see exactly where you're going. I'll show you the boards though, because then you can see the sizes, of course. And then look oh how cute are these so you've got your new arrivals in your easter time here and obviously with these look at the baby chickens I know. yes absolutely gorgeous we all need a few baby chickens this time of year you know yeah. up to easter spring isn't it spring <laughs> has indeed sprung so you've got your fantastic little cockerels uh, you'll always be a spring chicken to me uh, oh thank you i'm glad you said so so <laughs> <laughs> just for you um now again really lovely stamps i'm going to show you some of the beautiful designs i have to pick this one up first it's the rules <laughs> is it because this is the We've magic? Been told, yes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Favorite, 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 favorite. Right there. Boom. See cards like that never yeah, ever no, they don't, get dull. They, no, they don't, do they? A yeah. card that keeps could, on giving. It could keep me entertained for hours. Yeah, hours. In fact, it does. So. Uh, yeah, it's, it is clever. <laughs> Even though I know how it's done, I forget every time, so it still impresses yes, me. It's, yeah, which still is, magic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. still magic. <laughs> um, we've got so many. See, there's so much you can do with these. I must admit, Dave, the the we've got so many beautiful finished yeah. samples. And such a wide diversity of the things that have been made from them. So yeah. Yeah, and they oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That's brilliant. <laughs> that's well funny. I really like that. That is so cool. They do look a bit punk, don't they? That's absolutely... See? Died her, it's all the rage. <laughs> it's absolutely, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what have we started? Well, you're feeling inspired. I know, I, I think I inspired that. I think, yeah, it was you that's inspired the nation, so. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, these are brilliant. I love that. And you see, there's so many beautiful, um, as I'm looking at that, there's so many masks that are going to go with these. Yes. There's so many things that have already, I've already got that are going to yes, go with these yes, as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, the lovely imagery. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Is, yeah. Yeah. Really, kind really beautiful. That kind of early morning sunrise. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It does indeed. That is lovely. I tell you what. I suppose at this point you're going to have to introduce us to your mate. Oh Who's yes. Your mate, Dave? So this is this is Tobias. <laughs> Tobias. Yes. He's of our it rooster, is. our resident rooster. So. Um, the Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Tobias. No. Oh, he looks a handsome chap. He's doesn't a he? very so, handsome yeah. chap. He's not real. It's no, not. A, he's not. It's not a stuffed cockerel. <laughs> it is actually. Um, has it been made out of polystyrene? It's polystyrene. Yes. It's a polystyrene. You were tempted one. to give him a poke, weren't you? Yeah, but I'm a little bit like. <laughs> you've given me a funny look. It's got a beady eye. To be, yeah, eye Tobias is a little bit like. He's looking at me. Tobias is looking at me. Um, does he go everywhere with you guys? Well, I'm not. You know, not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Most places, though, to be fair. You know, you'll see us on the beach and, you know... <laughs> Which fabulous. <laughs> and why not? Exactly. Why not? Yes, it's, you know. Exactly. It's cool to be quirky. Exactly. So. <laughs> um, I need to show you these as well, just because I want, I want, but uh, eggs. You know, yeah. you know, chocolate eggs. That's such a nice idea. It is for yeah. Easter. Isn't that a lovely? Yeah, it's just a different way of giving those. Yeah. You know, those chocolate eggs that we give. Absolutely brilliant yeah. idea. Um, but things like that, whether you're doing Easter egg bonnet white, could be for all sorts of occasions. Um, if you do love those. 803028, that's your ISO number. You have got your choice. Uh, so you've got your lovely little mother in, or of course, you've got, I've forgotten the second, Easter time and your new arrivals. 803028. Now, we've got more. Let's trot on indeed. over. These are lovely because you've got your two sets of stencils you as have, well. You have, indeed. Yeah, uh, yeah, two sets of stencils. Um, you've got a, a collection of farmer shaped um farmyard shapes you've got some uh, eggs on there some chickens 
some roosters, and of course uh, a farmer, um, who can be you know, yes. diversified and used as many other things. So, yeah, absolutely. You know, all you need to do is take his... Uh, a pitchfork? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever that's it's, called. Yeah, that's you can it. tell I don't do any gardening, <laughs> don't you? <so. laughs> yeah, that very big fork. <laughs> no, that's it. It's just a really handy yeah. and a lovely little, um, a lovely um, detail on that. These are really thick yes, as they well, are. aren't they? They're 350 microns and, and, and that makes it really thick, very durable. Yeah. Um, and it's also great because you can also... Um, you know, emboss with them. You can, yes. You can put your uh, your texture paste. You you know, mix for mixed media. You can do so many Perfect. things with it. Yeah, so. I love that. That is beautiful. It is really, it? really nice. I mean, for a gift for a kitchen, yeah. um, you could even put like a little calendar on that, a little yeah. uh, post-it yeah. note pad. You know, it's quite so reminiscent of one of those iron plaques that used yes. to get the advertising signs. Is yes, that? it is, yeah. isn't it? Because it's got that sort of rustle up to it as well. It I love that as well. That's absolutely yeah, that's, gorgeous. Yeah, Brian did that. He's uh, he, he thinks a bit out of the box. Yeah, that is beautiful. Does. And that's it, you see, the chicken wire one, that could be used for literally anything. Now, yep. this is a bit gorgeous. That, like, that's special, oh, grief. isn't it? Yeah, hold on. So, open this, like this. Wow. Oh. Who's done this? The work that's gone into this. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, there's a lot in there, isn't there? Oh, that's that so... is it. Uh, see what they've done there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I know I'm childish. <gasps> this is beautiful. It is. Wow, yeah. what a fantastic little book. Imagine me. Um, that's a question. Making to sell. If I make things like this to sell, is that okay absolutely using the stamps fine. and things? Yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, um, they're cool. You know, you you make things, you sell them. Just don't sell them in their own yeah. right, in their own way. So to, don't resale what we've already yeah. sold to. Yeah, you. and I mean, I know looking at this, the papers. These are on the CD. We've yeah. got the CDs. Yeah. Get ahead of us on the website. We've got a massive collection of CDs for you to look for. We have. If you want the CD that this is going to match, uh, please check yeah. that out because it matches absolutely it does perfectly. Really, it goes really well with yeah. that. Yeah, you need that. Yes. Because it, it just... It's a must-have. Yeah, it yeah. really is. It really is. And you can always stamp on the glorious papers as well. Um, if you do want that CD, I'm sure we'll give you the details in a little while. Um, it is, if you do want the, the wonderful mass that we've got here, that is 634558. Um, that's your item number. Your CD is at the bottom there. Now, you've got a choice of two CDs. As I say, we will be showing you in a second, but it's important if you want this one. Well, it's fresh in your mind. Um, only 99 stand for two CDs, four, nine, six, three, four, seven. Right, but if you do want those masks, gorgeous masks, yeah. loads and loads of techniques. Yes. Just ridiculously yes. handy. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, Love them. yeah. yeah. Um, 634, sorry. That's all right. 634, 558, that's your item number. Right, we've got more, she says in my head. Now, I like this because it's a completely different change of pace. Yeah, it is. But yeah. that's a lovely thing about all our crafting, the yeah. diversity yeah. of it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We're, I mean, if, we, if we look at our crafty stash at home, mm -hmm. I, I can guarantee it'll be diverse in its nature, won't it? It'll Absolutely. Have lots of different things. And if you haven't already got a diverse collection, maybe you should have. Absolutely. <laughs> Start now. Absolutely. Start yes. getting a diverse yep. collection. These are beautiful. If I hold these up, Callum, we haven't got a piece of card have with it. I could put these behind. Is that okay? Because um, it always makes it a so bit easier. There's a piece of black card here. That would be perfect, Dave. That's exactly what we need. Thank you, my dear. That's a fabulous, amazing. So, so what we've got here now, seriously that, cool. Yes. That yeah. big open space is going yeah. to allow you so many different uh, possibilities. Absolutely. And also, they've got a bridge in them, and that's for the, the, the way that they've been designed. It just yeah. strengthens it in design. But you can always take that bridge away. Yes. Um, yeah. You can fill it in you know, afterwards if you choose to keep it. So. Yeah, that is cool. The other one that you're getting, again, beautiful, yeah. good, thick masks, these. Absolutely. Um, Tis the season to be jazzy. I it like that. Is. Every season's the season to be jazzy. That's really cool. I can, I can yeah, <laughs> we can sing to that one, can't we? Play your music. What else does it say? Yeah. Um, earphones, earphones in volume up, world off. I like yeah. that. That's yeah, quite that, often yeah. Happens, Chill out. Yeah. 
Yeah. Happiness is finding that perfect song. That is such a cool sense of... Right, I need to show you some of these finished cars because we have got so many finished samples, but look how cool this lot is. It's very good. Seriously yeah. cool. Yeah. Some good stuff going on here. Oh, look at that. See, and that's just cutting out that image, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, Using and that's, that as a and that's filling that bridge as well. Don't forget, you know, the bridge is there for yes. strength purposes. Yeah, so. yeah. A really, really beautiful, beautiful designs. And look at that. That's magical because it's literally just that that colour. Yep, it isn't is. Isn't it? With yeah. the stencil a over the top. Colour. Yeah. That looks so effective. It and easy. Yep. You know, well, really you easy to do. <laughs> that is brilliant. It's a brilliant idea. Hold on a sec. I'm feeling. There you go. Think, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's so <laughs> cool. Well, bring it right up to date. Yeah, it's, uh, and you don't need a lot of stuff on a car. Yeah, to, no, you don't. To, you know, that burst that of colour. Across, so. And I think that's it. Oh, that's beautiful as well. I'm recognising those papers again. You, yeah, that's mm. got some of our papers oh, again. Oh, yeah. yes. OK, now then, 213-369, that's your item number. You've got both those beautiful mass. If you do want them, big, nice, thick mass, yeah. loads of ways that you can use these. Now, yeah. get on the website. Chanda.com. Uh, that's where you're finding absolutely everything that we've got at the moment. Um, of course, if you do want anything, join a Chanda Freedom. That means you don't have to pay for any postage. Um, brand, brand new. If you do want to please place your orders, do that. But I want you to say a big hello to Dave and, of course, Artist Drink. Uh, get your emails in. It is studio at chanda.com. Uh, please make sure you get those emails in to welcome Dave to the team okay now i just quickly want to mention the cds look at all of these dave yeah, absolutely this There's, is yeah, lethal to yeah, choose yeah, from and, and this is just you know this is just the tip of the iceberg yeah There's yeah more coming um i love this because cds for me i mean i'll pick this one up because obviously it matches i'll just show you maybe two or three for now so this is your beautiful hemp it let me show you the papers just some of the papers i'll flick through now because it's a CD, you print them on what you want. Yeah, you print absolutely. them as many yeah, times yeah. as you want. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can resize them. They don't have to be as big as this. You can make them smaller. You can make them bigger. You you choose. See, I, I love CD yeah. crafting. I, but so for, do I. for papers, it's just a never-ending supply. It just it, makes sense. Absolutely. And we've all been in that crafting emergency where we just yeah. ran out of that last sheet of paper well you'll never run yes out. You know, and it's getting the papers that match i mean that is obviously going to go with the stamps yeah. i know this is something um that is very that so i'll pick the actual cd up there on it um yeah. so this one is your wordsmith and i know this is something you're very keen to promote yes this is so handy isn't this it this is really good yeah but I, it's so useful and, and this is just the first of many of yeah. this particular type of CD, you know, we're going to have lots of other words um, and in relation tied into other things that are coming up. So perfect. Yeah. And if you're into your mixed media, if you're into yeah. card making, yeah. good size, uh, killer heels. Uh, boom. Um, so, I wouldn't know about that. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not very good on my heels. I'm not going to lie. Well, probably would kill me, to be fair. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ticking that box. The, the good thing with those <laughs> cool. is obviously you can cut them out if you're not yeah. a confident tearer, of, but you know, yes. tear them as well. Tear them yeah. up and Eat like, them, make it, do yeah, what you yeah. want. Now, Age I do them. need to find music, music, this one, because obviously you've got your music stencils. So, your music CD, this is called Music Fusion. And that paper is just That's, fabulous. Yeah, vibrant, isn't it? Lovely, yeah, really that is colour, cool. Yeah. And then you've got some of the more vintage colours, so you can really you know, grunge it up. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, that is a really good collection. Now, you've got tons of CDs to choose from. Sorry, yeah. some at right way, some aren't. Right, what I want you to do, if there's any other CDs, so if you have a look on the website, if there's any other CDs you want me to show you live, because I've got all of these in front of us, um, email in. Yeah. So if there's a specific one, it's like, ooh, can you show me papers from that? Email in. Try before you buy almost. Yeah, email in and say hi, you know. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, hope you feel welcome. Yeah, so. yes. <laughs> um, if you do want your CDs, you're buying two CDs for only nine ninety nine. Endless amounts of paper. That is such a bargain. Four nine six three four seven 
that's your item number right it is going to be demo time we're going to show you on the website how to do your pick and mix um so you trust along to your little old website scroll down dooby dooby doo and you'll see all the fantastic um cds there so if you do want the hemp pet that's there if you want that beautiful wordsmith that's there all available for you all you need to do is pick the ones you want so oh we're going for hemp pecked I like, I obviously like, I like the grunge one. I like the steampunk one as well. Eh? There. Right. Okay. We'll have to go back for more because we want more. <laughs> <laughs> Add it to your basket. Dunk. And then dooby dooby doo. That's it. They're both in there. Um, obviously, join our channel Freedom and you're not paying any postage. All the uh, terms and conditions wow, are on the website. Wow, such a good price as well. I know. Where would you buy a, a, a pad of paper for that mm. price? Though? Well, a, a never-ending pad of paper. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. It's almost saying, I'd like, like that, Mary but I want Poppins it for bag, life. isn't it? Just yeah. keeps pulling it out. Absolutely. <laughs> really good. Um, now, just out of interest, yeah. is, it, um, is it compatible for Mac and PC, do you know? Uh, I'm, I'm. I think it's compatible for both, but yeah. don't quote me. I'll have okay. to speak to my. Can we ask the ladies? That. Yes. Can we ask yeah. the ladies? Speak, speak yeah, to the ladies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find out for you. So yeah, we'll make sure. Um, now, if you do want those CDs, any questions, obviously get your emails in studio at sachanda.com. Right, this is it. Demonstrate it is, on indeed. Dave, what yes, you're going to be showing know. us first oh, of all. Oh, stand back, everybody. <laughs> so we're going to. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this Beautiful. card um, with using the the stencil. So the music miscellaneous stencil. Wonderful. Um, Look at that. And then just kind of aging it up. Beautiful. Um, and turning it into something like it's been lost for a long time. Uh, yeah, like yeah. it's just been rediscovered. Like my marbles. Really, so. <laughs> I know that feeling very well. Okay, where are we so, going to start? Yes. So, um, to, to start off, um, sorry, I should have been more prepared for this. Um, so, we had, uh, we've, what we've done is, I, I, I'm not going to do it um, yeah. because uh, it's, my machine is very noisy and <laughs> you know, you'll need ear defenders really. So, um, But what we've done is I've, I've run this through a, a die cutting machine. Yeah. Any die cutting machine, you do you do need to use your rubber mat though. Okay. Yeah. And I always forget the sandwich. So with your die cutting machine, the, the rubber mat goes... Rubber I always forget my sandwich with it. Rubber every mat. Every single time. Um, I actually have it set up here. Right. So, as That's if by good. magic. Um, so your rubber mat should go underneath yeah. your your um, substrate and then you put your mask on top. Excellent. And it, what it's doing is the, the pressure is pushing the rubber mat through the, the gaps in Superb. the Superb. So it's your layers, then the rubber yeah. mat, your cardstock, yeah. then, then your mask. Yeah. Then and then you're the plate. You're right, plate. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, that's superb. Just as a bit of a, a, a technique tip, um, you often find with a rubber mat they get stuck. Yeah. So yeah. if you just go over it um, with some embossing powder, uh, not embossing powder, um, um, anti static. Anti static powder Perfect. and go over the back of the, the card that you're using. Yes. It just stops it sticking and then you're not there yeah, trying to peel it, it all off. apart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good so, tip. Yeah. Do you need to go? Yes, card? I do. Yes. Indeed. Super. <laughs> and you can see it does emboss absolutely beautifully. There you go. And that's because of the depth again, isn't yep, it? Yeah, it certainly is. Okay, so in order to get it looking aged, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put some... We've all got some kind of gilding polish at yes, home. Yes, indeed. You know, and if you haven't, then you know, get some. I'm sure there's some on the website that you can, yeah. you can go and buy. Um, and in order to start off, what we're going to do is we need to start off by making it really kind of really old looking okay. so start off with some some sort of black um or a, a silver um so a darker a really a darker dark tone. yeah a really dark tone um when you put load it up and then kind of scrape it off you might have the stuff that doesn't come with a pad if yeah. you don't like it on your fingers either wear some gloves or yeah. you or i actually use a lot of like makeup cosmetic um yeah not the sponges, sponges so the, yeah you can go yeah. to the the real cheap places yeah, that come yeah. at one yeah, single quid. figure. <laughs> yeah, those quid. ones. But, and all you want to do is there is no there's no technique to it other than you're just trying to grunge it up at the moment. Okay. So you're not. It doesn't matter how smeary it looks when it goes on. You're just taking the shininess away from the from the metallic paper. Beautiful. Okay. okay. You're not going to see all of these yeah. marks. You just take you. 
dulling it down, basically. Yeah. Okay. So you're taking that sheen off, but Absolutely. because it's a, um, a mirror, you've still got it underneath. Yeah. You can still I, I, and see that's it. What, that's what's good. It starts yeah. off with a mirror card because then you get that. Yeah. It looks metallic. But you start muting it. Yeah. And you can see it started, just started to take that, that shine off it. It certainly has. So then, what you need to do then is you just need to go in and start then adding some. So do you wait for it to dry? These are quite quick drying. Anyway, yeah, they aren't are they? quite quick, quick drying. Yeah. In an ideal world, you would <laughs> wait for it to dry, but yeah. I'm kind of an impatient crafter, and I like kind of I'm uh, no, nothing of mine. Yeah, <laughs> ever looks really clean. Ever My wear. fingers, you know, this is the cleanest they've been for weeks. So like. <laughs> Um, I know this feeling. <laughs> I, knew, I, I knew you'd be a kindred spirit. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. literally just layering. Yeah, all you're doing. Yeah. Is and have you played just... with different colours? Yeah. Um, for yeah. for uh, the effect. You'd be surprised. You know, things that you think aren't going to work. So things like you know, teal and blue and that sort of thing. Really kind of. Add, I think because they're adding a base layer as yeah. well. And you, if you look at any. Um, metal, any kind of corroded metal, yes. you'll see so many colours in that metal. Yeah. You know, if you look at rust as well, absolutely, rust is so full of, of, of different colours. Yeah. And what I like about this, as you're applying the second colour, like, okay, the first might be coming off a little bit <laughs> or like coming down to it, <laughs> but, but it actually brings Sorry. the different colours through it, doesn't yep, it? Yeah, it certainly does. Which looks really effective. I, I did come with a handy heat. Hooray! Heat tool. Just in um, case. I wonder, our lovely Callum, is our lovely Callum there? Would you please pass me an eye, Callum? You know the CD-ROM for the music papers? Would you please pass me that in? Because I know the CD-ROMs have been very busy. If you do want the music paper, it's going to mix and match with this absolutely perfectly. Thank you, my love. Um, these are your music paper ones. Hold on. I'm going to get this Easy one right tiger. way around. <laughs> Easy. I'm kicking Easy. off. Stand Blink. back. Sheesh, it's on your first <laughs> show and you're already already kicking off. Um, there, those are gorgeous papers. This is your music one. Um, really nice papers. Really cool designs there. It's going to match that stencil. Absolutely, Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I know the CDs are busy. They're JPEG, so it means you can work with them on your uh, PC or, of course, on your Mac. It's just a JPEG, ridiculously easy. It's a click and print mechanism. Only nine ninety nine. Um, approaching twenty percent of wow. the music. So the music is really <laughs> popular um, and beautiful. I'm not surprised. Really no. cool designs. Four nine six three four seven. They That's right. Music's number. The food of love. Indeed. It, I indeed. love it. I, I wouldn't know. So like. <laughs> me neither. I mean, I like chips. <laughs> Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah, chips but are, like chips music are good. as well. <laughs> We're talking food for me. Chips. Chips, chips. are the food of love. Uh, chips. Yeah, maybe, that, maybe that's a stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> chips are the food of love. Absolutely. So yep. what, what you're doing now is you're just building up. And that what, looks what really you're going to nice. get is you're going to get this, this patina yeah. that you get from That from looks metal. really cool. See, a bit, and I think because you dried it as well, yep. it's sort of allowing that colour to, to sit better. Isn't it? That looks superb. I really like that. And, and also, you can do it on on silver. Uh, silver as well yeah. because you know the silver lends something different to it can i pinch yeah sure you can yeah because look yeah. at the colors see yeah i love that and i mean the gilding wax just flows on it because obviously it's a, a beautiful surface as well that looks fantastic it is indeed so um keep going yeah. um you know, keep until uh, you're keep, happy bunny. Yeah, until you're happy bunny, or you're completely covered and you can't move. Absolutely, so, yeah, that's that, that's the way to do it. So, um, and um, what you'll you'll what you'll end up with is that's here's nice. one I made earlier. Boom! <laughs> I've always wanted lovely. to say that. You know, so. <laughs> that looks so good, doesn't it? And you see, so if you hadn't used a mirror card, yep. would you not get that same kind of shine underneath? It's not going to pick up the... Mm. What I like about it is you'll find bits where it's kind of scratched off. Yeah. And it, yeah. it, it adds, it lends itself to that, you know, it was a brass plaque, it's now, you know, corroded over time. Yeah, so I yeah that... that I can see what you mean, just around the, the end there, and yeah, yeah. It, it just, it gives you and a just really on the cool break look. of round where the letters are, where, the, where it 
it's pushed back a bit and yeah. you can just see a little bit of metal. And I think yeah. that makes it stand out even more. That like does look so cool. Yeah. Um, if you do want those two stencils, we're now approaching 30%. I adore those stencils. They are seriously cool. Only £14.99, pence, approaching 30%. 213-369, that's your item number. Um, okay, So, um, So, with the finished plate yes. um what i've done is i've just um mounted it onto some pearlescent card you know pick the color that you you prefer i actually prefer the go the gold i think the gold makes it stand out a Beautiful. little bit more yeah yep. so we can put the, the silver away and because the stencils are seven by seven yeah okay you obviously want a slightly larger card so you can have yeah. a mat and layer to it okay which if i ever have children i'm going to call them mat and layer so um my chips <laughs> Chips and peas. Absolutely, yeah. It's time yeah. for me tea. But, Chips yeah, and peas. Kind of with you there, yeah. Um, peas pugil. <laughs> oh, that, that, that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Slight <laughs> bullying tone to it as well, so. <laughs> yeah, I think we're all safe. Yes. I don't think it's going to occur. No, I know. Me neither, so, yeah. Matt and Leia don't exist, and they never will. So. Maybe um, we just need animals. So what Maybe I've sorry. done is, oh, I've got animals. Yeah, <laughs> love animals. Dogs, send me some dog photos. So what I've done is, because I didn't have a card that was the right size, yeah. then make one. Yes. D don't spend lots of money. If you're making one card, don't go out and buy a pack of 20 if yeah. you're only making one card. So what I've done is I've just taken an A4 sheet of paper. Yeah. I've scored it at a seven and a half inch line. I'm still old school. I use seven and a half That's inches. That's fine with us. Yeah. Um, and then I've, I've created a seven and a half inch um, mat. And Wonderful. All, and all you need to do is glue the two pieces together and you have a, a fully working card. Super. So just get that to this is when the oh no it does work it works and i was going i was going to do it on my hand but i thought mm, it's not going to go well the dry cleaner would hate me trying to get this that out of my shirt I? So, I don't tend to craft normally like this i mean this is just for you guys why why you're normally quite is everything normally everywhere yeah, yeah it's on my too. face literally you yeah know, me too i've got friends that will say you've got a bit of something here and it's a bit <laughs> yeah. of gilding paste or something they'll be like, like what, that. what what is that yeah. yeah i've done that i've gone yeah. out and like blue, blue paint are you wearing there, makeup no, no but i'm wearing some other kind yeah. of product yeah. so so and that's all you need to Perfect. do and then you've just made yourself a you've made yourself a nice card yeah. that way and it's the right size absolutely. obviously use yeah. your nice weight to card stock absolutely sorted. The only other thing that we've we've added to this is we've just added some rivets in the corner. Beautiful. And, and you can use, you know, um, whatever you choose to use. You can go into a stationery shop. Yeah. If you can age the, you know, the cardboard metal. Yeah. Then yeah. you can age up those ones that you get the paper fasteners as they used yes, to call them on course. children's yeah, TV. Yeah. Go and buy some of those. Age them up. Perfect. Um, you know. Rest them, put them in the oven. Yeah. Try yeah. it. Yeah. Craft is about getting messy and giving it a go yeah. and see and what happens. Absolutely. Absolutely it is. Marvelous. So this is when you're thinking you should have got the uh, the set out <laughs> beforehand. But you know, we live and we learn, don't we? Indeed, yeah. indeed. <laughs> so and then what you need to do is you'll just need to make a hole into i, I was being very safety conscious and, plug, and putting it into a that's cork, good but I now i'm going to stab it through my hand <laughs> <laughs> yeah not a sponge <laughs> uh, so yeah so you just want to make a hole don't try and push one of these through your card yeah because it'll just tear the, the card apart yeah. so put yes. it in a hole if you've got um like a a punch one of the smaller size craft punches um for making holes perfect. use that that's that's perfect i do have one just didn't think to bring it so yeah well, i just thought you know i'll i'll run the well, i think of... more people probably have a, the brass yeah. uh, yeah. the the poker tools anyway. yes they do yeah super um remember if you do want to get a hold of these 14 pounds and 99 pence that's your price for both of the gorgeous stencils i will remind you of those in a second two one three three six nine that's your item number so then pop them through and just flatten them out at the back. I think most of us know how to use one of yeah, these. Yeah, good old so, brads. Yeah. A split pin. Oh, that, yeah, split mm, pin. That's yes, what I couldn't used think to like, Well, I nearly said split pin, but you've been talking about peas, so like it would have been split <laughs> no, peas. Okay, so. split, pea. <laughs> <laughs> split pea. I'm going to get those stencils. Yes. I won't be one yep. second because I just fine. want you to, to see them actually. 
Yeah, don't look at the back of this. This is just like... Because <laughs> while you're doing that, I could just remind you that's what you're going to get. See, they're very cool, aren't they? So you've got, obviously, the... What are they called? The lines that you write your music on. Oh, there is a word for it. What did you send me, sir? A stays. Staver. S-T-A-V-E. Oh, is it now, Steve? So, you've got that, you're Steve. You've got your wobbly lines. Stave you've got your, your beautiful musical notes. And, of course, our saxophonist. Saxophonist. That's, that's, that's a better saxophonist, word. Saxophonist, yes. I know that one. And <laughs> then you've got your wonderful um, words on here. I love the sentiments. No music equals no life. Uh, happiness is finding that perfect song. Play your music. And yeah, I, I really like that. I think that's very cool indeed. If you want those fourteen ninety nine, I've uh, been very busy for those. Superb. So, obviously, you want it stuck to your card. That's always a good. That's a good thing. Yeah, and try and line it up. Perhaps do a better job of uh, making Doesn't it straight matter. than me. But there you go. So it's. Uh... That's marvelous. So you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous finish. Really like that. It's so easy to be able to just emboss it and then just add your colour on. But it looks really effective. And then that's the other one, of course, just using different colours. Uh, 14 99 for those two. Right, or Dave, I'm going to let you get set up for your next demonstration. Yep, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Have a look at the website. Um, we're going to show you those stencils. We'll remind you those. It is 213369. That's your item number for those stencils. If you'd love to get hold of them. Remember, we've also got those brand new stencils. Everything's brand new. Um, so we've got the mother hen, I nearly said that wrong, and the two of us. That's only fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence. That's one zero four three zero six. That's your item number. These are so lovely, really, really cute, beautiful drawings, and of course your wonderful little sentiments. We've also got the other two, which are your hempect and your new arrivals. Again, so sweet, fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence, brand new today. Eight zero three zero two eight. That. That's your item number. You've got your freedom price of £13.49. Now, if you'd like to get hold of anything, all the W's at Chanda.com. Forgot where I was then. Oh, it's 017360. Mm, forgotten that as well. 60200. It's weird how that happens. It just goes, even though I've said it loads of times. Right, I know I've been here years. Right, I'm going to show you different ones. I'll remind you this one again. Um, so that is your wordsmith. Very cool. I'll start from the back this time. The wordsmith is the most popular. So you've got tons and tons of words. Obviously, now it's upside. Some's upside down, something. Bear with. We'll do it this way instead. Um, so you've got something for every letter of the alphabet. So you've got tons of different words. Fabulous. Genius graceful uh, we've got humor there we've got hi um, you've got inspired image um, you've got imagine you've got jealous joker journal um, so loads of different sentiments really good for um, for your card making but brilliant if you are doing your mixed media your art journaling they're brilliant especially because of the size but you're printing them out so it's up to you how you print them and what you print them on that's been really busy as the wordsmith one um, I'm going to show you a different one, I want to show you this one this is called Helix, I must admit that one on the top really drew my eye that is so cool, it's just like a thingy, spirograph these are, that's what these remind me of I love these, the colours this one is right up my street, really really, really cool it's kind of, do you know, they'll go with my stencils tomorrow. Um, they are seriously, honestly, they will go really well with my stencils tomorrow. That's cool. That's your Helix. I'm going to show you this one as well. More, more. Um, so this is your grunge. Obviously, I like this before I even look at it. Grunge Mania. That's, that is my middle name, I think. So gorgeous again. Look at that. Beautiful papers. You can print them off time and time again. You can print both sides if you want double-sided paper. You can print them on cardstock. Print them on a pearlescent cardstock. Print them on vellum um, or your parchment, I should say. Print them on your printable acetates. Beautiful, beautiful ones there. So that's your grunge mania. Shall I show you another? More, more. Um, a steampunkery, indeed. Let's go for that one. So my steampunkery, I do believe, is that one. Forget me. Um, so, boom, showing off there. So this is your steampunkery. 
again. Look, hold on, let me get it right way around. Oh, now you can see it proper. That's beautiful. I love that. Print them on rice paper. Oh, I wonder if you could. I wonder if you could get your. I know you can get um, oh, your thingy paper through printer. Your um, oh, I'm going to shut up. Trace paper kind of thing. These are beautiful. Look at that. That's so cool. Okay, that's your steampunk. Last but by no means least. I want to show you this one because this really takes my eye. This is painterly. This one really takes my eye because it's that, you know, beautiful painted backgrounds again. Look at that. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, that's right up my street. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous and bright. Look at that paper. Stunning, absolutely stunning. That's your painterly. Um, you've so many choices. These are CDs. You are printing them off time and time again. You can do so much with these. Uh, please check your website out. The choice is yours. If you want to see a paper, um, then obviously let me know. We can show them your live. Get those emails in, though. I want you to be saying hello to Dave, giving him a warm welcome um, to our fantastic family. Uh, we've already had a few come through. Thank you ever so much. Who's been emailing in? Uh, Monica's emailed in. Thank you, Monica. Brian, who's one of the design team. Thank you ever so much, Brian. Um, we've got Helen saying well done and congratulations. Um, and Jane as well. Thank you ever so much for emailing in. Um, now, if you do want these, see, don't they look cool? That's really cool, isn't it? Like that. Really good, really good. Whoa. That's a way, Leona. Okay, now, only 999 496 347. That's your item number. Can we show the flowers? Or oh, if you're showing them, I'm going to pick them up live. No point for showing them. Look, you need to see these live. These are all handmade. All handmade. Look at these. You're going to get four of these. Um, the colours may vary because they're all handmade, but these are just, look at these. They're really, really beautiful. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? So handmade for Marian flowers. I mean, for Marian is so cool because look, it just squidges up. But I love these. You need, thank you, my love. You need these in your life. I really like these. Whether you use them on your cards, whether you use them um, to make a beautiful, I mean, they're just brooches, aren't they? Sorry, you're a bit closer. Um, they're brooches, aren't they? You might be using them on a hair slide. Really, really gorgeous. And because they're all handmade, they're utterly unique. Now, if you do want those, um, you're obviously, yeah, yeah, beautiful for weddings. See, see, where am I? I should know that by now and all. Wouldn't it look nice as a little brooch, you see, because it's so bright. See, just a pin on that. Bob's your uncle. Love them. Only nine nine nine. Handmade for Mary and Flowers. Um, absolutely stunning, stunning. That is 024289. That's your item number. Right, we'll get back to Dave. Check the website out. So on the website, you're going to see the beautiful stencils. You're going to see, of course, the wonderful uh, stamps. Everything is brand new. If there's anything you want, please check out those baskets. Um, the the most popular now the cds are very popular which is the most popular cds the steampunkery is the most popular at the moment in those wonderful cds if there's anything you want please check out that website um but again those cds really really popular i'm not surprised i mean they are really easy to use and of course you'll be able to print those off time and time again um anything you want please get on that website achanda.com right we're back right what we're we doing yeah. this time so my dear? this time we're going to make this card Oh, look, how cute. So, uh, kind of based on a hen party theme. <laughs> That's so cool. So, yeah, so... We're going partying. Yeah, so. All the girls. Well, you know, well, it doesn't I don't have to be know. girls anymore, does it? No, it, so, it doesn't. Yeah, 21st century. I know, so, right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> Which is fab. It's like the future's here, isn't it? It's a bit, yes, it's a bit the scary. The future is here. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, we've taken a 5x7 card wonderful this time um and we've just cut a mat to go on top of it so you just want to make it you know a four and seven eighths by 
Yeah, whatever just a bit the other smaller. one is. Yeah, <laughs> super. Just a bit smaller. Yeah, just a bit yeah smaller. that one. Yeah. So, and then uh, what I've done is I've kind of blended it to make it like an ombre effect. Yeah. Um, and I know that's kind of like a you know a, a cool technique. And I just thought it might be worthwhile showing you how you go about getting that. Okay. Okay. So, um, I always have blending tools. You can't ever have enough of these. You know, when I've put it down on my desk. Yeah, I'll, and it's disappeared. Yeah, it's lost under the, the pile yeah. that you keep pushing away until it falls off the other side. So, <laughs> um, and in, in order to do it, just come in off the end, off the end. What chorus stock do you like using, Dave? Um, I... Got a favourite? You, do you know something? I I like whatever I can lay my hands on. Right. Yeah. Um, Just a good quality. Yeah. It needs to be a really good quality. It it should be fairly thick. You know. I mm. I like at least two eighty GSM. And simply because I'm quite heavy handed. Yeah. And when you come in on in on the edge, if it's too thin. Yeah. You, it ends up wrinkling up, and you can catch it, and you know. Yeah. It's fine. Everything's recoverable. There are. You know, no mistakes in craft, are there? Absolutely. So, lots of happy accidents. Absolutely. That's I'm it. having that on my tombstone. So. <laughs> Life was just a happy accident. <laughs> yes, See, door, that blend is lush. So just blending in, and what, and you've gone dark, and what now? What you're trying to do is you're trying to blend it out. Yeah. So don't put it go in for a real dark colour now, because yes. you'll end up with a big splodge. Yeah. So no more colour on it. If you do need any extra colour, take it off off your mat. Yeah, and, work and pull it up in from and work, the actual yeah, colour that's already in. on there. Yeah, just Gorgeous. keep going. Nice, smooth backwards and forwards. If you try, if you stop, you'll end up with like a disc sort of shape yeah. where, you know, it, it can be blended out. And to be fair, a lot of this card you could have cover up yeah. anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's not too bad. So but that's lovely. Then we have. Obviously, that's one of your good old um, distress socks. Yeah. Uh, you can yep. tell because those colours. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then I'll just need to give myself a bit of a clean. Oh, I'm a big, nice. big fan of not using those wipes, those naughty wipes. So. <laughs> um, I'm know. a fan of that also. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't have any kids, so I'm not saving the world for my kids, but I kind of like saving the world <laughs> you because do I it like for it. It's <laughs> yes, even better. Yes. It's even Altruistic, more giving. really, isn't it? So, yeah. um, so uh, now we've got our, our piece of card. Beautiful. What, what we've done is we've we've sta I've stamped it, and I've almost completed this one. Okay. Super. Using the uh, same. Technique, yep. yeah, just blending it through, but then using a collection of stamps. And the two stamps, two packs of stamps that I've used are the two here it's Mother Hen and New Arrivals, I believe. Wonderful. Um, now, if I just pick those up, so it is going to be one from each, is that one? Well, there's, so, there's two from one set, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you go. and one from the other one. So you've got your little feet, and uh, there, that's from Mother Hen. Which is really, really cute. And then the other one, which is our new arrivals, is just there for you. And you can see that's your little new arrivals, so your little chickens. And then the, the little, oh, in fact, hold on a minute. No, it's the other one, the cracked egg, the other one, weren't it? On Mother Rain. Um, if you do want the stamps, they are so lovely. Really lovely imagery. Um, the details just at the bottom there. That is 803028, only 14.99 as well. So really affordable. You're getting a lot of um, images, all hand drawn, of course, for Artistry Inc. You do indeed. So, and then uh, take a. If uh, I use a versafine, um, and I, I've laid out where I want my stamps, yeah. so that I know where the gap I'm filling. You know, go crazy. Not you literally, obviously, but like, you know, um, stamp till your heart's content. Stamp until you're and if you're happy. if you're new to stamping, this is a great way to to give it a go yeah. you know yeah you're making backgrounds you, it's not going to be the main thing that you, that you look at fab, they are they? absolutely i could spend hours making backgrounds Me i could too. do a whole show just making backgrounds to be fair they're my favorite um, thing i won't actually take those off because i will get even more inky than i already <laughs> am okay uh, so um, we've had an email from sylvia hello sylvia thank Hi, you sylvia. ever so much she says welcome to the achanda family thank you very much that's very kind of yeah, you thank you sylvia it's um, nice, isn't it? <laughs> so I'll move that out of the way because last night I was bending down and as I bent down, I 
squeezed it onto my ear. So <laughs> that was not, not a good look for anybody. So now that's our backing bit, which is the bit that you see at the back of the, the, the photo. I Beautiful. Think you picked up a okay. flower there oh, as yes, well. That's so I it. did. <laughs> so, and we've got, you know, our stamps on there. Okay. Super. So now what we need to do is we need to make the pole. Sorry, the, um, the Instagram, like. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, in, no, that's another one, um, <laughs> Instamatic like camera. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. yes. It's like calling that vacuum cleaner, that yeah, thing yeah, that you yeah. usually call it. So, Absolutely. Yeah, so all I've done is I've gone on, I've gone online and if you look at the sizes of an Instamatic camera, it'll yeah. tell you the, the inner frame and the outer frame and you can, you can Cut it. Just cut it out. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can find templates, or if you have like a, a cricket, then you can find a template in that as Super. well. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, and so I've, I've cut a background and I've cut my frame. So I'll come back to the frame in a minute because we'll keep it out of the way because it needs to be clean. Okay, okay. Yeah, and that's not a, not a good look for me having a dirty mat. So that's not a mat, is it, Dave? How much time have we got? Seven and a half minutes, not too. All right, day. okay. So, um, what I've done this time is I've um, stamped some of the hens okay. um, onto some just some copy paper, um, and then um, I've uh, tacked the back. Right. Or you can use post-it notes if you want to. Yeah. So and and just to make cut a them mask. out, make some masks. Yeah. And then you can layer up your, your hens. Yeah, so they look so like they're, they're all, all having a party. Yeah, so they're having a party. Absolutely. <laughs> Fabulous. So and I've done this and I've I've done all but the, the last one. Um but and here's one I made earlier. Wonderful. Okay, with and this time with slightly different, slightly different colourway, just with the blue background. And because I used an oxide ink, I then just splashed it with some water and, and took that off. Wonderful. Because that gives it that kind of old look, like yeah. a, you've had that um, that picture. Yeah, that we can't for a say. few years. <laughs> for a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make it shiny. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. okay. And so by uh, and this uh, this was the thing that kind of one of the things that got me into crafting is making mm -hmm. things shiny. The making things shiny using you know the alchemy of making. Um, in, doing heat embossing yeah yeah so all yeah. i'm doing is i'm putting the, like a re-inker for your embossing right um, so that's your yeah for, so if you haven't got a re-inker you could be using your yeah, yeah whatever. you could just just go over it yeah. just be aware that when if you go over it and you're stamping onto here with it then you might pick up some of the color transfer onto that yes. and then you end up with like i've got i've got a dirty one and a clean one yeah a yeah. one for tv and a one not for tv absolutely <laughs> oh sorry um and then what we want to do is we want to add some water to this okay yeah and we just want to thin it down just so that it's not quite as tacky to put on okay here's one of those famous little it's a little sponge little cheap, don't go out and spend a lot of money on these things i think Wonderful. They end up all sorts of different colors and lots of things stuck to it and then we're just going to go over it so literally it's just making it nice and sticky yeah basically yeah you Super. can use it neat, but I think I've had my uh, re-inker for a, a long time and it's kind of gone a bit... Ah, OK, so yours has gone a bit gooey. Yeah, it has. And we kind of have to see whether we've got it on there. Marvellous. OK, and then we could have done with... Oh, Linda's emailed in. Hello there, Linda. Oh, she says we make a good double act. Well, thank you very much, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dave's done very well indeed. You seem really chilled out. You've done really well. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you to say. Oh, it's true, you do. You seem really calm. So, we're going to use... Now, this is this will tell me whether I've put enough <laughs> on or not. Yeah, it will. Um, and so, I'm just going to go over it. Now, it's fingers know, crossed. Li liberally going over, you know. Wonderful. Just, Yay! Oh, I'll tidy there or thereabouts. Oh, well, that, fantastic. I wasn't going to try and do that. <laughs> I'll do that, that would have gone horribly wrong. Um, and just be careful when you are using heat embossing, because we've—I think we've all learnt the hard way, haven't we? Well, sticking my finger yeah, in it when it's wet, yeah, it, or putting your hand in the way of the heat gun. And <laughs> that don't bother me too much, doesn't it? No, it's ruining it by end of it by sticking oh, yeah, my finger yeah. in. Yeah, but you know, it adds to the look. I'm sure. And with, uh, <laughs> it doesn't. It ruins it. <laughs> when you've peeled those um, <laughs> those photos back, I've often stuck my finger in the chemical. Yeah. But, yeah. 
Now, right. while you're at embossing, I am yep. going to remind you, because obviously we are vastly running out of time. Um, I'll show you the beautiful... Um, now, these are your CDs. So I know this has been the busiest. Where did I get to? Did I get to... Um, so quintessentially, that's fabulous. What a big old word. It is. You've got revolution. You've also got your soulmate. Oh. Um, you've got triumphant. Truth, trouble, your trouble. Um, I love this one. Now, that is on your CD. That's your wordsmith one. I know that's been really popular. Now, let's have a see. How's it gone? There you go. That's trying not to stick my finger in it, you know. Yeah, that's so, super. So you get that kind of, like, uh, motley pitted sort yes. of thing, look that you would get from, from uh, that type of... From a, an old photograph. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put your, the, um, the frame onto it. How much time do we... We only have three minutes. Oh, now. right. Okay. So I'll... I'll we won't put, the, fr we won't put mm -hmm. the frame on. I think you can kind of guess what we do there. Super. Just put the frame on. Um, and then I've just got one of uh, a little oh, clip. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, again, bradded through the um, through the card. Wonderful. And, and you uh, can see you can see that ombre effect now, uh, like on the actual finished card. Yeah. With that over the top, it really looks effective. Yeah, that's it really gorgeous. Brings the colours out. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love the end part. I think that's fabulous. The part in. Um, now, please check out that website. It is a .com. We're really running out of time now. Um, you can find all the different CD ROMs on there. You can obviously find all the beautiful stamps that we've got as well. Everything's available. Remember, this is all brand new. Um, if you do want anything, we are really running out of time now, so please check those baskets out. Thank you ever so much for joining us. Thank you for all your lovely emails welcoming um, Dave and, of course, Artist Drink to the team here at Adachanda. Um, now, I'm, I know we're running out of time. I'm going to show you a couple of those CDs that you haven't seen. I told you, don't it go fast? Blimey. Doesn't it go fast? I was only 25 when I started. I know. <laughs> I, were, I were just a nipper when I started. Right, have a look at this. So this is your faded grandeur. I wanted to show a few that they haven't yes. seen yet. Yes. Because that's the important bit, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, they're Ooh, all yeah. beautiful, it's aren't they, Dave? paint and a real essence of it, it being found in an attic. Yeah, they're yeah. lovely. <gasps> this might yes. be my new favourite. Yeah. That is faded grandeur. That's nice, that's nice. Right, quick, quick, quick. Before I run out of time. This one is romantique. Romantique, bear with that's a bit pretty. I've got a minute. We've got a yeah. minute, oh, Dave. Wow. I'm Get gonna, flicking. Uh, come on, girl. <laughs> come on, don't mess about. Boom. Oh, hey, I like that as well. Nice images in there, isn't Some that? beautiful images. They're gorgeous. And look how many you're getting. Absolutely. How many different images. Yeah. And then, I haven't shown you this one yet, a more, a more modern. <laughs> well pronounced, yes. <laughs> Glad you did that. Uh, a more modern. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky bit of northern twang there. Bit of northern French. That's beautiful. Um, have you got a favourite, uh, Dave? Uh, I really like the wordsmith. I've yeah, got the to wordsmith say, the wordsmith is, is cool, my big favourite. The wordsmith yeah. is yeah. cool. There's only one I didn't yeah. show you. That is your abst abstraction. Oh, oh new favourite. <laughs> well, cool. Wow. Oh, new fave. Love <laughs> a bit of abstraction. We've only got. Dead. Seconds. Well done. Yes. You did a cracking job. Thank you very job. much. Thank you, guys, as well. Thank and you. Thank you. I will see you tomorrow. John next door. It's your one day special. The 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 last hour, our final call. You've then got a brand new one day special from Kate Sue, them craft Price shop. See you tomorrow at eight. It's my new launch. These 30 sheets of A4 card are an essential pack for any crafter's stash. Perfect for a range of crafting projects. These sheets come in a choice of black, ivory or white. At 300 GSM, with a smooth finish, this cardstock is a great starting point to your projects. To add this to your crafting stash, please go to achanda.com. Wakey wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Ho Chanda.
your daily breakfast fix of your favourite crafts at 7am. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day. A product available at a special price but only for 24 hours or while stocks last. Part of your morning routine should also be the sunrise specials. Your favourite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Ho Chanda and start your day with a deal. Hello, I'm Paula and I'd like to welcome you to the wonderful world of witchcraft. We're situated in this fabulous building called the Corn Exchange right in the centre of Doncaster and we've been here about 16 years. We're delighted to be working with Hachanda, bringing you lots of fabulous products and demonstrations and hopefully lots of inspiration to help you craft along the way. So join us here soon on Hachanda. Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs. All of our products are manufactured in the UK and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Hachanda we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, get inspired on Hachanda. Good afternoon, everybody, and a warm welcome to the final call of our one-day special. So this is your last hour, your last opportunity to get hold of an extremely popular one-day special. The clock's on your screen, so once that clock finishes, that is it. It's the end of the one-day special, or... I have to say, John, and can I introduce you to the very talented uh, John Lockwood, <laughs> who's the inspiration behind uh, this fantastic one-day special. I have to add an added caveat, because it could potentially go before the clock. We are approaching limited stock and this is your final hour. It's been such a good one day special. What is it that you think's really captured crafters' imagination? I, I would hope it's what I saw in this when I, when I designed it, which is there's something for everyone. Yeah. If you've never die cut before, you can just use the outline. If yeah. you have and you know what you're doing, add some panels, add more things in. If That's you think that. you're an expert, there's things in there for you. Yeah. I mean, we've literally, every bit of glue represents as a bit of dye. I've used every oh. bit of metal possible. You've been very clever in how you've incorporated the design aspects. I've, I thank you. I've, I've yeah, tried yeah. to be to make sure you can do so many different things. Effectively, what you're getting in this is you're getting four background dyes uh -huh. for a start. Yeah before we even look at the card. Then you're getting two different nesting dies with inserts that match them. Then you're getting two card creator dies that will make you a different sort of card. Yeah. You're getting so much in there um, in one piece. So, you know, I know that I'd spend that money on four, on four backgrounds. I would, wouldn't get four backgrounds for that, I don't think, to be Easy. honest. So just having a look. Now, this is your template. Yeah, that's effectively. That. That's from the other set. Okay, which I know is that was included in the yeah, yeah. one So, this scores and cuts your cards, and every time you're going to get, with one pass through your die cutting machine, a beautiful card blank. Where I think it's particularly clever, you've got two different designs. Here's the hexagon, you're also getting the oval, but you get a faux layer effect as well. There's a score line, a deboss. There is. There's a deboss which goes yeah. on there to give you a score line. So, if I actually bring in this one, you can see. There you go. It's actually got, it's so hard on white, I know, with the cameras. Yeah, you really can see it, yeah, yeah. You see you're getting a score line in it, so you can yeah. do that really easily. You know how we talked about, and it is a compliment to John and how he designed this. Now, he 
They call it uh, an allowance, so with regard to, a tolerance rather, with regard to the design, and he absolutely pushed the limit. Beautifully ornate, you've got two different styles of backgrounds, so you, uh, panel details in there, but also you've got that consistency in design through to the hexagon, and you've even got a flower in there and a next nested hexagon. What's that, John? This is what we, we Charlie and I christened this, what? the RPJ. As which that, is a that reinforced cool. paper joist. We need the yeah, yeah, yeah. RPJ sounds yeah. good, yeah. But that is basically so that you can use this die. So you uh -huh. look at this, and you, we know card blanks, 300 GSM, yeah. 250 GSM minimum. This was designed so you can cut this out of 120 GSM, which we did on the 9 a.m. Mm. show. And you cut this out of card, and yeah. it just goes in along there, yeah. and it just reinforces that fold, stops nice. it from breaking, and makes sure it stays stable. Now all we need is a great bundle. I'm thinking 120 GSM, 50 sheets, but I'd want it to be a bit different. I don't know, with mica yeah. in it? I think we should see what's coming. Yeah. yeah. Got Anyone to think up. you didn't got do it the covered show up. this one? Uh, just to let you know, we are approaching limited stock. Actually, we, we are very close okay. to calling limited stock on our one-day special. This is a set that's going to grow with you. So if you're just starting your crafting journey, you will grow with it and you'll start exploring techniques. If you're just starting great, if you're an experienced crafter, where's that one from Mrs. Duck? Which one? The, the... You know the one that folds out multiple layers? It's worth a, it's worth a dig around. I tell you what. I'll have a look. Okay, I'll show some examples. It really is worth seeing this. Uh, the whole, I have to say, uh, what's it, Lock's Angels? Locker's Angels. Locker's Angels. I get that one every time. Yes, bless them. I just want to show amazing. you. Now, if you're not going to make, now, there you can see the card blanks, and then you're embellishing. But look at all the different permutations, the other ways you're going to be using. You found it. Well done. Gatefold cards, beautifully detailed. John actually made this on the 8 o'clock show last night. But tell me that is not stunning. Or... Now, we shouldn't have favourites, but, but yeah. this, from Mrs. Duck, is an absolute corker. So, this is taking it to the next level, but it's still achievable. I love the attention to detail, though. I love that this. That is the nice. Is, this was made with the same die that made this. That's bonkers. That's the bonkers. the same die that made this. John, all from the same individual piece, and that's what I want to try and get across. The box was made and same from the same die. See, now, so, when we talk about having a product that's versatile, yeah. we've just shown you, and this is the tip of the iceberg, three very different levels of craft that you can achieve. So whether it is the box and all that detail, that's uh, a little foe emboss with foe it? Foe So she's just embossed the die on the top, that that comes included with the same data <sighs> die set with the lattice. Look so everything you need is in there, and this is what I wanted, was to have a couple of sets of dice very that will nice. make you something very quick, yep. but that you can have out on your desk and keep using. Yeah. Ooh. You've got your nesting shapes in there, you've got your hexagons. So here we've got, this, this is the front, this is the basic, but then what mm. Leslie's done is she's added a, just a card blank on the back, and you could hinge these two together using the, RS, the yeah. RPJ. I love that RPJ. You and Charlie, that's a really good name. <laughs> yeah. RPJ. But what you do is you, that can go uh -huh. folded between these two uh -huh. pieces. So all you've done actually is to make this complex looking card that will stand up. So it will yeah. stand like that. If I show you that's the very side. cool. Yeah, it's a card blank and the card piece. That's it. And, a, and, and the RPJ and everything's done for you. You can make this card. Same thing with the hexagon. All these different permutations. This is used made using the background from now you now you've just got a forget the panel a beautifully textured background what about john this i'm finding stuff we hadn't seen last yeah. night this is crazy i did two shows with you yesterday and i'm still not seeing that is stunning that is a work of art that's one of leslie's one leslie. of leslie Lakin's. she's doing it beautifully but that's only using one of the dies in the set that's it that is bonkers. If I pull this one bonkers in, this is made using exactly the same die. Oh, no, so Leslie's right. made this using exactly the same well, die. It looks like a mosaic now. It's totally transformed one. it. Very, very clever. We are busy for our one-day special. We're approaching limited stock. There is a danger it could go before the clock. We will find out, and that's our stock.
It's like I'm talking in rhyme. I'm not trying to. Uh, you got two flexi payments of. Oh, I was hearing myself. Uh, you got two flexi payments of 19.99, which means in reality, if you've never used flexi payments before, 19.99 today. We send everything out to you. You get both sets, all 17 dies, uh, and then in six, uh, in four weeks' time, rather, you get uh, your second payment of 19.99, or you pay it. Uh, you're saving six pounds. Your item number 8.81897. Very very busy for this and you can see the clock on your screen uh, something else being busy I like the story behind this John yep so this is the start of a collection yep so honesty. basically this is honesty flowers and honesty leaves yep. and again the your best is look at the samples so there they are it's like a heart-shaped leaf that's got all the sort of heart strings mm. in it with the matching foliage in there as well which gives you two swirls mm. in both directions and it's just a bit of a fantasy flower and something different but of course it will match perfectly with what's coming at the end of April. Little sneak So if you tease. look at the packaging, it says it's part of the heart collection. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that and perhaps the craft along as well, which I'm probably not supposed to mention. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I'll get shot <laughs> look, by Michelle. First rule of craft along, we don't yeah. talk about craft yeah, along. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but that will be in there. But again, they're used with flowers. They match with the camellia as in there. So they're very delicate. Here it's been used as a background. Uh, this is the card. For, I mean, I, uh, it's wow. unusual I say I love a card I've made. Wow. But that's using the backgrounds from the One Day Special. Those colours but really work. What you've got is you can see you've got the, the honesty leaves swirl from left to right because yeah. you've got one facing left, one facing right. Yeah. So you can go all the way around a half circle, all the way around a circle. Oh, now that's really nice. Again, using the One Day Special and you see how, how well it worked. <laughs> It suddenly turned into a Lauren Hardy movie in the background. Are you okay, Hannah? You're all right. Good. Uh, look, you've got two, you've got freedom price on here of twenty pounds and sixty eight pence. You're saving five pounds and thirty. One eight eight five seven zero. Your item number. There's more. Number dies. Now there is a story behind everything. You did allude, and I'll, I'll tell you wrong because you said this yesterday. This could be the start. In the sense that we've it got the numbers, could. we could be bringing, I say we, John, yeah. could be bringing I, I would quite like to see perhaps some letters that would yeah. match with it so that I could put 21 friend or the name on there or whatever <laughs> else. Yeah. So this is the bold alphabet and that would suggest to me that, the, sorry, this is the bold le numbers. Yeah. It would suggest to me that there is a bold alphabet and some more alphabet typography type things coming. You, but well, I'm you not saying always... there is. Thank you. And this is actually a very important point. If you are going to invest in anything from John next door, John, if I just put this down, because this is a really important point for me, because John, and we are approaching 70% uh, on this one, John is a crafter. You're very well liked, and for good reason, because you. you're a good guy. But when John designs anything, and this is only because I've done lots of shows with John, I know you've said it time and time again. You always think that whatever you're bringing out, it will backdate, so it will work with anything yes. from the back catalogue, so anything you've purchased in the past, but it also will work with anything in the future. Yes. And I like that, because as a crafter, there's nothing more frustrating. You invest in something, and then something's brought out, and they're like, this will only work now with something new. Yes, exactly. It's the same thing with, say, the One Day Special. Yeah. The oval that's in the oval in there is my oval. Yeah. It's my aspect ratio oval. So anything you've got from me, any dies, any yeah. stamps, any media plates that are oval shaped will fit and match with that. John, that's, that is cool. And everything is forward yeah. and backward compatible. So the yeah. numbers will fit and they'll fit within all the shapes that I've yeah. done. They'll fit with the stamps that I've done. They'll fit with stamps that are coming out. They'll fit with stamps that I've done before. As so a everything consumer, will work. So that to me means a lot. Yeah, I mean, there's a sample here, and I don't know yeah. where I've put it, somewhere. Well, we're looking for but that. you've actually got the numbers saying 21 and then happy birthday. Yeah. Yet the happy birthday, the small sentiments that we've got on the website, yeah. match exactly size-wise with this. You've got happy birthday, happy anniversary, and then the numbers will work. This is That's nice. That's what I loved way. about it. And also, another thing, just to show you, actually, I'm going to show you the... Uh, well, I haven't got it out here. We had it on a board. Where was the... Um, we did have the oh, die, it's disappeared. I wanted two All right, for the we're last using. time. It's okay. just one continuous strip. As a, as a die, it's a continuous piece of metal. So what that means, and the reason why John brought it out, is because he's always loose. He said in the past, nicely done. Thank you, John. Thank you, buddy. I'm but you're saying that you, um, you've you lost in the past I've dies. I've lost so many small dies. Yeah. <laughs> really have. And it's a great idea, and I think sometimes they're done mm -hmm. so that people can say, oh, and there's 27 dies in this set. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, and I'll have got 24 of them yeah. by the time I'm two days into crafting with them. That's key. 
And Haley mentioned a point. Yes. So I'll, I'll, it's not my point. She it's is brilliant. Yeah. Is that these, if they were done individually, the seven and the eight, mm -hmm. or the six and seven, couldn't be so close. No. There'd need to be a metal rim all the way around them. Yeah. The, if I did these individually, they would probably take almost twice the amount of metal. Yeah. Twice the amount of metal means twice the price. But we go from 999 to 1999 simply because I had the flexibility mm. of having them in different sets. Well, and I'll lose my one and my zero before I've yeah. even thought about it, knowing me. It is a very clear number array. So here you can see it. It's a good size. So think about your cards, think about personalizing, think about your scrapbooking, your journaling, your home decor. It is a good size. You can also isolate too. So you can use your positive and your negative. Uh, use it as backgrounds, whatever you want to do. Uh, 9.99 is your price, 282-233, your item number. Okay, we've got the crystal card back. We have. So and this is special stuff. It is. What you've got here is, I brought you the flower paper before, which mm -hmm. was crystal, which means it's set with a mica. Yeah. We had it in gold. This time everyone asks, have you got it in silver? So this is the silver white. Okay. So you've got in here an absolutely beautiful Ooh. sheen. And that's not... Which a... comes from the mica. It's not a pearlized coating. coating yeah. It's not a plastic coating. It's not a print. It's a sort of mica set in it. Yeah. And what I've done is three sets this uh -huh. time. So you've got 25 squares that are exact size to fit with your one day special yeah. die because you will only get one on a piece of A4 uh -huh. so on a piece of A4 you're going to waste a big strip yeah yeah we showed and 25 that, oversized 7x7 seven seven envelopes that will take 7x7 seven seven cards with up to an inch worth of foam tape yeah. or anything else on them because they're oversized i just thought it's a brilliant value pack and it means we're not wasting it's the most cost effective way to get your crystal uh and this is with your silver so your crystal silver cardstock here 300 gsm you're also getting the premium envelopes in there as well to uh, 028 021 your item number effectively works out per card and envelope at 52 pence at 51 pence? something like that 52 pence mm, something around 50, that i think it's 51 actually right uh, okay now moving on cardstock 300 GSM, this is A4. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And look at that crystal. And what it does, and we were showing this last night, that crystal takes on the different colors. They get, so there's a warmer hue with the oranges, and then you've got that beautiful crystal, silver, platinum. Uh, that, oh, there it is. Oh, it's special stuff. It is special stuff. What yeah. happens when we put color it? We keep the mica coming through yeah so we keep the mica and we keep the shine but we change the color of the card and it does take on some of the aspects so with the orange or with the red it looks goldier yeah rather than the silver yeah and um, it's still silver it's still the silver white mica in there mm -hmm. but it does give you more of a, a sort of a, a goldy orangey feel to it yeah. you see where it's hitting where it's the orange uh -huh. as opposed to you know suddenly it seems brighter yeah. on the blue well, it's amazing paper. I absolutely love it. And it's 300 GSM. So, so it, it's thick card. Die cuts it's box, beautifully. It's your box card. It's yeah. your construction card. Card and blanks. I, and I will be using this again in that show that we don't mention, that the, the club that we don't talk about. Okay. Uh, you know what we're talking about. Uh, 9.99 your price. You are getting 20 sheets of the beautiful crystal silver cardstock. Uh, they're 973. Uh, sorry, 937 922, your item number. Moving on. The flower paper. Yeah. So oh. this time it's 120 GSM. And I'm just going to do my crab walk again okay. while we talk about the paper. Because yeah. I've got a piece here. There we go. So this is exactly the same, made the same way with the mica set in it. But this is 120 GSM. So this is half as thick again, technically, as photocopy paper. Yeah. But this is the card blank we made with the paper. So that is the paper oh wow but i mean you would not expect what you'd normally use for inserts to cut no. like that so of course it will mold for your flowers if you do yeah. some of the flowers i've done with the stamps and flowers dyes, would look beautiful color them yeah. mold them and instead of having the gold sheen through mm -hmm. you'll have this beautiful silver white ice sort of sheen through it yeah. absolutely be I, I just i love this if you've got the I gold could cut talking them. for the yeah. whole hour on that if you've paper. got the gold and loved it, loved it, now we've got the silver. It's going to be dispatched from the 4th of April because it's sold out. Uh, 12 99 is your price on this. What I would say, this is a good indication of the quality that you can make your card blanks, but where this really excels, it's with your flowers, with your mm. embellishments, and you get such a... Think about your sentiments. Oh, 
Imagine cutting out your sentiments with Ooh, this. That nice. would look special. Use your inks, use your sprays, but really, even in its raw state, it is absolutely stunning stuff. Uh, $12.99 is your price. You're getting 50 sheets. It is seriously good quality. 164224, your item number. Let's jump to our demonstration. While we do that, we're going to go to our website. Oh, uh, no, actually, I'm going to show you some popular items. Sorry, that was my bad. Uh, so, take a look at this. Texture pastes. We have got our pearly texture pastes. Now, this is the mimosa and tulip. Twelve forty nine. Your price four zero seven one seven six. Uh, you got the turquoise and mango. And here's your rose and gold. Those are the options. Twelve forty nine. Your price four zero seven. Uh, sorry, four zero one one seven six. Your item number. Okay, John. Right, what are we going to so do? We're going to use a piece of the crystal paper this time. Yeah. Every time I've made the cards, I've been using the squares because I think it's right. such good value. So, so this I'm is the three hundred to use the 300 yeah. yen to get some value from that. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my favourite colours. We are exploring the inks. Now, these are on the show. They're from Eyes Inc. and uh, the sprays, I should say. They're a quick dry spray too. Yeah, so I think this is the fresh set. Nice. Um, because those are the colours that I really love. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do, I, I've seen people, I've shown people how to make ugly paper with these. Okay. And ugly paper, There's we nothing squeeze ugly it on. about your paper. No, it is. The uglier it is, the better, because that's what we use for the leaves. Ah. But this time it makes the most beautiful flowers. So we're going to do that in a minute, but yeah. what we want to do this time is we want it softer. Okay. So I'm just going to clear out, but if you notice, I've not got a spray box. I'm no. not massively worried because these are fast drying non clog. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is what I call, I, I can't say the store, can I? Lady in department store. Yeah. And you're trying to walk through and you're desperately trying to get to the back. It's and she's like that going, would you like to chat some Yeah. Would you, you know, basically, you know, it used to be like in the 80s and 90s yeah. where you'd walk through the door and they'd be spraying your face with cashewell or something. Get, yeah. Asphyxiated. Yeah, basically yeah. with clouds of it. Same idea, we just want to lightly oh, spray over. Oh, you've got over. a very light touch. But the thing is... Now that looks already amazing. It, lo it looks like spray paint. It does. And it dries as quickly as spray Very paint. Very nice. Because if, as this is curly, it's actually drying. I'm going to add a little bit more blue. There we go. So we can see there, on this edge here... I can't find which it. Which is a bit I can't see. So that, if, I, if I put it down flat, it might be easier if you yeah. sit. There we go. Can we sit that way? That is dry. Oh, I found it. I found it. That's dry. There we go. You see? Dry. There you go. I can happily, apart from if you watch that little bit in the middle, just a little bit of a wet. wet that little there. bit. That's yeah. the only bit that's wet. But if you watch, you can say, "What did you do today, dear? I watched paint dry on TV." Quite literally. But also, and it is a joy. you now actually look at watch the it going, but the colours, but the shine, is all from the John, paper and the John, that card. looks. That really does look incredible with that that mica coming through, and it is a chameleon in the sense that whatever colours you put on the uh, paper, yeah. it absorbs it. It kind of changes the it whole does, personality. But because they're fast drying, it doesn't go into the back at all. It doesn't soak in to dry. Even with That's the green, you're seeing a bit of a warmth. You know, we talked about. So it's slightly warm. Where you see the yellowy green, you're getting a different. That's a yeah. different colour. Wow. Than you're getting with the shine on the rest, but the oh, shine is just. It is. There we go. Special, special stuff. Okay, and wait, is this our ugly paper? This is this is uglyish paper. Uh, this is not as that's ugly pretty as the paper. paper. You make that's ugly. What I'm going to do is I've mm -hmm. got a bit of spray on here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is just give it a bit of mop up, mop it up. Yeah. Using the flower making paper mm -hmm. because that yeah. will make most beautiful flowers. Oh yeah. And leaves. Oh, if you cut that. Looks like a batik. Yeah. Look very organic. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're, go, we're going to cut a card into this. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to go nice. put the card blank in. We are get the side busy that's got on everything. The cut line. Yep. And always, I always tape down the cut line side mm -hmm. because that's the side I don't want to drop a panel into. So do you just run your finger over to see where that cut yeah, line? Yeah, you'll feel it straight it's away. It's not sharp. No. Because you were explaining yesterday the way um, that your die cutting machine works, it's not cutting. Dies aren't sharp. No. And if they were. You'd, okay. I would now be bleeding. Yeah. And I'm not. No. And I'm pushing it in. Yeah. I won't push it no, into Yanis's okay. face. I don't want to scar it. <laughs> but it, they're not sharp. That's what makes me my money. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what I was thinking. I but don't make so, a lot. <laughs> hey, two pound fifty. It's not bad. Yeah, you can't knock it. Um, but basically, what happens is when it goes through uh, a machine, yeah. the fibres in the card are pushed against the roof of the machine yeah. and separate. So it never cuts. It's a bit of a misnomer. Mm. 
So what we're saying is thick card has to work the best. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, put that in, but what I'm okay. also going to do is I'm going to cut some of the honesty flowers. Uh-huh. So I've not no. cleared that one out That's properly, okay. but hopefully it'll do it. I've not cleared any of these out. Okay. You would recommend, obviously, with your dyes, going to good practice and clean them out? Yes. Well, no, I never do, but I, I can't honestly be one of those people who says, do as I say, not as I do. I don't oh. clean my dyes out until I really, really need oh, to. Okay. But I cut very thick with the texture paste on this last time. Yeah. So that's what's actually still right. wedged into there. Okay. So we'll now, just run with that regards through. to die-cutting machines, because I know you had a lot of interest in the one you're using now, John's going to be bringing, later on this year, we can't give you an exact date, but he's going to be bringing something <laughs> that's going to change the game. And I really don't say that lightly. When we had our meeting, you kind of dropped a bombshell on the team. You told yeah. us something, and he summed it up so beautifully in one sentiment, uh, one sentence, and we all hung and we're like, what? It's going to be a game changer. That's something to look forward to in the future. So what we're going to do then is, this shows how easy the card is mm -hmm. to cut, oh. cut through. Now, can you see here, I've asked, this, I've asked the machine of a lot. You have. So can you see there, there's a little area there yeah. that hasn't fully, and I could poke that out, yeah. I could run it back through. The easiest way that I find to do this, if there's a little area where we've just asked too much of it, because mm. I've asked it to cut everything, get your scissors and just run them along the back. Oh, that's a good little It will tip. just finish off any areas. If you've got a, a die at home that's really stubborn and there's one area that just doesn't ever seem to cut, Run your scissors over the back, it'll just finish it off. Just don't use someone's dressmaking scissors for that, they won't no. appreciate it. I saw someone the other day said, oh, that, they've, they've found some scissors that can cut fabric and paper, and I'm thinking, no, I don't care what you say, no. no. Fabric and paper scissors are completely different. Yeah. So we fold there, we'll just That's flick right. out the last bits. And why does it come away so easily? Because we've got a Teflon coating on the die. And that's the difference, because do you ever see sometimes dies and a demonstrator, they're banging them, they're rolling them, they're picking them, they're really struggling with them. It's because they don't have that Teflon coating. Yeah. And that's what makes... What you've got is, yeah. if you've got a, a one-colour coating, is what we call non-stick coating. Oh, okay. And what that actually does is the non-stick coating yeah. means that the pieces are left in the die and the die-cut piece comes out cleanly. Yeah. So you're picking the die. Okay. The Teflon coating means 90% of occasions the pieces will come out with the card and you can flick the card or pick them from the, the card itself. Nice. I would rather go and pick the piece out I can see mm. than go through a tiny little hole and, release hole. and sit that, oh it's such a faff. When I've demoed before, there's been a couple of ladies who come to my demos sort of up north and they sit there and happily pick out oh. all the bits for me hey. in my old Good friends dive. to have. Oh, brilliant. Now, mm -hmm. what I've done here, if you can see, I've cut this with pieces in. Okay, I like but that. Can you see by doing that, it's not cut through. It can't cut twice. Yeah. So that's how I get the solid leaf. Very nice. So I've got a solid leaf on most of these because so I shows, left you thick can use them card a little bit differently. There. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well done. Drop them all, John. Yeah. While we're doing this, just to say that this actual range will be expanded on. So if you do like the honesty, uh, the heart honesty, I know that you, next time you're here, you're going to be bringing more for us. There we go. So Beautiful. let's just take those out. But just to show you, that's what it's like when we use the sprays. We get that paper. I could cut this. I could put a white panel behind. I can make my flowers up and drop them on. But I just wanted to show you yeah. the concept of it. Stunning before we sort of move on and do something okay. a little bit more complex. Perfect. All right, that's great. So would you like to continue or do you need me to no, recap? If you can recap, then I'll reset and we'll we do something else. Okay. It's the last show, so let's see how much we can bang that's through. Right. Okay, we're going to try. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the show. If you do have any questions for John, we'd love to hear from you, studio at hochanda.com. Let's take a look at the one-day special. Uh, you're getting both these sets, 17 dies in total, and they are stunning. And look at that price. You're saving £6. £39.98 is your price you've got two flexi payments of 19 pounds 881 897 your item number and we are so close to calling limited stock on this we're like a hair's breadth actually within the next minute or two you could hear me calling limited stock that's how close we are we're a hair's breadth away what i love about this one day special is the fact that you are getting something for all abilities so if you're an experienced crafter you can take it 
to the next level. You can start coming up with inspirations like this from Mrs. Duck. Now tell me that is not a showstopper. Absolute knockout. Love it. But I fully understand we've got different abilities. If you asked me to make that, I'd be a little bit daunted. But if you wanted to make, say, something like this, very achievable because all you're doing, the card blank is made for you. You're just putting in some detail and then adding some embellishments. If you're into your construction, what about using the dies to get some panel detail into your boxes? If you wanted to create, I'm just going to put that to one side, some different style cards, you can do it. All the same die. Now remember, you're getting two sets, uh, the same sets, I should say. Same set the same set all these cards that i'm showing you now have been made using the hexagon set you've also got the oval in the mix as well this is incredible same set coming through and this is just an idea it's more of a concept of what you can achieve there that john made uh with the one day special but you're not just getting that and we have gone limited and i knew it was going to happen so uh you can see we've gone green onto the screen we've only got 10 percent of our stock remaining Forget the clock, forget the stock, just ask yourself the question, is this something you can work with? Would you like a die set, now you're getting two, that first and foremost creates the card blanks. So whether it is the oval or the hexagon, you've got that instant card blank. You use the card stock, that is very clever by the way, the baby card I think is genius. You've got a card, uh, a die rather, that will create the card blanks but then you're not just restricted to that one shape because you've got beautiful panel details and you've got four different designs to choose from maybe you want now look at that that is lavish imagine that in gold oh have you had some gold cardstock or oh, what about this gatefold cards are so different concepts coming through or oh, what about this Oh, that is lovely, John. Look at that. Did you do this on the show? Uh, no, but it was planned to be. <laughs> now, that is very, very nice. But we're not going to stop there. I want to show you what, uh -huh, what a talented designer John is because, I mean, look at this. Absolutely stunning. Let me just show you something. This really impressed me because if I take one of the designs, uh, that's both the same set. Where have we got the other one? Okay, here now. Let me so I'm sorry. Bear with me, because what you've got is this is your and this is what John's working with, so I, I apologize. I know this looks a bit messy. I know, but I'm gonna show you something. That makes your card blank, so it scores it and it cuts it. You've also got the reinforcement bar here as well. But this is what I wanted to show you. Now again, forgive me because you got tape because this is what John's been using, but you've got this for your frame, so you can just use that just for your frame. Obviously, it's not going to have the tape, but it's only because of John was using this to cut. So that's your frame that you can use. But then you've got this. Now, these two, John's been very clever because what you can do is put those in as corners. Or you can put those around your oval. So suddenly, it's got details around the oval. You can put them to the outside of your project. You can put them on the inside of your project, move them around. They're fully modular. And that's the amount of attention to detail that John puts in all his sets. I am sorry, I know that looks a bit messy, but that was John's working piece. Let me just hand that back. We are very, very busy for our one day special. Uh, this is your last opportunity. Forget the clock, forget the stock. Just ask yourself the question, is this something you're gonna be working with? It's that simple. And if it is, if the answer to that is yes, if you like the price, you have got X2 flexi payments, this is something to put them into your basket. But uh, I have to say, it has been very popular and for good reason. Something else that's been popular, beautiful flowers. We've just seen them in action. And the whole point, what John likes to do, and I'll discuss this with him actually when we go back to the demonstration, but when John comes in, and he never hides this fact, actually embrace it, and I love that, he will offer you a very achievable collection of goodies. So he doesn't come here with say 40 or 50 products and say you've got to have all of this. He comes in with a core, so each month whenever John comes, he has a one day special and a few other components that go with the one day special. If you think about it, we've got the one day special with the two dies, we've got the flowers and we've got the numbers. That's it for this month. It doesn't break the bank. And even if you just wanted to go say for one of the sets, the uh, honesty flower, 
very, very popular uh, as well. Just having a look. Oh. I'm going to, I'm going to, Sandro, I'm going to let people in. So, Sandro, I'm already hearing, and he's grumbling, he doesn't think it's going to last the hour, the one day special. So, Sandro can see what's happening. I'm really not saying this, and I know it sounds like I'm saying this as a scare tactic. I wouldn't do that to you. All I want to do, though, is give you that information. Do with it what you will. But the fact is, the one day special, if we carry on going at this rate, it will sell out before the hour. So, I don't want you, only because if some viewers like to wait till the end of the hour, which is absolutely fine. I don't think it's going to last the hour, just saying. Uh, okay, we've got our Honesty flower here now, beautiful, detailed flowers. It's the fact that John always likes to push the boat out. He likes to take it to the absolute li limit. So if you have a look here, oh, tell me that is not beautiful. Or how about now this, yes. Now you really start to appreciate how delicate these are. Now this is using the one day special that frames. So I said, remember, we can use it in different ways. We can create corners around uh, the oval as well. By the way, one day special, wouldn't that make a great Easter card? Uh, but you've got these beautiful, delicate flowers. But let's say you wanted to mat and layer them. You can, there's nothing to stop you doing that. So you can make them pop as well. Very, very nice flowers. Uh, the Honesty, the Heart Honesty collection will be expanded on, so this is just the start. Twenty-two ninety-eight, your price there. You're saving three pounds. One eight eight five seven zero item number. We've also got a beautiful, uh, well, beautiful as in it's a, it's a nice font, but usable. I think usable is a better word here because you are getting your numbers. This is the bold numbers, and John has said he's made uh, no secret of the fact that he is planning on bringing uh, a bold alphabet at some point. This is the key to this. Have you ever lost eyes? You know when numbers or alphabets are separated, it's a real fact. John's kept the cost down by working off one continuous piece. You can batch cut, which is fantastic, but also they're big, they're bold. They live up to the name and look at that price. That is not a big, bold price. $9.99, this could be yours. 282-233, your item number. I'm just going to show you one, in one example of those. They're really nice. You can see... They're awesome. Okay, pop that down. Now we have got, this is the envelope pack. So you're getting the envelopes and you're getting the crystal silver card as well. So if you bought the crystal card last time and it had the gold inflection, now you've got the silver. This is not a pearlized card. It actually got uh, mica, so the formulation, the mica encapsulated in it. Let me just show you the thought behind the envelope. So here you've got the envelope looks like a beautiful envelope and you can see it's got all the facets we love about the crystal card but this is the main thing it is the size because it's a seven by seven but then a little bit more so it means if you're making a large card and you can see i mean that is a plush card you can still send it and this is using the one day special so that's your hex skin from the one day special it will still fold down and then you can post that it allows you to take on those big projects. You, and it's also the most cost-effective way to get hold of the uh, crystal silver cardstock because that's chopped down and it's the precise size to work with your one-day special. Twelve ninety-nine your price, zero two eight zero two one your item number. You're getting your cardstock, you're getting your envelopes. It works out at 51 pence per card and envelope together. It's good value. Uh, we've also got the A4. So if you do want to go for the A4 and chop it down, that's absolutely fine. This is 300 GSM. And I want to show you how well the crystal paper works with the inks. You can see how it just grows. It, it kind of sucks up that color, morphs like a chameleon, depending on whether you're going for... Oh, look at that. See, suddenly you're getting a gold, a warmth coming through from the orange or a brighter, cooler color from that blue. It is seriously good stuff. That is 300 GSM. You are getting 20 sheets for 9.99. Your item number is 937922. Finally, we have our paper. Now, this is the 120 GSM. Designed for, as the name suggests, flower making. What you can do is you can make your ugly paper by the way, nothing ugly about ugly paper because you use it for your flowers. There is, when you get this home, you'll appreciate, for 120 GSM, it is a seriously good quality paper. And you can just see how now, playing with the colors, imagine molding these and creating your own 3D flowers will look incredible. 
It's on extended delivery, so it's going to be dispatched from the 4th of April. $12.99 your price here if you do want to go for the paper, and you're getting 50 sheets. Item number is 164224. See how there are popular items you're popping into your basket. The inks, oh, the inks are busy. A uh, lot of you putting the inks into your basket. You've got a few sets here. This is the berry set. I'm not going to go for the names because uh, I, I, I say them badly. Oh, is that going to go? Okay, you've got your framboise, uh, your black, and, oh, is it framboise? All right. You've got your uh, black, I can do that one, and your cassis. Cassis. Uh, 149554, your item number. Now, this is your fresh set. I didn't do very well at French at school, I have to say. Oh, uh, I don't believe that at all. No. Uh, Murder Sue. Uh, so, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, you've got your Memphi. I'm sure that's the green. Uh, and then you've got your Vervain. Uh, that would be... Vervain would be the yellow? Yeah, it's the Verbena. It's a yellowy green. Oh, is it Verbena? Yeah, Verbena. Oh, Verbena in English, Verbena in French. Verbena. I struggle with French because it's Spanish, because they're so close. So, oh. I, when I try and do French, it comes out very Spanish. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little bit Spanish, but I'm a little French. I speak a little Deutsch. That's very good. You were going across Europe. Uh, yeah. And a shout out to all our uh, viewers in Europe as well. Our European well, family. <laughs> okay. Right. So, I've shown you the base cards. If yep. you want to see how to make the basic, we've got the, the, the sort of five shows on, on Rewind to be able to do yep. that. But we keep talking about the frame, so I thought I would show mm. you this. What I've done already. I've cut myself a rectangle of, and this is using the press cut stitch dot, which is some yeah. of my favourite dies. But I, nice. the reason I'm saying that is this is standard UK aspect ratio, because mm. we know that we work on A5, don't we? Sort of yeah. six by four in increments of. Americans work in different sizes. So what I've done is I've matched the dies to UK sizing. Okay. So just if you are watching in the US uh, and you're not issues. quite understanding the four by six or whatever, it's because we use a slightly taller okay. size than, than the sort of American size. But if you look, it fits exactly Ooh, on like this. Like a dream. So all I'm going to do is tape this on. And mm -hmm. while this is cutting, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece more of the white, and I'm using, this is cut from the A4. Yeah. So I'm going to cut myself a main piece to go on mm -hmm. the front. So, this is using the 300 K4 okay. card. Yep. And we're using our oval from the one day special, which yep. is disappearing by the second. So, I'm going to use that. Oh, now this is going to look nice. It's something we discussed. Actually. I might as well. Yeah. Because, you know, I'd be rude not to. So, mm -hmm. we'll just push this through. While that's running yeah. through, let's yeah. get the next piece. Just you know, I put everything so carefully and then not done it. Just to let you know, and it's totally up to you, but uh, I know the one-day special is extremely busy, and we've got quite a few in baskets. My advice, because we could sell out of this, is to check out your basket. The only reason I say that is if you have got it in your basket and you're enjoying the demonstration, after seven minutes, it jumps out. If it jumps out and then all the stock goes, that's going to be snapped up and I can't guarantee you'll be able to get it back into your basket. So I'm just giving you that information. So we can see there we've got that round the edge. I like that. Of course, we've only done one side and, yeah. and that side, well, that would make a square and I want a rectangle. Yeah, okay. Well, because of the way it was drawn, uh -huh. and I use my CAD, Computer Aided Design. Right. Um, so basically I drew on the computer. Yeah. What I can do is I can click that Oh, that's back in. nifty. So, I so can it's extendable. Click that back in, and that's actually clicked in. Yeah. So it won't cut the holes that are already cut. When you're doing a click back in, mm -hmm. always use fresh tape, mm -hmm. because the tape I've used before that I've got in my hands can lose some of its adhesion. Okay. So it's just not worth risking it, because no, no. then you spoil a piece of card. Yeah, yeah. And I hate this idea when people say, oh, it's only a piece of card. Because when I hear that, I imagine myself dropping 20, 25p in a bin. Yeah, that's true. Because I've paid for it, so it's not only a piece of card, it's cost me money. Of course. Yeah, so we can take this one out. That's a good way of seeing it. So then yeah. I've got all of that. Uh -huh. We can mount that yeah. on the silver. It's like throwing notes on the floor. It is. Giving me the centre, which is just such a waste. And that's what you're doing, and it, it's yeah. just wrong. So yeah. I'm going to cut that, but also I've got the next mm. layer. Yep. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other corners. This is what I was trying to explain, where I think you've been so clever with this, because they can be corners, they can, you can move them in, you can move them out, you can move them around. I can go anywhere I want to with those corners, mm. so I can just tape them on the ends. Clever. And we'll run that through. Okay. 
Hey, it seems that you've really enjoyed designing this one-day special. I really have, and I, I loved doing it. As I said, I have to the, the, the Desford. I have to thank Sam for advice and help on one yeah. of them because that's why it's called the Desford because it's the village he's from. Uh -huh. um, and he gave me a lot of help with it because yeah. it's not just a single thing. It's so hard to design in a vacuum. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we all need sort of help and support oh. and inspiration. That's, right. that's why it's great that we get to see to do so many demos. Are you happiest designing? Do you? Uh... I would say. Uh, the happiest point I'm at mm -hmm. is when I get a new batch of dust sample dyes through. Yeah. So when I get a new batch of sample dyes mm -hmm. come through and I get to craft and I know that I'm the first person wow. to have ever used that design, although well, I like designed a, it. A discovering a new land. It is, yeah, definitely. Oh, and I'm that. the first person to do it, and making mm. cards from that. Now, I actually found myself the other day with a, a new one. I renamed it, actually, after I'd done it to Mosaic. What do you name it? You, um, you renamed it Mosaic? Mosaic. Okay. It was called something else. Mm. And I actually found myself doing something I never believed I'd do. I sat there paper piecing, wow. dropping it in. Oh, and I was just enjoying myself so yeah. much. So I love the whole design process. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think the, the ultimate win from it is when I actually get to make something with it. Yeah. So we can see here, we cut this off. It's nice. What I've got is then. Oh, yeah. Is that pattern John, all the way around? John, that's very clever, the fact that you can then extend to how you can make larger cards, well, you can make smaller, taller. Yeah, this could be one die. Yeah. But this one die would be a 12.99 die. I know the amount of metal it would take for yeah, that, yeah. whereas this is just one little panel on a, on a 19.99 die. And it allows you to get the corners in there, that frame, and also the other design in the mix too. Yep, so I get everything in. So I'm just going to put it on some silver, but of course, what you could oh, do, and nice. I've not done it, you could thread ribbon through all of these. Yeah. So you could really go to town if you're like me. You have a ribbon collection that would put most haberdashery shops to shame. Nice which I do have, uh -huh. and if you look here how you place these on, mm -hmm. we could do them in, because what I've done is, I've placed two uh, that long, long way yeah, yeah. and two the short way, just to give me a little bit to of an offset design. Yeah. So again, just a little bit of spray glue into the box, make sure yeah. none of it goes uh, on Yanis's okay. shirt. That's Sorry. all right. Hey. One of the hazards of the job. Onto another piece of silver, which I've mm -hmm. cut again, just slightly nice. bigger. Charlie, by the way, was extremely grateful for the card you made for his mum. Oh, bless. Yeah. Do you need one? I, I've actually, I'm already set. I'm, I thought you would, but I've you're made, organised I've and you have a missus. Card, yeah. Will have helped a lot. Yeah. But you no, see I, how I, that. I made my mum her uh, mother's day. Sets day. it off, mm -hmm. so we've got that piece. Very nice. And I could go that That's way. That's nice. And keep the framing on. Nice. Yeah, I really should. Um, my my mum, bless her, yeah. for years always said to me, when I was young and mm -hmm. sort of until I started doing this as a job. Yeah. She I said, "What do you want for Mother's Day, mum? What do you want for your birthday, mum? Nothing. Just get me a card." Oh. Um, and ever since I've been doing this as a job, I said, "What do you want for your Mother's Day? Mo for Mother's Day, mum?" She said, yeah. "Nothing." Oh. Um, she said, but don't bother with a card because you get you do so many you must be absolutely fed up with doing them. What's your mum So it, she, it's a gift, Eileen. Eileen. So Eileen has given me a wonderful gift, my mum, of not asking for a card. <laughs> I know what we're going to do, and I've actually got a present for Eileen, and Excellent. it's a present money cannot buy. Ooh. I'll sign a picture of myself. Hey. Hey. There Excellent. You go. Yes, I'm sure she'll, mm. she'll be she'll over the moon it. with yeah. that. She'll... Yeah, definitely. Oh, 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 I'll tell you what, we'll try and get one of uh, Charlie. Yeah, she will. Okay, really there like we that. go, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but then I can fit the oval in exactly. Uh -huh. So all of that has been used just using three of the dies from the set. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, we could, you know, we could put it and onto... And this also, I'm right in saying, this will play with anything we've already got in our stash. This will work with anything we've got in our stash. So think about your current dies, your sentiments, your stamps, your, your uh, stencils. So this goes onto one of the squares, and then I was going to cut some flowers and things, but what mm. I'm going to do is just simply... Use these I cut earlier. That's our... Um, these are honesty? The honesty flowers, yeah. using the paper. So if you watch the 12 o'clock, the 1 o'clock mm. show, I still think it's a 12 o'clock show. Mm. I know it changed two years ago, but in my yeah. head... It was always a 12 o'clock show and that will never move. But I cut this from the paper that I coloured using uh -huh. the texture pastes. Yeah. 
So we're using them as a sort of third area. Oh, and our texture paste are very busy too. And I've got one more somewhere, but okay. okay. John, that's very pretty. That is nice. I just want some centers. But that's a card made from scratch. A few little pieces that we'd already got cut of the mat mats and layers. But you wouldn't think it came from that set. Lovely. Right, we've got 10 minutes left on the show, John. What else can you do to dazzle us? Right, OK, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will do a quick fold then. OK. So let's grab this one. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take that, I'm going to take my fold tool. Mm -hmm. And I happen to know yeah. that I want this folding for the flap at three and a half. OK. So I want this folding at three and a half. OK, and... I forget that this isn't long enough. There we go. Let's just click it on. Mm-hmm. Because I never bring the full tool that I need. Okay. So I'm just going to fold Sniffy, this piece over. little tool. Okay. Okay. So we're creating sort of like an easel card. So what we're going to actually do mm -hmm. is we're going to actually create a framed card. So I'm going to Ooh. do like a broad rayon glaze piece. So I'm going to tape this down. I'm then going to grab my scissors. I would normally use my guillotine, but of uh -huh. course, being me, I've not brought it. And of course, uh, there's usually one I steal from somebody, but I haven't this time because okay. I'm too right? I'm, I'm too daft. So all we're going to do is do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I also want this. I've cut this. If you notice, mm. to the size of the square. Right. So the one six five, so we could do it using our RPJ. Mm -hmm. It's a reinforcement bar. It is. So we're just going to cut that. And what I'm going to do is take the oval from out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that in. And I'm does it matter you're laying it over the out. tape? Makes no difference at all. It'll just cut through the tape. Okay. I'll always hang that out a little bit because I don't want to hang the dies out because no. they can get damaged. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if the card hangs out just uh -huh. a touch. Nice. So we'll run that one through. We're going to grab another piece of that card, which... Mm. Aha! We are. Just give you a little bit of an update because it's hard to keep you updated when we enter limited stock. Limited stock traditionally means that we've got 10% of our stock remaining. A fairer reflection would be to say we've got a few percent remaining now. Uh, we are down to single figures with our one-day special. It will probably go before the uh, clock runs out. So if you do want to get a hold of it, now's the time to pop it into your basket. So what I want is, I want a panel. So we'll take the sort of Broadway Anglais section yeah, out. Nice. And we've mm -hmm. got that. What I'm then going to do is, I want a panel yeah. that's going to slot into that. So I'm going to use the oval, but I'm not going to be wasteful. Mm. If I take it from there, the rest of that card's not much use. If I take it from the centre, mm. I've actually created an aperture then. Clever. So I'm going to create that, and I'm Clever. also going to use a piece of card. I'm just thinking, in terms of what you can do with the One Day Special, we've got four different styles of panel details. Uh, which you can use for backgrounds, you can use within the uh, card blank. You're getting the oval and the hexagon. You're getting the nested dies to go with those as well. You're getting yep. the little centers. You really have thought through everything. All the blue you see there, anything in blue on those dials, represents a die. You're getting 17 in total. Two individual sets. You can use them together. Uh, so create, let's like, say, a collection of cards or standalone. They are stunning. So we're just going to, there mm -hmm. we go, take, uh, so take the oval, which is where I would put my numbers nice. or my sentiment or anything. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit of double-sided tape for speed mm -hmm. onto the back of this. Okay. So we're just going to stick that into there, mm -hmm. making sure that I avoid the fold. Okay. A little bit. There we go. Nice. Give that a press down. There we go. And to take my oval. Uh, oh, John, this is nice. And slot that back in. So I want a piece of bit so of tape on that one. Think about your patterned papers now. Incorporating your beautiful patterned papers into it. This is a lovely card. So we'll do that. Uh huh. 
to there so I can mm -hmm. put my sentiment on that. We'll just take these bits out quickly. Never the most exciting thing to watch. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Yeah. And it really is quite satisfying. Yeah. Just putting it through. Mm -hmm. I, I love doing this. Did you get Charlie doing this at once? I, I did, of course. Hey, he loves it. Yeah, he enjoys doing it. He's a professional poker. He is. Does mm -hmm. he play? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he did. Ah. <laughs> You could run a poker school yeah. in your green room in the presenter's lounge. We have, uh, just for fun, but we have talked about having a poker night just for fun. Yes. <laughs> Sandro, not guest, like here, Ho Chanda, a Ho Chanda poker night. Have you ever played, producer Sandro? Uh, oh, no, we only want people who haven't played. <laughs> oh, I'd yeah. be okay then. I, yeah, I have you're, you're no invited. idea what's going Chloe, have you, pay have you played? You're invited. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look. I don't think nobody's actually believing at this precise moment that um, Yanis is not going to play for money. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to crease that. But what I'm going to do then is just bring in some pieces I'd already uh -huh. got cut just for speed. So, I've yeah. just got here a little bit, don't know where I've put my glue, so we'll use my hot glue. There we go. I'm nice. going to put this and move it around the oval mm -hmm. and then I've just got three of the four honesty flowers mm. cut yeah really nice name I, I love that because I think they they have got that sort of look of sort of honesty and the sort of moon petals mm. but it's just such a nice name for it but there you've got a very simple card very you say simple I think oh, that is course. absolutely beautiful Beautiful. So Imagine the sentiment see there. What you want to say. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, very classic, very plain and simple. Oh, but all that work. And of course, you could do the same on the other side. Yeah. Make another fold on the other side, and you've actually then got a gate fold with that on. But I love the simplicity nice. of that. Like but yourself, again, it is made elegant with and classy. Exactly the same die set as this one, but between both of these, we still haven't used every die in one set of the two sets in the one day special. John, you're good. You're very good. I love these, and these have been made live on the show, and you've seen it happen. Okay, going back to the one-day special, because time is running out. We've only got under 16, uh, 16, six minutes, I should say, uh, left. If you do want to get a hold of this, two flexi payments of £19.99. and pence. But what you're getting is possibilities. And by possibilities, I mean you can go, and I, I do apologise, because I know I've shown this every time, but it's only because I love it. You can go from... Something like this, which we'll all agree is a beautiful card, but there is this, uh, this is a more advanced card for someone making, still achievable, to okay. something like, should I show this one? Yeah. Or do you want to show that one? I'll just show this one. Yeah. This is this is sort of started to be made, and this is actually where I've started, I've even written on the back what I started to do it with, mm -hmm. which is very unusual. So this is one of the first I made when I got the die set. Oh. But just you've got that delicacy with Before. the parchment opening the doors. Topper. The yeah. top of put onto there, and again, what can you see inside there? But to me, I could see beautiful parchment in there. Oh. You know, parchment crafts some of the groovy Easy. stuff. Yeah, would look beautiful that in them. would look really nice. What about this? Creating your own scenes, because remember, the dies will instantly one pass through your die cutting machine, create the card blank. You've got your card blanks. Or how about a more traditional card, using that detail, that panel detail? Or what about if you wanted to go for home decor? Oh. We are into single figures, and it's going to be very close. Literally, they're going to go. The clock will disappear. Uh, well, the clock's going right now. We've got, even if, because the show will finish in about a minute or so, the one-day special, when that clock goes, uh, I think the stock will run out before the end of that clock. We've got literally a handful. And by handful, mm, there you go. How about this? So, again, okay, more of a finished version of what I was making earlier. Yeah. And then, again, the same die set used nice. to make us this as an easel. We've got news, everybody. The green on your screen is about to change. <laughs> it was going to go Sorry. tight, but it's lasted. It, oh, it's that way. Uh, <laughs> it's, like a, it, it's like I haven't done this before. Uh, you can see that we have sold out, so the one-day special is gone. Well done to everybody who got hold of it. Perfect timing. That was. That 30 was seconds really left. Yes. You couldn't write that. No, and I'm still shocked because oh. we put so much stock on. 
Thank you, really everybody, uh, for joining us. You're going to love your one-day special. Please make sure to check out your basket. That's, and a big thank you to you, John. No, thank you. You've it's worked been hard. And thank you yesterday for uh, doing the launch early. That's OK. I, I am feeling six hours yeah. now. <laughs> oh, well, but we I've loved it. it. And thank I love so doing it and crafting with it. Can't wait till you come back next month. No, And we've got special see. things happening next month. Yes. Ooh. Speaking of special things, we have the launch of our brand new one-day special, Katie Sue, like you've never seen before. Please, please don't go anywhere. It's going to be a corker. Uh, after that, we've got Craft Price Drop. Seams is the go-to hand cream for those looking to help maintain soft, beautiful hands. Luxurious, yet incredibly lightweight, this soothing hand cream leaves your skin feeling silky smooth without leaving a greasy residue, making it perfect for crafters or any other busy hands that are on the go. To stock up, check out hachanda.com. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Rob from Add Some Sparkle. My wife Jackie and I have been running Add Some Sparkle since 2010 as a small family business. We're both very passionate about paper craft in general, and Jackie's particularly passionate with paper embroidery, which is one of the main things we focus on now. So make sure you don't miss our Add Some Sparkle shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. We've really enjoyed being on Hochanda. It's um, made us famous really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's six o'clock in the evening, so it's time to launch a brand new one day special. And I can't wait for you to see the artwork that we've got featuring in these fabulous rubber stamps. But we have got another person, as I'm sure you'll have noticed. Of course, our lovely Anthony, which we know Anthony. Part of the family, aren't you, Anthony? <laughs> Indeed. But this lovely lady at the end, this is Emma, Emma Boyce. And Hi. you are the amazing artist behind not only these stamps, but also paper cuts that we've seen from you with Katie Sue previously. I sure am. Welcome. Thank you. It's lovely partner. to be here. I love it. So talented, I have to say. I'm in awe of anybody that can draw. Thank so, you. Oh, <laughs> love it. So if you fancy um, joining us and welcoming Emma, then you know how to get in touch, studio at achanda.com. But we're kicking things off with a lovely set of stamps, aren't oh, we? Oh, we are indeed. They're gorgeous. You know, as you said at the top of the hour, you know, we we're really, really excited that Emma's actually here in person. But this is her amazing artwork, and we brought it to you in polymer stamps. Now, polymer stamps are clear. My personal um, preference is polymer stamp, a clear stamp, so you can see where you're actually stamping. Yes. So as well as the actual main item itself, so we've got unicorns, we've got flamingos, we've got the beautiful llama, it's just such a cute, fun design. You've also got the butterfly there. You have got the dream catcher. Dream catcher is probably one of my favourites. Very to admit. nice, yeah. And then you've got the beautiful, beautiful feathers. Now, all of these can be mixed and matched really, really well. They've as well as having the main item in there, you've also got little flourishes and flowers, and then you've also got some words. So you can see you've got Beautiful. dream, hope, 
um, and um, believe, I do believe, um, <laughs> and then there's best wishes, and so there, there's lots of different elements in there, like I say, you can mix Gorgeous. and match. Now, the actual set itself, it does contain six stamps, but what mm -hmm. we're doing, if you buy the, the main pack there, you're also getting the owl you are. Um, totally free. That's right, and the owl is up at the top here. Again, another piece of your artwork, Emma. Yes. And I love this. There's so much detail in these pieces. Incredible. Thank you. You must enjoy your working with your art. Um, I, I love drawing. It's, yeah, I love it. It just is my happy place when I'm sat at my desk and I can just do what I want, you know, whatever my imagination allows and... Yeah, I love it. And I love the fact that you made it so easy for us, because, I mean, I couldn't imagine being able to create this with a pen and paper, but by having the stamp, at least I've got some chance to create something amazing. So thank you for sharing that artwork with us. And Anthony's quite right. Your eight ninety nine dollars um, stamp is included within this bundle, and you've got a £4 saving. So in effect, through the whole bundle, it's kind of twelve ninety nine that you are saving. You can see very affordable, especially over your Flexi Buy, two Flexi Buys of £24.97. And, and, of course, the beauty is that that opens up your flexi order and we all know what a flexi order does it spreads the cost of anything else you fancy popping in there i have to say i'm a little bit in love with that llama i love it i love the <laughs> eyes it's got really quick uh, kind of um, quirky eyes a lot yeah, of personality it is. It's just so much fun so much fun Absolutely beautiful. The design team, Emma, I can see how they've had so much fun with these. I mean, this amazing piece here with the butterfly at the top. Claire. Gorgeous. Um, Claire Boyd actually did that one. And it's actually um, stamped onto fabric as well. Ooh. So a really, really beautiful um, piece of artwork in its own right. And she's used some of the moulds that are already in her Katie Sue design stash. I love it. And Emma, how does it feel when you see um, things that the design team that have created that you might not have even imagined? Well, that's just it, that people are doing things that I would never have dreamed of. And like, I can't explain the feeling of seeing what people do with my artwork. It's, it's bonkers. <laughs> it's a good bonkers, but it's... Do you have to kind of double take to say, is it? Is it? Yeah, it's I still my don't actually piece. believe, uh, yeah, that I'm here and it, that this has actually happened. It's, oh. it's, um, yeah, it's a dream come true. Well, I'm glad that you are. Thank, so you. thank you. Already, people are loving what you've created here as well. I'm approaching 10% of the stock and it's a huge stock because, of course, Emma was the designer behind that fabulous unicorn, which you will recognise um, as we're going along the counter too as well. So, for the time being, if you wanted you one day, special 158 856 being that all important item number and of course you can pop it into your basket do check your baskets out though now emma another kind of gosh, this lady has got so many strings to your bow paper cuts this is where we know your name from as well yes so this is how it all started okay and i've got one of your your pieces here which paper cutting i mean it is amazing look at this piece and this is one of your original pieces yeah this yeah this was the unicorn from the second craft pad um, and he was also turned into a mould as well because he's a really popular design. Beautiful, and I'm sure you will um, be familiar with that. We have actually got some of those paper cutting um, pads at the bottom of your screen. You can see one of those for 19.99. But of course, people like me, who I know it, it can be quicker as you're getting through it, but I don't have the time to sit. And then Anthony's smiling because he knows where I'm coming yeah, from. Yeah, you know, I everyone everyone knows me as, <laughs> as the craft ninja. That's what they know me because I've used a craft knife probably actually for more years than you have. Possibly, probably, yeah. so, um, <laughs> 20 <coughs> plus years I've used the craft knife but do you know what when it comes to crafting like you say Hayley when you're mass producing cards mm. you do maybe want to take that shortcut so we have bought to you and we're really proud of this fact not that and only that we've got Emma here with us but we are launching our first ever die range that's it you heard it here first and boy are they strong because these are gorgeous Emma I love these frames so pretty thank you Oh, gorgeous, got little flowers in there. We've got your um, details. Now, with these dies, each of those dies, Anthony, have got three parts in there. They have indeed. Yeah, when Emma um, originally did the, the floral part, um, myself being a crafter, I said, well, you know, how can we make this a little bit more versatile? So I said, can we have an inner die and an outer die? Mm -hmm. So what you can actually be doing with these dies, you can be making apertures in cards, you can be um, creating a frame to actually put the floral frame on. So there's many different uses. You can even make a shaped card with them as wow. well, which is going to stand up. The thing that strikes me is that big die. They are huge dies. These are near enough, sort of like a, an A4 sheet fold, not an A5 almost, wow. okay? So they are really beautiful, beautiful frames. And these are really quite intricate dies here so you know 
obviously when we translate um, an image that Emma's done over to the metal, you can see the intricacy has been mm. pretty much where, you know, is yeah. you know, like for like. So a lot of attention has been paid, not only to the detail of the original drawing, but also, also into the manufacture of the dies themselves. Well, this is it. And the fact that we're able to bring all three of these to you for that price on your screen is phenomenal. That's so, yeah. I was looking at it and I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a pick and mix, pick a couple out of those three. But no, you are getting all of them. £39.97 being your price and again you've got flexi buy on this bundle they're 13 centimeters by 18 centimeters mm. perfect for your larger cars but also very intricate so little elements are there you could snip into quite yeah, easily quite easily a couple of the design team have actually done just that they've also used them to um, create masks as well so they can do inking techniques but yeah like you say yeah you can snip into them and you know they're not just for use with the the, the stamps that are also on the show mm -hmm. you can use them for anything you know oh, they yeah. are floral designs everybody knows that you know, floral designs are by far the ones that you go back to time and time again. And you do. Flowers are always so popular, so they you hit indeed. the nail on the head with mm. those ones, Emma. But absolutely beautiful designs. And, of course, working with Emma Stamps there too as well. 225440 if you fancy getting hold of those £39.97. But we've got more to share with you because Emma, another string to her bow, um, we've got moulds as well. Now, I love this because we've actually got a duo, so we can get crafting with our, our moulds straight away. Yes. Yeah, Straight away. Yep, so you're going to get um, this particular mould here. I do believe there's three or six pieces to that. So there's four flower heads and there's also two leaves in there as well. So you can mix match between them. And yes, they are going to work really perfectly if you buy the dies and the stamps. So you can see it's a really um, good interpretation of Emma's original piece of artwork. As well as that, you're also going to be getting the pack of 200 grams of hearty That's soft clay. Now, everyone knows yeah. the, the clay. Um, to be really, really high quality, so it's going to work so, so well, and obviously it's lightweight as well. I love it. There you go, and you've got a really good buy with this because you're getting both of those for fourteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Brilliant value for money. Love that little mould there to get those three-dimensional pieces. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Emma, those are gorgeous little flowers. Look at them all here. This is amazing. Is she clever? I love it. Really do. Seven one five three two six. If you fancy taking advantage of that bundle there, I'd like to say that little bundle, but it's not so, <laughs> such a little bundle with that big piece of clay in there. Um, Fourteen pounds and ninety eight pence. Seven one eight three two six. But of course, all those wonderful finished samples that we've seen, we've taken them all and we've put them all together. Or have you done this, Anthony? Uh, maybe me again. Yeah, yeah, guilty, sorry. Not got any dragons in this not one. In though, no, not in this one. Okay. <laughs> and this is another string to Anthony's bow. Mm. beautiful each and every one of those oh you know the design team have done absolutely amazing so that's laura and claire and debbie and cheryl they're, they're, they're the job. ladies who've done the magic they with have. Emma's yeah. artwork. And thank you, you make our job so much easier because when our viewers see what you've been creating, you make it achievable for the rest of us to get involved. So thank you and of course thanks to Emma for that fabulous Indeed. artwork to yes. start with. Yes. So what are we up to then? So we're going to go for the first one. You know, it wouldn't be a Katie Sue design show if we didn't have one mould. We have got, you know, <laughs> a couple of moulds all designed by okay. Emma. So this is the one with the flowers. So you have got there... Um, four actual flower heads mm -hmm. and then you've got the two little flourishes there of the leaves lovely so what we always do um with our um molds is just dust them out with a little bit of corn flour and that just that actually helps release the the clay okay so let's just tap that out a little bit and then we're going to use the air dry clay in this particular one so we're just going to have a little bit of white and we're mm -hmm. going to go for a color 
Now, this is really, really pigmented, so you just need the tiniest amount, okay, mm -hmm. in there. So that is literally just that. Lovely. And then just mix it in, and that's going to give you a nice little pink flower. Beautiful. Now, if you are looking for your coloured hearty clay, then jump onto the website. You'll be able to find um, a whole host of different bundles in there. So the magenta um, just form one of those bundles. You've got other colours in um, the different combinations. So, uh, yeah, there's good value as well, because you've got, um, oh, as, as you can yeah. see there, oh, no, it's, that's not them. They will come up in a minute. Wrong button. It's the other one. It's one to the left. <laughs> uh, this one. That's the one. Um, you're going to get three of those 50 gram uh, pieces there. And there are a variety of different colours. So you've got things like blues and yellows and pinks and yeah. oranges. You know, they're all intermixable as well. So just yeah. bear that one in mind. Okay. So we're just going to go for um, the main flower in the middle here. So just press the clay in. Now I'm using a Dresden tool, but you can use like a ball tool. And that's just to press all of the clay into that's the... That's a lovely colour. Strings. Yeah, you know, and you can see just how little of the, the magenta clay we actually did. So just keep on squishing that in. And now with our, our silicon moulds, I'd just like to mention that they are all food grade. Okay? Oh, yes, yeah. So if you do want to use them for your cake decorating, then buy yourself another one. So we, we always say it's best not to, you know, mix and match between card making or, mm -hmm. or mixed media arts and your um, cake decorating. That's a, a good bit of advice there. So what you need to do is just make sure none of the actual clay is actually going over the wall, okay? Okay. And then it's just a case of flexing that mould and this is where, you know, the moulds are just so easy to Give use. Give it a little wiggle. Give it a little wiggle and let's just pop that over. Oh my word, look at that. is Look sort of detail that. you're actually going to be getting. Okay. That's beautiful. Now what we say is just leave that to dry on some kitchen cloth. So I've got my piece of kitchen cloth there and something like that is probably going to take maybe an hour two hours to dry oh, yeah. but to be honest with you what I'm going to do I batch make them and yes. then just leave them overnight and I have got pieces just piling up at home but you know what it's really easy because then you can literally just grab yeah. this bit there and that bit and it makes your crafting a little bit more enjoyable so yes. all of the clay that you don't use just pop it back inside uh, an airtight bag and then as long as you know squeeze as much air out the ziplock ones and then that's going to be good to go for possibly weeks. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So just pop that aside. Now, if you're wondering what we've done with Emma, we haven't shut her in the no. broom cupboard or anywhere. Um, <laughs> she's uh, busy, busy drawing away. She Have is. a look at this. Wow. This is amazing. Now, have we got a plan for this piece of artwork? I think we do. Mm, yeah, okay. I think if um, you know you order in this hour, okay, then I think probably at the end of the hour or yeah. maybe at the eight o'clock show we could um, give this piece away. I, I think. think we will yeah. do. Um, and I love this. A piece of original art. Original. We'll do it at the end of this hour. I think. Yeah. I'm feeling, yeah, think, yeah. I'm feeling generous. Let's do it in this yeah. hour. So if you order anything during this hour on the Katie Sue hour, obviously, then uh, you will be entered into that automatically. You don't have to phone up or anything like that. Your name will be on the system, and we will pick a name out random. About 10 to um, 7 this evening, yeah. and then you'll win that original piece of artwork. Right, so, so we're actually going to start working with our dies, okay? And we've also got the um, stamps as well. So, this particular one, I've gone with the Dreamcatcher. I just love, love, love the Dreamcatcher, okay? So, what we're going to do, we're just going to cut out um, the, um, the die. We can use the die. So, this is just get the right one. So, I do believe it's the tropical one, which is. It's like is a hibiscus flower here. in the corner there, isn't it? Very, yeah. Very pretty. I yeah, think that it one. is that the one, Hayley? Mm, oh, oh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm just looking no, at this right. over here. Let's have a look. Um, I don't oh, think it's. No, no, I think it's probably that it's one. It's got to be the last now, one, isn't you will, it? <laughs> you will notice that on the back of mine, okay, I've actually colour coded them. Okay. Oh, I see, yes. So this, this, you know, yours aren't going to come to you like this. Okay, this mm -hmm. is pure, so I know that these three are all matching. Okay. okay so I think it might have been that first one you, you looked do at. Do you think so? I yeah, think I'm, not, right. I'm paying okay. attention now, that's, that's, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise you know I had to right. pay attention. You're right, it is indeed. <laughs> right, so like I say, we have got the main frame, yeah. and then we have got the outer die and the inner die. So let yeah. me just quickly show you what these designs actually look okay. like, okay? So you can see them in black and white. So yes, you can make basically the main plate, okay, which is that. Lovely. Then obviously you can stick oh, your wow. floral frame around there and you've got the inner to then decorate with maybe with a stamp or maybe yeah. something else. Nice. You've then got the fact that you can actually create an aperture in a card. Clever, okay, yes. So you've got that, and you don't then have to use the outer die. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, obviously, you know, that's it it's in its entirety. So nice. you can just move those aside for the moment. Wonderful. So and so there's your three different designs.
that you would be getting. Beautiful. And, of course, a um, whole host of different combinations. I like the way you brought that last one in landscape because, of course, with the rectangle, portrait you know what, that landscape. Is, that's absolutely, you know, the versatility of these frames is really, really good because, like you say, you can use them landscape mm -hmm. and portrait. And like I say, you can actually make shaped cards. You'll see yeah. these, these actually don't wobble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we purposely thought of that as well. And I think you could almost make a square frame with this as well, because you can snip in and take yeah, elements and join them together. Yeah, one design team has actually done that as yeah. well. So yeah, lots and lots of versatility with that one. Um, a little bit of an update. Um, approaching 20% of the stock of the whole day's stock has gone. It's not even quarter past six, wow. and that's with the dies. <sighs> Gosh, mm. wow. Right, so let's just start using these dies. Now, what I've actually done here, okay, is a couple of different bits. And I'll be totally honest with you, I, I haven't used dies that much. Oh, right, okay. okay. So I'm relatively new to this, this die business as well. So, because they are intricate dies, mm -hmm. I would recommend that you use um, a metal shim. Okay. Okay. Now, let's and that's because I'm guessing they're quite intricate and there's a lot of detail yeah, in there, so yeah, always a good idea. So, let's just place this one in here. Lovely. Okay. And we're going to get, do it facing downwards onto the, the metal shim. And then we're just going to pop that through our die cutting machine. And I love the fact that Emma's got involved with these designs because, of course, the yeah. original way of cutting out shapes like this was exactly the same way that um, Emma does it, with a craft knife, with a piece of paper where she's drawn a design and she's cut into it and created a fabulous piece of artwork that has then been translated into a die by the ga um, guys at um, L, guys and girls at Katie Sue Designs. <laughs> and it makes it nice and easy because all we need to do is pick up the phone or jump onto the website and instantly place that order and we've got three of those gorgeous designs that we can work with. Yeah. Don't even need to get a craft knife out. How amazing is that? <laughs> so let's just pop the waist out, okay? So we can actually use that again okay. in a moment. So we're just going to use um, our good old brush there just to... Trusty tool there. Get all those little pieces out in there. Obviously, you know, when you're at home, you've got the time to go in there and get out all of the pieces. Like I say, these are really intricate dies and you can see huge dies as well. well huge dies. And I know a lot of people out there do like to do their paper piecing, so if you wanted to, yes. you could do that. Yeah, we've got design team members who have done that as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know, our design team, they like to have lots of fun and creativity. See, I love the effect, but you know so what, I'd rather stick pins in the eyes than sit there and do yeah. it, to be honest, so I haven't got the that patience. Is, no, I haven't popped everything out, but you can see, you know, they release really, really nicely. Okay, Gorgeous. so that's the main image there. Okay, so let's just put this in Quick the bin. Quick tidy up. Oh, are good. That John Lockwood just I, throws it on the he? floor. Does yeah, it? Is he still in the studio? No, oh, no. Yes. Oh, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> 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 right, so we're now going to use the inner part, okay, and we're just going to place that in there. We're just going to use a little bit of tape, just to hold that in place. So we're not, we're not wasting anything. You know, normally this bit you'd actually cut out. This is the inner. Okay. Okay, and yes, we could have put both dies in at the same time, but I just want to show you, you know, what every die no. can be used for. So let's Good just quickly run that one through as well Lovely. and then we're going to stamp actually on that part okay. now we have had an email come through and I was oh, told okay. about this probably about 10 minutes ago and I've forgotten <laughs> is it Donna 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 was really excited Donna. yeah Donna oh, looking Donna. forward to seeing and meeting Emma and um, so yeah she's been here oh, away from the show. Super. Um, loves everything Love the paper cut, Thank loves the dies, the in. stamps as well. Yeah. And she said, that, yeah, the stamps and dies are a must, and they are, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, gosh, are they? Yeah. So here's our element here, okay, and let's just um, peel this masking tape off. And do you know what? I could not find my low tack masking tape today. Oh. For, oh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's always the way, things. isn't it? And it's purple as well, you know, you just. Do you think I could find it? No, not at all. It'll be, when you get it back, it'll be sat oh, there on the kitchen I, table. You know what, I bet it will. Everything's on the kitchen table. Will. That's where it, it always ends up. It so let's just pop all these aside for the moment. Right, so that's that's our inner bit. We're going to stamp with that. Lovely. But then we want the outer part as well. So have I got a sheet of white paper hanging around? Possibly, possibly, possibly. Let me just grab a piece here. Lovely. Okay. And... Pop that on there, choose a pair of scissors just to cut this. Trim that down. So it's taking around, well, if you get out of an A4 sheet, you could get a couple of these yeah, quite two. then quite yeah. easily, yeah. Mm. And like I say, you can use them to make shape cards as well. That's Should we show a shape day. card while we're, while we're I doing don't this? mind. Do you reckon this is going to cut through two at the same time? Well, we I know don't what we know. Give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. It's probably, it's probably not going to, but um, do you know what? It's worth a go, isn't it? So let's just pop that on this there. This is where we see if you cut that card perfectly in half, isn't it, now? 
But you know what? It, it, this, it, is, it doesn't actually matter because I've got a little, oh, I've got a little technique on oh. um, creating a shape card without actually um, having the card in one whole piece. Oh, I but, see. Um, oh, okay. I'll show you that. Hence, hence my trusty creasing board here. <laughs> oh, I has, see. Has, has come out. You see, so I think I think you're near enough to get there. <laughs> right. Look, we're very, very busy, guys. It's really good to have your company during this launch hour. Not only are we busy for that one day oh, special wow. with all those fabulous stamps, but the dies that we're working with too. Do you know that is actually two sheets. And wow. It has actually cut. Okay, Perfect. so that's the outer sheet. Wouldn't say the intricate one's going to cut two sheets, but okay. definitely the outer. So. Let me just quickly explain a few pieces then. So, Thank you. Because I always get carried away, you know, there are too many things going on, but <laughs> you know what? That's all part of the fun. Right, so let's get a ball tool as well. So there's one round here somewhere, I yeah. swear. It's probably rolled right under the machine. So let's have a look. It's always best to have two. There you go. So like at home, one I, have, I have four rulers. <laughs> Just you know in I case. Them all. <laughs> so I've then got a, a pack of spare five <laughs> in the cupboard. Right, so to make a shaped card, okay, you've got your two pieces like that. Okay, two identical. So butt that up. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be the back of your card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so although we're not actually going to make a shaped card on this show, I just thought I'd just show you how to right. actually do this. Okay. So let's just go for some glue, which I do believe is this one here. Lovely. Okay, so let's just pop that like so. And then here's just a case of popping your glue on there. Okay, and what I always do, I butt it back up onto the board just for perfect alignment and hey presto you know Look there is that. there is your shaped card that's okay that's so clever so i love that, that idea that's, that's how i actually do a shaped card so using two separate pieces so it's just the crease on the back you're never going to see it so let's pop that out of the way lovely i'm getting carried away right so let's let's go to a bit of stamping now the stamps are like i said they're polymer okay so they are going to work on your acrylic blocks my personal preference, because I'm also new, I haven't done much stamping, I'll be honest. What have uh, you been doing with yourself? I know, I know. Clay. Clay. Is that it? Clay, you lost yourself in the world lost, of clay. Yeah, lost myself <laughs> in the world of clay. But we're just going to pop this, okay, and we're just going to position it, and it just fits Perfect. inside there. Okay, so let's just make sure. And I always have um, a piece of foam, okay, as well. Okay, good there. tip. And uh, just going to help a little bit. So let's just pop that over like so Lovely. and then there we're just going to ink up. that one up Lovely. and you've gone for a nice brown shade with this one yeah i have you know although i suppose everyone's most preferred one is, is the black or i think there's one called london fog i think which is like a gray okay but this one just goes works so so nicely with the uh, the craft card it certainly does beautiful look at the size of this stamp as well this is just yeah, one of those stamps you are stamps, getting huge stamps Okay. Getting lots because you got obviously you've got your different stamp plates, but then you've got the yeah. supportive stamps there, things like your sentiments, little additional elements. So you can Look see how that. beautifully that does actually stamp. And this is really important because around here you can see that flower, similar to the hibiscus Indeed. flower we were talking about yes. within the dye, so it keeps yeah. that continuity. Yeah. And obviously you've got the flowers there mm -hmm. from the mould. So that's basically it. I've then jumped ahead okay. in true TV style. And we're just going to pop this back on. I've just used some um, coloured pencils to okay. go back onto this. Nice. And it's got these beautiful little sentiments. Okay. And I'm probably going to have to look over my glasses to actually read them. Right. Go confident. I oh, can't speak now. I can't put <laughs> my teeth in. Go well, confidently like into the direction of your dreams. Oh, or well, you've nice. got to follow your dreams. Oh. So when this stamp come along, I said, I want some wording actually inside it. Okay. So we shrunk it down just a little bit. Nice. So it actually does fit within the Dreamcatcher itself. Lovely. And you know, I do love, love, love Dreamcatchers. I actually made one once. And um, literally from scratch, mm -hmm. a full, a full Dreamcatcher. So Fabulous. to actually work with this as well is just yeah, beautiful. So again, make sure, and this is where clear stamps really come into their own. Yeah. Grey stamps or red stamps are brilliant, but mm -hmm. when you need to do this sort of thing, it's a little bit more tricky, I okay. always find. So you can see that Looks that is going to yeah. perfectly fit within there. So just pop that down and then just ink that one up like so. Beautiful. And just pop that down. Isn't that fabulous? And there we go. Look at that. As you can see, just fits Absolutely. perfectly 
within that. Gorgeous, love this, really beautiful design. Of course, the artist behind this, lovely Emma, Emma Boys, is with us in the studio. She's busy, but look at how this oh piece gosh, is growing. This is looking yeah, beautiful. Is, oh my word, and some lucky viewer when emailing. Well, well this well, is it. So well, I haven't even got to go to the trouble amazing, of emailing in. Amazing. Just placing your order for anything during this hour. And let's face it, your sport for choice. There's some wonderful things to choose from. Um, we'll put you in a prize draw. We'll um, enter all those names in. Draw a name out about 10 to 7 this evening. And you will win this fabulous piece that Emma is working on. I just could sit and watch Emma all hour, to oh, be honest. Because yeah, this is yeah. amazing seeing this coming together. So we've, we've now got the um, craft card. And this is where all these little stamps come into their own mm -hmm. so you can start doing little patterns so we have got there one little feather lovely and then we've got two little feathers together not and also if you wanted to you can actually extend the feathers on the dream catcher mm -hmm. so you could keep on stamping you okay. could make this into a really large and long it's a good dream idea, yes. so it's entirely up to you how you use that now when i'm doing the, the main item i've used obviously the stamp platform but like i say if you're if you're confident enough, then just go directly and use your, your little acrylic blocks. And for nice. the for this, you know, that's going to work fine. So literally, just pop that just over the wow. edge. You know, as we've all as we always say about stamps, you don't have to Beautiful. use them in their entirety, and just change the angle and just keep on stamping all the way around there. Isn't okay, that just ink that one up. I'm not going to go all the way around. I love you've got little tiny flowers in there. You can see all the little oh, elements so of the much feathers. So much detail. Yeah. So we can just keep on going around mm -hmm. that, and here's one I made earlier. Again. Lovely. <laughs> so, and then we've just distressed it. So we've gone around the edge there nice. with um, a distress ink, and then we've just basically raffled it up just so it looks a little mm -hmm. bit more Native American, that sort of look to it. We've got our white card there, which is our base. Okay, and again, we've just used that same stamping technique using the smaller elements um, from there, and then we're just going to glue everything into place. So let's just pop these onto here so we're just going to use a PVA type glue and that's the great thing about when you're using stamps you know you haven't got to decoupage up the images so the cards will remain fairly flat wonderful so let's just pop that over there like so just stick that one down it just ties everything together having those oh, stamps on each level it does and then we've got the main element here that we cut out and we've stuck this onto the base plate of our die so we've used a couple of, well actually we've used all the dies haven't we in this, in this section and such, mm. we've used all three. Well it just shows how they all come together. It does. And I think this shows um, the, the kind of creativity that we're getting from Emma. I mean she's created Absolutely. originally those wonderful paper mm -hmm. cuts that many of us have yes. invested in over the time. Um, so of course, and we've got those on the show today as well. If you, so you can go down that traditional route then you can do. Um, and then her designs work so well as we've seen mm. with the stamps in this hour as well with you one day special. But for the first time that Katie Sue Designs have ever bought us yeah. dies, they chose Emma's artwork as well how yes. amazing is that but you can understand why because they lend themselves so perfectly to die cutting and it means that you and i can create these wonderful almost 